good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Benny a Truth Dirt, and happy birthday to, to me! You. I did that for so many other people, so I stood for myself. I really hope you can hear this, by the way, because there's been. YouTube's been flashing a big warning message at me, saying, no. saying basically saying, you, you are, this is, you are using the wrong stream key, we will be streaming to a different thing, we are not streaming to the thing you're anticipating. But like, I'm just Which gonna... is great, because there's already like loads of super chats, so maybe some random person this is, fine. is getting can, can you hear us? Hello? <laughs> can anybody hear us? Claire, can you just make sure this is appearing and live and there's not a second live stream? Cause oh, we will... I mean, I see. <laughs> in the channel appearing okay the and there's not a second live stream no. that's also mysterious oh, oh i think the chats i think the chat heard us i think the chat heard us so yes as is tradition uh because my family don't care about me in the slightest oh, sod off they and send you birthday gener- cards they send me birthday cards that's it have you seen the lack of presents that's arrived the lack of presents and as oh, normally, no, you've, not, no, you've not opened the ones I got you. That's true. We're going to do that in the stream. Yeah, no, there's I gonna, figured that. There's going to be live present. That. There's going to be live present opening today. Live. Are they appropriate? Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit too much of a worry again. <laughs> okay. Uh, They're appropriate given that people in the live stream are saying, Happy 10th birthday present, John. Okay, if there's any... You'll be happy to know I bought you something that the picture on Amazon was uh, had a a small child playing with. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Okay, if it's anything too smutty, I'll just say it's socks. If you hear socks later, it's a euphemism. Now you know. Now you know. So welcome... Socks are for Christmas, John. Don't be ridiculous. YouTube sent me some socks the other day. I got sent some YouTube socks. That was for YouTube Send me some YouTube YouTube socks, but weirdly, they're really thick and woolly. Like they're the they're the worst summer socks. Just like, hashtag YouTube messes everything up. They're really woolly they, wind they socks. They're completely package, inappropriate. They sent us a package that included something they're calling a picnic blanket. Yeah. Except when you open it up, it's this like black or it looked like it looked like a, a body bag. A it looked like a body but bag. Also, like imagine taking that for a picnic. Yeah. In a park. Yeah. In the sun. Yeah, it was. Like, it, yeah, it was black your and bum shiny. Would be yeah, you would like be way too toasty. So hot. Uh-huh. Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. At least one per. At least a few people are saying there. There are two streams on my sub page. Shit. Okay, how do we kill the other one? Okay, okay, let me look. How do we? And also, what's been broadcast on the other one? Is it us again? Mm. I mean. Possibly it One is. Second. And how do we kill it? <laughs> oh no, mm-hmm. we've accidentally created two streams. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is fascinating. No, I see it. No, this, Look. This is, this is fascinating. Look. Okay, kill the one that's not got the full title no, if you I know, can. I know. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do, but I just wanted to let you know. Okay, that. so we're dual, we're dual streaming right now. Is that like double fisting? What? Which is a thing with drinks. Why did you have to make it weird, Claire? No, I know, Why I know. You, you, you're the one, you, 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 you claim I'm not supposed to make it weird. Okay, we need to, we need to kill, we need to kill the stream. Wait, I need to make sure it's the right one. There's like chats and super chats on it as well. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, YouTube's YouTube's double stripped fuckers. Oh no, okay, just uh, just let me you talk, let me do this, okay? If you're in the version that's got five hundred people watching, get out, because that universe is about to be destroyed. Okay? We're uh, gonna Claire needs to make a record of everything that happened in that universe. Then we're going to have to to then we're gonna have to kill it. Okay? Everything's Everything's under control. I'm like the queen. Wow. I get two birthdays. It's just <laughs> I'm doing them literally at the same time. Great. So it's okay if you send a super chat to the to the wrong to the evil John Universe stream. Okay, if you're if, if you're hearing this, you're in good John Universe stream right now. Evil John Universe stream is <laughs> and soon we will be the only John. Ha <laughs> ha! As soon as my satellite oh my laser God. weapon has finished charging up, that's what's going on the other stream. But if you're hearing me right now, you're in good John stream. Okay. Is there even such a thing? I don't. I really hope they're both also broadcasting the same thing. 
Well, I don't know. I'm just saving the super chats first. Save the super chats, then we try and figure out how to kill evil John. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... This is fine. I was wondering what was going to happen. I thought possibly oh God, this was going to be a, a fake oh other stream was going to be created. I didn't realize it was going to create two streams at the same time. This is spectacular. Uh, yes. Don't kill us, they're saying. How many mods do we have in fake evil John's universe? Do we have do we have any mods over there? I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! And, and as some people Lol, are pointing, I have both open. As some people are pointing out, yes, obviously, obviously, the thing that Evil John would say is, "I'm the good John. Shoot him. He's the evil clone." Uh, so. Okay. Okay. Let me find the. Um, I'm gonna find the link to the proper one. Yes. Is this the proper one? They have different. Yeah, they've got they've got different URLs. They're definitely separate, independent right, streams. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but I'm finding the proper one. Oh no! Claire, what have I done? Oh, I don't know how you've done that. That's, I know, that's isn't a it? Special it's one. quite impressive, isn't it? Yes. Please don't kill us. You're gonna die, okay? Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna try and. Can I go to the control? I don't feel so good. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna push the button. All right. Are you three, doing it or am I doing it? Yeah, we're doing well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap you out of existence in three, two, one. And that's. I'm very bad at snapping my fingers. Okay, we're going to end that stream, hopefully. Yep, congratulations. <laughs> it's not a congratulations situation. Um, oh my god, okay. So we're going to see if that's now no longer... Okay, so that's now been... Yeah, that, I think I've snapped them out of existence, and now I'm going to unlist them. Uh, so this is, this is fine, unlist, save... Okay, I think we've got rid of evil Mirror Universe, John. I think Mirror Universe John has gone. Apparently this stream had slightly more delay than that stream. Evil Mirror Universe John was slightly from the future. Great. So that okay. there we go. Oh, Jesus there we go. Christ, John. There we go. Oh my I'm sorry, God. really bad at snapping my fingers. I'm really bad. This this is the best noise I can make. It's really bad. Claire can do a slightly better snap. I should have let snap. I could have, next time we have. Okay, I'm giving Claire the Thanos Gauntlet. Aha. Next time. Okay, so we've defeated Evil John! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations to everyone who's in the correct stream. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone who picked oh who picked god. correctly. Oh my god. This is everything's everything's under everything's under control. I'm just gonna make cake. Okay, gonna... okay, good. There's now only one stream. Welcome Yay! aboard! Welcome aboard, refugees from Evil John Universe. Uh, welcome to the Good John Universe. <laughs> Claire is already done. Oh, I don't know how I That's my secret. Do... I'm always done. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Okay. I really. This is. This is precisely. This is precisely why we're here. This is. I'm glad we sorted this out. This is. Yay! Little they realise we just killed the real John, and now evil John has taken over. <laughs> Shit! I said the quiet part out loud. Um, uh, also, remember Tabby doesn't like I it. I know Tabby like doesn't that. like that. So. All right. <laughs> I want to... And now, when everybody moves from the dead live stream to this live stream, it's yeah. like um. <clears throat> It's like when the people who got snapped out come back and there's, like, not really any difference. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, oh, dear. You're not our John. <laughs> <laughs> Tabby doesn't like the laugh. It's mm. true. Okay, this is this is fine. Oh, dear. Okay, we are going to put a tiny bit of slow mode because it is, uh, indeed, a little bit hectic. Uh, uh -huh. But, uh, yes... <clears throat> Uh, that is, uh, we, we did have to murder the other stream first. I'm sorry we had to murder the other stream, but Evil, oh. Mirror, Evil Mirror Universe John is there. And uh, Claire, yeah, huh? um, there's the very important thing we need you to do. Yes. Um, if you're reading out any messages from the original, from the fake yeah. stream that we killed, uh, you need to do them in an evil voice. Yes, okay. You know, something to yeah. the effect of... And thank you to so and so who gave us ten dollars and you know something of that nature. You can you can kind of you know interpret evil however you like. 
Uh, but as those messages were from the Evil Mirror universe, you need to do a special voice to sure. indicate them. If you'd like to do a French accent, those are generally perceived as evil. <laughs> um, so you're welcome to do that. That would be uh, that would be fine. <laughs> so there we go. Welcome to. No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to kill the live stream. Okay, I think we. I think we've got it. I think we've now, I think we've now got it. This is, this is uh, been... Yes, and this is, uh, it, it is not in fact a MATN's birthday, <clears throat> it's John's birthday today. It is. Uh, the MATN, yes, yeah, which, technically I'm like the queen, I've got two birthdays. There's the channel birthday, which is in May, and there's my birthday, which is in August. So today. We, yep, actually today, yep. Uh, last year yes. we got lucky, I think it fell on a weekend. Yeah. Uh, this year not so much, but I do like doing it on the exact day. But as you know, it's it's for some people, it's like summer breaks of varying descriptions. And like, you know, some other people are currently uh, locked down or, in, or otherwise at home. And they're quite long, so it'll kind of be, there'll be an evening for somebody at some point. Like it's right now, it's like midnight-ish in Australia. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, the Australians yes. can show up. I be, know, <coughs> I know because... Uh, I know because late, uh, because we've got Naughty who's modding, I think, right now until like 3 a.m. Yeah. time. So uh, thank you we've, for that. We've got a relay of mods, including some new mods. We've got new mods today, so yes, behave for, for them. for John's birthday, I got myself a present. It's new mods. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, no, the new mods are um, the new mods are like shadowing the experience mods right now. That's what we're doing. So we have a couple of experience mods uh, yeah. who are who are scheduled all the way through yeah. and will be there. Uh, and then um, we got people yeah, ready to go here. Like the people. moment, like any uh, the moment any of like the, the sex bots show up, we will shoot them down. We got we got the manpower to do this. I think they know because uh, <clears throat> it's uh, there's already been you know people they've been modding while we've been doing this. Yes, already. So excellent. So yes, oh we've God. got ourselves. <laughs> So many messages. Yay! Everything's under control. Uh, and also, follow through is really difficult to stream, by the way. It's such a fussy bastard. What, like, the Windows key doesn't work. You've got to actually, like, you got to, like, um, control alt. you got to get to Task Manager to get out of Fallout 3 without shutting it. It's really weird. Uh, so this is... <laughs> everything's under control. So we're going to be playing some Fallout 3 today. It's going to be a chilled out thing. But, like, obviously, I've, I know Fallout 3 very well. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave the character build to Claire. Uh, Shit, you didn't tell me that. I didn't tell Claire this. So we're going to be leaving the character build uh, up to uh, up to Claire. Okay. And I'm just going to be dealing with whatever she builds. Oh, uh, so... Which is going to be... What you're uh, saying is I should have paid attention all this time when you were talking about Fallout. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, because uh, in case everybody is new, uh, they, I ju I don't generally play like long narrative games that have a long story. Like I can't, my brain can't like keep up with that. I usually play things that like don't really have an ending, don't really have a story. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. Mm. Yes. So okay, I'm gonna try and make this work now. I'm gonna try and make this work, and it might be a bit loud because. Oh the my! What? <laughs> Claire's trying to keep up. Yeah, no, I'm trying to keep up. And you know how normally uh, I try to do, if someone gives, like, a very, very big sum of money, yeah. I try to do that immediately because, you know. Yay! Hey, that's full uh, There's it's a lot of really those right loud. the second job. Uh, so, really loud. Gonna, oh, my God. Oh my quieten God. that right down. I'm going to mm. quieten that right down. Yeah, the problem is that the weird thing is also the music and the opening of Fallout 3 doesn't count as music. As far oh as the setting, <laughs> as far as the settings are concerned. Uh, shout out to Marcus who g gave us five thousand Swedish krona, which is like, that sounds like a lot. I don't know how much that it, actually. It is. It is the the. I know it's it in is red. That YouTube limit. It's the YouTube limit. What? Which we know is five hundred dollars. What? Yeah. No. It's yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Oh my god. Is he from Evil Universe or Good Universe? Good well, obviously universe. Good Universe. Uh, Marcus yeah. says, Happy birthday, you wonderful person. Happy birthday to you too, Marcus, whenever it shows up. <laughs> oh, you're a sweetheart. Everything's fine. Look, look, just based on the number of people watching right now, there's going to be like, I mean, there's like quite a few people whose birthday it also is. Just yes. to, to, we got 3,000 people watching. So therefore, there must be a fair few people whose birthday it is right now. Someone tweets earlier that they, they shared a birthday with me. They didn't realise that. 
Yeah, I mean it's that it's uh it's very easy to actually find two people. I think it's Oh, she's going to tell the thing about the number of people in a party. No, I'm not because I don't actually like n know the, you know, math. I'm just saying I think it's yeah. like 27 people or something like that you need in a party and then you're more likely to get uh mm -hmm. to get uh, two of the same birthdays. Yes. Um but yes, weirdly, the, 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 the intro music to Fallout 3 doesn't get controlled by the music bar. The rest of the game's music is, but the music of the title is just like, no, only the master volume will quieten me. Oh, no, nothing else. Nothing else at all. Which is, uh, which is, uh, kind of weird. Then it rolls out, and because I've minimized the game, it's not going to restart again. And also, you mentioned that the, the game, the game, the, the slides aren't moving in the slightest. So it's going to be great. It's going to be spectacular. <laughs> Morty B. Anyway, uh. Mm hmm. Oh, dear. So, wait, I'm doing the character? Tell me about that. Uh, I'm going to basically. Uh, I'm going to basically. Uh, I'm just gonna let you, like, you know, when the character build the option shot, I'm just gonna let you do it. Uh, I'm gonna let you do it. Uh, so you're, you're just gonna like, you're gonna choose specials. Uh, I'm gonna give you a choice when we do the GOAT. You can either just pick skills or you can actually sit the GOAT exam. Did, you did say GOAT. I was gonna ask you if you did say no, GOAT. No, I said it's no, GOAT. It's the general God. occupational aptitudes test. It's wow. what decides what job you do for the rest of your life in the Fallout universe when you hit 16 if you're in Vault 101. I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so, wait a second. Oh my god, okay, uh, <laughs> oh dear, there's, uh, yeah, I've put slow mode on and it's still a bit hectic. Yay! Uh, yeah, Claire is gonna sit, goat, I think, goat, I think, goat, okay, okay goat, Claire's gonna be yeah. seeing the goat, and whatever result Claire gets out of the goat, that's what we're going with. We're simply gonna be, we're just gonna be doing that. So Amazing. Claire is just going to be uh, yes. sitting the goat today. So we're going to learn a lot about Claire, okay. and this is uh, it's it's going to be great. Uh, does Claire get to decide level ups as well? Oh no, um, maybe. We'll have to... <laughs> Claire might just have control over everything, which is going to be a problem. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, shout out to, uh, Aizon, who gave us ten, uh, evil pounds, mm -hmm. uh, and says, happy birthday, <laughs> Oh, this is from Evil Mirror Universe. Oh, excellent, okay. I said evil pounds! Yes, okay, so they're evil pounds. What <laughs> is made of leather a foot long and sounds like a sneeze? A cough gasm? I'm sorry, what? I don't know. Leather and a foot long sounds pretty smutty to me. Well, it does to me because I'm just... Okay, here's a fun fact. Uh, did you know that all sex toys in the ancient world were made of leather? Uh, that was the material that was used uh, for all forms of phallic sex aids in the ancient world. We know that thanks to Aristophanes. In fact, there is specifically... We know that the best sex toys came from a particular location. They were produced in Miletus and they were deemed to be an extreme desirable thing. If you wanted to get your partner or get yourself, in fact, the best sex aids going, you imported them from Miletus because leather from Miletus made the best sex aids. That's anyway, true. the answer is in fact adorable, and it's a shoe. A shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you made it super weird. It was cute. You made it real weird. That's that is super cute. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm raising um I am raising slow mode to <laughs> sixty seconds, my love. We've reached DefCon two of slow mode right now. Yeah. The only the option after this is just to turn off the stream. Which okay. is cat. We've already killed one universe. I'll kill a second. Shout out to Anthony who gave us five evil dollars. Yeah. Uh, and says, Happy birthday, John! Uh, I don't, I mean. I'm enjoying the Evil Mirror Universe. <laughs> I wish it was back. I might just create a new one. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> don't let Butch sw seal the sweet roll! Oh, don't worry. We wouldn't let Butch do anything with the yeah, sweet roll. Yeah, and thankfully roll. there's not that many because if I keep doing the evil voice like that, I'm going to lose my voice real quick and we can't really do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter gave us five uh, pounds. 
and says, uh, Happy birthday, John. I see you have had a bit of a disagreement with your gaming schedule. It looks like the aftermath so will be great fun. <laughs> Those were evil pounds, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, they Excellent, were Excellent, because they were French. Yeah. They were French. <laughs> uh, yes, and a shout out to <coughs> Evil John Clone, uh, 666, uh, gave us two uh, evil dollars. I'm uh, very glad that he was in the evil chat. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, and says, uh, Claire here for John. Claire is here for John's birthday. What is the madness? Oh, amazing. Yes, indeed. Okay, we need to we need to kick off the game, though. Yes, we do. We, we do, do. We do need to kick do. off the game here. So, okay, just want to check we're actually stop on the killing, right... Stop setting. killing universes, John. Right, whack up difficulty to very hard. That's absolutely fine. Have I actually got... Yes, I need to, I always need to check, um, yes, the, um, the pasty, because very often, like, when I'm recording, um, essays, you may notice, like, I have to, I whack this down to nothing, so there's no, like, UI on screen, but when there's no UI on screen, it means I've no idea how much health, action points, ammo I've got. Just wondering, I think, I really hope I'm not about to die. I'm sure this is fine. So you're kind of blind in the fights, which is, uh, kind of spectacular. Yes, I've kind of done this and just kind of vaguely, vaguely hope this is going to work. Everything's everything's going to be fine. It's going to get a lot quieter in a second, and then we can sort of then we can sort of vaguely um desperately uh reset it. So we're just going to start a new game because obviously, like I was thinking, well logically we'd want to we want to skip to uh, say the goat because uh, that's the first time anything like significant happens in terms of character. Well, aside from the special, I mean we could just literally skip to the front door, but then I realised we'd miss the birthday party, which is like you know. Pretty, pretty bloody important, actually. We can't just miss the birthday party. So that's, that's kind of, it. that's kind of an important thing. Okay, so if Claire's in control, I feel like we're going to be playing as Claire today. We're going to be, we're going to be literally build. we're going to be literally playing it as Claire. It's going, and it, you just got born, by the way. Oh, cool. cool the game cool, begins cool, with cool, you cool. being born, and it's kind of originally ended with you dying, then they sort of changed their minds and added DLC where you didn't die anymore. So it starts with you being born and ends with you not dying. <laughs> so that was, um, that was a thing. That was a thing that, uh, that was a thing that they did decide to do. Like, I, I, I like, I've kind of discussed this in the video essays in the past, that it's kind of weird that they clearly originally had this vision for start with birth, end with death. And they said, you know what, we'll have post-game. And I'm glad that post-game is a thing. Yeah, Liam Neeson gets to be your, uh, gets to be your father. Uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's great. Uh, play a name. Play a name, this is... Do you want to be Claire or Evil Claire? Uh... Which universe are you from? I, um, I let's be evil, Claire. That's you're, more fun. You're evil, Claire. Okay, you see, unfortunately, you've you've just been born into the evil mirror universe. So you are evil, Claire. <laughs> yeah. Evil, evil. Don't worry, Claire. we're gonna we're gonna fix the volume as soon as as soon as we're actually in control. I'm aware the volume is really really quiet right now, uh, which is fine. So we just need to get Claire a little bit of, uh, hmm. Shout when you see a hairstyle you oh, like. Oh shoot! Claire. I wasn't watching. Okay. Shout when you see a hairstyle that you like the look of. Uh. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh. Ooh. Uh. That was it. Those were the, those were the hairstyles. Those were the hairstyles. Those were the hairstyles. Uh. Uh, I wait a minute. Can you go down a bit again? You are going so quickly. I yeah. can't see what they're going with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's zoom out a little bit there so you can see it a little bit better. That's a, yeah. I don't mind the blast back so much, but it looks a little bit plasticky. Mm -hmm. They they're all looking a little plasticky. They they've all what got the colors are there, though? Uh, I think you can have. I think in Fallout Three you could you had like um red, green, blue, so literally you could have anything. Oh, I like the I like the the mohawk. You want the mohawk? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, you can have literally anything. So you can have the red. red you can have all the red if oh, you no, want. Oh no no no! Do you know what? It should be an M A T N coloured mohawk. Uh, how do you reckon we're gonna we're gonna create that with a? Just put a bit of blue in the red. And that is right. Don't you think? I think that's about right. What does the amount mm. of green do to that? If we, that's about right. I think. Yeah. It's also on your. It's also your eyebrows. Yeah, obviously. It's also your eyebrows, which is uh, which is great. So there we go. That's that's fine. That's that's evil. Apparently, you were genetically predetermined to be evil because 
the gene projection could predict your hairstyle when you were a baby. So you were genetically evil. This is how we know that you are uh, evil universe Claire. I unfortunately. mean, yeah. <clears throat> I wish I could be genetically predisposed to having, like, a cool undercut or something, but uh, a Mohawk will have to do. Carry on, Claire, while we just wait for the uh, the uh, little opening. Uh, yes, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, shout out to Jesus Wep, <laughs> who gave us 50 quid and says, Happy birthday Day to, to you! you. Uh, Rusty Bike also gave us $50 and says... Happy birthday to you, John! Happy birthday to me! Yay! Yay. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Joe Wright, who gave us a pound fifty and a little slice of cake sticker, which is adorable. Uh, we do have some... We don't have a cake, because it's just the two of us, but we do have uh, a couple of uh, little brownies that we got from a really we nice... We do. Uh, uh, pastry shop that's near us so uh we do have some good brownies i don't know if you're going to want to have a little bit of it at any oh uh, maybe a bit later uh, not just yet no, i had a sandwich just, just, just for had, the stream so i'm not very hungry right now yes uh yes and uh fabulous magpie gave us a hundred australian dollars Ooh, good dollars yes and i mean what a good name fabulous magpie as well Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, John. Long-time Aussie viewer, uh, but have not been able to catch a stream live before. Thanks for all the laughter and the virtual company to get us through 2020. Can't wait for the CK3 shenanigans in a few weeks. I can't wait ah! either. They've got, I've, I can't help but notice, so can't help but notice paradox that a whole bunch of other people have been doing your tutorials. Sorry, were the, were the Imperator tutorials not good enough for you? Do you want them to answer that question, John? <laughs> they were, in all fairness, they were redundant within about five minutes because they completely well, redid the not game. your fault. It's not my fault. I feel like that's not my oh, fault. Dear. Okay, Claire, you've got your first choice to make here. Yes. Because we're, we're setting up primary, we have to set up primary... Oh my God, pri your special. Primary attributes, uh -huh. yes. This is the, your special book. Okay. So you've so, got... Okay, well right now we, we're just going to... Let's lower everything to, to one. And start everything to one. And then you can figure okay. out what you well, want for evil Well, I think I'm Claire. not allowed to raise perception because the chat will fucking riot if I do. Well, this isn't me. This is you. Okay, so... Because you're evil Claire. You're not allowed to raise agility, otherwise you will riot. <laughs> Though, I mean, it's not really... I mean... My my minus one isn't really agility. It's more like dexterity. Yes, not you've got really forty on, points, yeah. so your average is about six or so. All right, about all right. six per stat. But you can obviously have a lot higher than that where mm. you want to. But yeah, you can. Uh, there you go. What are you thinking, Claire? What are you uh, thinking? Just leave everything as one. No, I'm not usually. You actually phys fuck off. you physically can't. You're not allowed to move on. Uh, until the points are attributed, until the points are attributed somewhere. Okay, well, I think we're going. Okay, to... do we want? Do you want? Do, would you like to go through the actual book? The actual book here. Just S. No, is I mean for I strength. understand what things mean, John. You I'm know not... that strength means you're strong. Yes, I do understand Excellent. what they mean. Uh, no, I think I understand what all of them mean. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Right. Well. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. X does not close the book. You're wrong. You physically can't. You can't close the book at this point until you've assigned your uh, you've signed your attributes. Okay. Well, I think it might be a little cheaty, but I know you've said luck is important in this game, so we'll raise that. Mm hmm. Um, like quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and then let's do charisma maxed out because that's what the chat said. Oh dear. Okay. Right. I know that's useless, but I don't care. It's not as bad in this game. It's worse in New Vegas. Yeah, but I have a cool hot pink Mohawk. So yeah. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my perception's not as bad as yours, so we can raise it a little bit. Uh huh. Maybe put it to five to start with. Yeah. And then see. Uh, let's see. Endur endurance is important because I get more health points, so yeah. maybe put that up a bunch. Yeah. Uh, what do we have to go? Oh yeah, okay. you've only got seven points to go, and you've okay, got nothing then, in strength, intelligence, or agility. Then take one point out of charisma and one point out of luck. Yeah. Uh, and then, mm, do we absolutely need a dump stat? That's the question. Uh, no, you can. Oh no, she's listening to us. Uh huh. Um. Mm. The problem is I didn't edit the problem with speech video, so I don't no. actually know how charisma... What the problem with speech is? Oh, no. Is. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, um... Mm. Go on, Claire, decision time. I'm bad at decisions! Okay, uh, let's put up intelligence by a bit, because it's difficult if, uh... Yeah. Know. Okay, um... Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you put uh, endurance at six and perception at four. Okay. And then you put up strength to five. Okay. And uh, let's see, agility to three and intelligence to five. How dreadful is that, chat? You've got what? You've got one point left as well. Oh, I do. Okay. Uh, do you want charisma back up to ten in that case? Um, no. Can you put intelligence to six instead? Uh huh. How dreadful is that? Like, I mean, it's a fairly generalist build. It's not what I'd go for, but it's not... I can live with it. But please rate it on a scale of, like, how boring do you think it's going to be to play with? It's fine. It's workable. Do you do? But do you want to make it more exciting? No, no, no. I'm I'm happy for that. Oh well. Oh no. Kobe in the chat makes a great fucking point that Uh-oh. knowing Claire would hit anything, dump everything at strength. It is true. I would play as an absolute like tank. Oh um, dear. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Don't put intelligence at one. That's just me. You're a barb. You just you said you wanted to be a barbarian. Perception three and intelligence two to make it like not terrible. You want intelligence two so you just don't feel bad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Strength nine, charisma ten. Oh right. Okay. Well, this is this is fascinating. Right. So that's that's cl- oh, good lord. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's just give me a battle axe. Okay, so it'll be, it'll be a baseball bat to start off with. We'll just have to... Yeah, but we can switch to a Warhammer at any point. Everything, everything is fine. No guns waiting. run, melee only. Max endurance for tank. Uh... <laughs> Claire smash! <laughs> Stop, please don't. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, a very charming barbarian, absolutely. Uh... Uh-huh. Oh, dear. Everything's don't worry. It's easy. He's, he's just very. T- he's very quietly talking. We don't need to worry. He's just talking oh, about no, the Bible. Somebody said this looks like a well thought out and balanced build, and then immediately after that, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna have to smash the shit out of things. It's fine. We're playing gas Gaston. That's a really good push. <laughs> Well, Gaston used guns. We very clear. Gaston was a hunter. Mm-hmm. He used guns. He wasn't a melee. Evil Claire is now Red Sonia. That's quite possibly true. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh dear. That's and I believe we are. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. We'll put game volume <laughs> up as soon as we can. Yes. Well, we can now, but like I think everyone knows it. Surprise! Yay! Happy birthday! It's the birthday party! Woo woo woo! Everything's fine. It's now. It is now. It is now birthday party time. We'll put the volume up a little bit when we're outside of like the really plot-heavy areas, because the moment we're in the really plot-heavy areas, where and I think everyone everyone knows the plot of Fallout Three, uh, except for me. Apart, apart from Claire. <laughs> apart from Claire. Claire doesn't know the. Claire doesn't know the plot of Fallout Three. And after this bit, we get to do. The, Claire gets to sit the goat. Gonna make well, somebody po- pointed out that I'm the death by snoo snoo woman from uh, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, she created a barbarian. Yeah. Oh, God. A barbarian. <laughs> amazing. Shout out to Fire Dragons. That was amazing. Oh. It's Evil Claire's party, not John's party. Well, I don't, I'm not getting presents later, so. Uh-huh. Oh dear, thanks for the party, Amata, and I have no idea. It's Grog, I think you can get that afterwards. Which actually, this is relevant to me now, so this is good. So actually, that's actually a useful uh, skill book for me to have when we're doing the uh, the escape quest. Uh, so this is fine, I think I just need to speak to Old Lady Palmer, get the sweet roll, and there we go. I would like to thank you very much for the sweet roll, absolutely spectacular. And a nice sweet roll I baked just for you. And yeah, the easiest solution to the uh, sweet roll issue is just to... What the shit? The the, the pit boys... 
Did I smash the pit boy into something? And Claire, I, I think you broke the pet boy. <laughs> Claire, the pet boy's the pet boy's not happy. Claire, you've broken the pet boy. Uh -huh. All we need to do is we just need to eat the sweet roll, and there we go. Now I've not got a sweet roll anymore. And now, when we in a moment, when the robot breaks the cake, oh no! This this robot is called Claire because it's ruined my birthday. That's that's what's going on here. Uh, and I'll be having uh, all of the party hats for me. And I'll be putting kid's party hat on. No, actually, I already... Uh, yeah, I ate it a few minutes ago. Screw you, Botch. Aha! Outwitted, you stupid bastard. Uh, right, so there you go. That, that avoids you being... Uh, you didn't actually have a... Why are you going to... Why are you... It's my sodding birthday. Yeah, but he's a bully. And you don't have a mohawk yet because you're 10 years old, so you haven't yet grown your mohawk. Me, 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 me. So this, it's, it, that's a work in progress. This is. Uh, I think you get to keep the birthday hat. I think you can find it in your room during tip. If so, I'm wearing the birthday hat like for the rest of the game, obviously. So that's uh, that's good. And I'm, don't worry, Butch was absolutely... Uh, Butch was fine. He tried to steal my sweet hole. What a dick. I think in a uh, moment we are... <laughs> Surely the robot should be called John because it just ruined the cake. <laughs> Shots fired! Wow! Ian. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So yes, my, my I, I slightly had, uh, I slightly ruined a cake. So yeah, that's, that's fine. That, that's acceptable. And thank you for the pit boy. And yes, thank you very much. And I think after you've spoken to everyone at that point, yep, kids thing, now you just have to wait for the intercom to come live uh, for you to be invited downstairs so we can move on to Claire's exam. Uh, because uh, Claire is not I'm going to be receiving, uh, Claire's not just going to be awarded, uh, you know, an, uh, results according to an algorithm, uh, according to predict a grade. Claire oh is God. actually going to be forced to sit an exam to see what uh, to see what actually happens in it. So that's going to be lovely. We have to wait for a second for them to open the door though. So Claire, while well, we're just waiting for the door to open. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Dale, who gave us uh, 20 evil dollars. Evil dollars. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> uh, wants me to sing to you as American Claire. <gasps> American I, Claire. I don't know how to do that. but um, Oh, you'll be my American Claire. Come on. Let's hear it. I don't... Uh, I mean... Um, um, happy birthday to you. I don't know. What the hell was that? I don't that? know. What I can't even was sing that? and I can't do accents and I can't do both at the same time. Um, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, dear John. <laughs> Well, there's like, you know, well, there's like cannibal inbred hicks coming down from the hills. I literally, yeah. all I try to do is like make a slightly more American sounding R. Amazing. Just, I'm so sorry. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, God. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Still so better than so wow, John. not better than American John. <laughs> lies, lies, absolute lies. Oh, somebody's saying the accent is causing them physical pain. So there we go. That seems reasonable. Yes, exactly. Uh, what the actual? <laughs> oh God. I like uh, that this rad roach isn't like you know bothering to react in any way. So it's I'm gonna... so sorry. <laughs> we apologise to your nations in general. Oh my God. Shh. You were fine the first time, Claire. <laughs> and screw you, Liam Neeson. Stop screwing around. <laughs> there we go. And you can actually, I think if you get your times right, you can knock him unconscious and then uh, actually uh, just about in the nick of time uh, get in the photo while he's on the ground. Because you never see, the, actually I think you do see the photo. <laughs> but you see the photo, he's always standing up in the photo. So you can't, uh, you can't do that. And here we go, Claire. Prepare yourself after just a few moments. It's goat time. So you've got time to get a few more in before we get to the goat. Uh, yeah, shout out to Dragmire who gave us um, 20 evil Canadian dollars. Good. I don't know if evil Canadian well, they, dollars. I'm not sure if they're good dollars. Maybe those are bad dollars. I don't know. Um, 
Drag my says just a quick happy birthday and gift before I get back to work. Have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. I was twirling my moustache. Oh, I see. That was moustache twirling, I, I see. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, it's a country that uh, Britain uh, colonised. So, you know, if I try to sound a bit poncy and extra British, that works for evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Robbie, who gave us uh, five evil dollar reduce um, and says... John, you have my undivided attention today! <laughs> Can't hmm. wait to see how this goes! Evil Happy goat! Birthday. I am an evil goat, Claire! Shout out to uh, Pandorian Panda <laughs> who gave us eight Australian dollars and says good morning from Australia. Yeah, it's a school night and it's 12.20 a.m. But happy birthday, John. Much love, man. Supporting you since the early New Vegas kill everything. Oh, amazing. Okay, well, Claire, on the plus mm-hmm. side... Can I get... punch him in the face? He seems real smug. Yeah, but you've also got... And you, because you're a, you're a barbarian, you can also protect your girlfriend from him by oh, yeah, talking him that. down. Let's do that. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Yay! We've gained karma Wait, for resolving oh, yeah. the situation. I'm sorry, but he said he would deal with her later. That's not resolving anything. I still want to punch him. Okay, I'm going to punch him now. Yummy! Punch, shake, punch, shake. See, See, this is what the barbarian is all about. Resolve things peacefully and then start punching after they've already been yeah. resolved. Yeah. I'm going to regret putting like you in charge this. of this run. I'm going to regret putting <laughs> you in charge of... I'm going to regret putting you in charge of uh, this decision. So, the goat. Yeah, we really, I will bet we'll ace it. Especially since it's multiple choice and there are no wrong answers. Okay, so we've just got to find... Uh, there we go, so... Oh no, you actually, you lose your, after you've spoken to him, you lose your ability to punch. You look, I've lost my ability to punch, tragically. Oh dear, So, okay, okay, we need to, we need to get you a little, we need to get a bit of volume back into the world at this point. Uh, Wait, do I need to be able to listen in? Because I don't have the headphone splitter. Uh, that's, where's the, no, 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 I need the thing. There we go. Raise the volume. Uh, okay, uh, yes, we'll need to get you the, we, we, we need to get you so you, well, you can read it, it will all be on screen. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It will all be on screen. Uh, uh and shout out to, um, <laughs> Distilled Puss Water in Amazing, chat. love, love uh, it name. Uh, who says, uh, it's my birthday today too, I'm 19 today. Oh, happy birthday to you. Yay, if, if it's anybody else's birthday today, please let us know. Um, you can at reply me in chat to help me see it because the chat is going really, really fast. If you want me to see anything, Let's please go, at people. reply me. It makes it much, much easier for me. Limited. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, let's see. Well, people yeah, did remind me that it was actually classroom. up to 23 people in a room. And no after talking. 23, and you go to 50% chance yourselves. that somebody else will have the same birthday. <laughs> and I believe we are currently at yes, about 4,000 uh, nice. things. So I think sure we are thing, going Mr. to Bunch. have a... Unless Definitely anyone else has an insightful yeah, comment, let's get started. Okay, Claire, here we go. Mm-hmm. Pay Frankie attention. Vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer mm-hmm. in your photonic resonation good, chamber. Tea. What's your response? And, okay, so, Frenzy Vault scientist, quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonance chamber, and, but doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Up yours too, buddy. Say nothing, but grab nearby pipe, hit scientist in head to knock him out. For anyone who is planning to blow up the vault, say nothing but slip away before he can continue. Okay, um, so given my first response, probably uh, the second one. The second up yours too, buddy? I thought it was dirty immediately, so probably yes. Question okay, two. fair enough. While and then while working as an intern, intern in clinic, clinic, patient, patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles foot through the door. Post about it on Twitter immediately, Joyce! <laughs> but the doctor stepped out for a while. Joyce! What do you do? Oh, he didn't look at the foot on the internet. I looked at the foot, guys, because I'm, uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, don't so... Don't Google the foot. Don't Google Joyce's foot, people. Amputate, scream for help, medicate or restrain patient and observe as infection spreads. Well, that's... Let's not do that. Yeah. Let's not do that last one. Uh, do you amputate, medicate or help rate. or call for help? Um... Hmm... Amputate because amputate. if I'm in a zombie movie, yeah, 
I'm not gonna be the asshole who doesn't like, you know, kill the person or amputate the arm where they got bit by the zombie. Okay, Question fair now. enough. So you yes, you go yourself a young, young boy lost, lost in the lower the levels of the vaults. vaults. All right. He's hungry, uh, hungry, frightened, appears to be in possession of stolen property. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, so give him a hug, tell him it'll be okay. Confiscate and leave the boy's punishment. <laughs> Pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen item for yourself, then leave him to his fate. Lead him to safety, then turn him into the overseer. No, I'm gonna give him a hug. Give boy hug. Yes. Okay, Question give four. boy hug. Congratulations. You know, now you are on the vault You've baseball vault team, but what is your team. baseball position, position do you Claire? What's pitcher, oh, catcher, shit. hitter, or you wish the vault had a soccer team? Uh, hitter, because I don't know what any, I mean. I kind of know what they mean, but designated hitter sounds fun. Okay, I'd probably Question go for five. catcher myself. Your, your grandmother invites you to tea, tea, but then she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What did they do to grandma? Mm-hmm. What do you and do? What do you do? You don't get to know. You get to obey your elder and kill the resident, offer your most prized possession for the resident's life, ask granny for a minigun instead you don't want to miss, or throw your tea in granny's face. Ask for a minigun. Miniguns are cool. Okay, Question. miniguns. <laughs> Mr. Abernathy's locked himself in his quarters. You've been ordered to get him out. How would you get Mr. Abernathy out of the locked room? Smash! Smash! Bobby... Smash! Okay, your options are R, pick lock, uh, bomb, uh, laser pistol, or bomb, walk away and... Sp bomb! Bomb! Fuck bomb! Bomb! Okay, you've, you've got you've, you're growing a third hand out of your stomach. How do you deal with this situation? I'm sorry. I'm, uh, okay. It, it's radiation related. So, uh, do you shoot yourself in the head? Large doses of anti mutagen agent. Prayer, maybe God will save you, or remove a mutated tissue with precision laser. I have a question. Yes. Can the mutated hand? Hold some sweet rolls for me. Uh, typically, mutated extra limbs are like growths in the Fallout universe. They tend not to actually be useful. Oh, bummer. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean... I guess anti-mutagen agent, because, okay. you know, medication and vaccines are real. Okay, someone's stolen your favourite comic book. Oh, sh <laughs> shit, Claire's... <laughs> So you should have just seen the look on Claire's face. Claire's going to do bad. Uh, well, how are you going to get it back? So, uh, trade the comic book for another possession. Mm -hmm. Steal it at gunpoint. Sneak in and, and steal it quietly. Or knock them unconscious uh, by drugging them. And then take the comic book while unconscious. I mean, if if I'm this character, then probably gunpoint. Okay, steal comic no, book at gunpoint. Which one? No. I guess we've already you done that, but maybe... Fun. Mm -hmm. I think people are saying a melee weapon. You decide to play a prank on your father, enter his private restroom when nobody is looking, <laughs> and uh, loosen the bolts on the pipes when the sink is turned on, it will flood. Uh, firecracker in the toilet should cause some chaos. Break the locked medicine cabinet, replace his oh high, my God. high blood pressure medicine with sugar pills, or manipulate power water with his razor so we'll get an electric shock next time he shaves. Well, obviously firecracker in the loo. That's hilarious. Right, so I'm stuck with explosives who as a tag skill by the sounds of it. And finally, who is the most important person in Vault 101? Who Me? Shelters us from uh, oh, wait, John. It's John's birthday. It's John. And to whom we owe hey, everything And who, who, who protects you? Who keeps you safe? Is it the overseer, the overseer, the overseer, or the overseer? Here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, That's fourth overseer it is. And it. there we go. Infamous Time to find out what bloody I'm sure skills Claire's just it tagged so for me. Others, well, <laughs> oh, oh in the maintenance dear. Department. I'm sorry, Don't was I supposed to, to hand pay in your attention and give, like, leave. sensible answers? Yes, happens to people but, who but failed there we go. The uh, this is, uh, I don't want to know what happened to people who failed the group. You said there were no wrong answers earlier. Mm-hmm. Back it's... off. Wow. Wow. Apparently you're going to be the Says marriage counsellor. You're counselor. going to be the vault's marriage counsellor. <laughs> Almost makes me want to get married. Amazing. Just to be able to avail myself uh, of your so service. You are... Like all good agony aunt, half of my advice is going to be dump his ass. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. I've always wanted to be a marriage counsellor. Uh, so there we go. Your job is now basically just to receive Am I the Assholes from Vo Revolt Residence for the rest of your life. I, I actually if I ever become king, I will good. just pay for a never-ending stream of people to come in and deliver me Am I the Asshole 
question so I can just <laughs> judge people. So, uh, there we go. Uh, we've now, uh, you're now a marriage, uh, dear God, Clarence, a marriage counselor. <laughs> yes. Dear God. To know. This is, well, I'm glad. this is, this is fine. So, yes, explosives, melee weapons, and speech is what you, uh, tagged there. I mean, there. that sounds awesome to me. Explosives is so garbage in this game. Why did can you choose? Can we undo that, or is it just... We can, but it's deemed rude to do so. So we're going oh, well, to accept. What does it show? Okay. We're going to accept this. We're accepting. Explosive. Okay, but John. Yes. Explosives are fun because you get to blow shit up. Uh huh. Expl they are. Yes. Yes. I think blowing shit up is fun. Don't lie to me. There are not that many. Grenades in this game are cut. We're gonna have to try and use. Oh, we're gonna have to try and use cocky grenades. Wake up. I, I hate Come grenades. On, wake up. Huh? They're really good in Fallout 4. They weren't so good in Fallout 3. You've got to and Amanta is waking oh, up. And there we go. Apparently my dad's missing. They've Jonas is dead. Now I need to You've escape the vault. But first I need to like, you know, loot the entire room and whatnot. Absolutely is... Yeah. Alright, it's fine. Everything's under control. You just naff off. That's all absolutely uh, fine. My dad kind of left. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't uh, have anything to leave. We're going to easy, escape easy. the vault. And diddly, diddly, diddy. She's going to give me bobby pins, which is very, very convenient. Oh. Let's get out of here. And uh, no, you keep the pistol. So well, I don't need okay. it. Because actually that makes life a bit easier down the line. Uh, and I don't need a pistol because well, I've got actually, a baseball kit. I think what happens I'm here, folks, is that I'm a marriage counsellor and a lot of my therapy is letting people in a room with, like, grenades and a baseball bat and break shit. You know, like, those <laughs> breaking... Doors. No, but there are people actually doing this, like, breaking breaking stuff therapy. Like, you can go to... Uh, you can go to... Uh, to... There are companies that do that, like a like an escape room, but instead of an escape room, it's a room full of crap that you get to smash. <laughs> this sounds expensive, given. I mean, to yes, be... obviously, it's a very much like a middle class hipster kind of nonsense, uh -huh. but it exists in the world right now, and I think that's the therapy. There you go. You've offer. you've grown your hair in the last three years, FYI. Noise. You've now you've now officially grown your hair, and you've got a magic floating baseball bat, which is by far the best option. That we've got right now, so we're just gonna have to Sweet. baseball everything. Luckily, the game starts off with loads of impacts, so we're on very hard right now, there which she is, is fine. Right and yes, there she right, is. Uh, right. But luckily, yes, the rad roach is coming. So I'm just gonna like let these two fight each other for a second, uh, and he'll defeat the um, he'll defeat the rad roaches. But uh, by the time he's done, he'll be significantly weaker because I want his armor. And uh, if he attacked me, then I feel like this is you know kind of on him. And, okay, time to get on him. Luckily, you've got good strength. So, we're on very hard, by the way. Uh, so, just batter him. And go. And... Hold it right there. Come on. And go. Wait, so did this guy attack us? I thought yeah, he, he attacked us. He, no, no, he attacked... Well, he was... Go he said, there she is over there. That's most of the way to attacking us. Maybe we, he said that because we're really hot. I don't think so. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we can get, we can get ourselves, the baton is kind of useless, uh, we it's can... It's called a rage room, that thing you described, Claire, there we go. This is like something from a nightmare dystopia, but okay, it's... fine. Have you seen 2020? Uh, fair enough. Uh, okay, so we've now, we've now got ourselves some, uh, we've now got ourselves some good stuff going on here. I don't need to bother with rad roach meat. And actually, with so much strength I can, I can carry out a giant pile of stuff, so everything's going to be, uh... Fine in that regard, at the bare minimum. Uh, next up, you gotta be help Bo me. Yeah. My mom's Booch. trapped in there with the rat roaches. <laughs> well, John, his name's Butch. Butch, excellent. Uh, so, I think you can offer to give him no, because the the way you get him to help himself is by offering him the baseball bat. We sort of need the baseball bat. Uh, so okay, no, I... fair enough. And can we actually you... persuade him to? Uh, run, they're big, yeah, they'll just go in there and squish them, be a hero, and see, oh, and take the BB gun, yes, you can take the BB gun, wow. that's fine, I don't need that, the BB gun's kind of rubbish, uh, so we can have the BB gun, uh, which is fine, and then I'll go and help him out anyway, because, uh, his mum has got lots of, uh, vodka, and try not to hit his mum if Butchie, possible, help me. there we go, and uh, so voices are a bit loud. Do you mean our voices or game voices? Probably game, game voices. We now. did it! My mom's gonna be okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Yay! Hey. Butch likes me, and I get the jacket, which is, I think, kind of terrible. Yeah, voices are probably a tiny bit loud at the moment. As it does give me that's dr. 
Melee weapons plus five. Yeah, go on. Okay, so Claire, you've um you're now wearing a, a leather jacket with a snake on the back and running around with a baseball bat beating the shit out of everybody. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Uh but yes. Tom says if you and a character talk at the same time you get drowned out. Yeah, I'm gonna lower the volume the voices a little bit using the in-game function. Very, very good. And is that the arrest? Um, I see there's more vodka. Move the corpse out of the way to take the vodka, which has an excellent weight to value ratio, which is highly important. Highly important. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Let me see. Talking to the chat. Uh, we've got a couple of more evil messages from the evil stream, and then we can get to this actual stream. We haven't started this, this stream yet. We're, we're, no, still, of course we're not. still in the evil universe. Uh, Amazing. Shout out to Jackson Ramsey, who became a channel member in the evil universe. Uh, and to uh, commend Zoo Talsing, who gave us uh, two Australian dollars. Excellent evil dollars. Australian dollars. Uh, and shout out to Paulie, who gave us uh, five evil pounds. And says, hi, John and guys, thanks for the years of entertainment. I'm a mini war gamer and I bought Elder Scrolls minis, so I started rewatching your Skyrim run. Oh, that's, that's some good that's hours really of entertainment good. right yes, there. Indeed. Uh, there we go. That was the evil stream. Uh, that was the evil stream, so there we go. Uh, we have, oh my god. Well, we have gone past, what is it? Uh, yeah, we have uh, 4,718 people looking for, right? Right Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's a good turnout. <laughs> it's a really good turnout. Uh, there we go. So, shout out to Final Render, who's a new channel member. Hey, Final Render. Hey, Final Render. Uh, actually, we've got quite a few, I think, Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. Them. Uh, shout out to Ganesi. Uh, sorry if I said that wrong. And uh, Jackson. Just hold still. Your left stabilizer's Sorry, I'm just trying to find the channel members so I can read them out first. And Christine. Christine is a new channel member, as well as Gabriel. There are many of you, many new channel members uh, today. Get the bobblehead in your dad's office. I, I got it when I was, got um, I got it in the goat section. Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, John knows this game very, very well, so I don't think he's gonna miss out stuff. Okay. Uh, let's... Whether I want to bother fighting these two is, I've dropped a save, because I, I can't remember how badly this is about to go. YOLO CHARGE CLAIRE! <laughs> okay, uh, that looks not, I don't know, the problem is I don't have the agility to, do much vats, but vats in this game was seriously overpowered. Okay, now I need you to be crippled in some capacity. Now I need you to be okay. You're on the run, are you? Not just yet. I need you to cover your friend. On the plus side, they're not blocking. They're not blocking, and then I need you to be in some way crippled. Come on. Okay, I only lost half my health doing that. Now I've actually got a gun, and I can have the rest of their stuff too, uh, which is good. Uh, how good is the pistol? And my repair skill is kind of garbage, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, security helmet is... Uh, how can we make that any better? Actually, the other ones are already better. In fact, they're still... They're still four, though. They are all... They're, they're, all, they're all exactly the same. I'm not sure they're going to get any better than that. That is damage resistance four, but at least it gives me bonus melee. I'm not sure there's any way, by the way, to... Actually, I wonder if, if you set yourself up to absolute max lockpick and you took the utility suit, maybe you can just open the the frame uh, in your dad's office. I don't think you can. I think it might not be able to. Also, I always forget about this room. I forget this room because, you know, there might be some good stuff in terms of yes, yeah, sensor modules. There's some weight to value ratio so that we can sell this. We can sell all this stuff. So basically I'm just, just ransacking the town. And don't forget scrap metal because, of course, we can trade that at uh, Megaton for some free experience. So I will not say no to any of that. Uh, admittedly, I'm lacking in options and should I save that? Oh, screw it. I'm going to just increase melee weapons by one immediately. Uh, do a stim pack as well. And boop, down you go. Right, so now we're just keeping on, keeping on. I should just be basically batting my way past a bunch of rad roaches and just getting my timings right on the attacks for the moment. Claire. 
yes, absolutely. Let's see. Uh, we've got a message from Uni Rob. Hey, Uni Rob. Uh, Uni Rob gave us ten pounds and says, "Happy birthday, John." I think you know what's coming at this point. Ooh. However many songs do you want? Uh, however many songs you want today, and whatever you want them about, uh, what do you want us to start with today? Uh, I think we should start off with a song from the Evil Uni Rob universe. So yes. I want to, I, I, you know, I would like a song that's from you, but if you were from the evil universe. So, uh, what does that mean? Like, you know, maybe things could be a bit different in terms of, uh, genre or whatnot. Oh, oh. and come on. No. Damn. And You're come on. gonna be sorry. Come on. And come in for a couple of vats, because, yeah, you can't block vat shots properly. Uh, and critical chance is doubled. Though, with these weapons, it shouldn't be great either. Wait for him to do a block, and then get a couple in. And go! Down goes the security chief. Yeah, this is this is fine and manageable. I've got plenty of uh, carry capacity for this. Screw you, stupid loser. Right, and I think there's just... I think it's just rad ropes in here, isn't it? And there's also... Just in case you missed it earlier, there is... Ooh, tinted reading glass is always very, very nice indeed. Take more sensor modules. There's, a, there's some rad ropes in here, right? I think there are, but your, the perception of this character is quite low, so I might well uh, might well miss it. Maybe he killed them already, because, yeah, they would be hostile to each other. And I don't need to bother interacting with this situation at all, uh, because I left a martyr with a gun earlier. So she's going to take that uh, care of that herself in a second, which is great. Claire! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need some time to actually sort through these comments because there's so many pages of them. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Yeah, uh, Once we get out into the wilderness, there'll be some travel time, so don't worry. Uh, no, I mean, I need to sort through them before I can read them to you. Ah. Uh, you know. Uh, shout out to Miracle Tortoise who uh, gave us five pounds and says, Merry Womb Escape Anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Good anniversary. Uh, may your streams be exciting and your Jaffa Cakes be plentiful. Excellent. Do Jaffa we do have Jaffa today, Cakes today, actually. A, John has a blondie. I do have a blondie. Have a which is a type of which is which is a type of snack. In case you don't know, it, it sounds it sounds like it sounds like something slightly uh, No, I think people smutty. understand what a blondie is, John. It's like mm -hmm. a brownie, but like there's no chocolate in the batter. There's just chunks. Mm -hmm. Or it's a white chocolate yes. brownie. I don't think it's white chocolate. I mm. think it's, it's caramel. It's caramel, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that particular one, but I think there's many different descriptions. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, shout out to the book 778 who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, you're magnificent, man! I hope you're well, and how are you, Claire? Uh, I'm doing very well because I'm going to get to smash, smash, smash. Yeah, Claire, we're just, we're just doing smashing yes. today because Claire uh... has requested the smash. No, you didn't tell me anything about it, so I didn't have time to think about it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> next gen in chat says, a thought just occurred. What's evil Claire going to do to Megaton? Oh, no. No, <laughs> Claire's not going to be allowed. She's not... Which, okay, she's evil Claire. But she's yeah, but evil you do... Claire. I'm not evil Claire. I'm, I'm, I'm smash happy Claire. You are That's technically actually called evil Claire. They did diagnose you with the evil gene when you yeah, were born, I if you recall. Yeah, but I think it's like... It's like how they set out Poison Ivy as a villain and all she wants to do is smash people who has mint two plants. Yeah. So, she's this not really a you Consider yourself under. lucky I'm not going to murder you. What's with the Pip-Boy working now? Okay, the Pip-Boy's working. Yay! The pip this reminds me of the one time that uh, I went to Christmas uh, at John's family with, uh, um, with a green dress. Mm -hmm. And my hair is always quite red, and John's nephew told me I looked like poison ivy, and I was like, "Sweet, <laughs> best compliment ever." <laughs> I'd forgotten that. Excellent. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, oh, chat, don't make it weird. <laughs> there wasn't even weird making. Come on. Is this about Blondie or about smashing? No, it's about how apparent it's. It, it's the phrasing you specifically use about me requesting smashing. I, I can't remember what I said. Well, I don't think it was particularly bad. I think the chat just likes to make it weird. Oh of my god. But anyway. There we go. She now gives me the pistol, which is good. Nice don't job, even... by the way. You... And yep, I'm just going to be uh, popping out of here. I got the key, which is a okay. I believe there's like 10 million bullets in here or something. Do you remember the fan on, by the way? It is a bit, getting a bit warm, yeah. I think. The fan on. Let's do that. 
and loads of mentats as well. So yeah, we're just going to rob the overseer of, of the overseer of their drugs, uh, which is spectacular. And I think we can just open this. Absolutely lovely. Open tunnel. Diddly dee. There we go. So now we can just be on our merry way. I thought that was behind a, a lock. A lock actually. Maybe it was, but I already had the I already had the coat. And don't forget to close the thing behind me. And then just pop myself into. I just wondered if I could get Claire caught there. But it turns out to be fine. So many rad roaches today. So many rad roaches. Where did they come from? Who knows? But yeah, we should be just about out of the vault uh, at this point. Which is A-OK. -okay. There's the secret door. And then, yes, as soon as the actual uh, fighting begins, we'll be wanting to uh, GTFO. I believe you can go... No, you can't go that way. If you kill them, there's like a handful of extra stuff this side. But like... On very hard mode, and when you're using melee, which is not the easiest option, it's better to, I think it's better to just run, because they won't leave the vault. They refuse to actually, um, they refuse to leave the vault. I think the door was, dis it didn't quite have the, uh, it didn't, it didn't quite have the spectacle it should have done. I think Fallout 4 did a much better job with vault door opening being like, you know, an actual big thing. Also, if I, can I pull you out, by the way? Or no, she refuses to, okay, can I, can I pull her out of the vault? And is she willing to leave the vault? No, oh, oh I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm trying to trick a martyr into leaving the vault right now, but she's refusing to. She's refusing to go. Can I close the? I can't close the vault door without speaking to. Her. Okay, I'm going to try and speak to her. Come on, come on, come on. And out you come, out you come, out you come, out you come. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to speak to. Her. Okay, she she just about gets to the right spot. If I can just lure her outside. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see if I can lock a martyr out of the vault, if at all possible. So she's gonna come to me right now. And about. No, I need you to get a bit further than that, Amata. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Weapon away. Weapon away. Weapon away. There you go. And... Ah, she won't come out this time. And she also won't speak to me. She also won't... She won't... Okay, I need to... Come on, Amata. Just a bit further. A bit further. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, she won't come out this you time. You did it! And I did do it, and I couldn't have done it without no. your help, because you, like, killed one guy, and I killed 17, but whatever. Why don't you it's come with me? And Listen. she's not actually, uh, willing to. Then she's gonna naff off, and now she's... These guys are willing to partly... I don't think they're willing to actually cross the threshold, which might let me, like, get a couple of easy hits in a... Where are they going now? Where are you guys going? And yeah, they're coming to me. And then get we get get go screw you. Might be able to get. I might be able to kill them just by uh, just duping them on the door actually, which it'd be. Fuck. I've only got two. Ah, oh, he dropped his bat. He dropped his bat. You stupid loser. And there we go. Oh, he picked it up again. Fair enough. Go. Come on. Come on, go on, come on. Yep. 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 And. Wolf, I'm just gonna go for you. We'll see if we can, we can just finish off with one of them. And we really want the. That's a critical torso. And another. Uh, there's a critical strike. And. Uh, there we go. And we just need Wolf down. Come on. And one of you's dead. Uh, and you're dead too. Then come in. Close the door. No, 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 it's fine. Everything's under control. Right, should be able to finish him off. Then we'll just be able to loot the rest of the vault, no problem. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Ella, who gave us two pounds and says, Happy birthday, Grandpa John! Uh, and uh, there you go. Jinx also says, Happy birthday, John, with a little uh, a little uh, party popper and gave us 20 Swedish krona. Thank you so much, Jinx. Happy birthday, Jinx. Feel better soon. It's not Jinx's birthday. It's but everybody's birthday. Do because feel better soon, Jinx. Because you are birthday. all many a true nerd, so if it's my birthday, therefore it's your birthday. I thought it wasn't that... Okay, it's That's fine. how it whatever. works. That's, That's the rules. Whatever. Uh, shout out to Brent, who uh, gave us 20 Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday. I've been watching since Fallout 4 No Guns, and I wanted to pop in to say hello before I go to sleep for uni tomorrow. I can't wish I can't wait to catch all of this later. Oh, it's good. Well, Greg, it's, it's, it's oh. depending on how much uh, control we give Claire. This might go places. Uh, yes, Jinx says thank you in chat, and uh, El Kitty 
Give us ten dollars and says I'm in an all day meeting, so sadly I can't stay just popping in to say happy birthday. Oh I'm sorry you have to do an all day meeting, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, what? what did John get us all for uh, our birthday? Well you're getting a day long live stream. We've got a, we've got what might be a problem here. Uh huh. Where's my drop option? What? You, you're supposed you to be able to drop things. Um. But to can't. Uh, so I just need to. Okay, I just need to consume water down to two forty. Okay, I don't know. If it, I don't know whether you. It's always disabled during you this. Need to... Well, you had a problem with the pit boy earlier. I so did. Okay, we'll see if it reappears when yeah, I step we outside. We'll see if I reappear. We don't. We don't have to restart. Uh, we definitely need to restart. We might need to save and load. Uh, yeah, but that's no. That's restart the game, John. Yes, obviously. That's fine. That's what I meant. And then we just step outside. Yay! Really good opening. It's going to be interrupted by all the DLC loading in. At some point, that's that's possibly going to be uh, that's going to be a thing, and also by uh, experience and by leveling up, this is uh, this is good. Okay, uh, well it looks like we're using melee weapons. So all right, melee melee weapons. I it want is. a big hammer. Uh, we've not got many. We're kind of lacking in skill points because Claire's a dumb dumb. Um, but he's very strong. Okay, we've got enough speech combined with charisma for now. Those two multiplied together should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, repair, medicine, lockpick is in bad shape. Actually, you know, I'll leave I'll leave melee weapons at 45 for now. And best we get lockpick moving in the right direction. Explosives is... Explosives is actually probably far good enough to do that. And yes, as you are... Um, as you are... Uh, let's get you Black Widow. So you can kill yeah. people, so you can kill men nice and easily. Yay. There we go. And then we just need to we need to we need to get rid of some of the stuff I'm carrying. Now let's see if I've got the ability to drop. And I don't! But I don't want to drop the drugs. The drugs sound fun. Okay, let's let's try let's try loading this. Let's see if that's Okay, um so you just uh, Fallout 3 has so forgotten. I'm a has forgot. Fallout Fall 3 has decided I'm a hoarder. Yes, Fallout 3 has decided you can't drop anything. So welcome to the no drop challenge, <laughs> where I have absolutely no ability to get anything out of my inventory aside from selling it. Once it's in my inventory, it's just stuck there. I mean, forever. Sure you can Surely you can save and load at this point. Well, I I tried, but it didn't do anything. Oh shoot. <laughs> Uh, we can't drop. This is actually the can't drop run. I physically can't drop this trash. There's... Okay, let's try... Let's try going over to... Yeah, let's try unplugging the thing and putting it back in. Okay, let's try re-plugging re that in now. It's not there! It's not bound. It's a glitch going between keyboard and controller. Likely a mod issue. I, there's no mods running. Um, um. Wouldn't be Fallout without a weird bug. Console commands. Uh, do you have dropping items bound to your controller? I don't think so. Okay, let's let's check. Let's see if we can we check the, the game. The things. Uh, mouse activity on. Action mapping. Ready reader. It's not. It's not listed here as an well, option. Can you map it then? Uh, no, because it's not it's not listed here as an option that can be mapped. It's it's like a thing that shows up in that. Uh, okay, no, you know what we're doing? This is it. This is the welcome to the no drop run. Claire's you can place things into boxes though. That's true. I can place things into boxes. Boxes will allow me to keep. Uh, I had this glitch restarting the game fixes. <laughs> Great. No, this is the no. This is now the no drop run. All right, welcome to the no drop run. This is this is an intentional. This is a part of Claire's personality now. So, do you think possibly yes. what we've discovered is that I am in fact um, I am in fact Harley Quinn because I like to smash shit 
And uh, sometimes uh, I I am not smart enough for my own good. I mean, I think you can't drop things that are bad for me. We've got yeah, pretty much. We've, <laughs> we've, we've got enough. I think we've got enough carry weight to get away with this because you've got such high strength. So it turns out actually the reason you've got such high strength is hoarding. Yeah. It's it's just it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing. To, it's nothing except uh, hoarding, as it turns out. <laughs> For yeah. Your littering challenge. <laughs> nice. This is now canon. Welcome to the tidy the wasteland. <laughs> this glitch can crash the game. Restarting early is the best idea. Oh, I guess as soon as we've uh, there's a shop. <sighs> I guess guess we'll sell some shit and then we'll maybe restart the game. You can't drop anything. They're all birthday presents. <laughs> hey there. Who's here? It's Crow. Welcome. welcome. You are, you yes, the armor salesman, which is not terrible. Uh, okay, we're, we're going to sell Pro a bunch of shit. Um, actually, we're going to see if he's got anything worth trading for. Because, yeah, bear in mind, of course, in, in a world that predates, um, uh, that predates damage threshold, like, damage resistance, like, modest rage, ra eh, modest increases in damage resistance are not that important, uh, to be honest. Because, like, you know, the difference between, uh, for, like, 14 and 8 is only 6% damage. But, like... When you're dealing with damage numbers in the early game that are only like 10 or something. 6% is like so small you might not even feel it. It might make no difference. Uh, so this is uh, this is fine. Uh, but I'd say leather armor's not bad for 69 caps. Nice. Uh, so we'll just... I'll trade him that for basically for trash. Because uh, we got a bunch of trash. And then I'll also clear him out of all the rest mm -hmm. of it. Take the pre-war money. Uh, sell him some sensor modules, a little bit of turps, and there we go. Now I've taken his money and his leather armor, which Thanks. is spectacular. Yeah, people are saying, like, you could just restart to make sure the game doesn't crash and then still do that. Yeah, we're still going to do it. Yeah, we're still going to do it. Of course. Okay, yeah. uh, we just need to... Okay. Okay, just, well, whilst you do that, I just need to, to do that quickly, uh, yes. Later, who gave us five pounds and says, I've never caught a stream before, but I've been watching since, honestly, I don't know, bloody ages anyway, early Fallout stuff. Uh, Merry Birthmas, your sound. It's... <laughs> So there you go, and shout out to Stuart who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John, just to make you feel young, I am 45 on Thursday. Oh, wow. That's older than me, just. Uh-huh. Uh, David gave us $10 and says, uh -oh. Happy birthday with a little picture of a cake. And Mega Raptor is uh, in chat. Gives hey, us Mega Raptor. Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. Yay. Yay. I think the game may possibly just have crashed. Great. Amazing. Uh, we did. Uh, we, we were warned. We I were don't know whether it was it was because of that or it was because it was minimized. Because the game doesn't like being minimized particularly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Slightly edge down the everything. This is fine. This is a dick. I might need to walk back over to the, the town and, and, and rebuy the leather armor. I think possibly the, the last. Uh, where's the last thing? Oh, it was down. It was down over there. Okay, which is just down the road. It's fine. Now, can I actually drop things? Okay, I now have the ability to drop things, uh, but we're not going to use it. Yeah. We're not going to use it. Okay, I'm just going to going to get back to where we were. Okay, so while you do that, yes. shout out to. Uh, a number of comments about the second live stream that we had earlier. Shout out to Uni Rob who gave us two quid and says there's a second live stream. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to let's see. Uh, 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 uh. I know there were second live stream comments and now I can't find them anymore. Thomas Richard gave us five Brazilian reais. Uh, sorry and says uh, John, careful not to cross the streams. Don't forget, to, um, don't forget to read both stream super chats. One is lagging behind as well. Happy birthday, uh, John. YouTube fucked up. It, it did. It was certainly mm -hmm. interesting that that was a thing that happened. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, let's see. A bunch of people also saying like how they uh, found you. Uh, oh. Which is always fun. Always very uh, fun. Eat the Vantru uh, gave us 10 Canadian dollars and says, Happy Christmas! I'm glad I accidentally stumbled upon Fallout 3 Kill Everything roughly 500 years ago. Cheers! <laughs> Something about that. A few new people arriving. We've definitely had a fair few new subscribers off the recent video essays. So yes. if you're a newcomer, welcome. Everything's fine. 
which I'm, I'm just literally re- repeating what I just did and getting the thing up just because uh, the game's slightly crashed. Oh no, you haven't re. Uh, I know, I know, okay, I know. Fine, you fine, can't fine, see. Fine, I'm getting, I'm getting you back to where fine. you were. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna. It's, it's so, it's, it's so you don't realize the game crashed. That's... Yes, I think they realized because you said it a see bunch of times. But out. sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Marcus who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, and uh, Drothine who gave us five dollars also and said happy birthday, John. Yay, happy birthday to yeah. me. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Elkana who gave us a hundred Swedish krona and says happy birthday, you amazing man, and thanks for the all the years of great entertainment. Uh, a pleasure doing Next business. up, we have a just to watch someone speak who gave us five Australian dollars and says he is to a very happy birthday in a troublesome year. Thanks for your integral part of keeping us entertained in isolation. Tunnel snakes rules. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's crashing again. Uh, shout out to David who gave us $20 since his happy birthday, John. <laughs> Happy birthday! The game's crashing quite a lot now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that up and then Yeah, you no know, but you should just you should just um Yeah, just uh yeah, exactly. do that immediately. Yeah, because, exactly. Uh, unfortunately it keeps crashing, okay. but that's good because I need time to read the super chat, so There you see oh nothing so Oh the, this guy's just literally appeared out Who the cock are you? Go go away. It was just a This guy wasn't here when I saved the game, but now he is. There's just a raider here. Which is, that's a thing. Uh, okay, slight change, however, because we refresh the universe, um, the um, crow had a different set of armor on him. So rather than buying you generic leather armor, oh, is it gonna be cool? Is it gonna be extra cool? Uh, we got the Raider Pain Spike armor. Oh yeah, hello. Uh, I like that. So it's the one where you're wearing sieves. Yeah, on my boobs. Yeah, okay. you're wearing sieves. But you're clearly wearing a bra of some description underneath. Like, or rather, actually, maybe not. Because, like, no, I think the... you can see that the, the, the straps are to the edge of the sieves. But you're, you've got something on, like, I think possibly duct tape. Stop looking at my boobs, John. I think you've just duct taped your nipples. Great. I amazing. think. I mean, it's kind of unclear because they're clearly not whatever it is. Under... I'm just... Can't get the camera any closer. I might be able to toggle the. Fr... Actually, hang on. John. I might be able to... Yes. What? Baby, don't make it super weird. Just, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Uh, toggle free cam. Okay. Uh, right. And now. <laughs> everything's everything's fine. John. Yes. We just need to. The problem is, I'm going quite fast, so it's quite hard to. to, 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 to... John. Yes. It's, 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 I could, you couldn't, there you go! Okay, so we're halfway through the thing. I think it's kind of unclear what that is. If you had to guess what that was, would you say it was duct tape? Yeah, no, I think it's duct tape. I think it's duct tape. No, now I am the boobs! I'm playing as boobs now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's the inside of your head up there. <laughs> Just as you can see, there's not much in it. It is, it does appear to be hollow. That's true. Uh, there you go. That's... Stop looking at my bits! <laughs> the boobs were bad enough, John! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna toggle the free cab off. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. There we go. Special. That's a special extra thing for the birthday right there. Oh dear. Uh, okay, so that the one option, but we also just picked up Badlands armor off this guy, but it looks a lot less interesting to me. Oh yeah, I want the spike. I want the shoulder spike. I think the spikes are, the spikes are probably the best damage threshold we've got, and we can yeah. actually we can make them up to to ten damage <laughs> resistance uh, off the Badlands armor. So <laughs> that's 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 the thing we've uh, that's the thing we've got now. Clay, I can't, I can't believe uh, people in stream get warned for making things weird. 
I want John for making things weird, though. Yeah. You can have glasses, by the way. Would you like to be wearing glasses? So you can, like, st you can be an intellectual barbar pain spike barbarian. Yeah, no, that's cool. There you go. Do I have sunnies? Uh, we don't have sunglasses. In fact, I can't remember what the sunglasses are in this game. I think you might be... if we could have sunnies, I think that would go... You can definitely have sunglasses in New Vegas. You've got that because they're called, like, the sunglasses and authority glasses. I don't oh. know if they're in Fallout 3. <laughs> I want sunglasses that are called <clears throat> authority glasses with, like, my little spikes and stuff. That sounds good. Uh-huh. Uh, we can give you a little hat as well for oh plus one gosh. perception. Oh, it covers up your, it covers up your hair, though, which is unfortunate. Oh, no, I don't want a cap. Yeah. No, 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 we no, need, no, no. What we need no, to do no. is we need to get a party hat, uh, mm. which I believe you can get at Duckoff's place. Uh, I think you can get. I think you can get them at Duckoff's place. Uh, so we need to. We need to swing around there to get those. And I believe because my uh, explosive skill is relatively good right now, I think I can uh, solve power of the atom um, instantaneously. Lucky shades. Oh yes, the lucky shades. That's true. They're a bit out the way, and they're a little bit, it's a little bit tricky to get hold of, but you're not wrong, the Lucky Shades do exist in the game. Oh no, Chitara, I'm sorry. Chitara says, balls, I was laughing so much I forgot I was supposed to be in a meeting an hour ago. <laughs> Oops. Amazing. Yeah, John's not sorry, by the way. Yeah, it's, the problem is, I think if you pick up the Lucky Shades, you're guaranteed to spawn um, a handful of... Um, uh, what are they called? Talent Company mercs, who are quite tough on very hard mode for a low-level character. So we're going to need to to have any chance of getting them. We're going to need more. But I would also like to get the birthday hat, and I believe I can get them at at um at uh, at Dukoff's. Mm -hmm. And I will go and check out. I will go and if I can remember where the secret rock is, I will go and get that. Then again, that's only a sniper rifle, which is not really my specialization at yeah. all. So, lovely town you've got, message received, etc. I'm looking for my father. And... Lovely town you've got. Be a shame if something bad happened to it, eh? Pretty much, yes. Look, we're going to we're going to disarm the bomb. I'm not blowing up Megaton. No, no, we can disarm the bomb. That's why we're good at explosives. Yes, exactly. That's what people said in the chat. Uh, so, yes, I will see about disarming the bomb, but I would like... Wow! Only 38% chance to succeed, uh, even with, like, speech 41, charisma of 10. Uh, what you saying? Oh, fun thing not many people know, by the way. Uh, whether you've got your gun out or away during conversation impacts speech success chance. Mm -hmm. If you've got your gun, like, officially out, it's minus 5%. Or if you've got it away, it might be plus 5%. I can't remember whether it's done as a minus firing it out or a plus for having it away. Uh, but you're more likely to succeed in speech checks if you put your gun away. Which yeah. is really cool. It's a kind of little cute reference to the original Fallouts where um, you were often told town rules are do not have a weapon drawn. That's cool. Uh, so you had to have one of your slots empty and then just be ready to pull a gun if you need it. Uh, which is cute. Uh, I mean, we'll take the roll. I mean, about 50-50 for 500 caps. Not and enough. No, unfortunately, just 100 caps. Uh, I'll take 100 caps. Yep, yeah, sure. And it should be easy enough to uh, easy enough to do. And yes, now point me to Moriarty. Excellent. Everything is fine. Have to go now. How's my repair, by the way? Can I do the repairing of the town's uh, water while I'm here? Repair of 10. No, I think you need... I think you need repair of 20 or possibly 25 to make that happen. So we can't repair the town's water pressure. And I think if you can't repair the town's water pressure, I don't think you can trade... Let's just check if you can actually trade... Uh, Scrap with Walter. Uh, you might what have you to. Yes, yeah, so what can I do to help around well, here? No and jab on his legs, blah, blah, blah. So and now yes, leaks and whatever. And I'll keep it in mind. Uh -huh. And. No, I think you've got to do the repairs before you can trade him scrap metal. So what I'm going to do is, because I can't do that for the time being, I'm just going to give him. I'm just going to leave the scrap metal here. Uh, which is fine. So I can... Hopefully it won't despawn. You can pick it up again later. Uh, but yeah, I just want to check this. I think you need 25 repair to do a pipe repair, if I'm remembering, uh, correctly. So round two over here. And... Do I remember the cap? Good lord. There it is. No, 30 in fact. 30. Okay, uh, so we definitely can't do that. That's fine. Uh, we should be able to just instantly repair the bomb. The thing is, if we... 
If we go and get the counter off to blow up the bomb, then we can turn the counter off into the sheriff. The sheriff tries to arrest the guy. And then I can help myself to the sheriff's uh, Chinese assault rifle if I allow... Actually, no, let's... Shall we be nice, Claire, or shall we deliberately get the sheriff killed to have his stuff? Uh, I think we should... How good is the stuff? For us, not spectacular, really. For, Minora, for a normal character, a good Chinese assault rifle at the end of the game would be very useful. For us, not very useful at all. Can we, like, get more stuff later if we don't kill him? Oh, yeah, loads, yeah. Yeah, then don't kill him. Alright, so attempt to disarm the bomb. And successfully done. Nice and simple. So, yes, that was super easy. Just need to find Lucas Sims. Uh, get myself the uh, thing back. Power of the Atom. Super easy quest if you've got yourself some explosives, which... Pretty much the only time in the game they're going to be good. Here it is. We've done it. Yay. We did it, Reddit. Uh, right. So, did. yes, I did indeed do it. Here's a hundred caps. And talk to Moira. Diddly, diddly, d. Big pile of XP enough to push me into level three, which is not bad. So, I guess we'll take that. And, yes, don't forget to speak to Moira as well, of course. Okay. I've got 12 skill points. I could get up to... I can't get repair high enough to do repairing of that anyway. That's just not not viable. Maybe a tiny bit of sneak, which is really bad right now. Um, small guns. Okay, you know what? We're just going to not use small guns because they always use small guns. Claire. Yeah, I'm a big gun kind of person anyway. You are big guns, do you? Well, I mean, remember when we played Fallout the board game and I was like, yes, give me the biggest half gun that you can find. All right, everything uh, into big guns. Yeah. Uh, because we can get a good thing. Wow, you're so useless. <laughs> this is, look, at, look at all the nut pokes you gnaw. You only have two pokes available to you because you're so useless. Oh, um, good lord. I guess we'll take Little Liga. Because that's this basically you can't take anything else right now. I just want to know if anyone in chat uh, is uh, if anyone in chat can speak French. Uh, the kind of uh, the aesthetic inspiration for this character, the like term that to me sums her up the best is boin. Um, boin. Yeah. That. Sub boin. Bourine. Mm -hmm. Where's the... No, he's in here. Yeah, there he is. Anyway, it means uh, supremely unsubtle and smashy. It sounds a good, is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and we can also boost strength from uh, 9 to 10 uh, from the strength bobblehead right there. So we're now even stronger than we were. Uh, that's not stealing because it wasn't marked in red. So, okay, melee and big guns, which means I think we need the rocket launcher. Um, which we're going to have to get from Moira. It's going to be expensive. <gasps> We've got enough shit that we should be able to justify it. Hey. Uh, so yes, hello Moira Brown. You want to me Great. to work in your book? Just We're going to help you work in your book. Here's your cool. So that all is all absolutely fine. And yes, it's, uh, start with a joke, etc. Et come up, come on, come. We know, we know the plot of Fallout 3. She gives me the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit, which is pretty good. We might want to go over to that. Uh, because that's really, really damn good. She's writing the Wasteland Survival no. Guide, which is super cute as well. I guess I will help with the Survival Thanks. Guide. And absolutely, so, uh, Radiation is... Ah, yes, Radiation is the easiest one. We can literally do that one straight away. Well, uh, that's so that's absolutely fine. So, so Radiation, she just wants me to get heavily irradiated. Uh, yeah. which we could do. Yes, 600 sure. rads is all she wants. Uh, and also... Radiation. Yes, I let's also have some stuff. Oh, yeah, I've got a house now. Uh, I was totally given a house. I forgot about the fact that I've been given a house. Uh, but let's look at her stuff. Uh, because she starts off with the schematic for the rocket launcher. It's going to cost me a thousand caps. Uh, which is not ideal. Together with, yes, a bunch of stuff for the house. Uh, spike knuckles is not great. Missile launcher is fine. But we've probably got very little way of missiles. Nothing else particularly spectacular in there yeah we just need to basically we need to make a thousand caps to buy the rocket launcher because that is very useful uh so okay we've got some stuff we've already said we're not going to be using small guns if we're not using small guns uh, that means i can sell pistols uh for like 200 the bb gun is garbage the chinese pistol is really garbage we can sell some of the police batons uh, up to about, yeah, you know, it's great. Just, I know that's going to be a little bit inefficient, uh, but that's a-okay. 
How much more do I have on me, by the way? Just out of interest. Can I... So yeah, she wants a thousand, but I've got 400. Can I actually close the gap with giant piles of... With, so all the security armor, all of the helmets, uh, all of them, uh, some of the jumpsuits, because uh, I don't need the basic jumpsuits at all. Keep utility... Just keep one utility jumpsuit. Uh, keep the lab uniform. Then I can trade a uh, packet of cigarettes, yes. Trade ammunition, yes. Trade uh, darts and everything else, uh, down to 700. Uh, then I can trade some drugs, because uh, I don't need all these drugs. Uh, and Oh, police batons. Uh, still got some of them. You don't like the baseball cap, so we can sell that. I don't want to sell medicine. Oh, the vodka. Don't forget the vodka. We have got that as well. Uh, we want to keep that because that's actually pretty darn good. And again, it's it's 12 and it's... It's energy weapons and small guns we've just established we're not using. Ah, yeah, screw it. I'm going to sell that straight back to her, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're going to sell those glasses. We will sell the tunnel snake outfit. We don't need that. Everything's fine. I'm selling literally everything I own to buy a leaf blower, basically. Is, is what we're doing right now. Uh, we're almost there. Mm. Uh, sell the jets. Sell, sell more Mentats. Sell just a handful of medicine. Uh, you should have turned in the quest to Lucas Sims to get more favourable prices. Let's see. I did turn, um, turn in the quest to... Yeah, but I'm, I'm trading right now. I'm trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so people are saying like options to get more caps. William says uh, you can raid Springvale School and take the evil option, extort the lady for caps. I could have done, but we can do that later if we want to. Uh, but yes, for the time being. Okay, so we've now got the it schematics happened. for the rocket launcher. Yay! I've had to give her basically everything I own. And I don't actually have a rocket launcher. I just have the ability to produce one. Uh, so leaf blower, fire hose, nozzle, conductor vacuum cleaner. Now I know she sells Claire, did you just make a note of those actually? Would you mind uh, making yes. taking a note for me? Because I'll, I'll forget. Vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. Leaf blower. Yes. Fire hose nozzle. So we need to get her that. Yes. Can, well we, we need to get these to build it. We're, we're building ourselves, yes. Yeah, got it. And a conductor. a conductor. I got that. Now I believe she sells this stuff. I believe she just oh, happens to like what? conveniently has uh, a lot of stuff going on. So let's just actually self-sell. I believe she just happens to have this stuff on her. Uh, so yeah, she's got one conductor. I'm pretty sure I had a conductor, but I forgot we would need to get... She's got a fire... She's got a fire hose nozzle. Uh, she's got a leaf blower. What was the other thing other than f uh, leaf blower, fire hose, nozzle, and Vacuum conductor? cleaner conductor. Vacuum... Yeah, she's got she's got all of this. But we need we need money. Uh, to buy it. So, okay. That's fine. Because, as you say, we can go and extort the woman who lives in Springvale for caps. Uh, which will be the easiest way to, uh, that'll be the easiest way to do that. So we just need to go and find Moriarty and then just take on... Actually, I'm not sure we need to buy... Actually, I think to extort her we do need to take it on. Colin so, Moriarty! You want to sell me information about my dad. Oh, your daddy uh, but in order to, uh, yeah, do that. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. It we don't need to speak to check you or anything. All we need to do is just, yeah, agree. No, I don't need to bother with a speech check. Uh, like there a, we go. So, was, yeah, he wants to sell me information. I'm going to say I don't have 100 caps because I don't because I just spent all my money on schematics for something I can't afford. Uh, which I bought from a shop that can sell me the components I need to make. I feel like I'm just being scammed here. I don't have the caps, but he will now tell me about yeah, silver. Yeah, but that sounds like a supreme ADHD way of buying shit. <laughs> Like, oh Amazing. my god, a new craft that I could do to make myself a thing? It's gonna take ages, but I like making shit! Uh-huh. Okay, so now we have got that. It we... seems very appropriate for me. Everything's <laughs> fine. I didn't... No, I didn't sell the armor. When I say armor, I, mm -hmm. I feel a bit naked, to be perfectly honest, but it's, it's all gonna be... It's all gonna be okay. Uh, so yeah, skip to Springvale, and now we'll just go and basically rob Silver, uh, which should be a-okay. And we'll use that money to buy the components we need to build a rocket launcher. And we'll use our incredibly high strength to just basically pick up junk that will fire out of the rocket launcher. And then everything will be fine. So yeah, Silver lives right here. Weapons away. Who the hell are and you? And hello there, Silver. And yes, Marat says you owe caps. And uh, 
70% we can just get the caps and then be on our way. I'm tired of nice. out of here. Nice. Like good, some... good, good, good. Uh... So, uh, yeah, she's not going to give me 400 bottle caps. Now, Claire. Yeah? Um, so, this woman is holding out on me. She claims she's handed me all her money mm -hmm. and then she's going to leave. She's not. She ha she keeps 100 caps. For oh, so I think she's deactivated. Okay, think... so she keeps 100 caps. She keeps 100 caps and some... Well, when I say steal... We can murder her for it, and we also get drugs off her if we do. Wait, but we can pickpocket her, but we can't pickpocket the secret money? Yeah, because, like, the money's, like, like tiny bits, like, individual bottle caps, so we couldn't, mm -hmm. like, get them out of her pocket or whatever. Um, so, would you like us to murder her, or would you like to Wait, not? Wait, who is she? She, well, okay, according to Moriarty, um, she said she was going to set him up with a new drug supplier, but she mm. stole the money and the drugs and has just been, uh, drugging oh, herself on, into a stupor. Now, we do have some evidence, of course, that she does literally have drugs in her person. There's drugs around this place, so that might be true. She claims that she was a prostitute, uh, for Moriarty, but bought her way out, and Moriarty is lying. And she doesn't want to have anything else to do with that life. Uh, yes, and the chat has told me, um... Evening. The shadow told me she's a synth? Well, she just deactivated, so she kind of certainly acted in a slightly suspicious fashion there for a second. That's certainly true. But do the robots have, like, are they conscious? Mm. Uh-oh. I think I was just spotted stealing. Smash! 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 Smash her! Smash her? Yes, because- Smash! 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 Oh, she's- Claire, she's shooting me! Who could have predicted this would happen? The thing is... One prostitute my, murdered, you monster. My brain got overloaded with the... With the... Uh, my brain got overloaded with the... Um, you know, decision making of like... Wait, is she good? What does she do? Does she have a consciousness? Are sins people... And you decided the only so the solution to this ethical dilemma was murder. I got evil in my name. You are shit at moral dilemmas. I've got evil in my name. Okay, well, she's dead now, so that's mm. fine. And that means we can also have the rest of the stuff in her house, uh, which may well be uh, right. of use down the line. Uh, so, yes, that was... I mean, she was just trying to get away and start a new life. Uh, but you murdered her. Yeah, no, I realise that since our people, and probably we shouldn't have murdered her, but I kind well, of Well, since want... aren't people, since might be... I think even even if you believe since are, you know, perfectly, val you know, valid, sentient life beats, they're, they're not people. Mm. I'd say that's di they're, they're distinct from people. Also, we're now wanting to be on the lookout for junk that is as light as possible. Uh, anything that weighs 0 0.5 is ideal, because we need stuff to fire out of the rocket launcher. Uh, you fire crap out of just just regular junk out of the rocket That's launch. what the rocket launcher is. Yes, that's you li so cool. literally it fires any junk. Any item that is called a junk item can be fired. Empty bottles, shot glasses, uh trash, any trash basically. Uh ashtrays, telephones, actually not telephones. Telephones weren't pick upable uh, in this universe. We're just going to be basically uh hammers, saws, turpentine, drinking glasses, anything. Basically, so we're just going to be um, picking up everything because we're just going to be loading all of it into the rocket launcher, uh, which is good. Not food, though. It has to be an, an item that's not an aid item, which is what food is deemed to be. I mean, the be. problem if sins aren't people is that you're saying that cats um, aren't people. I don't believe cat. No, cats aren't people. Cats are cats. They're better. Right, but like, um, you know, if you're saying that like. A sins doesn't have personhood, then you're saying that a cat doesn't have personhood. That doesn't set. They've got well kittenhood. That's even better. It's yeah. a higher state of being. Sure. Um, isn't firing drunk all over just another version of dropping it, though, John? <laughs> that's true. This is how like we. Teddy this bears is, for the for the launcher. This is how we. That's true. Basically, yes. The the, the good thing about the rocket launcher is it just basically Gnomes. it incentivizes you to find the most fun items that you want to shoot and then collect them afterwards. I so mean, that does them. sound like a very fun thing to do on a birthday live stream. Well, very very saying. famously, of course, this is what we did early on in Fallout 3. Yeah. Kill everything. It was one of the big things. That kind of, to my mind, that sort of made the series work. Mm -hmm. It was one of those very memorable things. So the rocket launch has a special place in my heart and always will yeah. uh, for that reason. Yep, nothing else on you. We already cleared you out and nothing else there either. 
Uh, but yeah, now of course we don't turn the money over to Moriarty. Instead, we can just um, get steal the information from his computer, uh, which will save us some trouble. So we might need to wait till morning because I suspect Moira has gone to bed uh, at this point. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to not a bot. <laughs> Speaking of synth. Not a bot one two three four five gave us uh, four dollars uh, twenty and says happy birthday. Uh, we've also got a message from Astromancer who gave us twenty dollars and says insert something clever here. So there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if uh, I can do that because uh, you know I'm I'm not the smartest Claire. Um, but we've also got hey, you are smarter than your average Claire. Excuse me? You are smarter than the average Claire. It's a riff on Yogi Bear's smarter than the average bear. Yeah, I don't know that. It, it just do you know Yogi like you're Bear? insulting me now. I just you're smarter than the average Claire. How is that an insult? Because this Claire has like three and two intelligence or something. You're saying all Claire's are dumb uh -huh. on average? So you're feeling badly put upon because I'm insulting Claire's who aren't to you. Well, you're insult uh, insulting Claire who aren't evil Claire, and therefore you're insulting me. Okay. Right. See, it makes sense to evil Claire. Does it? In her oh. very, very smart mind. Okay, let's get over to the uh, for sale items. So yeah, now I've got caps again. Uh, yeah, people in chat appreciated that joke, so there you go. Uh, anyway, Diathene is uh, in chat today. Excellent. Uh, and Dyson gave us a hundred dollars. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Dyson says birthday money. <laughs> Happy birthday to the uh, creator that I binge watch. Amazing. So there you go. Thank you so much. Okay, I need a list of the four items I need to buy. I've got a nozzle. Uh, vacuum cleaner, leaf blower, and conductor. Uh, so vacuum cleaner and leaf blower. Uh, leaf blower. I can please a little bit on the expensive side, but what can you do? Yes, as we've uh, noticed recently when we broke our IRL vacuum cleaner. When you say we, I mean I. I just kind of knocked it over and shattered yeah, the front of it. Yeah, but you broke it because I don't vacuum. It's I true. mop and you vacuum because I don't vac. I don't like vacuuming, and you say I don't do it very well. Uh huh. So <laughs> well, I, I, I would never forget the first time you tried to vacuum, and after a while came to me saying your back really hurt for for some reason because you you didn't know they had the function to. Be yes, slipped down because you have the the Henry style hoovers in France. So you, yes, exactly. You've never seen our style of Hoover before. I I didn't know you could like. I was trying to use it in like the position where you store it and it's vertical instead of like uh, putting it at the right angle. Here we go. So yeah, what you really want is pre-war money and pencils because they're both weightless. So you want to just yes. basically fire money at people out nice. of a cannon. That's what you do Wait, in the and post. And that hurts them. Yes, it hurts them a lot. All right. Uh, it completely makes perfect sense. 100% makes sense. Uh, Good okay. Hunting. So, leave her. And now my repair skill oh my is... I can slightly boost my repair skill uh, just by just putting on the utility uniform. Oh it's not going to help much, but it's going to help a bit. Craft a rocket launcher. There we go. I've now got a rocket launcher. Remember to put my actual armor back on. And this thing is in appalling condition because Claire is terrible at building things. Oh, that's not true. Uh, but there we go. So that is now over there. It's literally the first time we got out there. I was like, this weapon is in appalling condition. Would you like to do something? And now, now what we do is we load it full of shit. Uh, so plates, turpentine, one toaster, tin cans, shot glasses, red plates, milk bottles, metal spoons, metal cooking pots, two hammers, glass pitcher, forks, empty bottles, drinking glasses, coffee, 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 some cigarettes, Wait, camera. Can I not keep the coffee? It's, it's, it's an empty, it's, there's no coffee in it. Oh. And some Abraxo cleaner. So it's now, it's now loaded. Uh, with um, stuff that it can fire. So now if you just kind of fire it, then it just picks a thing. So on this occasion, awesome. we just fired some turpentine uh, at somebody. Uh, and then we just picked that up. And there we go. We can just reload it back in. So it's reusable. Uh, the problem is the condition of the weapon is appalling. So we need to speak to Moira no. and pay her more money to repair the damn thing. Uh, she has a good thing going on, this Moira. She does. 173 caps is honestly not even that bad. So we're going to repair and repair that. And baseball bat is just 1%. Uh, the really pain spike is that 30 caps for another damage resistance, which is... I shouldn't do because I should really... Uh, for one damage threshold, yes. For one damage resistance, no. But now we've actually got... Yeah, basically now we've got... Uh, we've got the rocket launcher. 
ready to go and we've got a baseball bat that's basically it at this point our options are baseball bat or firing shit in people's faces that's it that's so cool that's literally it that's that's all you can do those are your options that's really cool i love that and now we just steal the information we need to continue the quest with our dad uh from moriarty because we don't want to give him the money uh because he tried to extort us so fuck that guy we'll just sneak in the back way and we'll just steal it from his computer so i'll just do that clap uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Vicky who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John, with a little uh, party face emoji. Uh, Titan Uranus uh, gave us fifty Swedish krona and uh, says happy birthday, John. Forty is the new twenty. That's that's so good. So not quite there yet, which is spectacular. You're a teenager now, apparently. Yeah. Uh, we've got more messages about um, we've got more messages about the previous stream. Uh, the evil stream. Yeah, Paper Crane gave us five dollars and says uh, to kill Evil John, just make an omelet. <laughs> wow. Evil John clone six 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 gave us five dollars and says I'm here and ready to take over the live stream again. <laughs> I like how Evil John clone six 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 ended up inside the evil live stream. That's beautiful. Without even knowing that we were going to declare it the evil live stream. Uh, that's that's pretty good. That's Ella, spectacular. Ella gave us two quid and says, "Evil John is the real John." Uh, <laughs> Lies. The, sh the Shambler is still around. Gave us uh, five dollars uh, and uh, says, "I used the stream to destroy the other stream." <laughs> now I know I am. We <laughs> amazing. Oh and, dear. Uh, let's see. Thomas Risha gave us two Brazilian reais and says, "We've killed Evil John, but Good Claire was with him." <laughs> yeah, yeah, because now we've got Evil Claire back. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. A uh, snowflakes, a uh, snowflakes, uh, gave us uh, fifty Australian dollars. Thank oh wow! Thank you so much. Very much indeed. Uh, and says meow purr purr purr. Oh, it's he Tabby. Says, it's a Tabby message. Yeah. By the way, uh, if you were here during our uh, non-birthday live streams, you will know that whenever a really big message comes in, I try to read it like first because you know I try to make an effort if you people yes. donate yeah. like a huge amount of money. I am not going to be able to do that uh, today because, first of all, y'all are being incredibly generous and we've got quite a few of those coming in and also, like, I'm just trying to sort things before I read them so that it doesn't take a million years to read. When it's organized uh, properly, it t it's quicker to read, but it, it does mean that, uh, you know, uh, I'm not, uh, yeah, <laughs> please bear with me is what I'm saying because... <laughs> Uh, it's a little hectic today. I'm sure you're doing fine and you're not at all behind. No, I mean, I think I'm doing fine think considering, uh, but I wouldn't say that I'm not behind. That's good. That's, church, good. That's, that's, that's a good starting point right there. <laughs> there you and go, yeah. yes, now also, just in case you wonder what I'm doing, uh, the reason in Megaton always kind of skip by the clinic to pick up the tape about the android, mm. then ask him about the android, because that starts the Replicated Man nice and early. Yeah. And Replicated Man, if you can get it done early game, is a source of a really good plasma weapon. Not going to be something we're going to need for this run, but it's still a Some good source of XP. IP. Yeah. If nothing else, so uh, that's that's solid enough. Yeah, there we go. Replicator Man has actually begun, uh, which is useful. Uh, okay, and there's no good weapon trader in this part of the world, so probably the best bet now is just to continue on towards GNR. Uh, although I could actually, you know, what? I've got my I now I've got my house. I may as well go to my house and just quickly drop some sleep just to max out my health and get myself well rested. Well rested was a perk in this game, right? That was a thing perk in this game. Also, I can drop my bobbleheads here. Yeah, I've already got two, uh, which is lovely. And there's free shit here, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all this cutlery and this spatula yes, and these plates to fire out of giant cannon. Yes. Uh, and then we'll just so we'll just load them into the. Why am I going into the thing? You, you've set this, John. And then reload. And then if we just go over here, in, 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 in. There we go. So that thing's now ready to go. Sixty thick things ready to go. It's it's a powerful oh, gun. Goodness. It's a powerful early game gun. And then actually, you know what? Uh, so I'm well rested. I will go for a full eighteen hours, and then we'll set out into the next stage of the quest. We'll just head into the underground and go to GNR. Though, maybe on the way, I might swing a bit down south and see if I can get to Dukov's place. Because I think I can get a party hat there. And I kind of want a party hat because it's my birthday. Yeah, of course. So this is, you know, that's very important, obviously. There we go. Well rested. That's 10% XP uh, XP bonus, I believe. 
uh, and we should be a-okay. Now, bear in mind, of course, just because you've loaded an item into the rocket launcher, it doesn't mean it doesn't weigh anything. You still have to... I'm no longer well-rested. Why? Possibly because I got an hour's sleep first. That confused the game. I don't cocky, no. Fallout 3. So I'm now well-rested again. Yay! Uh, maybe it'll, uh, it might be about to be immediately told it uh, doesn't. Oh, yeah. I need to do the Wasteland Survival. John, you need to do the Wasteland Survival Guide before you go. Come on. You literally, it's the easiest. That, like, don't forget to do the rats. Okay, literally, I'm just going to go and drink rats up to 600. Uh, and then I'm going to go see Moira, and then she's going to sort that out. So, uh, Claire, you're literally about to go and drink radioactive bomb water. That sounds fun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we just keep drinking that until we hit 600. Over to you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Let me just copy these. Um, sorry. <laughs> just trying to organize all them super chats. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Cucumber Thunderpatch. Get ex another excellent name. Yes, indeed. We've had it before and it's always great. Always um, fun. Give us ten uh, pounds. And since I joined the stream to hear uh, John talking about smuttiness and socks never change and happy birthday. <laughs> Um, Despot Perrin the Wise of Serbia says, Oh yeah, John on John action. <laughs> Evil John, good John, OTP. Probably, probably. Sounds um, right. Bunty Shuffler gave us $5 and says, How did you manage to get call on the Iron Belt less than five minutes in, John? Get what on the what belt? Get call on the Iron Belt? I thought that was a thing about an item in the game, so I didn't... Um... That sounds like a Factorio thing to me, but I can't remember what I did. This isn't Moira's house. Where are you going, John? It's down here. Well, if someone wants to explain if it's some kind of innuendo we're not understanding... That sounds... Um... Oh, nope, she's not... Oh, she's not... She's not open for a couple of hours. I think she opens at, like, ten. She opens quite late. Uh, there we go. Right, Moira. I've done oh, the thing. Feel... Yes, I'm very irradiated. I... No. Uh, so this is fine. And then absolutely fine. Just, yeah, be as snide as you can because the snide remarks get you the best option. So whenever you can be snide, uh, just be snide. No. There we go. She gets rid of all the rads for me, I believe. A bit of Brahma milk, milk magnets, magnets, and happy thoughts. Magnificent. Happy thoughts. And also, you get a mutation out of this. Uh, well, you're good? alive. Yeah, you've got oh, a tiny, that's tiny mutation move. that's actually uh, benign. Here. In fact, I believe it's quite good. Uh, so yes, when you suffer advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regen. Okay. So if you're heavily radiated, you just get your crippled limbs fixed up. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, to yeah, be honest. Uh, yeah, she wants, uh, food and wants to talk about landmines. Uh, I'll take the food, but I won't Here's go there straight away. Uh, which is fine, so I'll go check that out. Because it's hardly, uh, it's hardly a priority. I'd rather get myself set up with some basics, level up a little bit, get myself into a couple more shops. Because, yeah, uh, there's not a good weapon trader uh, in Megaton, but if I make my way to Rivet City, there's a better uh, weapons trader. Uh, so we can start. Once we've got a decent weapon in that regard, we'll be in much better shape. Um, obviously, Shish Kebab would be like the creme de la creme, so we'll see about that. Oh, I want the kebab. It's a Shish Kebab. It's a, it's a flaming... Oh, I'm sorry. It's a weapon, isn't it? It's a flaming sword. It's pretty cool. Well, it's... I mean, I, I want that. Yeah. I want a flaming sword, and then I want to use a flaming sword to cut up the meat of a kebab thingy, you know? <laughs> Look, they use a big sword. They use, like, an enormous knife to do that. That looks very cool. Uh -huh. Like, if you were stuck in the zombie apocalypse, it wouldn't be bad to be at the kebab shop while, you know, the, there'd be weapons there. Yes. Now we just have to see what we run into. So, yeah, I've got... Now, okay, this is where things get good for you. Because okay. now there's a fair bit of wasteland that needs to be walked across. So there's some relatively quiet moments uh, for you to get yourself caught up while we're traveling. <laughs> caught up, lol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get caught up, but uh, we'll try, we'll try, we'll try. Okay, so uh, shout out to uh, Fabulous Magpie who gave us another uh, 50 Australian dollars. Thank you so much. I thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, Fabulous Magpie says, P.S. Uh, to my earlier super chat, much love also for Claire, the extremely patient, and Tabby, the true star of the channel. Thank you so much. Tabby is having a lovely snoozle on the bed in the other she room She was right so now. cute earlier. Yeah, she, she, she had her head upside cat. down and stuff. She was a long cat, like all the way against one of the pillows. It was. Very I was cute. meaning when she was in the middle of the bed, but she had her head upside down. I like it when she tucks her head under, underneath herself. Yeah. And she's like, she's well, got a, when she's got her chin up in the air. That, Super cute. That, the mattress in that room has like a divot in it at a particular point. Yeah. 
uh, and uh, she likes to put herself like right in there, which is very cute. Yeah. Uh, so let's. It's let's... just her little cat nook. Yes. Yes, indeed. There we go. Uh, uh, Chinese stealth manual from this little house, which is never bad. I swear there's a, a random event that spawns in this part of the world. There we go. It seems to be benign. And it is. Ah, it's a trader. I've seen Deathclaw here uh, before. So, uh, hello, trader man. You're a yeah. scavenger. Uh, so, yeah, I will absolutely trade with you. Okay, what have we got? Uh, combat knife for eight, but it's pretty fast. It's not bad. Spike knuckles is. That's unarmed. Frag grenades are fine. In fact, I should remember I've got a handful of... In fact, do I even have, still have those grenades? No. Oh, it's because I forgot to pick them up out of the bin because the game crashed. That would be why I don't have grenades anymore. That's a shame. Uh, I will take... Uh, it's probably... No, I like the baseball bat. It's not actually... Now I'll leave it. I'll leave it. You got anything good else other than that, to be honest? Anything like, uh, anything small and light I can fire out of my rocket launcher? Nothing particularly of note, to be perfectly honest. I think we'll, uh, we'll leave you be. I just, have I got anything to sell, by the way? I can't remember if I've got anything to sell. Uh, nothing, nothing. Don't want to bother selling any of that. I've got plenty of drugs. Uh, how, how do you feel about drug use, by the way, Claire? Ah, uh, I mean... It's, it's relatively easy to sort out uh, yeah, if you then, get addicted. Addiction, you can just go to a doctor and pay them some amount of money and they just, they sort it. It's pretty easy. Uh, I'll take that, by the way. Sneak increase by one. I don't think you can take comprehend. I don't think you can take any of the smart pan or the uh, smarty perks. Uh, I think you're too dumb for all of them. That's rude. Uh, because I think you can't take educated or comprehension. Uh, I think they're both locked to... Wait, I mean, that's ridiculous. Surely you can get educated if you're dumb. You can learn things well, it if you're perks, not. Perks, perks don't represent I'm about to become this. Perks re are a manifestation of what you already are. Mm. That's a giant rat, Scorpion! Are we running away from that, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Um, uh, we might be about to die regardless. Uh, hopefully it wants to eat her, not me. Mm. Uh, so I'm just going to actually try and make a... A beeline, because there's no sprint in this game. Uh, sprint wasn't a thing. Yeah, that was introduced in Fallout 4. Yeah, it seems to be trying to kill this woman, who's not me. Uh, and also, you're firing at... You're firing at robots, uh, and then you're firing at probably the scorpion. Uh, if I stick close to things, I might be able to dupe it a little bit. She's... Who are you, by the way? Who even are you? Oh, you're just a random wastelander. Yeah, it looks like the scorpion's been pulled off to the robot. This is why I love Fallout 3's Wasteland, by the way, which is, it's chaos. Uh, like, random shit just spawns, and it just messes shit up. And, like, the now, like, I probably would have gone to see the Super Duper Mart and just nipped inside. But now I'm not going to, because there's a giant bloody rad scorpion that's actually quite tough for the early game. So I'm just gonna, I'm not going in there now. I'm just not going in there today, because I can't. So that's, that's just changed how I'm gonna play the game, because the Wasteland is totally different. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do some drugs, uh, if need be. We can boost damage by twenty five percent with psycho, it's really good. And yeah, we've uh, we've got Wilhelm uh, Wilhelm's Will uh, yeah wharf right here. Uh, do I need to go over to? Yeah, I'm way too far north uh, for that. But if I want to get over to, that's it. That's Duckoff's place right over there. And I believe Grandma Sp yeah, Grandma Sparkle this. is a shop. I don't think she's got any good weapons. No, she just sells um she just sells meat. Uh, which is well, fine. Uh, if we want to cross... Is this the Fragmine Bridge? Oh, that's the Anchorage War Memorial Bridge. If we just stick around the bottom, it should be fine. I'm going to drop... <laughs> I'm dropping saves one out of cowardice and two because the game might well crash. Uh, is this the... Yes, this is the Mine Bridge, uh, which is actually kind of fine. Uh, because how long you have to disarm mines is a function of your explosive skill. Which is, while not spectacular, is... Okay, ow! Okay, so one of them explodes and now you don't have a head anymore. Wait, but I like having a head. Uh, luckily, uh, that was very easy to deal with right now, uh, which is a-okay. Was there... that a crippled head? That was a crippled head, yes. Ow! Okay, that's fine. The, those uh, got just a little bit too close to one of them. I've got a load of frag mines though, no, which is actually quite useful. Um, I'm just gonna stick a, a stim pack in my head and my leg. So I've got a fair few of them in a minute. There we go. 
Uh, okay. So I've got a fair few mines, which our explosive skill means that's not so bad. Uh, the problem we've got here is I see the center over there. We don't want to go up top. I'm pretty sure there's some, like, um, some generic raiders who are armed up there. So we don't want to go up there. There's going to be Maya Lurks in this direction. Uh, I just need to know how to get into a good... Yeah, there's a Maya Lurk. I think, I think I can hear another one. Maya Lurks hit really hard. Uh, so what I really want to do is just jump. And then I just basically want to try and use rocks to lose him. Uh, and then, like, avoid him attacking me uh, by using these lampposts. Just basically stay out of the way. And then we're just going to try and get to Duckoff's place and then use the barriers here. He hasn't got a hit in yet, which is good because uh, Milo's hit really hard. Really, really damn hard. Uh, so he is... Yeah, he's abandoned me. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, we've made it to Duckoff's place. This is highly important for no well-explained reason. The game just crashed. Uh oh, no. <laughs> Uh, it may or may not have dropped an auto save. It may or may not okay, have dropped. You were saving quite a few. I saved before the bridge. Uh, we might need to redo that bit. Uh, we'll have to see whether the game was able to drop an auto save or not. Uh, well, while you do that, uh, while you do that, shout out to uh, Oliver who gave us fifty uh, Danish kroner. I hope I didn't butcher your name too too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Tyler gave us five do five pounds and says happy birthday. Uh, Travis gave us ten dollars and says, "Oh, cool! I'm in right at the start. Happy birthday!" You'll Lol. note that we're not reading this comment right at the start. LOL. Uh, dear oh dear. Uh, shout out to Mojo who gave us five pounds and says, "Check for synth components." <laughs> um, though I'm not quite sure when that came in. I'm pretty sure that predates. Uh, oh, it might. Yeah. It might be. It might be what's a face silver. Yeah. Who who broke down? Uh -huh. In which case, that would suggest you're not too far behind. At all, which is spectacular. No, then it's not that, John. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to uninvited guest who gave us uh, five safe. Singaporean dollars, yeah. uh, and says I'm pretty sure this is the evil stream since you guys murdered the other one. Uh, also, happy birthday to John and to me. Happy Ex. birthday, uninvited guest. You're very welcome. Oh. I don't want to invite you because otherwise that is going to ruin your name. But you're very. Oh welcome. shit! The Milo could come inside. Oh, nice. I didn't realize the Milo can come inside Duckoff's party. Uh-oh. Whatever, I've got better things to do, says someone about the Milo. Okay, we've just got... Where's the hat? Does anyone know where the hat is? Because then we can get the hat in GTFO. Then we can just get the hat in GTFO, yes. Um, so there's just a, there's just a Milo... There's two Milo, actually. Um, I don't know. I, I thought there was a party hat in here. Uh, well, what the chat catches up. Oops. Oh. There was a party hat in here. I'm just going to close the door. Okay, so they're, oh, they're, going, to, gonna help. they're going to die. Uh, the new Cola Quantum, this that's just hopeless. drugs. I could have sworn there was... Oh, no, they can... There's three... No, it's three Mile Oaks, actually. It's three Mile Oaks. I think you'd be outnumbered with one No, it's four. <laughs> no, it's four. Ow, 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 ow. Forget the hat, go for the sexy sleepwear. But then I can't wear Kalani. Sexy sleepwear's all over the place. It's the hat. I think the hat might be located on. What are you doing, honey? Sometimes uh, enemies that have. Okay, Bob. Tries there it is. It's on the. It's on the thing. Well, babe, and oh, a Dukov's flirting with you, by the way. Yeah, of course. Never mind. Um, You'll need a drink. Oh, you know. mm -hmm. uh, wait a minute. Uh, Two of these girls are wearing their clothes. Uh, uh, Bob Tron says, if you want sunglasses, I believe there are some on the mounted Brahmin head in here. But I think the mounted Brahmin head is where you just found the hat, maybe? Yes, might be. Well, that, yes, there's definitely, there's definitely, there's definitely a mounted Crap Brahmin party, head. people are saying. Yeah. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Okay, this is all fine, because the weird thing about Fallout 3 is, even though if you're, if enemies follow you into an area, then you're killed by the enemies that followed you in, then you reload. Very often... The game sort of forgets that those enemies are supposed to be falling in because it only loads the cell you're in. It doesn't load the cell the enemies are in. Sure. So it forgets they're supposed to be pursuing. So now they're not going to come in here, but they might be waiting for me outside. So that's unfortunate. Uh, there we go. This guy says I can have as much, uh, as much booze sure. as I want, uh, which is great. I don't believe there's anything you can do with this guy. Uh, he's relevant to uh, the quest. you got to shoot him in the head. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he's not uh, related to anything else. So, yes, those are... Looks like we've got ourselves uh, taught... Ex oh, excuse me, get out of the way. There's there's a hat here, but I need to... I see there's the glasses. How do I get the... I need to get the hat. 
Okay. Let's get the, okay just Are get you the, having fun with that? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get the. I'm trying to get to a hat, but I'm not sure I can even. Can I not get the hat off? Excuse me. Get get. Excuse me. Fantasia, please, please. Slightly in the way. There we go. That's out. I jumped over the top of it. I'm not sure I can get the hat. You and also, these uh, don't to appear to be uh, sunglasses, unfortunately. Oh, no. I can't pick the hat up! Claire, my birthday hat! Oh, oh honey, I'm sorry. My one birthday hat! Oh, sweet. I wanted a birthday I'm hat! I'm sorry, I know. Gonna... The hat is a lie. The hat is actually a lie. Uh, uh, yeah. I did not know that this was not a Hello. real hat. Shout out to Malachi who says the hat is a lie. I mean, I can also see there are clearly sunglasses here, but they are also not interactable. Sunnies are a lie. Yep, they're a lie. The hat's a lie. So unfortunately, the sunglasses you want and the hat I want uh, are both not options. The party hat inside Dukov's place can't be picked up, says Training Ben. The party hat is located inside the sewer way station south of Megaton. Oh, good lord. I don't know, even know where that is precisely. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, so, okay. Uh, the, sewer, the sewer thing south of Megaton. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Okay, so that's the only real Thank party. You, ben. That's the only real party hat in the game, is it? I remembered I'd seen a party hat in here. Uh, the problem is, uh, yes, the lack of. Um... Also, I just really appreciate the, um, the, the quite good lamp in here, by the way. The, the two the people... The little lamplight sticky has one, people are saying. Yeah, but what you can... Can you get it off him? Oh, yes, because Sticky's the one who's an adult. You're right, we need to... Okay, so we need to get to the little lamplight, then we need to murder Sticky. You're right, Sticky's got one. <gasps> also, I quite like the um the sex lamp. The yeah. giant sex lamp. It's yeah. quite big. It's quite cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's I like what she that. said. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Though, admittedly, the orientation of the legs is a bit odd. So if you look at the orientation of the legs, mm -hmm. she's got one leg yeah, over doesn't his... doesn't seem like Which a... doesn't seem right, does it? Well, maybe it's a foreplay lamp, not a sex lamp. I guess so. It just feels like the lamps aren't really orientated correctly. Maybe your definition of what a sex lamp is is too narrow, John. That's fair enough. You know what? That's... Maybe it's a fooling around lamp and we can choose to consider it, you know. Yeah. Now, the problem we've got here is just because the game doesn't load uh, chasing enemies doesn't mean... How it, it did I spawned... make it weird? I suspect there might be four uh, guys waiting outside. There might be... La four Mylurks waiting outside. Wait, yeah. I'm in caution right now. I joined at a weird time. OMG, OMG beard every time's a weird time. I mean, I can see something over there, but I don't see much. I think oh, we might have been lucky. Oh, apparently you can buy the sex lamp from Moira for your Megaton house. You can, yes. I think it, it's it's uh, it's a bit of scenery oh. attached to a particular subtype of house, yes. The sex lamp is two ladies. Oh... That would explain a lot, yes. Yeah. For, well, I think that's me cancelled. Uh, sorry, we both made assumptions there. That's that's me cancelled, alright, sorry. Good night, everybody. <laughs> you can't be cancelled yet, there's too many super chats. I think I've just I think I've just been can I think I've just been cancelled right there, sorry. Uh we're sorry we made assumptions. Yes. We're sorry we made heteronormative assumptions about the sex lamp. Okay, I think the best thing I can do now is make a run for Rivet City and just see what they've got. Uh, and the best way to do that was probably <laughs> it's to go... It's a lamp of exclusive Bethesda women! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shout out to Sir Roderick. Uh, Amaze. Yes, we're sorry. We didn't mean to erase uh, the lesbians that make up the lamp. We apologise for that. It's Sappho and her best friend. Yeah, they're gal pals. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Can we take out the raider camp? Probably we can, to be honest. Uh, if we get the angles right. We're going to need to take them out one at a time. Uh, which is going to be tricky. But if I just get the angles right. Claire's sneaking is really bad. You're very bad at stealth and subtlety. Tracks. That's legit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you coming to check me out right now? Because if you are, we can get some good hits in. Oh my god. Are you here? Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Go, and then right to him, and then we're just gonna whack him. Probably should have, like, bothered, uh, 
you know, uh, healing before we began this fight. Okay, now we just stick around the back. That's a thing someone else would do. Yeah, that's... Okay, so pop a stim pack because they're instant use. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some drugs. Because I've got, like, um, I've got loads of psycho. So we're going to get uh, damage up by 25%. Uh, and damage resistance up by plus 25, which of course that's an absolute number, which is 25% damage reduction, which is pretty good. Uh, so therefore we're just going to come over here and then go, 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 go. And then we're just going to use you as a shield against your friend. Oh, you've lost your gun, which is actually kind of interesting. In fact, where's your health gone? Oh, crippled. I love vats in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 was the best vats. It looked like the best animations. It seemed like it was the most brutal. Like, I swear it was better than all the others. Where have you just gone, by the way? Have you gone to go and get another gun? I suspect you've gone to go and get another gun. Or, like, where did you just go? Where did you go? Where did you just go? I'm going to take some whiskey, by the way, because whiskey is bonus. Actually, whiskey's not bonus strength. Of course, in Fallout 3... Oh, there he is. He's hiding in a corner. Uh, in Fallout 3, of course, uh, there was... There you go. Boom. Uh, in Fallout 3, of course, uh, special was capped at 10, as it had been at every other point in the franchise. One of the best things Fallout 4 did, to my mind, was uncapped special. So you could boost specials like, like up to like, like forty something in some cases, wow. which was just so dumb. But it actually worked really well. I think it was a brilliant system. That special was completely uncapped, so you could just boost it with apparel and drugs and food. Oh, and... not like you would start the game and take fourteen. One no, and you, in fact, if any, stuff. no, in fact, if Fallout Four gave you less special to start with. It, it gave you less, but like if you would, if you were to boost it as time went by, that's Radix and Vodka. Then you could like, I think like the highest you could get like agility was like forty something, mm. uh, and it was really cool. And like strength, you get like into the thirties, and that immediately tracked to the damage you could do. Uh, it was really good. It was a really fun system. One of the things I'll be talking about in Fallout 4 is better than you think, which is coming up soonish. Pretty soonish. Mm. So I, I should really start picking up boost because there's no point in me boosting strength anymore. Uh, because, but then again, boost is valuable to sell. So that's fine. Uh, and shotgun shells is alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just take all of this because that's a good weight to value ratio. Uh, all things considered. Uh, and ooh, noodles. That's good. I'm going to give you a bowl of noodles, Claire. Nice. Delicious. I like noodles. Delicious. Noodles are pretty good. Noodles are pretty darn sweet. And that, we're just going to take the booze. And yeah, we could easily take those guys. That was that was a pretty okay, positive okay, fight. Okay. Um, yes. The party hat in the sewer way station is located directly south of the Super Duper Mart and northwest of Greyditch, but it is also on a ghoul. So thank you to Ryan for letting us know that. I'm actually going to copy that. If it's one ghoul, that's intense. not the worst in the world. But I think stickies might be the better option. Mm. I think I'm just going to I'm, I'm copying option. that uh, just so we have an exact place. Yes. keep it. Let's keep it. Because I think having a party hat's pretty important for the birthday stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody agrees with that. I think we need a party hat. But stickies is going to be the easiest to get hold of. Because we can just yeah. murder him after he leaves... Um, after leaves a little lamp light. Uh, okay. You! What are you selling? You're selling some frag grenades, which is... Kind of may as well, to be honest. I mean, I'm just... I can just trade you ammo. Uh, a load of ammo. And then I can also just trade you dirty water. And then all the booze. Uh, because if nothing else, I can just get myself... Yeah, you know what? I'll have all of them. And then I'll just trade you all of this. And then that's... It won't tell me to lose a pistol. And I'll keep the I'll keep the frag mines. They're useful. I should remember I've got them because that's genuinely pretty useful. Uh, other than that, you've got nothing of any no. Goodbye. Another sad. Uh, you do have a skull on you, which I could fire at my enemies, which is kind of cool. I like being able to to fire a skull at my enemies. And yeah, then, that would be great. I'm then we're into that. super mutant territory, which I might just want to skirt around uh, with a radax. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to Radex, and then we're just going to swim around the Super Mutant area, because that'll get us very few hits. Because, yeah, there's, there's Super Mutants in this building, and that's kind of dangerous. So the easiest way will just be uh, swim around, uh, hit uh, b -b -b uh, Jefferson Memorial, and then we'll hit Rivet City, because at this range, they're not going to take pot shots at me. And Super Mutants are kind of tanky, and when you've got, like, two Centaurs in support of potentially... I don't think you're going to hit me, actually. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit dangerous. Uh, at least I'm better armed. 
So, uh, I'm going to go to Rivet City to visit the Weapon Trader. Then we're going to go into the Subway uh, and visit uh, GNR. And then we should be able to start making some faster progress. That shouldn't be too bad at that point. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out uh, to uh, Finon, who gave us five pounds and says, John is inevitable. Shh. Which I thought was very fun. So that's definitely from very early on. Because uh -huh. that was that was from the point just after yeah. we, uh, we 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 got rid of the can, original evil stream. Can we not focus on how behind I am, please? Oh, uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, shout out to Rupert who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday from Brooklyn. Uh, Flair gave us five pounds and says happy birthday to you. It's nice to have me to receive the singing rather than be the one handing it out for once. Yeah, I mean, especially since I'm the one having to do the singing. Exactly. Happy birthday, John Meniatrunard. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I, I if I do funny voices, can you can you hear my bad singing less? I was about to say could, maybe I should do the singing. Oh, yeah, so here you go. You, you can learn. You could learn money into the gun. It's weightless, meaning it's the nice. best thing to shoot. Firing money out of your gun is the best way to. Is the best yeah, way to yeah, play the game. Yeah. It's great. Well, uh, shout out also to Air Terranian who gave us a five uh, pounds and says a very happy and most splendid birthday to you, John old boy. May uh, you have a wondrous day and a marvelous time ahead of you. Well, I think we're going to so have a lovely day here today. Absolutely. And Dave gave us fifty dollars. Thank you so oh, much, thank you Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, and says, happy birthday. I am so glad I jumped into this stream. The good universe that survived. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, let's see. Little do they realise the evil universe is still there. Except in that universe, we're playing Fallout 76. Oh, the, the most evil universe of all. Shout out to Herbie, who uh, gave us five pounds and says, happy birthday. Will you be making the character there skills infinitely scalable? Absolutely. I, well, Claire's picking them, so yes. Okay, well, I don't know what that means, so that's great. Uh, that was that was from last, uh, no, the year before last's mm. birthday live stream, where I claimed everything was going to be infinitely scalable, and it wasn't. Because okay. that turned out not to be. Because of the things that John got wrong. It, uh, being a little bit shot at right now, but it looks like the super units are just firing basic hunting rifles, which shouldn't be a major problem. Mm -hmm. uh, if they decide to chase, I will return fire with the rocket launcher, but there's no need to do that just yet. I think we're... Yeah, it looks like to me like they're not particularly interested in pursuing and they're not that accurate, so I'm happy to just uh, take cover and keep on... Ow! That's a minigun, though! It's only a tiny bit of a minigun shot. It's nothing dramatic. I'm sure we're fine. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Let's see who we got next. Come on, weapons uh, trader. Not so Crow. <laughs> Shout oh, out look, it's Rivet City. Hello. The problem is I don't think I can strangle him on his birthday. <laughs> Damn, it actually is Crow, which is really annoying. Oh, well. Uh, shout out to Jack, who gave us $5 and says, Who is the one that oversees the channel to whom we owe our very lives? Welcome it's John! A John, B John, C John, D John, you gotta pick. It's the it's it's C. It's C the John Vasir. It's C, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that one for free. All Lovely. right, all right, all right. Uh, Mojo gave us five pounds and says, uh, and, uh, oh, I've already read that one. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I'm going to reread it, it right just there. in case it was somebody else yeah, saying the same thing enough. because that happens. Mojo gave us five pounds and says, check for a thin component. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam gave us ten pounds and says, happy birthday, John. Uh, let's see, uh, Don Wonks gave us 10 Canadian dollars uh, and sent us a little sticker of a pair bowing down saying thank you. I think I've seen that. I like yes, the pairs. Indeed. The, the pairs, pairs are good. Very cute. The stickers are cute. Uh, Ryan gave us $5 and says, happy birthday, man. Happy uh, birthday to you too. Yes, indeed. Mike, That's how it works. Yeah, Mike gave us five pounds. Fuck, it just crashed ah! again. Oh, fuck. How long has it been since I saved? <laughs> Great. Fuck you, Fallout 3! Uh, not with that kind of attitude, Claire. You won't be able to throttle him with that attitude. There you go. Probably stepping out of that little shack. 
Ah, there you go. Oh no, I saved her. Oh no, because I, I auto saved when I passed time. Yes, fuck you, Fallout 3. Yay, now we're fine. Ah, and I've actually got a weapon shop, uh, which is very important. We're going uh, to because you might actually have some. You better some... get out of here. It's 10 a.m. What do you mean to, to, you're closing soon? It's literally 10 a.m., you dick. Right, he's, he's selling a baseball bat, which I can use to repair my baseball bat. Not much, but a bit. Challenge assault rifles, obviously. Uh, combat knives in not terrible condition, to be honest. Uh, fat man, but I'll get a free one of them at GNR. If he's selling the ammo, that might be more of interest. Uh, okay, and yeah, let's keep on past the fat man. Laser pistol, laser pistol. Missile launcher is... But again, I need the missiles. Uh, son of shotgun. Sledgehammer! <clears throat> I oh, think, yes, yes, sorry. I, th I, I was about to say, I, think, I, I assume you are pro Sledgehammer. Well, yeah. Okay, Sledgehammer. We're yes. going to buy both yes. the combat knives, because yes. uh, that's pretty yes. good as a fast weapon. Yes. Uh, he's selling combat armor at not a terrible price, to be honest. Uh, I've probably got the where I need for the combat armor, so I'll take that. Yeah, I could afford that straight away. Uh, and if he's selling mini nukes, I will... Oh, those cost... Wow. Those cost a lot each. Missiles are 72 wow. each. Uh, but I feel like that <laughs> wouldn't be a terrible invest. I'm just going to see if I could maybe afford that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Amazing. I've got like um, nothing. Shout out to Joshua who gave us two uh, euros 30 and said Fallout 3 is better at crashing than you think. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> this is this has been bad for crashing. Mm -hmm. This is, is uh, because of Windows 10. Somebody asked in the chat. I've I, I've never seen Windows be be quite this bad. I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that we're streaming it. That's another another program is reading the window mm -hmm. or something. Uh, but that is, yeah, that's I, I've I've not seen it be this bad for a while. This is this is quite bad. Seventy two for a missile. And also, you want up front. How much for a missile launcher? I think the missile launcher itself is cheap. Yeah, that's that's where they get you. They'll charge you. The, the missile launcher is cheap, but they'll rip you off on the missiles. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Uh, and a source of missiles is not exactly the most common thing in the world. Ugh. I mean... Oh my god, he would die. Claire, would you like a missile launcher? Well, obviously. Uh, fine, we'll find a way to get you a missile launcher. Thank you. We'll find a way to fund it. Uh, Bendrix gave us ten dollars and says I'm contributing to the John drinks every time the game crashes fund. Oh good lord! We're not going to do that no, because it's bad call, bad we call. will die. Bad decision. Okay. Yeah. And also because um, I don't think we put our cocktails in the fridge beforehand. So no, we should do though. You, we should. Did you want to have a? One I'll, or have two a later? I'll have a cocktail Shall later. I go do that? Yeah. Do you, have, um, do you want to finish your water and then I'll go replenish both of our waters and go to the That's fridge and stuff? Oh my god, Canada's bacon! Dope! Hello, Canada's bacon! Uh, Canada's bacon gave us 300 Canadian dollars! Best dollars! Also, I want you to calculate how many Jaffa cakes that represents. Happy birthday, John! All the Jaffa cakes to you! As for me, I'm working again, which means I won't be able to make as many streams, but I'll still be popping up constantly, uh, occasionally for them. That's very different. Sorry, yep. Canada's bacon. <laughs> Uh, and I'll be watching every video and asking questions on the Patreon cast. Be safe, happy, and healthy. Fortuna Perceptivo Ilo Yuva. I'm assuming it's a perception joke, but you tell me what that means. I didn't, I, I, I didn't need to see it. Okay, wait a second. Uh, there you go. It's on my screen. Beep, 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 yeah. beep, 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 beep. Uh, oh, oh, fortune, fortune favors the perceptive. Fine. It's, it's mm. like fortune, fortune favors the bold, but uh, perceptive. Uh, oh, I thought it was Fortune Favors the Brave. Yes, the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yes. Okay, so we've now got ourselves some weapons. Another satisfied uh, Which is pretty good. Uh, meaning we now have... Yes, I'm sorry, we've given away the um, the sieve boobs for some uh, combat armor. But I mean, I suppose. It's a lot Does better. Does it look cool? I mean, it's... It, it looks like armor. To be honest, it's it's fairly generic. We'll have to find cooler looking looking armor. That's yeah, not sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, but we do now have yeah. Sledgehammer is much better than baseball bat, uh, which is great. So we'll put that up top over there. The missile launcher can now be over on this side, which has got two missiles for it, and uh, 
yeah, we'll repair the combat knife together, though that didn't actually get me anything, and then, yeah, we've now got ourselves, uh, uh yeah, so, sledgehammer, and combat knife, which is obviously much faster, even though it doesn't hit quite as hard, so yeah, against, uh, kind of, against, like, lower armoured enemies, like, uh, that's probably a bit better, uh, so we're gonna say animals, that'd be better, uh, missile launcher, which is in poor condition, but whatever, and loads of shit, I can fire that. Okay, so we've now got ourselves a little bit more of, like, you know, stuff. Yes. And also, I should Don't sell... You uh, kidding, right? is, I want, look, I, I want to sell to you, you dick. Uh, yeah, just selling the baseball bat for a tiny bit of money. Yeah, so we're pretty much out of money at this point, uh, which is uh, not spectacular. Uh, but it'll do. It'll do. We're in we're in good shape in that regard. Let's go over to uh, Sledgehammer. So yeah, obviously that's, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Oh yes, and don't forget, if you can sort of get away with it, there's a free bottle cap mine on in every uh, the bottom of every workbench. Let's just wait till you hidden. Grab that. Obviously, bottle cap mines are ridiculously powerful. Uh, and yeah, there's just I don't know why. But, like, there's just every time... In fact, I didn't get the one in Megaton. Uh, every time you run into a workbench, there's always a free bottle cap mine. Uh, maybe it's just in town. I'm not sure it's everywhere. If you run, like, one out in the wild, I'm not sure there is one. But, like, there's, they're all over the bloody place, uh, which is excellent. So, yeah, I've now got myself much better, much better stuff, including, yes, sledgehammers! Yay, sledgehammers! Highly important. Uh, so, okay. Now we've actually got ourselves a little bit better armed... Uh, I've got to save before every door at this point, because the game is clearly feeling temperamental today. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to... We'll go to the wharf, because that's safer than Super Duper Mart, because there may well be problems. And I'll up to some fresh water. Oh, good shot. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go to the wharf, and then we're going to cut to GNR. So this is just going to be cutting through the underground section. But now I've got the sledgehammer, and I'm like level 3 or 4. That shouldn't be too bad. That sounds fun. Sh holy shit, the rad scorpion was, was was still around. That cocky rad scorpion is... What What is your problem, mate? Actually, I think it spawned in, then it re Oh shit, I'm not supposed to be here. Then it started running off. Um, so the rad scorpion is just gone. And I am still hidden, technically. Uh, the problem is... Oh, I shouldn't be here. This is the... This is where the super mutants appear, isn't it? When I see you guys over there... Isn't this... Uh, the super mutants guaranteed to appear here? Or maybe they... Wait, do they only spawn in when you're on the far side? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's true. Oh, well, I'm in danger. Ow, ow, ow. Someone's shooting me. Someone's shooting me right now. Stop being dicks. Uh, okay, we need to loop around this way. I think it's just a handful of raiders. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a bit dark at the minute. Just cut across the water. Rads in the water are not so bad. It got a lot nastier in Fallout 4. But then equally, Fallout 4, you could just take Aqua, Aqua Boy and Aqua Girl. Which is uh, pretty much the best perk of the game for being transformational of how much you can move around afterwards. How are we doing, by the way? I think we are okay. Actually, that's a good point. I forgot the intelligence bobblehead. Should have grabbed that while I was at Rivet. Uh, we'll go and grab that after, we, after we're done with GNR. It's not going to matter a huge amount for one level. Right. Ignore the raiders. And now, now we're just going underground. And yeah, this base camera should work perfectly well against just like a handful of like mole rats and shit. Uh, so yes, we're just going to basically be doing a little bit of looting while we pass through the station. And yeah, it'll just be, it'll just be mole rats and whatever. I'm pretty sure I can't... I could spawn this guy to help, but there really is no need. Also, I didn't need to pay Moira, because, like, seriously, fire, ho uh, fire hose nozzles are everywhere in the underground. Uh, but whatever, I decided I just felt like funding Moira uh, for some reason. So that's all absolutely you fine. You say she's writing a book. She's writing a book, yes. So that's why we fund her. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> it's true, which... We didn't need to. We're just sort of... We're just kind of backing... Uh, we're backing her Kickstarter ad. <laughs> But, I'm going to be honest... See, when we're not playing Stellaris, but we're still backing somebody's Kickstarter, so there you go. There we go. Okay, so, it's not the best in the world, but it'll do. The amount of damage is fine. Wow, I can literally only get one hit. I can literally get a single hit in, in Vats with the Sledgehammer. That's crazy. I'm wondering whether the knife might be a better option for swing speed, and in terms of Vats damage it can do. Uh, next time I run into a mole rat, we'll have to, 
We'll have to think about that. Claire? Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to uh, W. Choi, who gave us 100 uh, Hong Kong dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Age Hall gave us 500 Swedish kroner. And says, who are you and what have you done to our John? What did you do to Claire? <laughs> Which uh, I think is still quite early on because it's A reference about, to uh, the evil yeah, universe. Good John and evil Claire. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Danny who gave us $10 and says, I'm a high school teacher in Oklahoma and we are working to get ready for socially distanced kids. So I won't be able to watch until later. But happy birthday and all my love to you three. Aww. Thank Lovely. you so much. Thank, Thank you for you being an much. awesome teacher. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to Titan who gave us 50 Swedish krona and says, remember that the snap is the fingers hitting the palm. Most bad snappers think it comes from the friction or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, I tried noise. to like see what they meant. Uh, and uh, it, the problem is you need to snap quite quickly for it to work and then you can't like actually see. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've also got a comment from Robbie who gave us five dollars uh, and says, I'm so happy to be back from deployment and able to watch your videos again. 185 days at sea and we only got to port for five days. I hope you get to like download a bunch of like the videos uh, like on your phone or whatever so you can watch them or something like that. I don't know. Uh, there we I go. think it's a thing you maybe can do. I, I don't know if it's a premium thing or what, but uh, yes, I hope you can get yourself like loads of videos to watch for what you are editing again. That's right. There's plenty of ways you can do it, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay, boost big guns and melee, but what are the big things I actually need here? Uh, speech could be a little bit higher, but honestly, it's not the biggest issue in the world right now. Especially given, uh, actually, you know what, if I take one less there, I get lockpicks 25, which is pretty good. So yeah, big guns 35, melee weapons 53, lockpick 25, uh, and finally we unlock some new stuff. Yes, I do not get educated. Uh, you can have scoundrel, iron fist, unarmed is not what we're doing, child at heart is kind of bad. You have little league at two, scoundrel as well, speech and barter. Claire, do you want to boost one of your specials, uh, take a bit more melee and explosives, uh, uh, be nice to children, No. Um, or speech and barter? Okay, I think we should boost intelligence because I think then we get more points and perks and whatnot when we uh, level up, so that's better for the game. You're not wrong. Ah, um, see, I listen when I edit the videos. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. And yes, just uh, FYI, uh, I see people asking in chat, this stream will be uploaded as a video. We are going to take it down. Probably, We're yes. going to unlist it after it finishes because uh, YouTube needs time to process and if we just leave it up, it'll have only the last four hours. Yes. Uh, so we'll unlist it now and then they'll go back up uh, in a few days. Mm hmm And I'm broadly happy with how that went, yeah. by the way, just because, yeah, that... The ambush with two roamers and two ferals and low level... You need child heart to get into lamplight. Huh? You need child at heart to get into lamplight. Actually, that's true. That's a really good way of getting into lamplight early. That is actually the easiest way to sneak into early lamplight. Uh, that's a very good point. Early, If we want the hat, early lamplight is going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, but this is Fallout 3 when you get a perk, when you get perks constantly. Uh, so we may yes, well and take... Yes, and now I'm smarter, we can get a few more of them. So. That's actually a very good point. Well done. Well done, chat. Good remember. If only John grabbed the intelligent bobblehead in River City when he was there. If only, but I yeah, just Yeah, but you didn't. can go back there, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and is this the... Is this where we're coming up on... Is this Raiders? or We're coming up on, the, on a mutant sooner or later. Also, I'll take new cola because I can just drink new cola for uh, free healing over time. It's so weird that in this generation of Fallout, like, food and drink gave you healing over time, but, like, everything else gave... But, like, the stim packs were instantaneous. That was so weird. That, that was the decision they made. It makes so much more sense in Fallout 4 where they standardized it, where everything is healing over time. It's just the healing rate that varies. I'm pretty sure we're coming up on Super Mutant number one here. Uh, you are a bunch of rad roaches who I think are just going to go ahead to get yourselves killed by a Super Mutant just for fun, aren't you? Just for funsies? I think you are. 
yeah, there it is. I love the introduction of the Super New, where he's like, he's standing in the, uh, he's just standing, and you see the silhouette in the distance. It's really cool. Uh, but he's also, he's also just walking over here and not, I mean, if you'd like to, if you'd like to go, like, come back. So I was, I was going to be honest, I was planning to shoot a missile at him. I was planning to make this my first missile shot. But now he's, he's wandered off. Which is rude. Uh, also, I should have repaired that sledgehammer when I got the option. But now, now there's... Now there's nowhere he is. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I don't know if he fights the... Also, I don't know if he fights the, um, the ghouls in this room. So there, there are ghouls in this room. Um, that's a triple save. Because now I don't know where the, the mutant is. And if they all get on top of me at once, that could be dangerous. Uh, I've lost the mutants. I think they might be... Are they fighting each other? I think they're fighting each other. I hope they're fighting each other. Well, okay. Well, you're you're fighting. Okay, well... Okay, how many... Oh, wow. Four. Okay, well, I've got four... I've got four stabs with the knife uh, in Vats versus one sledgehammer. That's definitely for the better. Uh, please go back to Hidden. Yep, Hidden. Where's the mutant? Where's the mutant? He was over here. Where's he gone? Okay, I'm definitely preferring the knife over the sledgehammer. Because, yeah, I get literally... Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah, you actually... This is this is actually fine. Uh, Claire, would you like to sledgehammer a super mutant to death? Yes. All right. Well, that's fine because he's been weakened by the Roma. And how did you lose us? All right, fine. And... Oh! <laughs> Tell you, you stupid loser. Oh, he's fine. No, he's not. He, he, he took that like a champ. He's also using a board with a nail in it. Nice. Which is uh, vastly inferior to my sledgehammer if I wanted a single thing. That actually worked out really nicely. Uh, my enemies took each other out there, uh, which is really good. And the red pass card that does absolutely naff all. But I think the knife is better because four hits from a knife is worth way more damage uh, than one hit from a sledgehammer. Like so much more damage. That's crazy how much better that is. Uh, so that is, that is a-okay. Also, I think I'm, I'm going up here right now, aren't I? Yes, yes, I, wow, you did, that super mutant did some great work. That's, that's been marvellous. Uh, is also more mole rats, but are we okay? And it's, it is, but, oh, that's tearing them apart. Yeah, uh, my enemies seem to have done a really good job turning on each other on this case. You don't always see that. Uh, so lights off, because we're going out into... No, we're not. John, you're not going into the mall because you're going into Chevy Chase. Just remember where you are, John. Because I skipped ahead. I thought we were going I thought we were going to the Museum of Technology. That's not what we're doing. Ow! There was a mine there. And teddy bear! Yes. Highly important. Uh, and also, uh, purified. Purified water. Purified water for healing. Boop. Right. Because uh, that, that will help with the fact I just set for mine. So just drink all of that. There we go. Yeah, that that's that's instant healing. But some food is... Why? Why is it so inconsistent? Damn it. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Load teddy bears. Okay, we got to, we got to load we got to load the thing up. We got to load the thing up with coffee cups. Uh -huh. Not lawnmower blade. I want to keep that because we mind that for a shish kebab later. And there's now teddy bears loaded in the gun. Who? When will they show up? Who knows? But they will at some point or another. Uh, get the knife out. Run for cover. Now we're just going to stick with uh, the Brotherhood, and we're going to let them do their let them do their business. So you just get over here. Do not get yourself shot too many times, and run, 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 hide pillars, guys. I'd like you to do the work, please, because I've just lost like half my health. Friend in the fire zone, no problem. Right. So then I'm going to take care of this for me. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Tyler who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John. Here is some birthday money. I just shot it with a toaster. <laughs> nice. Chevron Tango gives us 10 quid and says, Happy birthday, John. Shame it isn't Stellaris, but enjoy all the same. Excellent. Uh, I too voted for Stellaris in the poll. The Lord of All Ducks gave us 50 Swedish kroner. That's an amazing username. Excellent name. Uh, the Lord of All Ducks said that is not dead, which can eternal lie. And with strange eons, even death may die. Yes. That. That thing that they just said. Uh, and the Grinning Viking gave us $10 and says, I've watched since the first no-kill, though serious, uh, through serious 
health problems. John, oh. uh, you didn't help at all, Claire. Thanks for putting you up with John. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but thanks, Jinx and Thomas and Newmont, you're in for a ride. Oh dear. Yeah. Aww. I'm the new, I think all the new mods are very experienced with the channel. We haven't just got mods and just like thrown them at. These are people who are community members. Yeah, they're people who are community members, but it's not like it's also. We just want to reassure everybody, like we do actually have experience mods scheduled throughout. Uh, to make sure that we've got experience mods like the whole way through this but I just thought also since we wanted to uh, hire new mods anyway that this would be a good um, a good op opportunity for people to like shadow the existing mods so there you go yeah uh, and ooh. <laughs> Amy gave us a uh, six dollar uh, six pound sixty six. And says happy birthday to the only good YouTuber's employer and partner. But no, seriously, John, you are great, and I'm honoured to share a birth month with you. Aww. Aww. Well, um, thank you for uh, the, the subtle John Byrne. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Ivy. And then uh, next up is Christophe, who uh, gave us 100 euros. Uh, so thank you thank so you much, Christophe. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Second sledgehammer. Could improve my sledgehammer with that. Excellent. And Kisov says, Happy birthday, Joan. Happy to join you on this special day. I see what you did there with special. Uh, and the way you spelt it. You deserve a unique live stream, so I vote to leave all decisions to Claire so you can focus on dealing with the results. Oh, dear. Uh, enjoy your birthday, Claire. Good luck. We love you, too. Yep. So there you go. Massive explosions that were unexpected. There you go. There, there's, an, there's unexpected consequences for you. There was Yay. just a massive explosion. Right, do a double stim pack. Maybe, is it time for missile launchers? It's time for missile launchers! And... There you go. That did some good damage to him. There we go. Just give it a bit of... That's for 15 XP. Okay, you know, I'm going to go with them. I'm going to try and do some good work. I've not really got any guns, because, you know... Uh, can I get... Nope, you're already dead. Right, the school is safe, so I think... Actually, there's a handful of stuff in the school. If I can get a couple of swings in with the, uh, the sledgehammer, I'll take it. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. It, 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 it. Just enough, because, so, you know, if you contribute to the kill, you actually get the XP. Uh, which is, don't get ahead, though. You don't want to get ahead. And some of them are up top, are they? Sarah, you're falling back. Sarah, Sarah. So where's Sarah? Going? There she is. No, so she's, someone's walking ahead. Here. Someone's walking ahead here. And and now it it knocked the gun out of his hands. Something again that was there wasn't really so much in Fallout after this, where you could literally like knock the guns out of their hands. It's really cool. It's really fun that that was a thing you could do. Uh, we good for the final showdown outside? There's definitely plenty outside. I'm not going outside till the rest of the Brotherhood catch up. Cause cause just no. I mean I could go for a big. Is this missile time? I think this is missile time. And boop. There we go. That did nothing. And now I'm out of missiles. That was 140, 140 uh, pounds not well spent. Uh, if you guys want to hurry up. Right. I think I'll just follow them out to be perfectly honest. Claire. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, David who gave us $25 and says have a great birthday, John. Uh, Zachary gave us $10 and said happy birthday from Colorado. I love listening to your content while I work. And then we've also got a message from Mike. Uh, and Mike gave us £5 and said happy birthday. I recently got my girlfriend into video games and Fallout 3 was the first game she played. And she loved it halfway to Vegas now. Oh, amazing. Yes, indeed. Excellent game. Uh, Cross Atlases gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. Thanks so much. Uh, thank, thank you for so much entertainment, comfort, and dare I say, an odd form of friendship. Oh, that's a go. sweet that's way of thinking sweet. about it. Okay, now here's where things get um nice. So Claire, guess what? Some um... oh, Flip, where's he gone? Where's he? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's, he gone? where's the what, fludge? Where's the body? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, an explosion might have knocked a very important body somewhere. There's supposed to be a- There he is! There he is. Guess guess what's on this corpse? Um, a fat man, eight mini nukes, a power armor, and a power armor. We can't use the power armor, but we can use the nuke launcher! Yeah. Tactical! Tactical nukes! And tactical nukes are actually your specialization, Claire! Woo! 
Uh, which is good, because a very, very large super mutant is about to arrive uh, over there. So we're going to help out with that after I do some healing, because I, I got a bit uh, up close and personal. Just drink some lovely water, and I'm kind of running dangerously low on medicine, actually. But that's fine. We can get back to River City and speak to a doctor uh, soonish. Claire! All yours. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Abe the Moodakum, who uh, gave us who gave us twenty five dollars. This is happy birthday, John. We share a birthday, you and I. Have a lovely stream. Happy birthday, Abe. Happy birthday, Abe. Uh, and James uh, Flynn gave us fourteen pounds. And happy birthday, John. Enjoy. Enter your age here. Claire, you should pick ten charisma. So that kind of tells you where we're at. Excellent. Uh, and I'm about to launch a nuke at this giant mutant, by the way. Claire yeah. fires the nuke. Yeah. The splash damage is fine. The splash okay, okay. damage does good. I was going to say that looked like a very... That looks what like a the fuck? That's fun. Now he's... Claire, he's standing on top of a... I'm trying. He's stuck on top of a lab post. I can't hit him. He's on the. Okay, we need to. Okay, we need to hit him on the thing. And now it's, oh, he's come down. Okay, well, at least now we can nuke him. Everything's under control. This is that perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. He's just mammothing a little bit. He's just doing a bit of a mammoth right now. I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna fire things. I'm firing empty bottles. I'm firing a, a glass. I'm firing a rolling pin. Firing a can. And I think we. I think we just. We've almost got him with a plate! I think we just took him out with the plate! Don't forget to save! I did save, don't worry, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna quickly gather up all my all my plates that I fired at him. Because this is that everything's everything's perfectly under control. That was Oh yeah, he's got missiles on him, which is nice. This is it's over Johnny has the high ground. He really did! There we go! So that was I've never seen that before. I've never seen him just fling himself into space and then start dancing on top of a lamppost. That's new. That's new to me today. Welcome to, you know, the other day I saw Rhonda split into her constituent parts and just try and not navigate anywhere, which Claire saw. And uh, today I've seen a, a, a behemoth just desperately try and uh, just, just dance on top of a lamppost and seemingly struggle to get back down. <laughs> Okay, like now I should be able to. Uh, now I should be able to go inside and meet three dogs. So everything is now. Everything's under control. This is all precisely as it should be. But yes, I've now also got missiles. Again, so I've got missiles. I've got my rocket launcher, uh, which I can also reload with anything else I want to put back in, which is great. I've got my sledgehammer. And I've got yeah the knife, which I think is actually quite important. I think the knife is actually my most powerful weapon, which I know feels weird. It feels weird to say, oh yes, a knife, when I'm literally holding a tactical nuke launcher. I feel like actually the um, the knife's pretty uh, knife's pretty good. The knife's going to be useful. Uh, we'll just, hopefully it'll do the job going forward. Also, I think there's a bunch of medicine around here. I'm just going to quickly scavenge because I swear there's med kits uh, downstairs at the back. And I kind of need the stim packs. Claire! Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shout out uh, to the rag rule. Who gave us five pounds and says happy birthday, John, and a fallout baby? I, I don't know. Who's the fallout baby? I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, not a bot gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday. I survived the snap. <laughs> the grinning Viking gave us five dollars and says John is the goat. Innuendo. <laughs> Uh, there you go, and then we have uh, Ryan who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. I found a channel when Kotaku did an article on your Fallout 3 kill. Everything run. Oh, way back in the day. Thanks for all the years of amazing content. Excellent. It is nice when uh, when uh, the outlets do the, the occasional uh, mm. feature of like small YouTube. I literally just saw one the other night, I was telling you about this, that I think it was Rock Paper Shotgun, just did an article about a YouTuber that's got like, I think it was like 200 or 2,000 or something subscribers, mm -hmm. and they, the person that was like doing, that did like crew crime, uh, true crime videos, this but they did it, they did it in like, in The, the Sims. Sims. yeah. Uh, I was like, okay, that's a cute, that's a cute idea. I was like, this, this was a small channel, where plenty of the videos, and he had like, you know, 100 or 200 views on them, but they were given a really big shout out, and that's really nice that that happens. Yeah, but they did like, they did really interesting stuff, like 
I guess one of the videos on that channel that I, I haven't had time to watch because John literally told me about it this morning and I was making like the thumbnail, the thumbnail for this. Yeah. Uh, sure. But um, one of the videos was like the H.H. H. Holmes murder hotel, but in The Sims. And I really want to watch that because it's like... It'll actually show the architecture and how it was put together. Yeah. Well, I don't know about how it was put together, but the point of that particular thing, the point of that particular true crime is that the guy who owned a hotel and then like restorated it, like, you know, reparate, like he did a bunch of construction on the it on your face so says, that he could have like, you know, r rooms to do murders in. So that would be an interesting kind of, have you seen the tweet that was doing the rounds yesterday that was like, um... Uh, a beautiful house that they were selling that was on sale but then it had like a jail house in the background because it used to be an old sheriff's house uh -huh. oh, and I... it was super creepy because like the pictures were normal and nicely refurbished and stuff and then it went into a jail house so, we... and um the listing was like a great opportunity the best thing about this house is there's a jail house and blah 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 absolutely so why that not kind of thing like i this is the kind of weird oh, shit dear. that I love to see in The Sims. Okay, so 36% chance of just skipping Museum of Tech, but honestly, uh, Museum of Tech will be a bit tricky for this character. I'll give it a go. Well, oh, wow! Your dad is some sort of Got scientist. Lucky. Okay, <laughs> so I could go straight to Rivet if that's what I want to do. Uh, Claire, do you want to go to the Museum of Technology or not? Yes, obviously. Okay, fine. On second thoughts, then I will choose to contribute. Well, good. Fair enough. Well, and yes, we will do that. So we need to go to Museum of Technology, grab a radar dish, diddly diddly day. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I know where they is. We will go and handle that. Uh, though if you've got any medicine I could steal, uh, as I'm literally helping you, that is, uh, that would be appreciated, yes. Also, can I use any of the beds in here or drink from your toilet? I can drink from your toilet, but it's quite heavy on the rats. Uh, so I will not drink from your toilet on this particular occasion. Can sleep in this bed, though. Uh, so that is, yeah, just now asleep, tops up your health in full, uh, which is great. Baseball bat is not what I need at all. Uh, I'll take the bobby pins and I'll take the booze. Uh, can I can sell them? Sell them down the line. Uh, okay, so we need to, yeah, get to... Uh, the mall. I swear there's another. Yeah, I thought there was another one over here. And I'm hidden enough. Another stim pack. I know I'm technically robbing three dog right now, but we do. Uh, I need the. Uh, I need the medicine more than him, at the moment. Uh, anything else? That's. I'll take the Nuka Cola. Uh, it's, it's not bad as a healing item. Then we can just drop down here to here and then yeah head out the back door and start moving in the right direction and yes then i will bother going to river city to grab the intelligence bobblehead before we level up again because uh because why wouldn't you quite frankly and when we do level up at that point i might beeline it to little lamplight just to get the party hat so we've got the party hat which is important for reasons yeah because it's your birthday exactly it's a very important reason mm -hmm. right there now i think there might just be some i think it's just ghouls in this direction uh, that's... Is this blocked up or is this... If this wasn't blocked up, I don't know why it wouldn't be... Why is this not... Why isn't this a location? Okay, Metro Junction's right here, but I know that's not where we're going. And just go over here. Because, yeah, while I'm in VATS, I've got VATS defense, which in Fallout 4 was ludicrous. So you can just basically stab the zombies in the head. Even if you don't get the crits, uh, we well, should be alright. And that's actually enough to take out a basic. Roamers might be a bit more tricky. Uh, but even then, we could do some good work to take them out. I see... I see something. I just definitely saw something. Where's the rest of them? I see you down over there. Hey, over there. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. I see you. But up here, uh, not much you can do to me, is there? In fact, okay, you know what? Here's something no one's ever seen before in this game. This is brand new. I'm going to attempt to use a grenade in Fallout 3. What? A grenade? What madness! Uh, but yeah, they're kind of they're kind of not very good uh, because they just sort of yeah. If you just toss them manually, they just sort of bounce everywhere. And uh oh, now everything's starting to be on fire. Is this going to blow up this this bus? FYI. Okay, possibly it is. Yeah, well I don't have a. Uh... Yes, it did. Okay. 
I have. I. I've. I've got. I've got a. Okay. I've got a secondary plan. I've got a secondary plan, uh, which is it's fine. Uh, all we need to do is we just need to. We're going to take out you, the basic lad who's going to charge me. Then we just take out the entire column of them with grenades. So you're going to come at me. That's fine. You're the basic lad, aren't you? Yes, you're the basic lad. So do 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 do. And before he gets on top of me, hello there. Love the design of the uh, the ghouls and three. That is. Oh, that was a crit. Well done, Claire. Good stuff there. Comes for me. Backhand into the face. And then in comes the stab to the knee. Bit of an awkward fight because it was happening on a slope. And yes, now we're just going to nuke the rest of it. Because uh, that's going to be the best way to go. All we're going to do is we're just going to nuke the rest of it right now. Uh, so ideally without being spotted. Uh, so just over there. And then over there. Two grenades. And we're just going to try and set off the... We're going to try and set off the explosives. We're just going to detonate the car. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've done more damage to myself, but I, we're getting close to something exploding. Come on, grenades. There we go. That's now on fire. That's now on fire. That's, that was a huge waste of everything. It's two ghouls. This is... Anytime you're ready. Anytime it's ready. Anytime you're ready. There we are! Oh, it actually worked! Kind of by accident in the end. There was a lot of grenades for two ghouls. One of them was a Roma. So let's 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 chalk that one up to a hundred percent legit. It was the badass way of doing it. It was the badass way of doing it. It's fine. Once we're back underground, things will be a okay. Don't know what a one-on-one -on -one I do with a Roma. I'm just going to save before every door. I'm getting a lot of crashes at the minute. Right, so we should just be cutting through this area. It should just be nothing but, um, yeah, ghouls, raiders, and other basics. So this shouldn't be too difficult. We want to stay away from this main area. This area is a bit on the nasty side. I'm just going to cut through here, stay out of the way, and just, uh, yeah, head to uh, DuPont Circle. Claire, this shouldn't be anything dangerous. Over to you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Chris, who gave us $100. Thank oh, you so thank much. thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and Chris says, uh, happy birthday, John. Oh, happy uh, birthday to you too. Uh, we've also got a message from uh, Ziad. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. Uh, who gave us 100 euros. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and also, he says, happy birthday. So there you go. Um, who else do we got? Shout out to Lime Tree Apple Tree, who gave us five Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Thanks for being around for another year and keep being the fabulous person that you are. Oh, well, I, I, I will do my best to be as fabulous as possible. Uh, so, Roderick Quincy von Thunderboss from the Magnificent Hacking of Australia gave us five, uh, 50 even Australian dollars. Thank you so much, Roderick. Uh, and Roderick says, Happy birthday, John. You're one step closer to your favorite grumpy murder dads in a murder dad in a That's true. Uh, thank you for all the content these past years. Oh, good. I love the fact that Joel's only supposed to be a couple of years younger than me because the game is set in the future. Uh, so yes, good. Absolutely. And, uh, so good. Suddenly, Steve gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday. Did being gold in the golden age of Athens give you an advantage in getting your classics degree? Or did you resent learning the so called Latin language of the Western barbarians? Do you think it's a burn on how old you are? I think it might be, yes. yes. I think that's what we're dealing with here. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, Nilheim gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John." Um, they have a question, but I don't know how you're going to want to answer that. Cause spoilers. Uh, uh -huh. They want to know if you have thoughts on Abby's section in the Last of Us I think we're a little bit early in the actual uh, game that we've got to to talk about that right now. Uh, so I think we, I think it's just a little bit too early given we've literally done like one and a half, like, you know, halfway through one, we got into it and then, uh, we've done like one section in it. I mean, I'll say it's, I think it's, it's better than I thought it was after my uh, very, my, my initial impression was quite negative because it felt like I, w there wasn't anything new going on. But what I realized, uh, fairly quickly was, okay, what's actually going on, of course, is like she plays very differently. 
because, you know, she's less about... She can take more damage and... Oh, the Metro Protectron doesn't like me anymore. Or your oh, that's safety. kind of sad. If we just Thanks keep behind him, he can't really do much, unfortunately. Oh, so, screw you, you stupid robo-bastard. Uh, but yes, obviously she takes more damage. She's got, you know, she gets the big guns like the flamethrower that Ellie doesn't get. Uh, you know, she's she starts off with a big rifle and shit. It's like her, her playstyle is a little bit different, even though she handles in a very similar fashion, which I think is interesting. Um, so it's kind of in that in that regard, like I think it's uh, there's some fun sections, like you know, some bits that haven't been up on the channel yet. Uh, there's a bit where there is a sniper. That's all I'll say. Uh, which oh, is yeah. very good. I don't know if you've got to that yet. Uh, but, well, I, mean, uh, I don't know. It might be a different bit. It's I got very... to the bit with a sniper, yeah. Yeah, there's a bit with a sniper that I think is a really good section. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, I haven't finished the game yet, so I can't really kind of provide full a full discussion of uh, of all of it as yet. So uh, we will uh, we shall have to see in that regard. There might There's, there's going to be uh, plenty more to do yet. But like, I'll say, like, for all its flaws, it's made me think, and me and Claire have talked about it an awful lot, which is really cool. Also, Owen's a dick. Owen, I really don't like Owen. Like, uh, like you know, the first time you kill Owen, you think, oh, I wonder if he had to, I wonder what his, wonder what his deal was, and da, 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 da. And then you learn Owen's deal, he's like, oh, God, I'm really glad I killed him. <laughs> oh, I did you a favour. I did you a favour, Abby. Uh, what a dick. Uh, okay, there's... How many of them are there here? Is it just the one? And if it is... Hi over there. So against one basic raider, it is. This is. She's wearing your old armor. Head cripple. And then, how are you missing a point blank range? That's. Okay, get the weapon out of her hand, please. Get the weapon out of her hand. Cripple, cripple, and down you go. Luckily, the, I think there's a bed here. So there's this infinite free healing now. Uh, assuming I can just take out nearby enemies, which I should be able to do without too much uh, difficulty. So yes, okay, we should be in pretty good shape at the minute, especially now I've got an infinite healing machine, as we call beds. Mm -hmm. Claire? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's see. We've also got uh, Ziadan, who just gave us a very big donation, uh, also is a new member. Uh, so, welcome. Uh, and also, uh, da, 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 also gave us another 25 euros and says thank you for all the laughs over the years. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for your generosity today. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and let's see, uh, Paddy McMahon is also a new uh, channel member, so welcome to uh, you as well. Uh, and welcome aboard. Yes, indeed. I know there's one who, if you can, you, there's one person you can sneak up on, because they're sitting in a chair over here. I'd like to sledgehammer him in the back of the head. Really, but my sneak is so poor. I don't know whether I'll be able to get away with it. But this guy's just sort of set up spiffily too. No. You're dead, me too. Well, that's fine. I can just sledgehammer oh. you. If your sneak's better, you can you can do a really badass job taking the best out. I assume they're just like here, supposed to be doing drugs. So they were sitting here facing a table that's full of drugs. Uh, and okay, we've hit level five. Ah, I should have gone back to the, 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 the rivet city. But what can you do? Uh, what was I saying was my priority? Speech is feeling not as spectacular as it should do. We do, however, have uh, big guns is working pretty. <laughs> putting here's something you've never seen before: putting speech skill points into big guns in Fallout Three. Madness. Uh, is it bad? It's generally not deemed as good as energy, and definitely not as good as small guns. It's 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 very much a niche skill. Uh, and yes, as people pointing out, Child at Heart is important. Because uh, we need it to break in to a uh, little lamplight early. Uh, without having to do a rescue from Paradise, which would otherwise be a lot trickier. Okay, with you out of the way though, we should now be able to fall back and sleep up to health whenever we need to. Because I know we're going into a slightly tricky area uh, with turrets. And I don't think we've got the ability to... Um, to deal with those turrets uh, particularly well. So, if this is the area I think it is, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, you can, sometimes you can hack the turrets, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the, the skill to hack the turrets. Why don't you come and say hello to me, my friend? Yes, you just come and say hello. Okay, cut the ship. Who is there? Go! Out you come. If we can get a sneak attack, oh, that'd be great. 
That was a head cripple. Uh, straight off the bat. And that is uh, some good stuff. And go, 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 go. Get them all crippling. And there's that turret. The turret is trouble. Uh, weapon away to run slightly faster. Closed door. And the... Oh, that's science of 50. That's going to be a problem. Okay, now there's a few of them. You're a basic raider. And I might even be able to, especially if I get a crit, I can, I can, might be able to just, there's a crit. That should be four for the kill. Now just fall back, so the turret's going to shred me. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Yeah, I'm just going to let them come through the door, and then we should be able to take care of them. Uh, the problem is the turret's a bit tricky to, to deal with when you don't have small guns. Uh, <laughs> is there anyone else, or is it just the turret now? I think it might just be the turret. In which case? Missile launcher wouldn't be overkill, right? Nah. I'm good to drop a save, because yes, it would. Uh, there's the... Oh, there's one. There's another. There's another. Oh, there's several that are... Ah! Right, well, that's 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 one, Dad. Close the door. This is... Stop, stop tinkering with the missile launcher. Okay, one person's coming over here. And go! The one, the most dangerous missile launcher has gone. And now we're at least... There's a right arm cripple. There's a left arm cripple! Oh ho! And there's a crit! Claire, you badass. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I saw another person downstairs. That is definitely another turret over there somewhere. Uh, but it's way further away. In fact, is it even in range? I that's even in range. Uh, I thought I saw another person down below. Oh, yeah, that's... Ow. Okay, uh, you know what? This here, this is what we have the missile launcher for. This isn't really what we have the missile launcher for. There's, there's another person here. Right, whoever they are, let them come to me. Someone's on the move. Clap! Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, shout out to Henry, who is a new channel member. Uh, just signed up. And also Canada's Bacon. Welcome! Uh, Canada's um, Bacon? Never heard of them. Welcome, Henry. Welcome, Bacon. Uh, shout out also to Felina Silverstress, who gave us 10 uh, pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Glad to be off today to catch this stream. Uh, Kristen gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I love your videos and keep up the great work. Uh, Frog Raider gave us $20 and a little, um, a little pear sticker. Uh, saying thanks for being you with like little heart eyes in a mirror. It's that is adorable. a cute expression. Now it's I need to get into cover. Okay. Now we need to hit that thing with a missile. Line up the shot. Boom! Dead. Okay, I'm literally using missiles to take out Mark 1 turrets. That's so dumb. It's, it's sort of working for now, but it is the dumbest. It is. That's. That's. That's a high level of dumb. That is a high dumb level. Still, that's that. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quick nip back to the bed because I don't want to waste impacts. <laughs> I don't have enough of them. And playing melee in Fallout 3 is ill-advised. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to quickly go back into sleep. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out uh, to... Let's see. Shout out to Pandorian Panda who gave us eight Australian dollars. And said, I thought I'd send this again. Good morning from Australia. Happy birthday, man. I've been uh, much love. I've been around since New Vegas Kill Everything. And I'm not sure if you meant uh, if you meant to uh, send this again as in it was in chat before and you've done it in Super Chat. I just want to say for everybody, if you've done a Super Chat and you haven't heard it yet, please don't send it in again. Like, it's not... Uh, uh, it's, it's this is a feature, not a bug. A it's a it's feature, not a bug. It's just that there are a lot of super chat today, particularly compared to the usual. So even if you've been waiting ages, like the the most likely thing is it's on my list. I'm going to get to it. Uh, so thank you uh, so much. And we've also got a message from Michelle who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't stay for the stream right now since I have a rare opportunity to co-work on someone's spacious porch this morning. Ooh. It's very fancy. I can't wait to see who you play as. As it turns out, yes, e Evil Claire. Claire from the Evil Mirror Dimension. You're wearing better armor, irritatingly. Fuck uh, you, you can't steal my hairstyle. You have to die. Only one can, you know. It's like the Highlanders with the, with the Mohawk. Try and... No, he was going for his gum. He, he went to pick up his gun. That's what was going on. Need to, need to cripple a limb. Cripple a limb. 
And did I see fire coming from around the corner? Uh, probably not, as I'm now hidden. That must have just been a weird bullet thing. Yeah, we're getting into getting into the raiders on the edge of their territory. Butter knife! That's a good thing to fire into somebody's face. This is, this is such a weird thing, because, like, the signs on the wall clearly indicate, hey, this is the route the Brotherhood of Steel routinely used to go from outpost to outpost, yet it's full of ghouls and raiders. So they can't have been using it. For a long time, but the game acts like, you know, oh yeah, they've put signs up, just follow the signs. I guess it's, uh, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Okay, keep on keeping on, and ah, now we're into uh, people versus people. What's this fight, by the way? I forget what fight this is. And this is, ah, yes. Okay, well, we definitely want to be siding uh, with the ghouls uh, for the time being, because problems, okay, you don't have a gun anymore. Uh, which means we want to focus on you. The raiders are getting into better and better quality armor. Oh, there's, no, there's, there's way more ghouls. There's way more ghouls than I was expecting. Uh, we need to pull back out of this room, actually. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, we're, we're starting with the ghouls. We're now on Team Ghoul. We're Team Ghoul for the time being. Stim pack. Ten left. Uh, I need to... There's nowhere to hide. Why are you not focusing on the ghoul who's literally standing next to you, you dick? Okay, this is fine. He doesn't have a gun anymore. Is the other one, was the other one killed by the ghoul? And the other one was killed by the ghoul. Dead. I'm gonna say dead, not dead. Stop missing. Claire. Mm -hmm. There. Oh! <laughs> that, the VATS kills were better in Fallout 3 than any other Fallout game. I did Don't see at that me. Sick filth. You did see that sick filth. It was, that was, it's just so much better. They're so much better in Fallout 3. They feel way more visceral. It's great. It's just so good. Oh, grenades and stim packs. Fucking heck. We needed some of that. Uh, okay. Another stim pack. Maybe need to take medicine skill at some point. Who's over here? I see something. Uh, is that another raider? I think that raider's on the other side. Go to third person camera. This is. No, this is ghouls. Uh go. And luckily, yes, they do that big stupid roar before they attack, uh, which means you can get a couple of swings in before they activate, though I was a bit slow. Okay. Then then, then he kind of, he, he did his mega dodge. Luckily, you can't keep doing that forever, my friend. Uh, have we got more? 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 Yes, we do! Ow! Dick. Uh, I've got enough for uh, one and Claire now is not the time to do multiple misses, Claire. You've doomed us all, Claire. You've doomed us all, Claire. Damn it, Claire. Why have you doomed us all? And one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Dead. Okay. We need a bed. We really need a bed. I don't want to go back for the bed. But I kind of do want to go back for the bed. Because problems. Uh... Okay. Is there another bed around here? I don't know if there is. Everything's fine. It's all under control. When I say it's under control, I've got no I've got no way of healing. I've got like no healing items at all. Because you can't heal with whiskey. Uh, which is a tragedy. One of life's great sadnesses. Right there. Okay, let's try and clear out the the rest of this. At the bare minimum. Claire! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope, I picked the wrong moment. Claire was, was drinking. drinking water. None of that for you. You can have water when we're caught up. <laughs> Great, amazing. Uh, shout out to Tree Shaker Taco who gave us five pounds and says a melee building Fallout Three. Yeah, he's going to die. Yeah, pretty much. This uh, is Michael not the easiest thing. Michael Nilsson gave us uh, two hundred and seventy Swedish kroner and says, "Careful with that indoor missile, mate." It's not. It's not wrong. Indoor missiles, bad call. Okay, maybe one stim pack because problems. Uh, Where's the... Oh, you're, just ba you're a basic. That's fine. Yeah, and shout out to all in who gave us five euros and says happy birthday with a smiley face. Uh, Hugh gave us ten pounds and says happy birthday, John. Have a good one. Uh, EZ gave us a 50 Swedish krona and say tell John he's cute. Oh, that's nice. You're very cute. That's a good ego boost right there. You're cute. Come on, Claire, get the kill. Damn it, Claire! 
Why are you missing knife swings, Claire? Where's Claire? <laughs> uh oh. Wait. Um. What? I think we might be. We might have got a bit stuck in the scenery here. We might I'm be leaving. a bit. I think we just need to. I might be able to vats my way out of it. I think we've. I think. I think we've vatsed into the into the. Yeah, we've definitely we're definitely vatsed into our. I need to. Okay, I need to I need the ghouls to help me out. I need the ghouls. I need to vats. Okay, if I vats my way in, I should be able to vats my way. I don't think I can vats my way out. I think we might <laughs> fudge. I think we might have vatsed inside the scenery. And I don't think we can get out. Uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> We're gonna have to do that bit again. Because Claire bats into the flipping scenery. Dear, oh flipping dear Claire. What, 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 what is this? Why are you doing this Claire? What's wrong? Okay, same thing again. Claire, all yours while we redo that. Yeah, shout out to David who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Insert clever J pair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve gave us 14 uh, South African rands and says, Happy birthday, John. Have some birthday money. Birthday money Zero to two. celebrate being in the ground. Uh, Ella gave us uh, two pounds and says, I adore evil French Claire. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank that's just that's just normal day to day, Claire. Mhm. Mm uh, Jack Survival Wolf gave us uh, ten pound sixty nine, uh, and says I want to say a happy birthday to you, John. Normally I'd stay for the live stream, but I've got to go to work, so I'll check out the stream later for more grand technical difficulties. <laughs> this is going fine. The game's crashing. I'm stuck in the floor. It's, it's, there's two streams instead of one, so all of them's been broadcast from the evil mirror dimension. It's fine. Everything's going 100% to plan. None of this happens when you're away, by the way. When, we, when you've been away and we've done the birthday streams, okay, fine, I've ended up six hours behind in reading. But, like, you know, other than that, it's all gone very smoothly. Would the mods like to comment on that? On whether it actually goes smoothly when I'm not here? Hey, hey, dick. tee hee 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 Anyway, shout out to Liam who gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Here's to another year of ridiculous shenanigans and fantastic videos. Excellent. I enjoy shenanigans. Uh, we've got another John who gave us five dollars and says, Happy birthday, John, from American John. Yay, he American didn't John. actually say it in, in the American John accent. But well, you might have been. You don't know. Uh-huh. Uh, thanks for all the entertainment. We do we do our best with the old daily videos and occasionally live streams. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I think let's... we're almost through to the next section, aren't we? Is it? Yeah, it's right here. I could just bull rush that door. I'm just saving constantly now because now I know I can just go through the floor occasionally too, just for funsies. This is oh, this is dog. This is the dog area. Mm -hmm. Knife away. Run, 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 run. Do not fight dogs. Bad call. Dogs are... There's lots of them. Close door. Bye. So long, losers. Bye. Claire is the best. This is undoable without Claire. Last year, John had a mental breakdown in Factorio. That that was the year before... I think that was 2017. No, I don't uh, no, think 2018. So. I don't think it was last year. Mm -hmm. I don't think Factorio was last year. I think it was two years ago, Factorio. What was last year? I think Factorio was last Search, Check the channel. Check the channel. Search, search the channel. Oh! You're a Roma. It's fine. I don't have enough things to do. Uh-huh. Critical. Yeah. Another critical. Okay. We're not doing great versus Romas. I'm going to be honest. That's... Me versus Roma is... That is... Ooh, that's a bad... That's a bad trade. Now, Dick. Shout out to Diathane, who says, I'm not a mod, Claire, but I've caught a bunch of streams when you are absent. One word, chaos. Oh, dear. Okay, we might need to definitely use the, um, we definitely need to be using the rocket launcher when even roamers show up, which is a concern. Um, Thomas says, I made the bot say Claire is essential. That is not mere flattery. It's an absolute fact. Modding the stream is a nightmare without Claire. 
Factorio was definitely last year, says C. Oh, was uh, it? Da, 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 da. Jacob says I thought last year was Factorio. It was the year of infinite scalability. Yeah, definitely that's what uh, la that's what YouTube says 11 months ago. And then uh, last year, the, the year before that was uh, FTL. How did you miss? Damn it, Claire. Damn it. Fire. There we go. You see, firing trash. We just keep firing trash, and that's going to solve the problems. The trash gun is actually really strong. The trash gun is so strong. Trash gun, best gun. All right, open. John continues to fi fail at MAT and trivia. Nice. I could have sworn it was two years ago, but apparently I'm wrong. Uh, Thomas says, by the way, that's not due to you that it's a nightmare without Claire. You lot are lovely. It's just John that's a nightmare without Claire. <laughs> it's true. Without a Claire to keep me. Oh, what did I just blow off his head with? I want to know what I used to blow off his face, but now I can't check. Boo. Boo, I say. It's true, I am. Ooh, uh, pool balls are really good to fire because uh, they weigh very little. Uh, and I believe there's no difference, like the weight of the item does not impact the damage it does. I think it's just a flat. It's, it's based on the gun and its condition. Uh, so you can have as well. Grog the Barbarian! Yes! Grog, knack, grog, knack, grog, knack, grog, knack. There we go. Oh yeah, and then uh, when I was gone another time, you streamed uh, Dragon Age until 2 in the morning. I thought you were there for that one. No, I was in France. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm certain. Oh, that's why I thought the last ludicrous mega stream. That's why I thought it was two years ago, not one. Because I was getting confused with um, Dragon Age. I, thought, well, I know there was another ludicrous, stupid stream that got out of hand that was uh, after Factor. That's why I was getting confused. Yeah, with that. that's what. Because I was in France and I was gonna. No! What happened is uh, I was gonna go to France like just before Christmas and then our heat like went completely yeah. out. Yeah. And uh, and that was just yeah, we had a uh, we had some like house stuff to do. So I moved my trip. Yes. Uh, yes, I remember that. Anyway, uh, shout out to Liam who gave us five euros. And says happy birthday, John. Here's another. Here's to another year of uh, ridiculous shenanigans and fantastic videos. I've definitely read that one a minute ago. Definitely. Uh, David gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. Mine was yesterday. I saw family that I hadn't seen since spring, and then I played Vampire the Masquerade with friends. Hope yours is just as good. Oh, happy birthday, David. Believably. Continue firing trash. Continue firing trash. Killed him with a cup. Happy birthday, David, belatedly. Happy belated birthday, David. Thank you. Sarah, I was, I was killing, I was killing David I with know. trash. No, not David, the raider. Oh my god. I'm not killing David with trash. Anyway, shout out to Rachel who gave us twenty dollars uh, and says, "Happy birthday, John. I'm playing Dragon Age while you play Fallout, but perhaps I should switch games. Have a wonderful stream." Shh. If you switch game, he's not going to start playing Dragon Age all of a sudden, so I wouldn't. No. Uh, In fact, another fun fact of scheduling is every time somebody asks, where's Fallout 4 You Only Live Once? In a video that has nothing to do with Fallout 4 or You Only Live Once, I put back the um, the date I'm going to release Fallout 4 You Only Live Once by another day. Unfortunately, this means unless medical science does a lot of stuff over the next few decades, it's never going to happen. But you yes, kind of brought indeed. that on yourselves, didn't you? Uh-huh. Kinda brought that one on yourselves. Shame. Oh well. Okay. There's an, I think we're in we're in raider territory now. How many raiders are we looking at? Because I think we're we we're going up and out yeah, we're going up and out here. This is where we're going up and out. Which probably means more raiders upstairs, but I don't know how many precisely. Uh, I'm not seeing red, but then my perception's really low, so I wouldn't be seeing on the compass necessarily anyway. Uh, I like how I've also just got a hoover on my back. I could have sworn there was more yet. Maybe it's what well, I'm seeing. Bodies. I'm not seeing. Wait, what? Where's the. Maybe they're downstairs. Well, I'm seeing people. Yeah, I'm seeing people yelling at me. Who are they? I'd, okay, you know what? I'm just. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna nip round the corner. Uh, out we go. I think we're we're pretty good right now. 
Who are you, my friend? You were over there, so you just did a lot of damage to me. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Um, wait, and wait, and wait, and probably best just... Abandoned! Uh, when I say abandoned, I've just immediately charged around the corner. Right in the head! Ah! You never face anymore, you dick. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Wait for him to come, mate. Wait for him to come. I think he's got... I don't know what he's got, but it's it's dangerous. If it's literally only these two, I'd like to, to ransack the place. And... Go! He's fired once. Fire. And that was... Oh, that was a crippled head, but not not enough, not enough, not enough. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. There he goes! That was kill with a glass. Which survives being fired into a human. That's just how that goes. That's fine. Right, are they all dead? No, yes, they're all dead. I Meaning, hopefully, I can get some. I can do a bit of looting around in this part of the world. Claire, while I do the loots. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Dragmeister who gave us ten uh, euros and says, uh, "Happy birthday, good John." He is hoping that evil John got all the bad effects of aging while you got only the useful experience. Um, I'm sure that's how that works. Yeah, I'm sure there's a portrait of John in a cupboard somewhere looking bad. And <laughs> shout out to- That's an obscure joke right there. That's high level obscure jokes. Is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, shout out to old Valkyrie who gave us a 10 pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I came across a game the other day that I think you might like. It's called Nightcore about being a taxi driver in Paris who's been framed for murder. Seems right up your alley. That rings a bell. I think I've come across mm. that one uh, before. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just keep healing up here and repairing the weapon just to slightly reduce the amount of weight I'm carrying. Though I think I might need to just teleport back to River City to one, as you say, get it, grab intelligence bobblehead, and two, uh, heal and shit uh, because problems. Also, are the more are the more raiders down over here? I think there might not be. Uh, and if there is, is there any chances like a bathroom the other side that I might be able to ransack? Cause... Yeah, no one else think that Dorian Gray is an obscure reference. Thank you, everybody. Okay, not that obscure, but relatively. Relative. I don't know. I, I did think the, it I think, I think the portrait of Dorian Gray is pretty obscure. I, I did it in English class at school. I mean, I think I did an English class at uni, but I would assume that if you're actually taking English class in England or America, you'd probably do it at school. Um, okay, one critical with a milk bottle. And one plate in the face. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Dead. That was, that was a five ball. He just got completely nailed by. Oh, Blanco mac and cheese. I can eat that for a tiny bit of healing. That's that's healing. But if I could just heal off Nuke Cola and uh, mac and cheese, that would save me a doctor's bill. Video games are odd, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Are you just going to say, yeah, do, you need to, do I need to pay a doctor about this medical problem? No, if you just drink some Coca-Cola and like drink from a toilet and, and, and eat a mac and cheese, you'll be fine. Just, 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 just sleep it off. Just sleep off two broken legs. It's fine. Makes perfect sense. Actually, the nice thing about this area is I can just help myself. There's loads of just cans on the ground, uh, and cans are fine. You know, they weigh one. It's not 0 0.5, but one is okay. So it's basically just huge amounts of infinite ammo uh, for uh, for that. I mean, yeah, this is the uh, the shortcut through to uh, American history. But I want the other side for technology. Milk bottle, but I'm going to grab literally all of this because uh, I think at this point the rocket launcher is against anything other than a basic tier one enemy. It's going to be what's carrying me at this point. So well done picking big guns, Claire. Uh huh. Because this is actually it, it's kind of uh, it's definitely doing its job. Maybe Dorian Gray's more red in France and America than it's in the UK because it was never on a curriculum. It was never on a curriculum, so I would never have read it for school. It was only my own uh, my own reason that I mean I would know that. Uh, maybe it, it's more it's more widely read uh, as part of your education elsewhere. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's definitely there's definitely people disagreeing on whether or not it's obscure. 
in chat and, and many people saying that they heard about it in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen first. Lol. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I don't know, but... Um, That's an underrated film. I know it's dumb as shit, but I think it's fun. I mean, someone literally mentioned it as being so bad that it ruined Sean Connery's career forever. It did, yes. So, you know... <laughs> Still Just, good. Uh, Still good. FYI, uh, the level of movies that John likes. I like dumb films, alright? Dumb films are great. Deep Blue Sea is one of my favourite films. Shut your mouth. Okay. Deep Blue Sea is a classic film, and I really want to see The Meg when it comes to Netflix this month. Oh, yeah, sure. In fact, I think it might have already done that, so, uh, yeah, fuck this stream. Okay, that's the end of the stream, Clara. I'm gonna go watch The Meg. I mean, I think that would be a fun, like, date night movie. I think it sounds hilarious. Okay, now I do not want to get spotted by uh, mutants. Because uh, problems. Now there is a mutant over there. Uh, I'd like him to walk away. And then I'd like to walk over. Never mind, he's seen me. Uh, this is fine. How many of them have seen me? Because at point blank range, I think I can... Because the thing is, this thing doesn't need to reload. It needs to reload to load. But like, go, 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 go. Oh, he almost killed me. A bit more. I'm being shot. There's miniguns somewhere nearby. There's miniguns somewhere nearby. Who's got the minigun? Luckily, this bus stop is mini is uh, minigun proof. You're coming in with something bad. Oh, this is such a waste of syntax. And go. Okay. Two in the head. And one and two. That's a lot of damage. But if he keeps firing, it's going to be trouble. 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 Dead. Caution, not danger. Hey, I said the thing. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is why we wanted all the tin cans. Where's the nearest mutant? I might need a bit more sneak. And I need to also just gather up all of my mugs. <laughs> just need to quickly gather up all of my mugs. And my cans. And my everything else. There's another mutant over there. Uh, but it looks like he's obscured by all this. Just, just need to grab my, my washing up liquid. And my lucky eight ball. And my, my plate. And my, my other thing. <laughs> this is fine. This is a perfectly reasonable way. To play it. Uh, have I already activated? I've already activated Museum of Technology. I need to fast travel to River, and then I need to fast travel back to here. Okay, I think that's what we need to do. Am I allowed to now leave? Can I go? Yep, we can go to River. Spectacular. Assuming the game doesn't now crash. It didn't. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go grab Intelligence Bobblehead. I'm gonna pay the Doctor for a heal. Then we're going back to Museum of Technology. Boom. Hey. Oh dear, dear oh flippy dear. Right, yeah, that's it. You can drink on caution, not danger. That's probably not too dangerous. That's not as dangerous. Uh, common room, science lab. I don't want the science lab, but I also want the the doctors. Yes, clinic. We'll start on the clinic. We'll work from uh, we'll work from there. That'll be a okay. And also, if I can do, I think it's a speech check with the doctor to gain information about the. To get information about the uh, rivers. No, the clinic is the clinic is up here. I walked straight past it. Uh, I think it's a speech check with him for information about the um, in the, the robots. And yes, Android yep. from the Commonwealth. Yep. And oh no, he just gives he just gives you the tape. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so yes, tell me more about Holotype and Android. Uh, it's fine. He doesn't believe it anyway. Uh, Doctor, right. hundred caps. Yeah, fine. That's it's, it's actually, there's probably, there's almost certainly a bed. I could have just gone back to Megaton and slept. Uh, that was a complete waste. Oh, well. Sometimes it's See? nice to feel no. like you've used a doctor. Uh, I don't need uh, any of that. And uh, medical supplies. You've probably got money on you and I've got shit to sell. Claire, well, I just sell everything to various stores locally. Uh, yes, indeed. A uh, shout out to some other guy, part two, Electric Boogaloo, who gave us $20. Uh, happy birthday. I won't stay since I work overnight, but have fun to both of y'all. Uh, and Houston gave us uh, $10 and says, Happy birthday, John, from Maine, USA. Thank you uh, and thank you and Claire for years of shenanigans and here's to many, many more. Yay, shenanigans. Yes, indeed. Everyone loves shenanigans. It's my favorite word. Super it's a good word. 
Super Game Freak gave us uh, five Australian dollars. It says happy birthday from Australia. It just turned midnight here and it's also my birthday. As a result, we are both one year closer to becoming senile. It definitely nice. didn't just turn midnight in Australia. I know that. Uh, Ro says happy, Ro gave us five pounds and says happy birthday. I hope your day's going well. What did you get for your birthday? How's you, Claire and Tabby? We don't know yet because we're going to be doing live present opening at some point. Uh, didn't you say your mum sent you something in the mail? That was, I already opened that. It was the book. It was ah, the book. Ah, yes, yes. It's the yes. book I've been reading. Wait, what was it again? Uh, Three Body Problem. Ah, yes, the Three Body by, Problem. Um, what's by, what's uh, six, six in you, yeah. Uh, Lou Sishin. Yes, I got that yes. the wrong way round, yes. It's because, yeah. Uh, and that, I believe, is the first one, so it's translated by Ken Liu. Yeah. Um, so there you go. And yes. that's obviously a Hugo Award winning novel. That was mm -hmm. the first uh, ever translated novel to win a Hugo. I've been very much enjoying it. Mm -hmm. There's bits of it that kind of feel like you think, okay, that, that read a bit awkwardly. That probably made more sense in the original. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly it's been very good. Yeah. And by the way, so I've just basically traded all the guns I've been picking up for 10 bajillion... Uh, 10 bajillion uh, stim packs because I really need them. So I'm now up to 34 stim packs, which I feel like was the right thing to do. <laughs> I feel like that was the right thing to do. I'm also going to grab the intelligence bobhead. Then I might just nip back to the. Um, I might just nip back to uh, be beebly boops. Um, uh, the the, uh, the weapon store, just for the sake of it. And. What's the. Somewhere on the desk. There it is. It's over on the far right. I had forgotten where it was. Right, intelligence plus one. Very, very much indeed. I may as well accept. I may as well just quickly just chat, chat to uh, Zimmer. He wants to find the android. This is introducing the stuff that was in Fallout 4, would you actually believe? Uh, so there we are. Commonwealth. Admittedly, they hadn't come up with the word synth yet. Um, so they, just, they just talk about androids a lot, which is a bit on the odd side. What can you do? Uh, so yes, you want me to find him, diddly diddly dee, blah dee blah blah blah, I want money, and there we are, yes, I look forward to finding an android, there we go, there's a note, tell me more about things, uh, suggestions for finding him, etc, 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 and there we go, and yes, we'll just skim for all of this, just in case there's any other information, and yes, track down information for the thing. Hello. And he's just wandering off. Right, okay, I'm just going to nip to the shops and we'll see yes. what we've got going on there. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Hey. Uh, shout out to. Uh, da, 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 da. Shout out to uh, Viking Warrior Gaming who gave us five uh, pounds. And says, happy birthday, John. A big fan of yours for a while. I can't give much, but have a good one, mate. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, you know what I am going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to steal this gnome. Well, of course. And we're going to load the gnome. good gnome. We're going to load the gnome. Yes. Along with everything else into, yes. Yeah, so we've now got a damaged garden gnome loaded in. Mm. All right. Very importantly. Nice also, I should you. check this guy for schematics. Uh, I can't remember whether you sell any with the flag cells like uh, schematics. Uh, and yes, uh, here we go. Just check for anything particularly valuable in terms of schematics, because he might have some uh, some good stuff. He does not, tragically. Okay. What are you selling, my good man? In terms of anything I could use? I mean, I could buy more missiles, but. He's selling a lot of guns, but he's not selling much in the way of melee weapons, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, it could buy... How was the set of my combat armor, by the way? Pretty good, actually. I'm not too worried about that. I could buy more stim packs off him. How many more guns do I have to get rid of, uh, by the way? I've got darts, but I might want to use the dart launcher if I get one of them. Uh, so I might not want to get rid of that. Uh, everything else is. Yeah, I've already sold everything else I actually need. Sledgehammer's so only worth nine caps. Which is, uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's all he's got. Fine. Okay. Uh, any stuff that could be repaired. Plus 3% insignificant. 95 caps to get plus 3 damage resistance on the combat armor. Rocket launchers. That's only 28 caps. I'll take that for plus 1. Because that thing is really keeping me alive right now. Yeah, I'll pay 95 caps for a plus 3 DR. Yeah, fine. Alright, that's okay. So it's under, everything's under control. Side of the fact of... What's that? Kind of but notice I've still clearly got a massive bloody gash on my arm, despite just paying a doctor to treat all my wounds. 
<laughs> oh well, it happens. What can you do, eh? Save before literally every door. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in and we're gonna sort out the Museum of Technology. We're just gonna get inside as fast as possible. And luckily, yes, the ones who are dead are still dead. Prepare to try and ambush these guys. I see you over there. You're just a basic, but you're becoming aware of me. Okay, and where are you? Go, go, go. That was a teddy bear. I'm pretty sure that was a teddy bear. Fire, 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 fire more things. Fire more things. Fire more things at him. Yay. There's another one, though. Okay, there's, there's another one coming, yeah. And we've saved the... Boom, out. Okay. 70 in the head. Two shots. That was a miss with a plate. That was the garden gnome. That was a critical garden gnome. Critical garden gnome. Critical garden gnome. Did you see that critical gnome? Yes, I did. All right. I, it's, 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 and, and also the teddy bear. The teddy bear was fired during that last exchange. This thing is... Claire, the rocket. I love the rocket launcher. I love it the fact it's, very it's fun. actually no, it's actually really strong as well. Like it's a really good early game weapon. It's very expensive. A thousand caps is not nothing at the end of the game, but it's such a good early game weapon. I love the fact it exists. And can you not load pencils? I could have sworn you could load pencils into this thing, but maybe you can't. Maybe that's deemed cheating. Uh, but yes, apparently you can't. I was mistaken. Uh, money, you definitely can. Money you can. I'll take some Blamco mac and cheese. Just keep eating the mac and cheese. That's how you survive in this game, Claire. You just keep eating mac and cheese. I mean, that sounds good to me. It's 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 good. It's just a good way to live life in general. Are there actual uh, med kits in the bathrooms? Or am I getting confused with with something else? I think I'm getting confused with the bath. The similar looking bathrooms in the rep contest sites in New Vegas. Is what I think I'm getting confused with. Good old gore bags, by the way. Oh, mutilated organs. Uh, you can find mutilated organs uh, out of that. Uh, don't forget to put in the damage mode and uh, mutilated organs. So, yes, uh, you can get mutilated organs out of uh, gore bags. And mm -hmm. you can 100% uh, deal... Uh, you can fire them. So, I can fire organs at people. Very which nice. is yeah, that's that's very welcome. Right, I think that's the first room. There it is. It's right here. I walked straight past it. And ran away in a stim pack. Though I'm now up to 35 stim packs, which is much better. Add in some uh, new cola, and we should be okay for now. How's everything in the world, Claire? Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you, obviously pre-war money is valuable, but you're choosing to shoot it out of the gun. Well, bear in mind, I don't destroy it by firing it out of the gun. You just pick it up afterwards. Ah can just pick it up. Also, of don't course. forget there are stealth boys. All sorts of stealth boys uh, in this area. I think there's like one here. I think there's another one upstairs in the ruins of the uh, the world of tomorrow. I swear there's another one. I think it's it's over here in uh, stealth boy. You know, there's two actually. There you go. So yeah, that's actually three stealth boys, which is very useful for this area if you're getting a bit worried. I don't plan to use them, but if I have to, I will. Because uh, obviously that's... For, uh, but no, it's not guaranteed free sneak attack crits, but it's, uh, it's, it's moving in the right direction for that. So we'll just go through the display vault, because though it's very spooky, there's actually nothing bad in it, and very little loot as well. It's just, you know, trying to introduce, hey, maybe a vault taker like dodgy or whatever. Because, you know, just in case. Just in case you're brand new to Fallout, which you might be. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out uh, to... Let's see who we got. Uh, shout out to Esselus, who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday to Tabby's servant. Uh, French Bread gave us $5 uh, dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, great Gretch Man gave us $10 uh, dollars and says, uh, Johnny, happy day birth. That's certainly one sentence. Uh -huh. That's uh, a sentence right there. And thanks for all the wonderful content. Ooh. Uh, yes, indeed. We do our best. Uh, Cookie Kitty gave us $3 and says, Happy birthday. It's close to mine as well. I love how much you enjoy saying the word kitty, by the way. Kitty. Kitty. You really enjoy saying that. It's a good word, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and also, by the way, uh, we have reached messages from uh, that time earlier where you looked at my boobs. Excellent, I'm glad that we've got that. Uh, shout out to Drothine who gave us $5 and says for birthday boobs. Birthday boobs, excellent. No boobs. Birthday boobs. Yeah, and Connor okay. uh, gave us 20 Australian dollars and says for looking at Claire's bits. John for the win. <laughs> Amazing. Do you want some bad puns, by the way? I'd love some bad puns. Uh, I'm also like, oh fudge, I thought they weren't going to spawn in just yet. Uh, do I have time to toss a bottle cap mine down? No, I don't! I'm going to regret this! I didn't regret this, actually. That almost sort of worked. Uh... Okay, uh, close the door. Don't close the door. Okay, fine, whatever. Actually, you know what that kind of worked. Oh, eight ball to the face. And that was good. Oh, the VATS animations. Okay, you know what? The point blank range mind tossing sort of paid off. Sort of. A little bit. So, anyway, uh, Savalan No Glue gave us uh, 10 Australian dollars. And says, my psychiatrist said I was a kleptomaniac. I said... I don't know. Is there anything I can take for it? Oh, uh, that's quite good. Uh, Connor gave us 10 Canadian dollars and wants to know what did the French person say when they heard a bad egg pun? Oof. Oof. Like, oof as in like... Yes! Oof. Uh, oof, yeah. Oof. oof, yeah. That is it. That is right. You got the pun. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. Very happy with that. Uh huh. And uh, shout out to uh, Aurelis who uh, gave us ten dollars and says happy, a very happy birthday to you, John. Thank you for the years of entertainment. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Mm -hmm. Is this door open now? By the way, do I just need to find the key? I do. I don't have the. That's average locked. Do I need? I think I might need to fight my way up the. I can't remember if there's a, a key, because I can't fight my way up the thing. Uh, the super units don't have keys on them. I don't have twenty-five science for the terminal. And this is a password. There might be a password in here. I'm trying to remember if there's a password in here. I think I might need to fight my way up the Delta exhibit, which is not ideal, if that's what I need to do. Uh, uh, none of that. None of that. Formal complaint. Firearms exhibition. Sometimes you can find a uh, projection system, interrupt the show, etc, etc. That is not a password. Is there a key? Is that I know that's a gun cabinet which is hard locked. I can't I physically can't open that. Um skills. My science is way too low. Not even close. Uh lock pick obviously I can't do. Boosting science by eleven is going to be a no go, because that would be need six intelligence. I can't boost intelligence by six. I think I need to go the the long way round. I think it's been so long since I've done this with I I haven't I haven't done it like the the prep for like uh, anything like uh, uh, Fallout Three uh, the uh, the worst the worst wanderer or anything no we'll have to do that at some point but I haven't done any of the prep for that yet so I, I can't remember all the very I can't I don't know all the low skill solutions <laughs> all the low skill solutions I think I need to go the stupid way yeah I think I just need to fight my way up which is not ideal but at least I get. Uh, there's a load of trash here, so I may as well pick this up, so I'm going to be relying on this shit to keep me going. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to... Uh, shout out to uh, Connor, who gave us five Australian dollars, and says that I am wearing my MATN shirt I got years ago. Yay. I wish you many a happy birthday, and also, g'day, mate. Excellent. I hope so. uh, anyone I hope anyone out there might be uh, drinking from MATN mugs. I'm proud of the mug quality we have. Those mugs, the mug we've got, has, has held its, uh, has look, is looking very good to this day, I'd say. Yeah, um, we have merchandise. We do. On DFTBA, we, just, we never we talk about it. We never talk it, about it. We never DFTBA. push it. I mean, the thing about DFTB, uh, the thing about, like, ordering any kind of merch right now, obviously, is that there's going to be delays because of COVID. Yes. Um, and 
there was a while there where DFTBA, what they were doing in terms of like employee safety is that they only had one person working in the warehouse at a time. Yeah. Uh, which is great because we would, ve we very much want to be supporting a company that has a lot of good employee safety like that. Um, but it didn't mean that it, it was taking a while for stuff to, to ship out. Uh, let's see. Someone knows where I am. Mm. You over there? Yeah, I see you there. I don't have a great shot at your head. I'll take a 50... I'll take a 30% at your head. And... Oh, that's a double hit right there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the gnome! Oh, the gnome's over there now! Uh-oh. Claire, the gnome's over there. No, and this door isn't a proper door. Uh... This is a problem. The teddy bear, no! Oh my... It's stuck in the ceiling! Uh-oh. Uh, this is... This is, uh... This is maybe a, a problem, actually. Uh, take the, the... No, the quantum isn't rapid healing anymore. That's that's a new thing. Uh, prepare. Fall back. I think one of them was getting close. I might need to mine up this area. Yeah, I see. Yep. I had time to mine that up. I should have mined. Uh, right, and... That's a cripple, and that was a miss. He's down. I'm still in danger. Uh, health is low. I want to go over to... I've got like five mines in the world. Okay. Oh! No, no! Uh-oh. That was too close. He was very close. Let him walk into the mine. Let him walk into the mine. Let him walk into the mine. Rocket launcher. Let him come. He's going to have to move forward sooner or later. And that's some good damage. I uh, might still kill me. If I get double killed, that's crippled. One more. That's a miss, but I might still fire before he gets... Yeah, I get the, you get the fire off. Okay, I'm, still, I'm in caution, not danger. Drink! Double stim pack. That mine was the right decision to make. Not being a save. I'm happy with how that fight's going so far. I'm a little bit concerned about the, the teddy bear trapped in the ceiling. I might want to go over to the fat man at some point. The problem with approaching from this angle is it means I'm not approaching from the side with the control room. Then again, I don't have the science to turn on the turrets anyway. So I need to take on one. Hello! Hi! Hi! 65%. That's a crippled head. And that was... Oh, that was organs! That was organs right there. And dead. Hidden. Okay, good. That's... Oh, no, Claire! What? The teddy bear... Oh, it's trapped. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to get the teddy bear back. Uh, grab the stuff I can get. Because, yeah, this gun's got infinite... It's, it's not only powerful, it's got infinite ammo. Because uh, it's reusable. Uh, which is great. Which is really cool. Uh, but it does create the small problem that... Uh, yeah, uh, the, the teddy bear might now be trapped. Might be trapped for forever. Uh... Okay, uh... Oh, it's... Oh, wow. I think it despawned. Or it fell. It could have fallen. The game might have been like, no, that teddy bear's not coming down. So I guess we just, uh... You, you don't have a teddy bear anymore. Uh, I need to try and find the gnome at least. The gnome should have landed over here. We definitely find the gnome at this guy. And Fallout 3 generally doesn't despawn items. Uh, which means hopefully there might be a gnome somewhere around here. Oh no, Claire! I think we might have lost the teddy bear and the gnome. Oh no! This could be the dark. This could be our darkest day. This this right here is our darkest day. I think we actually have. I think we've lost it all. Oh no! I think they've both despawned. Oh, oh, Claire. I know. What do we do now? I don't. We can't go on. That's it. That's the end of the stream. We've lost the teddy bear and the gnome. Uh, I'm aware there are organs. There were some organs there, but organs are kind of bad. They're relatively heavy. Books are good. Because uh, books are quite light. So if you just come across a big old pile of ruined books, uh, they'll do. And drink double cola. Uh, and then this is... That's an average locked door. Wow, this is... This is... You know what's hilarious, Claire? Yeah? I know we kind of... This is a build, which is a perfectly normal build. But it feels like I'm playing... 
<laughs> useless Steve. Thanks. If that's that's so good to hear. Playing as you basically feels like playing as useless Steve. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Because you're useless. Really? Your character's terrible at everything. I think we're gonna have to go over to the but, fat okay, man. Okay, but like my character is bad at video games, which makes sense because it's me. It's fair. Hashtag real. Uh, okay, there's. It's so mean to me, guys. I think there's a ma a super mutant master as a guaranteed spawn in this room. Normally, you take care of him by turning on the turrets. Uh, useless Claire can't do that. Okay, we're not calling her that. No, sorry, evil Claire, not useless Claire. Well, I was gonna say smashy Claire, maybe rather than evil Claire, because people have been saying that I didn't make that many evil choices. Yes, it's true. Now where is? Right here. Where's the big lad? We've got to we've got to detect the location of the big lad and then ideally nail him. Oh uh oh! I think the big lad knows we're coming. Where is he? Is he here? Prepare for nukes. Prepare for there he is. That's oh that's a brute. Is it a brute rather than a master? It might just be a brute. Oh. Boom. Okay, well, he's dead anyway. I really hope there's not now a master around the corner. Because if there is, that could be a problem. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it is just a brute. Brutes are, like, in the early game, brutes are not nothing. Uh, can you make, even make it to me? Hello? Who's up here? It's... Oh, that's a basic. Okay, no, I was misremembering. I, I thought that was way worse than it was. A brute is... I mean, they're not they're not the easiest things in order to take care of, but they're not that scary either. Ow, dick. Uh, what's my range like on you? 38%. I'll take a couple of- Oh! Tripled head! Double hit! Very nice! And do not die to a basic super mutant at this point. Get back into cover. Let him come to you. Okay. I'm gonna let him come to me. He's gonna run in this direction. He's gonna come around over here. We're gonna have plenty of ch- Yeah, he's gonna come down the stairs. We'll have plenty of chances to get him as he comes down the stairs. Uh, just come around the corner, and as he charges in, we'll get him. And go! And now, in the head. Look, that was a bottle. And fire. It was a second bottle. And third bottle goes down. Alright, that's the brute dead. Okay, yeah, I, from, uh, maybe, like, normally I come here at a higher level. I swear that guy can be a, um, he can be a master. But on this occasion, he was not. On this occasion, he was a brute. The brutes are not nothing in the slightest. So I think a nuke was still the right uh, the right option. I mean, that's the lovely thing about Fallout 3. It gives you a couple of really powerful options early game. But, like, especially the Fat Man, extremely limited ammunition for them. Uh, which I think is really cool. Um, so that's fun. That's very, very fun indeed. And then you've got the rocket launcher, which, you know, is just a fun weapon. And it's strong, but it's not too strong. I think it's like, it, it's, it damages the game balance or anything. Uh, but I'd say it's, you know, it's, it's a very fun gun. So, okay. We're in good shape. We should now be able to just leave. That should be everybody dead. Though I might just very quickly check upstairs. I think I might be able to get to... Do I can get him to this? I think this might be locked. If this is locked easy, I can get in. Then I might be able to get a key to open up the far side. I can't remember. No, actually, that's not even locked at all. Uh, so I'm just going to have to do Sledgehammer! Yay, Sledgehammer. Everyone loves Sledgehammer. Camera! That's a fun thing to shoot at people. Also, here's weird. Back in these days, you couldn't pick up fans. Rather than being like, you know, the single most desirable item in the world. As they were promoted to in Fallout 4. In this game, you can't even pick up fans. It's weird. Just walk past a fan and be like, yeah, fans, I don't care. What do I need to What does it do? They contain screws in Fallout 4, which is because uh, of the junk economy. So oh. they became kind of like the most important things in the world. Uh, but in these days, they were not. They were just nothing. Which feels really weird. There we go. There should be a key here, right? I could have sworn that. Yeah, there we go. Custodian key. I take all of this. Be beautiful. I could have sworn that was a key right there. So that means I can get to here. Meaning now we can just get our way back down. Should be no major problem. And I'll take some snack cakes. Uh, just for some nice, easy healing. My health is... It's been better, but it's been worse. I think we're okay. We should just be able to, yeah, walk straight out. I didn't use a single stealth boy either. I mean, that, um... 
that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad uh, for this character. I will take that. I will take that. That is, that's A-OK. -okay. I'm just going to drop a save given I just did all that. There we go. Right, so now we just step out. We immediately leave. We go back to Jinnar. We turn that in. We can go then straight to uh, Rivet City. So, okay, now we can start making some really fast progress plot-wise because we've already been to Rivet. So we kind of did things a little bit out of order in that. Oh, no, sorry, we're supposed to... No, we can't because we have to go to the Washington Monument. You don't take the dish back to Three Dog John because that's that's no, he doesn't want it because he wants you to fix the damn radio, John. Uh, the problem is how many more student mutes here. Actually, if I if I stick to the outskirts, I should be able to just beeline it straight to the Brotherhood of Steel because uh, there's two knights, so the super mutes can't be too close. So if I just keep my distance, and I'm pretty sure none spawn here. There might be some prisoners here or something. I don't think there's anything here. Sometimes you find a prisoner here, but no, on this occasion, already dead. Yeah, I think we're pretty safe just to basically in a moment. Yeah, because there's this wall in the way. Uh, if we just stick to this side, then we just beeline at the um, the Brotherhood, which should be A-OK. -okay. And then, yes, then we can install the dish. Say hello to... Um, say hello to Thru. I'm not sure what he's going to say to me, because he can't tell me my dad's location, because he already told me it. Um, he already told me that, so that's... Actually, maybe he told me my dad was a silent. I can't remember that she told me about Rivet City. Can't remember. Uh, but in either case, we'll be, uh, we'll be good. So yeah, just uh, start running at this point. There should be... Yeah, there's a brute with a minigun or something over there. But we do have... There we go, Washington Monument. Okay, so this bit's nice and easy. They're expecting me for whatever reason. They're very chill. Super chill with me. Spectacular. Open the outer security gate. Open up you. And yep, yeah, we're just going to literally go and sort that out. There we go. The mall outpost. Spectacular. Which is... It's very small inside here. I'm guessing the actual mall is like a little bit bigger. A bit, bit bigger than this. Which is fun. Shouldn't this during the day, by the way? It's kind of, it's kind of impressive if you kind of come here at like uh, dawn or dusk or whatever. When there's some nice light. Middle of the night. Not so much. Hang on. Don't you see... Let's see. I swear it wasn't that. That wasn't what the time of day it was outside. I swear that was not the time of day. It was outside at all. I swear it was. Yeah, it's 11 p.m. But did... it... game, are you sure? Yes, that's more like it. The game is like, nope, nope, no, it's fine. It's light. It's light out now. It's, it's fine. We don't need to worry about that nonsense. Right, I'll be having giant piles of ammunition for free. Oh, free bed as well, and. Metal helmet, not bad. Uh, may as well, quite frankly. Uh, give myself a few hours of sleep. Give myself to well rested. Because uh, I might be able to turn. The, if you can turn in quests under well rested, that's kind of you know, nice. Uh, where's the point where you shove the thing? By the way, over somewhere is it here? Yes, here we go. Install dish. Um, oh, you just install it there, and it appears there. Okay, job flipping done. Uh, do I want a bottle? Do I want a shot glass? Oh, Claire's gone and brought me presents. Well, I got up for something else, so I figured I might as well bring them in here. Ooh, presents. So we could do them whatever you want. There you go. You see, from here, this is a nice view. Can you actually hop out this window? You cannot, but you can jump and get a bit of a view. It's nice, the Washington ruins. They're very good. Right, okay. Uh, now I just need to go back downstairs. And... Pff, I've never noticed that paddle bugging up before. I have a millionaire shortcake, by the way. Yes, of course. I would like one. Thank you. Hold. Oh. Bit multi. <laughs> yeah, do you want me to put those in the fridge for a sec? That's no, fine. It's fine? Mm. Okay, cool. Uh, well, whilst you eat that, shout out to uh, Jeb, who gave us 10 Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all your videos. Uh, Morgan gave us two pounds and says, I'm off to work, but uh, have a great day, John. Love your vids. Oh, uh, I love my vids too. Yes, indeed. Uh, I do. I really enjoy them. I think they're yes. well put together. Yes, indeed. That's very true. Um, 911635 gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday from Montana. Ooh, Montana. Montana. That's a state we don't hear from that often. Uh, hey, all right. There we go. Job done. Hey, Good fight. Help. We could have all skipped all facts. that if you've been you just been willing to do that. Clap. Uh, Northwestern United States. What did I not want to do? You, did, you, you No, you said you did want to go and help out this guy uh, when we could have just skipped it. 
Mm. You wanted to help him out. You you wanted to go to the Museum of Technology. Yeah, because that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Rivet City, absolutely spectacular. Goodbye, three dog. Off we go. Giant pile of XP. Strokes level six. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Repo Horror Todd gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John, and a very merry unbirthday to Claire. Uh, can you tell that was all caps? Uh, I I could have I detected yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, Sean gave us uh, ten euros and says when slash are you going to try a Fallout 4 Yolo run, John? Really soon. We're getting really there. Soon, yeah. There's a lot of Fallout 4 stuff coming up. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Carter, who gave us uh, one Canadian dollar. Good dollar. Uh, and uh, to uh, Koi. I'm sorry if I'm saying that super wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Koyu, uh, who gave us five Brazilian reais and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for helping us through quarantine. Excellent. Okay, Claire, I've got a choice for you. Yeah. Would you like toughness for 10 percentage points damage resistance, so you can take more damage? Okay. Or bloody mess for 5% bonus damage That's with everything thing. and people explode into giblets more often? That one. That one, bloody mess. Or education. What's that do? It, it just means you get more skill points. Oh. But then we can still take bloody mess later, right? Yes, we can. Uh, and uh, so it makes sense to take the more skill points one it earlier does. on. It does, yes. Let's do that. There, I just see you were so uh, sure, but then I raised mate Brenton education because I know I know how to push your buttons. Well, no, it's just that it makes sense to take that the earliest possible that you can. Yes. Right, because then it just gives you more. Anyway, never mind. Uh, there is in fact a super chat that is written out in Greek. Okay. Uh, so I am going to message it to you in uh, in Twitter. Uh huh. Shukairo uh, soy epitois genesesois su o ion? Ion? I think that's uh, or ion. I assume that's capital iota. You don't generally see it. I think it, it is capital iota from how it yes, shows. Yes, so it's a bit it's a bit the small document. and it tends a little bit on the odd side. Oh bloody hell! Cairo uh, is normally Greek. Uh, Shug is possible. Is this modern or ancient Greek? I'm not um, sure they didn't say. Shout out, by the way, to Bass, who gave us five euros. Uh huh. Um, I mean, Gen uh, Gene is obviously something to do with age. Uh, so that I think it's I think it's I think it's just happy birthday. Uh, I think I think it's I think it's a happy birth. I think it's a slightly. Uh, I think it's I wish you a happy birthday or some variant thereupon. By the looks of it, if I had to guess. Yeah, well, Google Translate is really not happy with it, so <laughs> I can't help, but I hope it's not uh, incredibly inappropriate. Excellent. Uh, so there we go. Uh, <laughs> it looks like something very close by to uh, Happy Birthday, or like it's something like I greet or I wish, and mm -hmm. like something about uh, something about age or something. It's it's very. Uh, it's very, uh, it's, it's something of that nature, anyway. Uh, yes, indeed. And then we've got Elias, who gave us five euros, uh, and says, Natalis uh, Leatus TV John, which, uh, that would be the Latin Ex for happy birthday. Yes. Yeah. That Google Translate taught me. I don't know Latin. Oh, dear. Uh, wait, where's the, where's the main, where's the main scientist gone? Where's what's a face gone? Stop hiding around the back, Dr. This is Lee. This area. There you go, James's daughter. It we met. In fact, you were there when I was born. Spectacular. You're Where's my dad? He's naffed on. Project Purity. It Jefferson Please Memorial. Do. Full of soup mutants. Bit of a concern, but what can you do? Uh, so yes, that's that's fun. And it's just me going there by myself. Have to go now. Goodbye. Right. So that's not going to be uh, too much of an issue. So yeah, that one's a uh, that one's a nice, easy little plop thing as needs doing, just because I'm literally just uh, passing through anyway. Uh, so that actually, we haven't had a crash for a while. That's good. You jinxed it now. I know, but we haven't had a crash like you know for for a few minutes, uh, which is uh, very welcome, very welcome indeed. Also, this is the where's the drug room? There's a drug room. Uh, somewhere in here. It's not this. It's a storage room on the left on this corridor. It's where Paul goes for his uh, goes for his drugs. It's ah, it's locked in here. Fine, you need seventy five lock pick for that anyway. So we can't get in there. Okay, we've got what we uh, what we need. 
outside, and yeah, Project Purity is obviously right over there. So we should be able to head pretty much. I'm not sure if I've actually got a faster. No, I never went. I never went to the Jefferson Memorial last time. So okay, we need to take out a few super mutants on the way. Uh, some bit too many companions, but they're very. They're all mortal in this game, so like they they die a lot. They do a lot of dying, so it's not always the best idea to uh, to have companions. I was kind of hoping for a gun trader. I can't remember which one the gun trader is, because I keep thinking it's Cricket. But no, that's that's Fallout 4. Uh, Cricket's the gun trader in Fallout 4, uh, voiced, of course, by Ashley Birch. You can tell, because she sounds basically the same in all of her roles. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. She was good in um, she was good in uh, in Horizon Zero Dawn, but she does she does have uh, she does sometimes sound a little bit similar from one uh, one she role to another. She has a voice, and and it doesn't change between games. It, it, that's true, but you also find like you know sometimes you kind of hear oh yeah this person voiced seventy two different characters in New Vegas, and you you wouldn't you aside from like one or two you wouldn't know. Yeah, fair enough. Like uh, some some voice actors have a remarkable flexibility. There is so little cover here. There's so little cover. Lucky Harif, that's him. Because Crow is the uh, is the guy with the armor. I've run into him twice now. I'm a little bit so. There's not much cover here at all. I kind of want to just want to go round. I might just want to loop round to the other side. Uh, you're coming straight at me. Are you a basic lad? You're just a basic. Uh, okay. There's a bit of cover here. You can use a little bit of cover over here. Let's get to cover over here. Yeah, here we go. This will do. This will do. This will do. Get over here. I can use this as cover. And then we just wait for you to come right over here. And then we should be able to get a couple of... Not good enough. 50-50. And you have to reload because these things are manual. And give me the headshots. Give me the headshots, seriously. One. Crippled. And some good hits there. There he goes. And back to hidden. Still got 56 shots of this thing. Whoever's up there doesn't seem to be paying a huge amount of attention yet. Just quickly gather up plates and what's not. Because that's that's what you do with this gun. It's all very weird. We should be A-OK. -okay. Just one stim pack just for safety. Depends how many brutes are spawning in. If there's brutes, that could be a concern. I kind of shouldn't really be approaching from this angle. It's a bad angle. I see you over there. I see... Who's that? Wait, what? Who's that? Who's... Who's storming Project Purity? Who the flip was that? That was unusual. Whoever it is, they've already killed... What? Is as a trader? Got lot... Wait, they've killed two of them. Who the shit? What the? Well, one person's running over this direction. Um, who was that? Who is this mysterious hero? Someone just, someone just took out, and I just saw them. Who were they? Where was the body? I don't, I have no clue who that was. I have no clue. Go, 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 go. Just toss junk. Fire junk until dead. Get into cover. Ow. 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 Third time you dick. Stop it. It's mean. Stopping your dick. Right. Uh, go. Okay. And that was crit. If we get the hit now, that should be kill. Oh, kill with the bottle. Now, I want to know who... Who was this mysterious? It was! It was Evil John! It was Alternative Universe Evil John! Future For the, um, hang on, let me check the numbers here. For the 700 people watching the alternative stream that I'm simultaneously streaming from oh the my future. God. Come on. Um, you fools, you shouldn't have left. Uh, yeah, th those people, uh, I just stormed, uh, Project Purity from the other side, uh, using this new, uh, Fallout 3, uh, multiplayer mod that we've installed specially. Oh my god, shush, John! <laughs> Okay, I genuinely want to know who this- Is it a joke? There's no mod. There's no alternate stream. 
They're going to ask in the comments. There was an alternate stream. There literally people. was an alternate stream. Yeah, but it's not currently going on. That's what we want them to think, yes. Well done oh for sticking God. with the story. Oh my God, where, where, where's the body of this guy? Because we, we saw him over here. We saw him over here in the distance. We saw evil alternate John over here because the super mutant was engaging him. But I don't see... I don't see a body. And he took out... He looks like he took out two mutants and badly wounded another. Does anyone see a corpse? Can anyone see a corpse? Who was this mysterious hero? Who just appeared, took out some super mutants, and then just disappeared afterwards? Who was this hero of our times? I... I have n Okay, this is... This is weird. I mean, he, it could, they couldn't have just left. Because there were other mutants who were dead yet. So... Unless they had the gun shot out of their hand. And they that meant they started retreating. This is a corpse. Let me see a corpse. There's no body. What the shit is this? What? What happened? I... I... I have no clue. The only place they could have gone is if they were knocked, like, off the... If they were knocked off the top. If they didn't retreat down the... The thing. If they were knocked off the top and they ended up, like, over here somewhere. And they ended up, like, between the pipes. Over here on the ground. I don't see any evidence of a corpse down here. I mean, someone was someone was saying they look vaguely Brother of Steel. That's that's true. It vaguely looked like it was uh, Fallout 3 era power armor, which is, of course, a lot less bulky than it is less. It's not impossible they were fleeing. That's true, because it looked like the super mutants were trying to follow. I guess we're going in this direction to try and find them. Holy shit, I think we found him. I think it was a caravan gun. It's a water yeah, caravan. Yeah, they ran across the bridge. A super mutant chased them away a couple of minutes ago. An NPC ran across the bridge. It's it's a hundred percent. It's Wolfgang. Mm. It's Wolfgang. Hello. Holy shit! It was one of the traders. It's crazy. It's the appropriately named Crazy Wolfgang, <laughs> who just sort of decided. Fuck it! Welcome, I'm walking sir, straight through super mutant Wolfgang. territory, and you yeah. can't stop what me. He is indeed I the craziest of wolf gangs. This is the real hero, Nothing right here. This guy is the real damn hero. And <laughs> Everything I've got is insignificant. Also, he does have uh, the second schematic for the rocket launcher, uh, which is uh, very good, but I'm probably can't afford it. Um, no, there's no way in hell I can afford it. Not without selling mini nukes, which I do not want to do. Uh, but yeah, if you've got multiple schematics, the gun just gets uh, higher condition by default. Uh, but there's no way in hell I can afford any of this. Actually, hmm. Well, I've got a few bits and pieces to sell. I've got a few bits and pieces to sell. Uh, they need to be sold anyway, quite frankly. Uh, I may as well make money even if I can't actually afford the darn thing. Uh, so none of that, none of you. If only I d didn't have, uh, don't need any of that. Aid, misc, ammo, sell, sell, sell. No, not even close. Oh well, that's Crazy Wolfgang's, uh, he's an odd one. Uh, do I want to buy an East? Yeah, you know what, 36 for a Stimpax is a bad doing price. Business with. You done any repairs for me, by the way? Uh, that's nothing, that's nothing... I'll take 80 caps for plus two to rocket launcher. Just keep that thing going, damn it. Keep that thing going. Crazy Wolfgang. Amazing. He just took out most of the the super mutants and then dived into the water and swam away. Like the biggest damn badass who ever lived. What? Just what? What is this? That is, that's so stupid and I love it. I love it. Oh, Wolfgang, you magnificent bastard. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. We've got a few new channel members as well. 
shout out to uh, Claire Osland. Uh, oh, hi, Mark. Adam B and JP Dewar, who are all new channel members. Welcome. Hello, Welcome new channel indeed. members. Um, shout out to uh, Jeans and Cowboy. Also, oh, hang on. Just while you're talking about channel members. Yeah. That's relevant. She's giving me the face. Uh, if you're a channel member, just in case you don't know, channel members do get access to uh, the patron cast. So if you ever want to see many hours of me talking about stuff, go over to the community tab and just cycle through it. Because now you're channel members, you'll see a bunch of posts there you wouldn't have been able to see before. Uh, yes, uh, which is where the patron casts are. Uh, and so that, if you don't know, is we have an actual Patreon. I know we don't talk about it uh, all that often. But Secret. we have an actual Patreon that uh, helps us have an actual, you know amount of money that we can trust what it's going to be because with youtube ad revenue that's very difficult <laughs> so we have a patreon and the patrons every month get a very very long podcast uh we don't want to we don't want to uh gate videos you know we don't want to have a a, a, a paywall in front of any videos but we do have the patreon podcast that die you bastards and it's literally like a three-hour Q&A with John. He talks a bit at the beginning about how the channel is going and what kind of videos we're doing that month and all of that. Yes. And then answers questions uh, for like three hours. Yes. Uh, it's legit three hours. I, this is not hyperbole. It's very long. Wait, what uh, the shit? There you go. The, the turrets are... What? That's not supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. The turrets are already on. They're not supposed to be on! What? No! The whole point is there's a terminal here that lets you turn the turrets on to give you a hand. But the... They... They were already... This run is cursed. There's a ghost inside the machine in this run. What the shit is happening? This is... The, the whole point is... There's supposed to be this terminal right here that lets you take control of the turret system. But it just... It just didn't... What? Claire? I don't know. Everything's weird. This is... This is... This run is cursed. This run is absolutely weirdly cursed and I don't know what's happening. Right. Shove all the things back in the thing. Oh no, I put the lawn... Oh well. It's still going to be there. It's fine. We'll deal with that later. What? What? What is this? Uh, yeah, Wolfgang turned the turrets on. Wolfgang, I, I, I half expecting to just like get to Tranquility Lane or like the the vault, and like Wolfgang's already gonna be Wolfgang's already gonna have like rescued my dad. He's gonna be, oh yeah, this guy called Wolfgang came in a while ago. Sorry, <laughs> didn't really need to bother coming. And then you know Wolfgang will take care of all of our problems for us. Right, just wait for one centaur. I'm seeing a centaur. Just let him come right up close to me. And then... Actually, you know what? As he's got no armor... Boom! We just... Wow! I'm guessing that's Wolfgang that did that. And Claire gets the... Stab! Yeah, cut his tongue off. Cut his tongue right off. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice backhand there. Oh, you literally did! You cut his little tentacles off. Claire! It's mean of you. Wow. Unnecessary, Claire. Harsh. Okay. Just, we should be okay for now. There's probably more around the back. Uh, but if they are, they're probably going to stick around the back. Because if they were going to come forward, they already would have come forward a bit. Right, so I'll take free stuff while I'm just looting. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. I was just saying, uh, shout out to Jeans and Cowboy Boots, who gave us uh, 20 pounds. Uh, and she says, happy birthday to my favorite YouTuber. Uh, my daughter Faith sends birthday hugs and is sad that I won't let her watch the whole stream because of her bedtime. Also, the streams are a little bit more sweary, of course, than the rest of the channel. The rest yes. of the channel is mostly fairly family friendly. Well, the streams are a little bit more not so. But Jeans and Cowboy Boots knows that because yes. they've been watching for a super exactly. long time. Uh, and so has Faith because we've had messages from her before. I don't know if you remember... Uh, jeans and cowboy boots saying that uh, Faith wanted to give her your pocket, uh, her pocket money. I did, yes. Yes. 
Uh, and now we've got an actual little message from Faith. <gasps> um, oh my goodness, that's adorable. Faith says, hello, John. My mommy says I have to go to sleep soon, but that I can say happy birthday first. I think you and Claire are very funny and your cat Tabby is beautiful. Love from Faith. Oh. Faith, sorry. <laughs> the THs are hard still. Apologies um, if you uh, if you are long gone to bed, Faith. Well, I mean, I Hopefully actually... Hopefully you'll catch this later. I hope you've slept well, Faith. I read that one as soon as I like transferred it from like where I take it on YouTube, but I bumped it up just hoping. But I, uh, you know, it's just with how busy it is today, then probably not. I don't know. Grenade! I don't know what time is good for it. Also, I don't know how old Faith is, but I don't know how. What oh, time melee! Is. Stupid melee mutants. I don't know when children go to bed, basically. Well, it depends on the child and the age, really. Yes, and I don't know how, how old Faith is, which is what I was saying. But, um, yeah, no, I, I, um... God damn, rocket launcher. I think she must be in the process of being uh, put to bed right now because I tried to message, uh, I tried to message uh, her mom and didn't get anything back, so probably she's not dead, but... Eh. Yes. Uh, let's see. Well, hopefully she'll hear this later, and I hope you slept yeah. well, Faith, and I'm glad you find us amusing. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, shout out to Peggy the Poodle, who gave us five dollars. Uh, sorry, I was just saying shout out to Peggy, who, Peggy the Poodle, who gave us five dollars and didn't leave a message. Uh, and shout out also to, uh, Captain Wowzers! <laughs> Excellent, us, very exciting name. Uh, who gave us uh, five pounds and says, Claire the Barbarian. Uh, we just right this second got a message in from Adam who uh, gave us five dollars and says, my earliest super chat wasn't read, but happy birthday again. It is on the list, it is going to get read. Like, I promise it's not that I'm ignoring people. It's like right now the document where I keep super chats has 13 pages of them. Wow. And uh, they that's probably are in my small fault. Font. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, absolutely. Probably. Um, so I'm sorry. Am I. Uh, Claire's nudging me with her computer. computer. Claire's got a laptop and she's bumping me with it. Yeah. Um, well. It's we were planning to have a super special surprise for you today, which is we were going to have set up a, a special dual microphone system so Claire was more audible. Then we didn't. We didn't because you were supremely unimpressed with the solutions that we, with the things that we needed to do to, uh, just, it would have required you making a very small change that would have been very <laughs> beneficial for the audio quality of the videos, but you don't like changing I, things. True, I don't. <laughs> Yay, clipboards. Clipboards are good ammunition. Clipboards are really good ammunition, actually. Dear, oh dear. Load all of them up, load you up, load tin cans, load in glue. There we go. Back probably, we the chats are saying, uh, probably. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, anyway, shout out to Paul, who gave us five Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, AS gave us a 25 Hong Kong... Um, mm, I'm, mm, I'm going to look up this currency before I say something no, stupid. Uh, Jasmine gave us $5 and uh, says, Happy birthday, John! Wishing you many, many more. Uh, Wobbly Wazok gave us £5 and says, Happy Excellent birthday. Name. That's Excellent very name. Yeah. Like the name. Uh, Christine... Uh, Christine, who I believe is one of the new channel members, Excellent. gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John, RJ, and I hope you have a fun-filled day." Thank you very much, Christine and RJ. Uh, that wrong weapon, wrong weapon. Don't fire a missile launcher at point blank range. Mm -hmm. Just stab him with a knife instead. Stab. Stab. Cut its tongue off. Cut its tongue off. Nice. Brutal execution style there. No drama, nothing, just in, stab, gone, need my golf balls back, boom. Rocket launcher, carrying me right now, flipping carrying me through the game, because I'm not allowed to use small guns, which is by far the best type of gun. So that's... I don't know, small guns are just a little wee bit boring. Uh -huh. They are, I mean, use, I'd use them a lot, but that's, they're very good. Uh, and there we go. And yes, you don't actually need to... The game sort of magically knows which is the correct tape 
to listen to. It's 10, so if we just turn that off, and yes, off to Vault 112. Uh, information where it is. So yes, we don't need to go to the basement just yet. Uh, we can go uh, elsewhere. Just need to get some more stuff if I can. The rocket, the... We've got 37 shots left in this thing. We are, we are losing ammunition slowly. I might need to... I might just grab some junk on the way out. Find a new bit of a junk thing. Uh, so we'll see if that is as it should be. Yes, new cola. I don't want to have to use any of uh, anything else, so we'll just go for some of that. Yes. Hey, John. You know when I asked you a question in your in your DMs just right now, and you responded with a thumbs up. Yeah. Were you something up what I just assumed, or or or, or not? No, carry on. Carry, carry on, on with on, it. Carry on with it. Then. Um, okay, fine. You're I breaking see. the magic, Claire. They're, see the, the, yeah, they're no. seeing the people inside the Mickey Mouse costume right now, Claire. They already know. <laughs> I'm sorry, your kid is hard. Mickey, Mickey's not allowed to take his face off in front of the children, Claire. It makes them cry. Oh, my God. Stop anyway. pulling off Mickey's face, Claire. What would a... Faith say? Great. Uh... <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> shout out to uh, Roman Tale who gave us very, very generous hundred dollars. Thank you so, oh, so thank much. Oh, thank you so much indeed. Uh, and says happy birthday. Any chance that you'll play more Wasteland Three when it releases in a few weeks? Uh, yes, quite possibly. I'll kind of. I think I might do like a little live stream thing of that. The problem is, like, for pretty much everything coming out for the rest of the year. Congratulations, you stupid idiots. You just launched at the same time as Crusader Kings 3. Which is going to cause problems. Because nothing's getting in the way of Crusader Kings 3. Uh, so that's that. Uh, just so you know, I'm not editing anything else uh, after it comes out, ever. Uh-huh. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, but I love Crusader Kings. He's Fuck, fine. the game crashed. Great. <laughs> Luckily, uh, there was a load zone not far, not long ago. Uh, just FYI, by the way, if I know we are super, super behind on Super Chats. If you have given a Super Chat and you need to leave, please make sure to let me know about it. You can at reply me in chat so I can see it. Uh, and then, oh, um, oh, sorry, Jeans and Cowboy Boot just literally came back. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. Wait, uh, wait no. I think, you can, I think you can rewind even if you weren't here. No, no, I'm sure she can, but, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, the, the, the timing was not perfect for that, and I'm very sorry. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, Roman Tali says, thank you so much, Claire, because uh, he said he had to leave, and I bumped up his comment. Uh, you should mention your coffee. Mm -hmm, which is in the description. Oh, good. I definitely put the description. So, if you, even though it's not Claire's birthday today, if for some reason... You'd like to support her anyway, you can. There's a coffee link. Uh, yes, indeed. So there is a link, and I'm sure that uh, someone has already done the bot command in chat uh, for that link to show. But uh, yeah, basically, if you do need your comment read um, like now before you have to go or at any other point later in the stream, uh, if you add to reply me and you do at reply Claire, uh, at Claire Russo, then you, I should be able to see it more, um, you know, I should be able to see it easier. Yeah. Uh, and again, if you haven't heard your super chat, I've probably not missed it. It's probably just really far behind. Probably. Uh, probably. Let me actually find one of the super chats that's on my list and kind of see what kind of time I'm at, just so I can give people a little heads up, mm -hmm. uh, so that they know. Uh, let's see. Mm. Okay. Well rested, bright new day. So, okay, th this this will be a good time for you, Claire, because we are about to set out on the journey to Vault 112, which is a long walk. Uh, yeah. So we've got a lot of empty space uh, with just a handful of, like, enemies and whatnot in it between us and there. Whether we want to go to Tempany Town on the way is... Apparently there's some bad stuff going on here. Excuse me, Mr. Raider. I flipping wouldn't. And that's Doc Hoffman. We've run into, like, literally everybody but Lucky Harith. 
Bloody hell. What what is the deal with this? Then again, I guess Screw it. I'll just trade whatever I've got for drugs. Dog Hoffman, uh, of course, is I assume you Tell sell stim packs. And yeah, nuke grenade schematic as well. Uh yeah, you do sell some stim packs. Uh I'll sell you some uh I'll sell you ammunition, whatever ammo I've got. Etc. Basically, I have to trade ammo for stim packs at this point, together with the more valuable stuff like uh, uh, cigarettes uh, and whatnot, booze, which I don't need because my strength is already capped out. Uh, that Badlands armor, and I'll trade that for three stim packs. Done. Another satisfied Not customer. perfect, but it will do. Okay, and then we're just heading in this direction out into the wilderness. Claire, you've got a nice little chance. Yeah, uh, FYI. <clears throat> yes. Um, you. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, I just tried to look at uh, where I was in the super chat. I tried to look at the window that YouTube gives me. Yeah. That lists all the super chat, and I tried to search the ones that I've got to read next to see what time they popped up. Uh, some of them are so far back it won't give me it won't even show them to me anymore um, I think we're about like I think I'm reading shit from like 4 p.m. right now and it's almost uh, 8 excellent so, excellent I went out quite John levels of far behind but you know would someone like yeah. to help me with this 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 rad scorpion oh, there was a rad scorpion chasing me a second ago would someone like to help me with that no that's pissing off Okay, well that's that was a good start. Okay, maybe we don't want to use the knife. Uh, scorpions are a menace. The scorpion might have run into mole rats. Oh my god, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, shout out to Omega Game Studios who uh, in chat says, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, but I've not heard my super chat yet. It was around when you were making the character. I'm not sure if I just missed it or whatever. <laughs> You didn't miss it. I'm that far behind. Uh, so, you know, uh, shout out to Omega Game Studio who gave us 10 polish slotty and says, uh, John, you should turn Megaton into Megagon. Uh, and happy birthday with a little heart. Unfortunately, at this point, we now live in Megaton. We've made friends there. We've had several children. Generations yes, have so, passed. Uh, anyway. How are you further behind than I was when I was on my own? That's not true. You said you were six hours behind. That's not... Yeah, but that was got progressively worse over time. And But this got progressively worse. Yeah, fair enough. Also, there was a second stream. There was all of that. Yeah, there people was... People were giving... People were sending in Super Chats before we started streaming. Yeah. Like, before we started streaming, I was already quite far behind. If this becomes too dangerous, by the way, I do have three Stealth Boys, so I can Stealth Boy if this becomes too much of a problem. <laughs> We anyway, should be okay. Uh, shout out to Holy you. shit, yes! It's the Brotherhood Outcast. I can just follow them. Fuck uh -huh. it. I'm following uh -huh. them. They are safe. Uh, that is literally the best thing you can see when you want to break west. Random Brotherhood Outcast. Yeah, I'm following these guys. Claire! Shout out to Pickle who gave us $3 and sent us a little sticker of a pear punching the air with a fist bump on his knuckles. Uh, and Chris, who gave us five uh, pounds and gave us and sent in a sticker of a pair uh, blowing in a party horn, uh, so that's exciting. I, I don't know. I wonder how Google decided. Hey, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna launch this new initiative where people can send animated pair stickers I don't to know. their favorite streamers. How did they come up with this idea? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, you may have just noticed the outcasts just annihilated that because the outcasts are now my new best friends. Also, look at them. They're really badass. Their, yeah. their power armor is black and red. No, that it's is pretty cool badass. Armor. It's pretty <laughs> badass. Shout out to Joshua who just gave us two euros saying Super Chat to support Claire. Wait a minute. Super Chat does support Claire just indirectly rather no, than I directly. Think, I think Joshua was saying because I just said how far behind I am and now he's adding to it. Oh. I think that's what they mean. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, once again, if anybody has just come in, if you've sent your, if you've sent in a super chat in the last five out in the last four hours, I've not missed it. It's just that literally I can see the time stamps of when they come in, when they do come in. Uh, and I've got like literally four or five per minute. Uh, so, you know, it's just a lot of, we want to make sure we're also playing the game and just not reading Super Chat yes. the entire time. Exactly. So. 
Otherwise, it will turn to the situation like we had last year, where I just ended up reading Super Chat, like, played the game for a bit, and then re read Super Chats for four hours straight with nothing else. Oof. Yeah. Anyway, uh, shout out to uh, Not A Bot, who gave us $25, uh, and says, when is Fallout for YOLO, mister? Yeah, no, sometime, I guess. Uh, AS gave us, uh... Wait, hang on, no, like I was saying earlier, uh, someone just asked for it during an event that wasn't specifically about it, so, uh, that's another week I just postponed it. That's, that's... Yeah. Added to the total number of weeks it's postponed as, oh no, this, this counter only goes up to 9,999. Uh, oh, anyway... No. Oh no. John. Yes. AS gave us, uh, AS gave us, uh, 25 Croatian Kuna. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Thanks for all the great content. Uh, Jack gave us uh, $2 and says, I need audiobooks read by American Claire. I promise you, you don't. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's Completely missed. Uh oh. Okay. Where, where, does anyone know where the outcasts were? Because now there's a gut say. Shout out to Matthias who gave us a hundred Swiss francs and says happy birthday John. Thank you for the countless hours of entertainment. I wish you Claire and Tabby all the best and a great afternoon. Uh, Chris the writing jester gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. It is my wife's birthday as well. Mondays are a bit hectic at work so I will catch this later. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, Penguin Sea Peckles give us five dollars. Uh, Penguin Sea Peckles is an amazing name, by the way. Uh, and they say, Happy birthday, John. I shall be eating birthday cake in your honor and because I love cake. Yay. Oh my god. Just Sammy in chat says, John gets so far behind that he still hasn't read Super Chat from the Bronze Age Collapse. <laughs> That's a very Ooh. good random classics burn there. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Also, I'm like, this is the Brotherhood are just keeping me alive right now. I'm just following them around. Also, you just see that this is why I love the Fallout 3 wasteland more than any other wasteland. Like, you just sort of, you know, I've run into these guys and they're just going to be a friendly escort and they're keeping me alive. And then, like, you know, I knew there was a gutsy here, but then it was distracted because it was attacked by a wild dog. And now there's just a robo brain over there, which I'm going to try and attack and draw a bit of attention to. And we'll see if we can... Yep, that definitely dropped your attention. Just firing stuff at it. Now he's going to start firing at me. And then I'm just going to basically use the outcasts as uh, human shields. And this is just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. And it's still trying to fire at me. I'll let the outcast deal with it, to be honest. I'm just going to I'm just gonna ransack this shit. Because now that that gutsy's dead, I know for a fact there's free shit at the uh, this encampment. Because the people are dead, but the gutsies were still there. That's a very low condition. I shouldn't have even bothered taking that. And that's... Is that a gun? Is that, ooh, 10 millimeter. Eh, low condition though. What can you do? No, don't... No, don't go back! Oh, good. They're just going back to the road. It's okay, guys. Just... just I love you. Don't leave me. I need you to kill literally everything for me because Claire's not very good at that. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, On Throne who uh, gave us uh, 99 Philippine pesos. Ooh, uh, good currency. And says, Happy birthday, John, and many a true years to come. One lives Thank in you hope. Very much. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lucas gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Hope you get a good score on that goat. <laughs> So there well, we, we go. became we became marriage counselor, Claire, <laughs> the marriage counselor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lord of Amazing. The, Lord of the Space Dogs gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. Showed up on Evil Goat, so a pretty typical MATN str stream. Yay! <laughs> amazing. Truly amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, B gave us, uh, that's Romanian Lao, I think. YOLO, I'm not even gonna actually, I'm pretty sure it's that currency. I'm just gonna not look it up. I don't have time. Shout out to B who gave us 10 Romanian Lao and says, Happy birthday. Do uh, Dr. Lipkin gave us two, uh, dollars and says, John, please return to Half-Life 2. It has so much more to offer. I'm sure we will at some point. Yes, indeed. Uh, ooh, interesting, interesting point from Cornish Man in America. Yes. Uh, who gave us ten dollars? Many happy returns, John. Go buy a birthday pastry. Wait, what the? Well, we actually do have some birthday desserts. Yes, that's my point. Do you want some? 
Uh, so that you can eat and then I can talk. Not just this second, but that's... I don't know, because we're, because we're being escorted by the outcast, I don't think we're going... But I think I'm giving you plenty of time to talk right now. Yeah, I just don't trust that it's going to last. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Uh, shout out to Ro, who gave us five uh, pounds, and says, You never fail to make me laugh. You are both brilliant. Uh, James gave us six pounds 66 and says happy evil birthday yay no not evil birthday the evil universe was defeated uh, only yes, only i good john mm -hmm. and left uh, good Kip john kill Stap gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday john hope it's quite excellent claire charisma is the most useful charisma is the most useful stat charisma 10 what no it's we, not we, we, bullshit we were just uh, setting bullshit. up the characters so there you go bullshit um, a bottle of uh signa sign a bottle of sign gave us uh 50 norwegian krona it's probably signa if it's norwegian krona if someone was born in an evil mirror universe and everything had the word evil in front of it, they'd feel so much pressure to be evil. It's true. It's, it's, I mean, look that's at fair. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, we're not we're not talking about the franchise that shall not be named. Let's not look at this child. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to uh, Kugi Kitty who gave us five dollars <laughs> and says happy birthday. It's close to mine too. August birthdays are only for the best. Excellent. Uh, what building is this, by the way? Because I kind of don't want to go inside anywhere in case it despawns my friends, the outcasts. Yeah, in case I, I need, see. in case I need to retreat towards them in a hurry. Because mm -hmm. this building appears to not have. I believe this place is tied to the um the quest for the uh what's it called the the Zhulang the Zhanlo uh rifle the unique variant of the Chinese assault That's rifle. Wrong. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can't, you can't just go and get it. You need to have actually done the quest. You, you pick it up in the Museum of uh, Technology. Also, I may have gone so far ahead, it's possible these guys have already despawned behind me or taken a different path. Uh, I see the Brahman. I don't see my, no, there they are. They're going a different way. I think we need to break off with them because unfortunately they appear to be heading north. Uh, which is kind of into... I think I see a scorpion down there. But I'm not sure there's anything down there. Oh, yeah, we, we, we're breaking off from them. Tragically, we've lost our escort because they're going a different way. But they have managed to take us... Uh, maybe just shy of halfway there. Uh, I'll take it at a pinch. And I'll go to the electrical store because I need just trash to keep my best gun going. So we'll be uh, we'll be nipping into these shops. I don't think these guys are spawning. I don't think these guys spawn uh, Talon Company Mercs. We'll have to see if that's the case. Never mind. Raiders live in this place. Totally missed. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, this is an electrical store of some description. And now, oh, ow, ow, everything was on fire. There was a gas leak. Okay, everything's fine. Aside from there being, you know, a massive gas leak and everything being on fire. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there's, ah, oh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a gas leak. They've just got a missile launcher. They've just got a missile launcher. That's good. Uh, I need you to die. FYI, and he's been crippled. Just kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him before he fires, kill him before he fires, kill him before he fires, kill everyone before they fire! Just don't stop firing! Die, 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 you dick! Why won't you die? I shouldn't have come in here. This, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Uh, so that's... Everything's, everything's, everything's... That wasn't even an option, John. And that definitely wasn't. Never mind, ignore the terminal. This is, this is... Well, this was a waste of everything. There's still, it's full of trash. You know what? I've got missiles. I've got a missile launcher. I've got giant piles of trash. That's, that's basically all I need. When you think about it. Everyone loves giant piles of trash. I mean, just look at all this shit. This is great. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Kevlar Menace who gave us ten dollars and says happy anniversary of last year's birthday, John. 
Uh, Urban Cohort gave us $10 and says, It is I, Evil Urban, uh, donating my usual amount to the Jolt of John. Praise Tabby. Praise Tabby. Uh, shout out to Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell gave us five Australian dollars uh, and a poop emoji and just says poop. Sweet. So there you go. That, that sums up this stream so uh -huh. far. There's been a lot of crashing. I thought it was a, a summing up of 2020, but sure. In general, yes. Mm -hmm. Either works. Uh, Walker uh, gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, and uh, Rachel gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John, from Virgil the Greyhound. Ooh, Greyhound. So Is there a photo? Uh, maybe, but I have not had time to look at my Twitter uh, a single second yet in this stream. <laughs> Uh, there will be there will be cute ass pet pictures. They they will be coming up. Uh, they will I be just coming. need to collect them. Acceptable. Uh, so, um, mm. That's like a good condition sledgehammer. That looks really good condition. Oh wow, that's perfect condition sledgehammer. Wow, uh, done that shit. I want a sledgehammer. That is literally a perfect condition sledgehammer. That's actually kind of sweet. You don't find many perfect condition weapons in this game because the whole point is, you know. The game balances... Ooh, skull! Oh, I can't pick up the skull, boom. I thought you said the sledgehammer wasn't very good compared to the knife, though. It isn't it when I'm using vats, but against more heavily armoured opponents, if I'm going... If I, if I could do a sneak attack critical, it would be better, because mm. higher base damage means that the first, the first attack is more important. Don't we get a bunch of crits? Because we put some in luck. Uh, we get some crits. I, uh, admittedly... I'm I mean, a little bit underwhelmed by how many we've had so far. You do love to OP those crits. The crits are... I just sat down. I didn't even really need to sit down. There's no real need for me to sit down, but okay. Uh, crits are ludicrous. And okay, now we can start reloading the gun. That's more like it. Back up to 50-odd shots in that thing. Yep, yeah, and shotgun shells, turpentine. More flipping cans, more flipping bottles. Just basically steal, steal all the trash. Steal all the trash. Just load, just put the trash into the gum. Okay, it's all about just, just trash. Trash is golden. That's what we want. Okay, we just need huge amounts of trash. Yay, trash. I, you better not have just spawned flipping idiots out. That's another perfect edition sledgehammer. That's weird. Please don't have spawned. Slightly suspicious. Uh-oh! Something's over there. What is Oh, shit! It's... Wait, what? The brother and outcasts are back! Claire! Nice. They came to see me! What the... Everyone's here! But they all seem to be friendly. There's... There was more than one person... Just a random caravan just started sprinting. Okay, are you... Are these your cows? There's... A caravan is just going bananas off in that direction. These guys have decided to come and hang out with me. Yeah, where are you going? Are you going over... Ah. Uh, they going south? No, they're not. They're heading back. They're heading back east. Fine. That's a shame. I was hoping Aww. they might have wanted to be friends. Uh, just want to let you know that uh, Jeans and Cowboy Boots says, uh, I just sat the stream. Uh, I just... Uh, um... Went back in the stream uh, and quickly showed Faith her super chat being read. She was smiling so, so much. Oh. Uh, and also, uh, and also. What the uh, shit is that? Also, she says Faith isn't allowed to watch like every single live stream, just the more special ones. Uh, I think because of the swearing thing you mentioned. But she loves the videos. So there mm -hmm. you go. Oh, I've accidentally stumbled across this amazing room. I don't know if I've ever bothered putting this on the channel before. Mm -hmm. um, so there's like a ridiculous mouse trap room. Uh, in the, in, uh, in, uh, Fallout 3. Uh, where you'll notice there's, like, arrows on the floor. And what you're, and what you're instructed to do is, uh, like, stand on this thing. And then this happens, Claire. It's very mm -hmm. cool. So if we just step on this, that triggers that. And it just forms a massive, it's a domino thing. Oh, that's so cool. There's a big domino thing. It just sort of goes over here. And that one triggers that, and that causes that to go over there. And then everything starts exploding, so you want to kind of be um, standing at, at the distance. And then there's a massive explo and then there's a massive gas explosion uh, that causes a huge pile of skeletons to fall out of the um, fall out of the ceiling. Uh, together with actually a box of and Nikola Tesla and you. 
And it's kind of just a bit of a... And actually, there's some skill magazines here. Stickler Testament New and Tumblr's today. It also gets you a missile. Uh, but here's, here's the fun thing. Uh, why I was very glad I just accidentally found this room. Which is, obviously, this room's a bit of a joke. Uh, but guess guess what the joke's constructed of? Mm. It's constructed of boxes of detergent that all weigh one. Oh, amazing! So, basically, we are going to be firing nothing but detergent. And also a Braxo cleaner. Now, admittedly... I mean, uh, we can also do, like, a really, really naff, like... You know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer style quips yes. to baddies when we take them down about how they should like clean up their act or something. Yeah, that was, uh, that's that's no offense. We're, pro we're probably going to run out of those pretty quickly, given we are going to be shooting nothing but detergent enemies for some time, mm -hmm. some time at this point. But it's really cool, and it's actually uh, there's yeah, the actual new cola uh, here, which is great. I really don't need anything else. As a result of that. But yes, and Nicola Tesla and you will just read all of these. A dead poet in chat says, Well, here's something else I never knew about this game. Yeah. Uh, so that's really It's great. a cute Everybody's little thing. It's because I think a lot of people miss it because this entire location is not, uh, it's not named. It's not tagged. It doesn't like have anything special uh, going on in it at mm. all. Like if you were just like saying, Oh yeah, I'll investigate that over there because I can see that it's got like, um, you know, it's a location. It's marked on my map. Uh, this isn't marked on the maps. It's just here. Uh, probably to try and keep uh, help keep the Jury Street Metro um, nice and secure. So we're now up to 105 shots in this thing, which is spectacular. <laughs> so just prepare for trouble, uh, which might be double. And nope, world has still been devastated. Uh, very unlikely to unite all people under the NCR station. Uh, okay, we just need to... <laughs> Yes. Killing people with a Tide Pod challenge. For, yes, pretty much, yes. Oh my god, shout out to Ghost Sport Jamie who gave us five pounds and says, so John's going to be cleaning up the wasteland then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, That's the shit right there. There you go. Uh, clean up on Isle Wasteland, says Alana. <laughs> Night Weaver says, I should wash your mouth out. Uh, Tectron over there. F food bouncer says you've got red all over you. Well, you do now anyway. I forgot the color catcher. <laughs> Amazing. Oh uh, dear. Oh no! Nick says the first time I went to that shop, I just hung the trap so it didn't work. Oh no! Mistake. Mistake. Uh, Thomas says the first time I went in there, I ruined it by throwing a grenade in that room. That sounds like something I would do. Um. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Bushman Joe the Savage in chat wants to know what sort of time will the present opening be? Uh, I think, I think a lot we'll of people probably, probably get to that be there for sooner that. Rather, I think we can probably like. I think when we get to vote one twelve, mm. we might have a we might have a little bit of a pause. And who are you? Yes, uh, Wasteland let's... Doctor. You'll probably be willing to help me out with any bits of random trouble. Uh, do you have any guards with you by any chance? Random, uh, random doctor is a good spawn. When we make, when we make it to maybe after we've done Tranquility Lane, after Tranquility Lane, and kind of the end of the first act of the game. Oh, that's a church. Church probably means super mutants. Uh, okay, so Joshua gave us two uh, euros and also says, don't forget to take a break, both of you. We will uh, do. We after by tranquility. the way have two different songs from Uni Rob. Excellent. Uh, so there's the song you asked for earlier, and then I asked for a smashy Claire song. Excellent. For a Claire smash song, so I'm very happy about that. I haven't listened to either of them yet. Um, yeah, I'm on fire now. <laughs> He's got a flamer, and that's probably bad. I keep firing, I can't see where he... Ow, I was set on fire. Yeah. Oh my god. Jared quite says... Powerful. Uh, it's, uh, it's detergent. Oh, deterrent versus detergent. That's excellent. Uh -huh. You know, I should have, uh -huh. I should have been more worried when I saw a wastelander literally run around the corner on fire. That, that should have been a warning that there might be problems. To <gasps> Ow! Walked into a trap. And now I'm going to be killed Ow. by the same guy again. And then, oh, that was a good hit. That was that was a good critical. Critical, keep firing, keep firing. Dead! Fuck you, buddy! Shouldn't have walked into a trap, though. Uh, this thing is relatively valuable. Uh, I'll try and take it for now. 
I mean, flamers are pretty good. I mean, flamers are actually big guns. I was saying, oh yeah, well, I want a flamer because that's a big gun. Wait, I'm, I'm using big guns. That's, that's nice a thing gun. I'm actually using for once. Uh, I'm in caution. I don't know what else is, oh. Can I disable these? I've got, I can, because I've got, wow, I've got s skills I don't normally have. I've got explosive skills and shit. It's quite good. This is, this is excellent. Claire, it turns out you're good at some things. Thanks. I'll take monies and lie in congressional style. Uh, okay, okay. Just use the... Never, just take the book immediately, otherwise I'll forget about it. Can I sleep? Yes, I can! Full health. Oh, shit! They all respawned! Fuck! Fuck! They all came home! That's fine, leave. That's fine. I was just having a nap. I don't know. It's, it's fine. We can be friends now. We cool? Oh wait! Oh, none of them have got. None of them have got. Go away! Leave me alone! Just get that off! I just fired a wrench at you. Uh oh! I need. I think we need to. I think actually, I'm better off just leaving them somewhere. I think they can't catch up with me. I think I might be able to. Okay, you know that bit in Serenity where Mal leads the Reavers into the Alliance. Mm -hmm. I think I can do that. I think basically I can just use these guys as 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 bait because now I do that very regularly in this game, though. Yeah, so now all of a sudden those robots and those women are fighting each other. Uh, so this is fine. Everything's under control. I'm no longer well rested. I can understand why. Just keep saving. <laughs> Clap. Uh, shout out to a uh, new mod, uh, that girl with the coffee mirror in chat, who wants to know: Are we finally caught up on super chat? <laughs> we are. So so not. Mm -hmm. We are so not caught up. Uh huh. <laughs> and we can't stop until we are. I mean, I, that's you're making that. It, that's not a joke. It's a legitimate thing. Yeah, I know. It's great. Oh God. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I gained back a page. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah, anyway, we're not even there yet. We're still we're still traveling. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to a couple of comments from chat actually, because I know I've not been able to read as many as usual. Uh, but I still want to make sure we have a few. Uh, Ten by thirty nine says uh, Claire, thank to thanks to you and the mods for all the work that you do to make sure everyone gets read. Uh, and uh, hi says I can't give you a super chat because I'm from Israel, so I don't I'm not sure that um, it's available there. Uh, I want to give. I want to wish John a happy birthday, and uh, I want to wish John a happy birthday, and uh, let you know that you and him uh, keep me sane in insane times. Oh, lovely! Thank you so much. Uh, Washmeister says, "Tell John happy birthday," and also I can't donate for weird reasons, but I want John to know. Uh, but I want to know if John would check out BattleTech again, see all the changes that they've made. It's really fun. Uh, Battle Mech or BattleTech? Oh, ba battle mech. Ba battle tech. I, with a T. I'm th I don't know if I'm remembering two different games or whether I've conflated two in my mind. Mm. By the way, uh, you notice the um, there's a little sparkly gate down there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's sure. a monster in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire a missile at that. At, it's at the generator keeping the gate on. And now the um, now the gate's open. And guess what's going to happen now? Now there's a monster mm -hmm. who's now just on the move. Which I find quite entertaining. So uh, that's a good way. This is a really, this is the easiest way of clearing out uh, Evergreen Mills, by the way. You can oh, just uh, no. you can just let the Behemoth do it, which is quite fun. I might join in uh, if a couple of people end up yeah. standing close by to each other. I don't know. Shout out to Joshua who gave us two euros and says, "John, is that a challenge about not ending until we are caught up?" Adolon gave us ten quid and says, "More super chat means more fallout with exasperated Claire and John." Okay, time to spam low value chats to make sure the stream lasts forever. <laughs> and says, "I am still evil from earlier." <laughs> oh no! It turns out people who went who were in the evil alternative chat are just evil forever now. That's just the rule. Uh, Oli Oli 3 gave us 5 euros and says super chat for the super chat god backlog for the backlog throne damn straight works for me ah uh, so there you go there you go uh, Nathaniel Nathaniel gave us $5 and says happy birthday John in case you didn't know a pirate's favorite letter is R mm-hmm but it's true love be the sea. sea. That's it. That was in flipping 
Last of Us One in the yeah. uh, the expansion. Oh, that was so cute. That was super cute. That was very cute. That was super cute. The uh, people who didn't play it got really annoyed that Ellie was was gay in the second game. <laughs> got really. That was the But this was one of the the hilarious things that that were raised after the second game. Going, I can't believe you've made Ellie gay. And I was like, did you, did, you, did you not play the DLC of the original then? No, all right, fine. I mean, I think it was also implied in the, in the first game, insofar as like when Ellie got hold of the um, the porn mag she stole from uh, Bill, she seemed it seemed to her to be more like like a curiosity. She she didn't quite understand more than anything else. I uh, naked naked guys. Yeah, and it was definitely not. Oh, a I'm kind being of shot. Like, it was definitely not a kind of like like her being you know like um, innocent or a kid about it. It was yeah. just like. Pfft. That. Yeah, like this. This is dumb and stupid. Yeah. Right, stab bloke flying. Screw you, bloke flying. Crippled. Yeah, crippled wings. That's gonna cause you some problems, isn't it? Right, stab a bit more. Good backhand. Good. If a bloke flies, all we run into. I'll take that as a flipping win. Do you know what that building is over there? What is that? It's got a red rocket at the back. And it's also night, which is you know never never positive. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, mole rat, fine. Mole rat is not a problem. Unlike in Fallout 4, where mole rats suddenly could start teleporting and they were then and they were dicks. Uh, whatever's happening here. Wait, shit, have I accidentally found the... Claire, I think I ax... Claire, I accidentally found what I was looking for. Okay, cool. By mistake. Yeah, that sounds That's, like a thing I genuinely was like, I wonder how long it's going to be... Well, I'll have a look -see over at this thing while I'm just diddly diddly. It's like, oh, wait, that's my destination. <laughs> That's, that's what, oh, what the shit are you, what are you guys fighting? Oh, please tell me that's the, is that the flipping, is that the outcasts? Is it the flipping outcasts? Claire, it's the outcasts! Okay, I don't know what that means. It's the guys, we, the, the black and red guys we were that we saw earlier. They're back, it is! They're back! Oh, guys! I love you too! We just keep hanging out together today, it's lovely. All right, folks, uh, just uh, to make sure everyone uh, knows how this is working, because I'm seeing some worried messages in chat. Um, yeah! Explosions. If you donated a while ago, if you donated like three, four hours ago, whatever, I have got all of those comments. I can, I can go back and look back at what we've received hours and hours ago. I've been copying everything to a document as I've been getting it so that I have some place that I can delete stuff out of so that I know like I have a system I have a system and your super chat is gonna get read please don't worry you don't need to send like extra new ones to say the same thing um, and uh, you you will it will happen I'm so sorry that it's so much later than usual but it will be read <laughs> Uh, I, I shouldn't have rested. I should have followed them north. I'd probably leave me all the flipping way too. That's a slave. Uh, let's see. Layla says, uh, I love how happy John gets uh, whenever uh, something goes well. Mm hmm. Uh, which is true. That's very cute. Hello, Mr. Slave. Uh, Do you want to have a slave master? Come on. Help me get this collar off. Please. <gasps> okay. I could try and get the collar off, but it might explode. Oh. Science! Let's see! I'm gonna be honest, Claire, you're not much of a scientist. Uh, is it supposed to vibrate like oh, that? Oh no. Back away! I lost karma. I was trying to help. I mean, I'm not sure if that counts as informed consent because we didn't tell him how shit we are at technology, but we did give him a choice. He said it's worth the risk. But we I mean... saved him. From something. Slavery. Yes. That thing that's quite bad. Yes. That and thing. historically, many people did in, five, in fact choose death over slavery. Yeah, so we were helping. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. We were helping. <laughs> we helped. I wouldn't go that far. That's a bloke fly. That's okay. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Get it close to him and stab him in the face. Claire's going bug hunting right now. Seriously, why does Vats look so much better? Oh, there's a flipping Mora there. Vats looks so much better in Fallout 3 than it looks like in 4. I don't- Oh, there's a whole- ah! Ah! Where did you fuckers come from? Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! 
Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Sorry, Faith! Fuck off! Fuck off! Close your ears, Faith! She's going to Good! Fuck. <laughs> oh, dear. I think, actually, the slave might now be back alive. Because... Oh, no! No, the slave is back alive. Slave and backload, but we now need to be aware of the possibility of mole rats spawning somewhere nearby. Is the slave back alive? And where are the? Oh, where are they? Okay. Uh, actually, if those guys are all clustered together, be ready to go in with a frag grenade, because uh, I might be able to get a frag grenade in all of them. Uh, grenade. Grenade again. No, wrong weapon, wrong weapon, wrong weapon, wrong weapon, wrong weapon, wrong weapon. Eight. Oh, good. Good. Oh, mid-air slash! Flipping, flipping matrix, mate. You got flipping matrixed. All right, and now just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Dead. I think the other two are already dead. That was good grenade usage. That there, that's the grenade usage. That's what you want to see. That was surprisingly good. Two grenades, two dead mole rats for a mostly useless... What the shit is that up ahead? Bloke fly. Okay, we know about you. But something there's some form of robot attack going on further ahead, which concerns me. Uh, stab! Oh, that's the critical. That's the crit. Go for the second. Gets the kill. Damn it, Claire. You and your badass hair. Now, the problem we've got here is... Okay, caution, not danger. Drink! Um, I saw an explosion up ahead that will be consistent with a robot. Now, it might be consistent with a robot exploding. Oh, no! But... I saw Fax as John screaming, F off, walk up my puppy! Oh, no! I'm sorry. Aww. Okay, there's now a rad scorpion moving towards me. Activate oh. frag mine mode. Activate Fragmine. Activate Fragmine. Shout out to Ghostport Jamie, who gave us 10 uh, quid and says, well, that went well. <sighs> die! Die! Why won't you just die? There you go. Well done. Okay. Grab the stuff. Everything's fine. We're in a dangerous... Still in, still in caution. Caution, not danger. Drink! Again! Everything's fine. 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 Everything is a okay. Everything is just fine. I don't know where the caution's coming from, uh, but I'm just trying to make it to. Uh, also, because I don't have a quest marker, I'm, I'm vaguely conceptually aware that like paradise, uh, the um, little lamplight's going to be somewhere around here. Somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, the Geek Cupboard wants to know, don't you have a missile launcher, John? I do, but I can't fire at point blank range and I've got very limited ammunition for it. Fair that's enough. kind of like for special occasions. I've also got a nuke launcher, mm -hmm. but that's for even specialer occasions. That's a word, specialer. Yeah. Well, what do you think the comparative form of special is? M more special. Bullshit! Bullshit! Word should have comparative forms. The words with one or two syllables should have comparative forms. Words That's with not a rule. Who yes, the fuck are you? It's a rule. Super mutants. Just a handful of super mutants mind. If anyway. They're, they're basic mutants and I've got tree cover. Yeah, I've got tree cover. I'm not out here trying to teach you how comparatives work in ancient Greek. That's good. <gasps> Ow! Yeah, because I wouldn't know just fuck like you don't you. know how English works. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Go, take it out. That's a good hit to the head there. That'll keep him distracted. Fire, fire. Game crashed. Woohoo! Take a drink. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Fallout 3. This is why we're saving all the time. Yeah, FYI, uh, when, the game crash, uh, when the game crashes, it's an actual shot. Yes. <laughs> More people equals people up. That's true as well. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll accept that. <sighs> right. So we know we got super mutants coming up here on the road up ahead. Uh, so we just need to take them out. And uh, that's a really good point from Adelon. Uh, special occasions to use your uh, your massive massive gun, like birthdays. Yeah. Well, I just I literally just fired. I literally just fired the missile launcher. Yes, and Adelon also gave us uh, five uh, pounds to say that. So thank you so much. 
Uh, Tomas says, where are we with time regarding Super Chats? Probably still like three hours behind, three and a half hours That's behind. Better like that. That's better uh, yes, than four. That's better than Yes, but um, I don't know because it takes time for me to check and I need to be like tidying up the Super Chats so that like I can read them easier. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many Super Chats. Thank you so much, everybody. You're being so generous today. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the best see. birthday present of all is that how much my birthday stresses you out. Uh, yes, and thank you so much to uh, several <laughs> people who've mentioned that I'm doing amazing despite being very far behind. I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, da, 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 I think da, 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 that tower might be close to the lamplight. I think we're close. A couple of people are asking for actual rules of the drinking game. It's a joke. Don't do it. You will die. Yeah. The, Please do not do it. Please, if you are drinking, drink responsibly. Yes. The rules oh, of the drinking game are drink responsibly and don't die. Yes. Supian's just mowing down Brahmin. That will keep them busy for a second. That's it. That's the lamplight. Uh, yeah, I thought, like, Little Lamplight's fairly predictable. Lots of the Fallout Wasteland in 3 is really, like, all over the place. But, like, in this part of the world, it just seems to always be super unique. I think they're just, they're just hard-coded. Uh, is, is it a puppy? No, it's Amanda in chat who says, Happy birthday, John. I took work off because it's my birthday, too. Happy birthday, Amanda. Oh, shit. Amanda gets to share the birthday. Uh, uh, John, would you like a birthday egg box drawing from Amanda? Oh, I, I, think, I think it would be lovely just to have a birthday egg box who's just, you know, enjoying a little birthday cake, blowing out the candles or something. Yes, indeed. Maybe a vegan birthday cake. Maybe the egg can eat a vegan birthday cake. Shh. <laughs> or I was I was thinking I, just, I wasn't planning to have meat in my birthday cake, but yes, I see. The, 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 do you know how cake is made? Well, with not much pork generally. Eggs, John. Oh. There's a lot of eggs in cake. Oh, yes, but they're barely animals. But you're an egg box. Yes, that's cannibalism more than anything else. Okay, fine. If you want to have a cannibalism birthday cake, you can do that. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday, so... Yes. Uh, yes, you can do the drinking game if you are drinking tea. Just make sure that it's not too hot. You don't burn your mouth. Yes. So there you go. Uh, uh, let's see. Shout out to Knickknacks who gave us uh, $5 and says, What did you get for your birthday, John? Uh, we don't know yet. And after we do Tranquility Lane, which we can go to pretty much any moment, though, I'm skipping to Little Lamp because I want the party hat. Hold so right I'm not doing my lady. birthday without a birthday don't hat. Take it yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Knickknacks. John got uh, the three body problem by Sushimi from his mom uh, for his birthday, which is an excellent novel. Uh, and then uh, there's a couple of little things. Well, there's a big thing and a little thing for me. Uh, and um, and we're going to open that. We, John is going to open that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I get to open my own present. Sorry. Yes, obviously. Here he is. Here's Sticky. So in this game, children are mortal. And this is a child's town. And when children grow up in this town, they're forced out into the wasteland where they have to make their way to Big Town. And the world's the most annoying quest in the entire game is, hey, Sticky needs to be escorted to Big Town so he can live there. Uh, but he makes, an, but he's like, he's really annoying and he's useless. Uh, and it's a really, really long way, and it's dangerous territory. Okay. And he's wearing a hat I want. Right, mm -hmm. So I feel like if you add all of these things together... Yes, you're going to murder a child wow. for yes. his hat. What luck! Uh, I'm sticky. Forget the... Um... Amanda says, no funnily way. enough, so my cake was vegan because my brother is vegan and we had a family celebration. Mm -hmm. So that's very fun. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, um, Ben yeah. Riggs gave Take us $20 and, and says, Happy I'll birthday, for looking forward to another full year, uh, uh, looking forward to a full day of John and Claire. Oh. I forgot I had that uh, on. Was from my oh birthday. shit, wait. Here, you take it. I don't want I it. don't need to kill him. He just gave me the hat. No! Nice. You get to live. You get to live, my friends. There we go. And now... Now the crucial, okay, crucial moment number one. It is now my birthday! Officially, this is my hat. This is my official party hat. Oh, I have goggles as well. Uh, glasses. 
They're just oh, glasses. They're just, they just they're look tinted, a bit funny in the... They're in tinted the, reading the glasses, yeah. officially. Uh, the party does actually have damage resistance as well, so it's not even that terrible. Like, there are some hats that have no damage resistance. So this provides a tiny amount of damage reduction against, uh, against uh, that. So Sticky no longer has to die. Sticky can just be left st uh, standing outside. So I don't actually need to bother visiting Little Lamplight right now. That's fine. Then again this on the place other gets hand. worse all the time. The you want to go to Big Town? Of course you do. Yes. What are you doing? Okay, we won't murder Sticky. He's really annoying. If you'd played this game, you'd mur you'd want to murder Sticky. Right. Happy but... official birthday hat. Official birthday hat. The faster you get to the lake thing, the faster you get to open your present. That's pretty one. exciting. Yeah. Number two, remember how much we love Sticky in The Last of Us. Especially in two, actually. Mm -hmm. We like Sticky in two. Yes, good old Sticky and Stabby. Um, is, it, is there going to be a video uh, to go with the present opening or not? No, we're not filming the present opening. No. We just get to get John's reaction. We just get to uh, describe reaction. it. We get to describe it. Yes, indeed. Uh, it, it, it is an easily describable... It is too easily describable presence. Anyway... Uh, 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 shout out to Taiwan who gave us five dollars, and to Frederick who gave us twenty dollars, and says, "Hey, we have the same birthday, bro! Happy birthday!" Yay! Have you grouped together all the people who we share birthdays with? N no, because I would have loved to do that, and I tried at first, but it, it was too much. But then no. So unfortunately, Aww. I haven't had time to do that. Uh, Mr. Ghost of Five says, "Happy birthday! Have some money!" and gave us five dollars. So thank you so so much. Uh, and Andrea gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, old man. Keep chasing me, but failing. I am 46. Excellent. Well, as a percentage, we're constantly closing. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, which will consistently indeed. close our entire lives until you die before I do. Okay. So I win overall, really, when you think wow. about it that way. I will be constantly catching you up your whole life, and then you'll be dead, and I won't. Did you have to say it a second time? Yes. Yay, tumblers today, it's free. And excellent. Lots of free stuff here. Right, I'm gonna top up my ammo, because there's lots of free stuff in this part of the world. Clap. Uh yeah. Shout out to Tom who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been watching since Fallout 3 Kill Everything and always love the content. Amusez vous bien tous les deux. Uh which means have fun both of you. Excellent. Uh, indeed. Derek gave us uh, 70 South African rounds and says, Happy birthday from South Africa. I almost finished studying interior design. Uh, uh, Very nice. Uh, and looking forward to Crusader King 3. It's, I, then, as am I. Yes, As the flip am I, based on everything they've revealed so far. It's looking mm -hmm. very exciting. Uh, damn, John, that was savage. Yeah, no, no, no shit. <laughs> Uh, Amanda gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John I first found your channel because of Fallout Kill Everything six years ago and have been a fan of the channel ever since much love uh, let's see uh, data crunch of 5,000 uh, gave us ten dollars uh, and says hey John hello Claire happy birthday I've been watching since New Vegas you only live one day you only live once a day uh, and I love all of the Fallout and Elder Scrolls content. Enjoy your birthday, my dude. Yay, birthday. Yes, Woo. indeed. Benjamin gave us 10 Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday from Australia. You pretty much got me into these games. And here I sit at 1 a.m. playing Fallout 4 with you lunatics in the background. It is so not 1 a.m. anymore in Australia. I hope you went to bed. <laughs> Uh, Janine gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John. My chunk cat says hi. Let's chunk cat. Let's all share a fancy lad snack cake. My favorite Am I the Asshole recently was uh, oh, was Am so I the good. Asshole for calling my cat a chunk butt when my cat is a chunk butt. My friend thinks I shouldn't call my cat a chunk butt. It was butt. like their cousin or something, like yeah. one of their relatives who had struggled with like an eating disorder which you know fair enough like that stuff but they specifically really said it's not just when i'm around you shouldn't do it in general yeah yeah they which, were saying which you're the, messing up your cat which yeah, is just which not is, how which pets is, work that was that know? was the yes the uh, odd pets. just not how pets work that's where they cross the line into lunacy bananas okay uh can we not okay we are we are not we are not equating mental health with that. Mm -hmm. We are equating thinking that cats 
are sensitive to fat shaming, potentially. Yes, that, we are equating yes. with that, but we're not saying Welcome that's the same thing as having president. mental health issues. Duly noted. Anyway, we've made it to Vault 112. Get myself the Vault 12 jumpsuit that you've got to put on. You do not get a choice. Uh, I get to keep, however, my party hat on nice. and my vacuum gun, which is just allowed. Also, tragically, there's a load of good loot mm. in this vault, but I'm pretty sure I can't access it because the doors are locked up. I might have access to... Mm. I do have access to the clinic, um, which is good. Hey, John, you know... Um, oh, my God. Amazing. Axel Fax says, when Dogface put on a little weight, I started calling him Log Dog because he's a corgi and he looked like a log. Oh. Uh, that's adorable. Um, excellent. I excellent. mean, obviously, if you have a, a pet who's chonky and the vet tells you they're too chonky and is going to hurt them, you should make you sure You should de-chonk is. them. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, with Tabby, we had the opposite problem where she wasn't eating enough and we spent a lot of time because she had tummy issues, like trying yeah. to be sure Poor she was tum. at the right weight as in not too uh not Which too light for her is about four actually, kilograms yeah that she was actually at four She's kilograms about four kilograms um let's see uh alex in chat mentions uh you know earlier you were saying that grenades are really bad but in this game right are yes. they good in fallout 4 they're really good in fallout yeah 4. yeah because um, uh, throwables in fallout 4 are insane and part of the reason is um, in the early game and on survival mode in particular, throwables do a certain fixed amount of static damage. So against low level enemies or mm. crowds, they just clear them out. Like Molotovs are stupidly strong against low level ghouls. Right. Uh, right they're right, amazing. Right. Yeah, because they're pointing out that uh, the Geek Cupboard did a whole Fallout uh, 4 run with just grenades and Molotovs. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I read that and I was like, wait, John said they're crap. But then I realized this was because it's four rather than three. Yes. Uh, but yeah, that sounds like a super fun challenge run. I, uh, I almost like the only thing I'd change about that would be I'd allow yourself a gun as long as it wasn't targeted at someone because the whole point is explosives rank four. You're allowed to shoot the grenade out of midair and it does double damage. Oh, that's really. Uh, cool. And it's that's really badass and it's such an important part of the grenade but I think build. That would I'd like I'd, I'd allow that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, Peng, the geek cupboard can tell us in chat, but I don't know if you would consider that allowed. But I think if you're not shooting at the enemy, then you're allowed to shoot, yes. right? Oh, that makes sense uh, to me. Anyway. Um... Oh, sorry. I, I, I put the recon oh, armor on. Uh, take off the party hat before getting into the tranquility, tranquility lounger because it breaks headwear. <gasps> Thank you, training Ben. Thank you so much. Well, you've just saved me a heartbreak there. I know. You've just saved me a heartbreak. I know, uh, I know. It's uh, this one, isn't it? Which one is it? It's one of the ones at the top. Here it is. There's the empty one. Yeah, oh man. In the nick of time as well. Yeah, uh, literally seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is why it's important that, like, I, you know... I can't, uh, it, it's quite difficult for me to, um, to, you know, uh, I need to be able to see chat and follow chat as well as read super chats. So unfortunately it does take a little bit longer to read the super chat because of that. Yes. Mm. And we're nipping in to Tranquility Lane. We could do the, um, ooh. Do you want to do the technically low morale mechanism the low the low karma mechanism which is like actually we've got to level up first anyway uh the big guns are working the big guns are terrifyingly working uh look at 27 science is at 25 i would not mind a little bit more in the way of speech we might need that at some point sooner or later uh now i'm guessing you want bloody mess yes there you go there's your bloody mess uh, so yes, we can do this in the way where basically we're going to be told, asked by a scientist to do horrendous experiments that torment people for his entertainment. Yeah. Which we could do. Hey there, sport. Or we could, hello there, why are you speaking to me? Yes, I know, we'll speak to Betty soon. Um, or we can literally just do the high karma thing, which is you basically find the override immediately mm. and you just deactivate the, deactivate the, um the simulation so what are the experiments the experiment these people are in kind of cryogenic sleep and this is a virtual world they're sharing you torture them 
uh, for his entertainment, because he wants to see how you choose to torture them. They do not die, and though they feel pain, they will be reset and forget it afterwards. Um... Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's purely for his entertainment. Yes. Good day. Uh, am I getting paid? No. What am I getting out of this? You're getting nothing. Okay, then no. Mm hmm. Well, there is there is one thing though. What is the thing? Is, uh, Tim Timmy Nesbaum is is here, and I feel like. As I've... in, oh uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, I think it. You know, I'm. I always want to help children uh, bond with their parents. Yes. Uh, and you know, dancing is really good. for Dancing that. is really good for that. Yeah. So I feel like we've really got. Like, basically no choice. No, no choice. Basically no choice. You know, it's a celebration, so we have to do it. It is, you know. <laughs> so it's going to have to track down. Luckily, thanks to your incredible, humongous strength, this is going to be very oh. easy to do. And his head has been crippled already. Come on. Come on, George. Come on, George. Just, just, we'll, we'll, we'll get it in with that. Uh, we'll get him with that. Hopeless. Come on, just wait for him. And he's close enough for a couple of swings. He is. One. Get that critical. He's almost done. We just have to get. We just have to get George Nesbum down. In fact, he's, he's going in the so right direction. So wait, is that us torturing Timmy? Well, this is kind of. But oh. is that what you were saying? Like the torture bit that good we can do? Did, what? Did she just say good riddance? We did. She just said good riddance about her neighbour dying. Oh, her neighbour. That's yes. not. I thought it was her husband for a second. I think I did too. Yeah. So now we just have to. Um, we just have to bring. We just have to bring. Uh, we just have to bring George, over here. We just have to bring George over here and wait for everyone to calm down. This is this is um this is George's son's lemonade stand, by the way. So we're just going to just leave him there. There wow. we go. And now, in a few minutes, everyone's going to settle down, and Timmy's going to, <laughs> Timmy's going to return to his lemonade stand. So we'll just hi, Dad. That's my dad. He's been disguised as a dog. And uh, due credit to Fallout Three, the dog's eyes haven't popped out and gone somewhere, mm -hmm. which is really good Listen, news. You can't hurt people here, okay? Yes, I can. At least, not unless I say it's okay. It's against the rules. I can fix it. But you better not do it again. Holy shit, she's about to undo it! No! No, my George! I spent a lot of time killing him, you dick! Can we play now? Yes, we can indeed. And looking for my father, how about you uh, tell me to, yes, go and torment Timmy? It's and Timmy Nesbar, make him cry. I already had a pretty good plan for that, actually. I made a pretty good flipping plan for that. But now I need to kill a daddy. Where's he gone? Bill Foster, Doc, Michael Henderson, Martha Simpson, Bill Foster. He's hiding and I can't blame him under the circumstances. Amazing. Uh, well, <laughs> whilst you are doing that, uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to J.O. who gave us uh, five euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Might you end yourself not too painfully in Fallout 3 this time? <laughs> we live in hope. Oh, uh, let's see, Rhythm Code Gaming gave us five Whoa. Canadian dollars, and Christopher gave us ten, can ten regular, ten US dollars, sorry. Oof, regular sorry, dollars. Sorry, mm. my bad, my bad. Uh, I, mm. Anyway, uh, Christopher gave us ten dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been here since Fallout New Vegas, no kill. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Ratty, Ratty Star just uh, gave us two pounds and says, I just joined, what the hell is going on? I realized this was many hours ago, but it's always applicable. So there you go. Uh, we're in uh, we're in Timmy's house. We're going to make Timmy dance with his daddy. Well, I'm afraid daddy actually has despawned. I think we might need to remix this slightly, which is I think his dad has despawned. I think maybe meaning, he needs um, to dance with his mummy. Meaning, yes, I think we're going to. It's the remix, people. It's Woo! the flipping remix. Get after her. Get after her. Get get after her. Come on. No, you're not, you're, not, you're not getting away. She's cornered herself. Where's she gone? Where's she just gone? Where's she, where's she gone? Where's she? There she is. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. She actually seems tougher. She seems tougher than, a, than, than the dad for some reason. And come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. 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 Where are you going? Come back here. Come back. Did you make it outside? 
Did she make it outside? Is that that's Timmy? That's fine. Where's she gone? She just fled. I think she's fled outside. We have pursue, pursue. Where's she gone? Where's the corpse of? There she is. Go. Punch. Oh, that was a kick. Nice. Excellent. That was a kick right in the shed. Kick her in the sheds. Kick her in the sheds. Kick her in the sheds. Go. Get her. Get the kick in. Where's she gone? She's going over there. Don't let her get away. Anyway, we've almost got her. We've almost got her. We've almost. She's fleeing into the back garden just like her husband did. But it's not going to work. And I think she's. Yes. She's. Oh, blimey. We punched her head off. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to the simulation prevents. We're gonna have to. Just, this is fine. This is. Yes, yes. Dance with your mom, Timmy. Dance with your mom. Yay! There we go. So many years later, but here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's the birthday remix. Dance with your mom, Timmy. Dance with your mom. Surely it should be dance with your mummy. Mm hmm. I know, it's always dance with your dad, Timmy. Dance with your dad. Oh, really? Yeah, it was always there. It was always, the expression was always dance with your. Uh, it was always dance with your dad, Timmy. Dance with your dad. Yeah! Hello. Hello there. There we go. Anyway, if there's anybody in chat who doesn't Timmy, get the reference. This is your mother. You are always a disappointment to me. And I never loved you! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes, Screw you, Timmy! Bodies. Get out of here! Are we the baddies? Yay! <laughs> oh, uh, the, more sing the more things change, the more they stay the same, says Sir Roderick. Um, the meme chef says, uh, <laughs> this is the most elaborate you mom joke I've ever seen. Wow. Uh, amazing. And uh, shout out also to Joe could. who gave us $5 and, uh, and, and he will leave really soon. Uh, but said, happy birthday, John. I hope you have a great day. Have you considered playing more Mercenaries 2 on the channel? I really love that video. Uh, possibly it's like a live stream at some point. I do not know. Mm. Richard says I want my super chat back. <laughs> Sorry, we can't do that. I don't think it's possible to do that. Uh, I think no, it is actually possible to do that. I think we looked oh, it up wait, and no. it was in Patreon that it was. Yeah, possible we to can do, do it. In, we can re, we I can refund anything say. in Patreon. You're right. Uh, that was the wrong one. So there we, I mean, it, it, in all fairness, I think it's appropriate because Evil John makes Timmy dance with his dad. Evil Claire makes Timmy dance with his mum. The how gender essential is stuff. Exactly. This is. Ah, uh, is... dear, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, shout out to Werbel who gave us twenty dollars and says, "I'm so glad I was here to see Dance with Your Mum live." Excellent. Uh, Adelon uh, gave us five uh, pounds and says, "Are you sure you ended up? You ended the evil stream earlier and not the good stream by accident?" Excellent. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh dear. Uh, Oh, what is this? Uh, shout out to somebody else who gave us twenty dollars, uh, twenty pounds. Sorry, and says happy birthday, John. Dance with your mum, Timmy, and you and card, end card maybe. <laughs> oh, I can't remember that, and I can't, I can't properly hit that. Okay, I need you to look up what the code is for this because I've actually forgotten. I can't hear the bleeps properly. Mm. Uh, can you just look up the tran tranquility lane override sequence for me? Because yes. the problem is, um, you're supposed to enter the sequence, and like, if you get it wrong, you hear a buzzer. But because I have the game audio very quiet, so I can hear you, I can't hear the bleeps. Uh, and I can't remember the exact order. It's something like radio picture, radio cinder block, gnome bottle something? But I can't remember the exact order, and I can't, I can't hear the bleeps. Um, uh, the tone sequence is radio picture, gnome picture. Okay, oh, gnome picture. Uh, no, it's not. That's well, no, wrong. there's more than that. Can you go and let tell tell me what you need? Radio, picture, picture. gnome, picture, gnome, picture, cinder block, yeah, gnome bottle, gnome bottle. I was close, but I couldn't quite remember, and I I, I literally couldn't hear the ba ba, so I, I couldn't verify where I'd gone wrong. Sorry. No, no pound size slasher because we're gonna do this the right way. No, what? Do this the right way. Mm. I'm sorry, no pine size. 
Well, there's the option where we get a knife and we chop down everybody. There's the option where we do the right okay, thing and we free people from their suffering. Claire, which do you want? I uh, want to free people from their suffering. Claire wants to free people from the suffering. We did get... We had we had one moment of evil. We did dance with your... We did dance with your mum. But Claire wants to do the right thing. Yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at being evil. Uh, shout out to Bendrix who gave us $10 and says we're clearly in the best energy and timeline. <laughs> Cruelty to imaginary children for the win. Damn oh straight. Uh, James Flynn uh, gave us five pounds and says, So many years we've come full circle on one of the greatest early MATM moments. Yay! Uh, that feels like an appropriate thing to do on the birthday. Yes, indeed. That does feel appropriate. Right, screw you. Screw you, Betty. I've ruined everything. Do you realize yeah, what everyone's going to die. I'm calling the shots you? now. Yes. Screw you. Tell me about the gag. It was I... in Vault 8. Actually, no, he doesn't tell me it's in Vault 8. So I need to check that later with the Brotherhood. Uh, where's He's... my dad? He was the dog. And I'm getting back. Yes, yeah, I'm... just leave the simulation. And basically, uh, screw you. Have to go. Goodbye. Straight through the door. Job done. Tranquility Lane complete. And Liam Neeson uh, waiting for me. And I took my hat off, so I haven't lost my hat. Which is very important. Very good. Thank you again you to Ben me. for letting us know that. Yes, very, very good thing. And we there to... we go. You yes. know how to do... Pro we claim you know how to do Project Purity. Uh, and uh, I'll go with you to Rivet City. But that's that's absolutely fine. You just be on your way. I'll go and like, you know... Are you going to go? Yes, you're just going to go and do your own thing. So now, now we can take off all the trash. We can put Recon Armor on, which is 16 DR and also Sneak Plus 5. Party Art and Tinted Reading Glasses on. And there we go. Now, now I have got my Party Art back on. And with that, the first act of the game is complete. Meaning I think we should have a little scheduled break. Yes, indeed. So that we can have a little refresh, nip to the bathroom, get some fresh water, have a little bite to eat. And when we come back... I think it's time to do the presents. And I'm going to save now before I come out of the game. Okay, just can case... you let me read some Super Chats before we start the break? I'm a little bit concerned, by the way. What do you mean? The game just crashed in the middle of a save. Great. Which is a little bit concerning about the well, possibility of corruption. Whilst you try to fix that, I'm going to read some Super Chats. Yes. Uh, shout out to Lewis who gave us uh, who gave us five pounds and says happy birthday you magnificent bugger. Uh, Justified Jester gave us twenty Australian dollars Ooh. and says happy birthday John. Uh, have a good day. Would uh, I would have stayed awake if Total War had won. <laughs> so there you go. We're gonna catch up later because uh, Australian time of course. Makes sense. Uh, Adam says uh, massive happy birthday John. Thanks for the vids and gave us two pounds. Uh, Cyclone gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John I hope you have a great day it's been uh, very good so far yes we have another uh, today birthday as well from the infinite storyline who uh, gave us five dollars and says uh, happy birthday John today is also my 25th birthday how old are you now <laughs> uh, old enough that I forget how old I am like at some point like just just if you're young uh, there's a point where, like, somewhere in, like, you know, late 20s, early 30s, where your age starts becoming completely irrelevant. So, sure, you know, you can calculate it uh, anytime you want to when just thinking about years. But you have, I have no conception day to day of how old I am. I know I'm in my 30s somewhere, in my yeah. mid-30s. But, like, I, I literally need to think about the years to know what age I am. Because it's become a complete irrele uh, irrelevance. That's, that's how old I am. Oh I'm old God. enough now that I don't remember how old I am. Sir Roderick says it's now 6 a.m. in Australia, by the way. Sweet. Uh, and shout out to uh, Shrugs, who gave us 15 pounds and says many happy returns. John, if you eat the sweet roll as soon as you get given it, then Butch cannot take it. We did that three hours ago, yes. Yes, I know. You need to let me read some sodding <laughs> super chats. Uh, that's what Perrin, the wise of Serbia, gave us uh, five pounds, uh, five dollars. And says, let's play the time game. I'm sending this at 9.45 uh, when you are allocating special. It's being read at... Uh, the thing is, unfortunately, you didn't tell me the time zone. So I couldn't calculate what time that was in UK time. But, you know, it's from when we're allocating special. The thing with streams is we always get way more super chats. Like, at the beginning, they're more concentrated. It's just that usually it's, it's easier to catch up. Mm. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Renan... 
gave us five Brazilian VIs. And so I can't stay long because, you know, work, 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 as our subpoenas should. Uh, but happy birthday, John. Hooray for John. Hooray for John. Yay, John, 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 etc. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Wenli uh, gave us 5,000 South, South, South Korean won. Uh, ones. I'm sorry, I'm now struggling. That sounds with... like a super big number. Is that like 5,000 Swedish krona? Or is that currency a bit less? Or is that currency I, I like. I do not know, John. Let me just uh, Google it. But uh, yes, Korean won. Uh, no, it's not. It's, uh, it's not very many uh, pounds. Ah. But it's hard to know because I can't rely on like just the, the color of the Ah, uh, of course, me, you know, because, of course. Because I, um, I have to put. Especially a stream that is busy. I've got to put everything in a Google document for myself so I can delete stuff when I've read them. Otherwise, I get very confused in, you know, um, I got, uh, I'll get confused if I'm just reading off of the YouTube this thing. The but yeah. it helps because I can see the color that tells me roughly how much money it is. But it's also difficult because I can't mm. delete stuff off of that. It's just a list. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, I like, by the way, how my dad is literally on the map, and I can just sort of follow his journey. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sleep through his uh, his journey here. I'm just gonna go to a hotel, get a room, wait uh, wait for Welcome that to, to happen. <laughs> uh, yes, and if you are just coming in, uh, or you know, if you've uh, been here for a little bit and you've given a super chat. We are quite far behind, so don't worry about it. It will you. get read. It's just on, not uh, been done yet because we are quite far behind. Uh, yeah, at the beginning of the stream, it was very much like, you know, you'd get the, the timestamp for the super chats and it'd be like, you know, for every minute timestamp, there would be like five. <laughs> so it just, it's, it's just, uh, it was a lot. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If I wait till morning, is he going to have just teleported to Rivet? Hopefully, he will. So I'll just go for like seven hours. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and... Uh, <clears throat> need to get back to the top of my pile of comments, but it's several pages, so I need to scroll back out. Shout out to Scott, who gave us $25, and says, Happy birthday, John, and some general happiness for Claire and Tabby. Yay! Uh, okay, you are going to know what that means, but I don't. Mr. Ghost of Five gave us five dollars and says, "Big guns, big sticks, and power armor." Claire is a sororitas girl. Do you... I'm not a hundred percent sure. No. No. Sorry. Sororitas, as in, I think. Uh, oh, it's a Warhammer thing. Ah. Uh, yes, indeed. Forty K um, or fantasy? No, forty K. The thing is, uh, as some of you may know, I do have a lot. I do have some Warhammer minifigurines. I'm not really into the lore, uh, just because I never, like, I never really got into it. I like collecting things and owning things and painting things. Uh, so that is what I've got. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't know the Warhammer 40k thing. Um, I would like you to know. Uh, yes. That it was an incredibly uh, good point because I'm immediately looking at the wiki uh, that is saying that the Adeptas Sororitas, uh, colloquially called the Sisterhood, um, are um, are an all female division uh, of you know uh, uh, this is Imperium something or other. Uh, but they immediately sound really badass to me and they look really cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really into. I just. I prefer to paint scaly monsters than yes. human figurines. I am so aware, that is yes. why. No, but I'm telling the people. Yes. Look, the Terranids are just more fun to paint and look at, and they have grosser monsters, so mm -hmm. that's why I play them. Um, Story checks out. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, but it was a really good guess. <laughs> Show us the minis, Claire. Um, <laughs> I do want to... I was going to do... I was going to do like a live stream on my channel where I Thanks. paint a bunch of them and, and chat with people for a while. I need yes. to organize that. That's yes, that would be fun. Yes. I think some people would really like that. Yes. Uh, anyway, shout out to Peggy who gave us $10 and see. says, Happy birthday, John. May your birthday be free of Venus fly traps. That, that, we Hashtag live in hope. Of Claire. We live in flipping hope. It would certainly be a bit um, of a, a well, surprise nightmare I mean, if not. Um, 
No, it's a joke, you idiot. I'm not going to get you if you did fly drop. Matt's did, and he's supposed to love me. Yeah, but he's also a bit of a twat. <laughs> also, okay. I'm sorry, John, but you absolutely would do the same to Matt. Mm -hmm. Get him something he's scared of. I've never done that. I love Matt more than he loves me. Good to see you. And yep, yeah, these guys are just going to talk to each other for a while. Glad this is a good chance for you to catch up. So there's no way to skip this conversation because it doesn't happen in conversation. They just sort of chat to each other. So yeah. Clap. Shout out to Mountain Molly who gave us ten dollars and says, "May the coming year be full of laughter, friendship, success, and good health." Have, have you seen this year so far? Well, I mean, it's a good sentiment. We live Thank in you. hope. Uh, <laughs> Riffler gave us six Canadian dollars and says, John, just another congrats, just another congratulations on completing your solar circumnavigation. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Daniel gave us five euros and says, happy birthday, John. This is the best gameplay channel on YouTube. Yay. Well flipping done. Oh, thank you. That's really kind. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, S. Smith gave us $40 and says, and now for the birthday dirge. I have no idea how you're supposed to sing this, but I believe <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I know, I was thinking about Death, destruction, and despair. People dying everywhere. Uh, may the candles on your cake burn like cities in your wake. Happy birthday. It's a good attempt. I mean, you know. Uh, pretty good attempt. I think it's too fast for a dirge, but also I can't really, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, um. Sorry, <laughs> my my throat is starting to hurt, so I need to stop doing like you know guttural things. Did no, you shit, it crash just again? crashed mid conversation. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, and uh, yes, again, uh, uh, shout out to Roe White who gave us another five pounds. I, th I think it's several donations from them today, so thank you so much. And uh, I say I've been around since Skyrim. I love your video. Keep up the amazingness, which is you. Uh, and uh, Adam no. gave us ten dollars and says thank you for the years of entertainment. While I usually just lurk, I'm fortunate enough to have a small amount of money to donate. So happy birthday to one of my favorite YouTubers. Excellent. On this occasion, I'm literally just standing perfectly still in the corner. I don't know how the game is crashing about this. Listen, it's just very, very, uh, you know, it has a lot of crashing experience. It so does. It this has is, skills. This is a lot by Fallout 3 standards. I, I, may, I think it's, it's not reacting well to... Mm, yeah. I think it's not reacting well to being picked up by OBS because it's not mm. normally like this. Uh, and shout out to Nika the Gamer Girl who gave us a uh, 200 a check Karuna. Uh, I hope I said that all right. Uh, and uh, Nika says happy birthday, or as we say in the Czech Republic, and then um, <clears throat> give me some Czech and well, I yes. Hopefully I pronunciation guide. Uh, and says please, Claire, try to read it. Uh, lol. Uh, I'm sorry in advance. Um, <clears throat> so I have no idea. Uh, Zeshno Nelepsi K I'm pretty sure you just summoned the undead. Yeah, I ha I I mean obviously this is very wrong because if this were a regular live stream, I would have time to go in and look up how you say uh letters when they have this kind of diacritic on them in Czech. But I don't have time to do that, so I'm so sorry I massacred Czech. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Nike also says, thanks for hours of entertainment. Give some wobbles to Tabby for me, please. Yeah, wobble that cat. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, it's special Jones, birthday crashes, John. Hey. Yes, Doctor? Amazing. Well, have a moment. Can uh, you check the pressure on <clears> tanks <throat> three and four? We need to get back to project. Uh, da, 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 da. Adam gave us, uh, nope, I've just read that. Uh, sorry, Woofle Mason. <gasps> Wolfer Mason. Wolfer Mason, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's, uh, that's yeah. honestly now underwhelming now you told me the alternative was Woofle Mason. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Wolfer Mason uh, gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, your videos never fail to make me happy, even though I'm really struggling with life at the moment. Please never change and thank you. We will do what we can. Absolutely. But I hope things are improved for you. Yes, indeed. Uh, Fizzy Pasha gave us 20 Australian dollars 
and says, Happy birthday, John. What a perfect way to spend a sleepless night while I rec recover from a night shift. Thanks uh, to you both for your hard work. Oh, well, we're doing what we can. It's been a fun birthday so far. Mm. And I bet I've got several missed calls from my mother being like, You're not working right now, are you? Yes. Jonathan. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, let me see. A couple of people have to go, so I need to read some. I need to find some super chats to read. Mm -hmm. um, Where's the rest of the team, Dad? Damn it, Liam Neeson. You said you were putting together a team. Where's the rest of the team? Well, luckily, it doesn't really matter because I've already cleared out the super mutants from the oh, only area they go into. Oh, this is great news. Yes. Uh, shout out to Drummer Rat who gave us $5 and says, uh, John, your birthday is my lucky day. I was just offered a job after being unemployed for months. Happy birthday. Oh, so congrats on the new job. That. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. And yeah, if you do need to leave and you need your super chat uh, read uh, now, Please at reply me in chat if you do at Claire Russo. It is easier uh, for me to see. Uh, and there you go. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, are they in the rotunda? Mm. If I waited long enough, they're going to be there. The game say join the scientists, but they don't seem to. They don't seem to be here. And there's no quest marker for them. Hopefully we have a despawn to the scientists. I'm sure it's fine. Join the scientists of Project Purity. There is literally no quest marker. Oh, are they waiting outside for me? To, they want to have a chat about me clearing out the mutants, even though I already have done so. Possibly. I'm going to check. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Nicholas who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, you make great content and I enjoy everything you do. Uh, let's see. Copper Hamster uh, gave us $25 and says, A very merry not unbirthday to you, Anna. John. I was almost trapped in the parallel dimension. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Brian gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you both for continuing to breathe for continuing to bring positivity and joy into the world. Uh, dear, oh dear. Um, <clears throat> El Chorus Rendrig the Silver Wizard Oh, that's a love. That's a lovely indeed. username. That's a good uh, and username. And says, happy birthday, John. Uh, and Ella gave us two, do two pounds and says, leaf blowers are an abomination unto God and man. I think they're fun. I like the noise they make. Right, it was a point where they're being outside my window and yeah, I can't Yeah, I was going to say, you hate them because whenever the company that owns the building needs to like come in and do work. Oh, it's not them, it's the neighbours. It's our bloody neighbours who just have a gardener who enjoys ripping them off and like insist it appears to have led them to believe that you need to blow leaves every two days or something. And it's onto Wait. a very good thing doing no work. It's our downstairs neighbour who can't live at home. No, the neighbour's neighbor, over that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, they 100% just sort oh, of... Oh, no, there's leaf blowers sometimes, but you mean like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, they have like... Oh, the ones that have that cute dog. Yeah. That comes the to the gate. The super cute dog, yeah. yeah. yeah but okay, they, they're, they're being mean. ripped off by a gardener who's like just basically comes like every two days and does flip all instead of just wander around making a bit of noise. Uh, they're just being ripped off so badly, it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, Claire is starting to become delirious. Sorry. This is uh, so much easier with you here as well, to share the share the speaking burden. This yeah, is great. Yeah, I mean, my throat is starting to hurt a bit. I'm going to have to do a, a throat sweet. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> shout out to Tomas, who gave us a 1,000 uh, Hungarian forints. And says, happy birthday, John. I have one question. Can we expect to see Fallout 4 YOLO by the time the game turns five years old? Uh, I don't know when face. that is. Greetings from Hungary. I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I would have looked it up before if this was a regular stream. Uh, when did Fallout 4 come out? 2015. November 10th, 2015. But by November 10th of this year, will we have Fallout 4 YOLO? Hopefully. Yes, I'm hoping so. That, uh, that, that's a hopefully yes. Yes, that is a hopefully I think they're coming yes. up the stairs right now, which would make this Let's a good time for grenades. Uh, uh, who else did Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to find super chats of people who need to leave soon. 
Uh, the Duke gave us 20 Canadian dollars and says, Happy birthday, my friend. I started playing Fall Guys thanks to you, and I will always rock the Christmas sprinkle. Yay! Go, them sprink go Team Sprinkle, go. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh... How are you guys doing? You guys are the weak ones. Just tank for me. Human shield, human shield. I like how this thing doesn't need to reload, by the way, because it just doesn't. It's just fine as it is. And go. Because as long as it's got stuff in it, it will keep firing until it's literally out of ammo. There's never a reload. The reload is just shove more stuff in it. So it's done a really good job clearing these guys out. This is yeah. uh, this is on the hardest difficulty, by the way. And I'm playing in a very unconventional, not min-maxed build. So this has been an excellent start. I will really happily take this. And it uh, looks like you guys need to clean up your acts. Oh my god, come on. Etc, etc. Uh, yes, so if you've uh, just come in, if you've given a super chat and you're wondering why it hasn't been read yet, it's because there are a lot of them today. You all have been extremely generous. And so we are a bit behind, but uh, if you Less behind, be though. Read, uh, what do you mean less behind? Less then behind than we were uh, like an hour ago. Uh, hopefully, yes. But Progress then we spent quite made. a bit of time doing <clears throat> Timmy's mom, so... <laughs> Uh, well, Timmy's that, I mean, mom has got that. it going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Specifically dancing. And, you know, mm -hmm. ever since, since it's been... We haven't really done that since Kill Everything. People have been waiting so long. Timmy, can't you see you're just not the kid for me? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <clears throat> so, if you've sent in a super chat at any point during this live stream... It will be red. It is just that we are quite far behind. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. there's only so much we can do. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ferg, you have not missed the present. They were supposed to happen after tranqu tranquility. Uh, I don't know why we are not actually taking a break. Because you said you wanted to read. You didn't want it. You wanted. I said, let's have a break. And you said, no, you have to let me have super chats. This is on you. No, I said. I need to read a few super chats before the break. I didn't mean for you to continue playing. Mm -hmm. I meant for me to be able to read a few before we start. Mm -hmm. I would like a break so I can have a cup of tea with honey in it. Well, then we're going to wrap up the super mutants here. Okay. And then we're going to have the break. Uh, yeah, and shout out to Paul who gave us 20 quid and says, Happy birthday, John. I just wanted to say uh, thank you for your videos. I've been watching for years now, and I can't thank you enough for making working from home more achievable. Yay! All the best to you, Claire and Tabby, and keep up the good work. Aww. That's very sweet. Thank you. And uh, thank you to David, who gave us five uh, pounds and says, Happy birthday. I'm meeting my brother, who was adopted for the first time on Thursday. I'm very nervous. But here, have a celebratory donation. Oh, exciting. Uh, David, I hope it goes really yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's a big deal for everybody. I hope that goes really smoothly. Yes, indeed. Uh, Gabriel gave us 10 uh, Brazilian reais and says, Happy birthday, John. May you annoy Claire for many more years uh, and may you give Tabby many belly rubs. That's the plan. Yes, that is the plan. It is, in fact, I think when I was preparing my speech for the Heroes in case I won, which I didn't, by the way. But it, when I was preparing my speech, I did have like a bit at the end where it was like... Uh, I think the bit that I was gonna say uh, was something like, um, I, I hope that I can like be smug to you about how I have a Hugo and you don't for many years to come or something like that. Cause I had a, a nice sweet bit at the end where I said how much I love you and everything. Oh, what me or the cat? No, you. Oh. It also had a shout out to the cat. I'm not a monster. Obviously. I'm not sure why you would really have brought me up to be honest. It's not like I like, you know, no, had much to do with it. But you do, though. Like, I mean, you are important to me, and you are very supportive, and so... I, I don't think any more than any partner should be. I wouldn't really have expected uh, yeah, yeah, a yeah, shout-out. Yeah, yeah, should be, but not are. And I, I think you're very thoughtful, and I appreciate I honestly that. wouldn't have expected a shout-out, because I don't feel like I did anything beyond what the absolute bare minimum a, a partner should do for their partner is. I don't feel like anything I've done for you is anything more than what anybody should have done for someone right. they loved. No, I get what you're saying, but also I love you and I, you know, wanted Aww. to talk about it. Uh, it was literally I just thank you to like a various bunch of friends and then also to you. Um, and then, you know, you literally, you literally 
had a bag of confetti you needed to return because you wouldn't use it, and then you were like, I didn't no, return I'm it, I've still got that. Will no, you I know, and I'm being vague on purpose, John, mm-hmm. but you bought some confetti for a different thing, and then yep. you were like, I'm going to return them, and then you were like, no, so that, I'm going to open them up to make sure that if Claire wins, I can throw confetti at her. Mm-hmm. Which Ooh, I thought you was very sweet. And then put mutilated arms into my launching cannon. So that I can launch mutilated arms at people! Hooray! Mutilated, mutilated arms, mutilated arms. John, take the compliment, you idiot. Never. Okay. Oh my god. Uh... I take compliments as well as Fallout 3 doesn't crash. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> you gross. Yeah, no, that's right. Mm-hmm. We are being so cute. Uh-huh. Um... Excellent. Right. Suit mutants taken care of. Honestly, the rocket launcher is just... This This is just the rocket launcher run at this point. This is just the rocket launcher run. It's big guns. Welcome to the rocket launcher. Now get inside, you is everything cowards. Right? Yeah, it's fine. Get in. Are you alright? Get, get, get in there. It's fine. Just hurry up. Now just just get, get, get in. That's fine. Yeah. In you go. Score. On. On your pop. Just walk inside. Walk inside, you... Ch- Bastards. Clap. Uh, yeah, people in the chat are pointed out, pointing out that I was talking about love and you started going, hmm, mutilated arms. But I like mutilated arms, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Right. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, shout out to Emma, who gave us $20 uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I find it refreshing how openly chill you are with uh, LGBTQIA stuff. Relative to my experience here in the U.S. Bible Belt, uh, Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor is still my favorite video you've ever made. That was a fun little video. What a weird little game that was. <clears throat> Such a fun, unique visual style as well. Yes, indeed. That's a really fun, interesting one. Rev- oh, dear. And, yeah, pro- you want me to go down and do some other bits and pieces. This is the perhaps the most boring bit of the game, where you just have to basically do some busy work for your dad. So that might be a fun thing to ease us back in with uh, yeah. after a break. So shall we do a little break now? Save, 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 save! I'm saving before I, I dare come out of this, because the game's probably about to uh, flipping crash. I've, I've literally got to, like, go over to Task Manager to make it to come back. So that's probably going to crash. It's probably going to crash uh, in a second. We'll have to we'll have to see about that. So okay, we're gonna have a very brief break now. Chance to get some water, get some foods, whatever you fancy doing. So uh, yes, we will be. Uh... If break, John should call his mum. <laughs> no, because then she'll know he was working. Exactly. I won't tell her that till tomorrow when it's because then I'll have to say. Well, I hope you. I can't believe you won't say yes. Now I'm going to start working again momentarily. Oh, uh, which you wouldn't be impressed by. So we we'll need no. to. Um, we we'll need to. We we'll need to hide that from her. For the time being. So yeah, well, we can tell you can tell her uh, whenever you call her, we can tell her about like the presents and stuff. Yes. And to distract her. So we're gonna have like a ten minute break or something. We're like ten minutes, like twenty five two or something. Uh, maybe we'll uh, resume. And when we do, we're gonna kick off with the present opening. So Yay! The, the opening of the presents is coming in like ten minutes. Be there or be square.
Oh, thank goodness. Okay, um, I don't know how much long I've, how much time I've got. Um, I've managed to get out for a minute. It's not good John. The other one, he's evil John. It was the wrong live stream that got deleted at the beginning. That's evil John, okay? Do not let him, whatever happens, do not let him press... Hello everyone, we're back. Sorry it took us a few more minutes, just had some uh, loose ends to tie up, but shouldn't be a problem uh, anymore. So, we are back. Everything is as it should be. Absolutely marvellous. And that means we get to move straight on to the happy, happy business of birthday presents! Yay. Okay, Claire, Claire has got me two presents. <clears throat> now, do you have an order? in which you think they should be opened. Yes, you should open the little one first. Okay, there's a little one and there's a big one. There's a little one, there's a big one. 
Okay? So. Okay, I'm passing pass you me, the thing. If, pass me that. Okay. okay. Ooh, they're, they're taped together. Claire's very good at wrapping things. Okay. Yes, so I've got, I've got the, I've got the little present. I've got the little present right here. And <clears throat> the little present is... Oh my goodness, it's a selection of nerdy face masks. Oh, that's... Fabric a... ones, because currently we only so have... So are, are they machine washable, I yes, assume? Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. How often are you supposed to wash them? Well, after you've used them one time. Okay, so it's one time, but then straight, them then toss your, them straight in the machine. You put them in your wash of clothes, yeah. Yeah, so just um, toss them in the machine after one use, okay. Yeah, that's why you've got three, uh, but so I, I think I... <clears> they <throat> can take a filter as well, and they have mm -hmm. a little thing for your nose. So yes, we've got... Oh, that's such a lovely present. And okay, so we have Star Wars. We have got old school Avengers. My favourite, however, is there is a Pokeball and Charmander. Now, I would have gone for Pokeball and Squirtle, the yes. superior starter. The picture on Etsy was uh, a Pokeball and Squirtle. But was I'm, it? I'm oh. assuming that the... Oh, um, you got flipping bamboozled. Well, number one, I like Charmander. Uh, mm -hmm. But number two, uh, it's just, it's one of those things where I bet that's just the fabric had all three starters, maybe Pikachu as well on it. Yes. I bet that's what it is. Oh, that's so. adorable. Thank you. Well, that's I really like cute. Well, I like a present that's useful. Yes. And Put the second down. present is very, very not useful. It's very okay, dumb. Okay, that, that was a small thing. There's, then there's some big, then there's a massive, massive ass present. This is a big box. This is a big box of some description. Mm-hmm. Claire's been hyping this one up a little bit. Claire's well, been hyping what this. What I did, John, is I went with the John way of picking a present, which is, this is so dumb, I bet John's gonna like it. It's got a shield on the front of some description. What, what is this? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a Groot. I think you'll find John if you turn it around. Oh. Um, it's a big group sculpture of some description. It's a, it's a bit it's a group for two, but it's a dancing baby Groot. Uh huh. You can um you can, it either makes the sound from the movie, which probably we shouldn't do on the live stream, and then dances, or if you play some music, it dances. It to dances that. to your music. Oh, yes. that's so cute. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I know, isn't it a great John type of present because oh, it's so dumb? You can just make it dance to your music. Uh -huh. Oh, it's got a wibbly head and wibbly arms and stuff. Okay, so Clara's got me a dancing Groot and some, uh, a dancing Groot and some And I mean, I know you really, masks. really love Guardians 2. Yes, so. Guardians 2 is very good, I think. Yes. Excellent. So that there uh, is the presents, good presents for good John. That's yes. very sweet, thank you. Thank you well, very, very the much thing indeed. Is, folks, John is in fact extremely good at giving uh, good birthday, good presents in general. <clears throat> John's very good at presents in a way that like, they always make people really happy. Mm -hmm. They're not always the most useful things, but they always make people really <clears throat> happy. And I think your your nieces and nephews in particular always say how good your presents are. Yes. I do an excellent job doing that. Excellent. Um, so, yes. Um, okay, now time to see if we can actually yes. make the... Oh. Dance to Uni Rob's music. That was my plan. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. <clears throat> it might make a bit of a whirring noise, though, so it might interrupt Uni Rob's music if we actually set well, it up the during the is, stream. The thing is, if we... Uh, Dance and then with there'd your be feed dad, Grooty, great. Yeah, there'd be feedback if we had the speakers on and we'd have to silence the I'm not sure that's gonna work. But we will absolutely we will absolutely test it at some point, yes. Well what we should do uh, Thomas Fisher says, Claire, you should have given him a chocolate chew. I tried. <laughs> you tried. I tried. I looked into it. Big time. Yeah, that's crash. Okay, Fallout 3's crash. But that's fine, Yay. we dropped we dropped a save. Is anyone keeping count of the crash? It's been a lot. It's about really? six. It's about six or thereabouts. This is yeah. very heavy on the crashing. Uh, mm. Fallout Three is not is not cooperating uh, with this at all. No, the gameplay continues. Damn it, the gameplay continues. Literally, I've restarted the game right now. Uh, all we've got to do is, in fact, yeah, we got some very light, easy stuff uh, uh, to ease us back in. Excuse me. Uh, Nick Nax gave us five dollars <laughs> and says, "Not to be a downer, but John better put at least half of the effort in for Claire's birthday in return, or I'll be so fake pissed." Mm -hmm. I just said 
said, I made a lot of effort because John usually is so good at presents. Yes, I do. I do. I, I kind of, uh, I do a lot of, I think I kind of, uh, uh, people generally say when I give my nieces and nephews presents that mine tend to be quite the stars of the show. Well, yeah, because, like, I think it's not, you know, you always try to think about what the particular oh, person will, <clears throat> like, will enjoy and what will make them smile. I've got, you need to do the little office on this side first. Don't you? Wait, what? And the... Uh... <laughs> Wait, where's the other? Oh, no, 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 it is, it is down. I need to... Uh, let's see. I'm completely getting myself confused here. I need to keep going down a little bit further. I mean, maybe it was more than six crashes. I just I just gave my impression, but it could be wrong. It could I be more. It could it well could be, be more, more, damn if it. If anyone's could been well. keeping track, please let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, my computer got unplugged. Let's Plug that back, back in. We're going to need that old girl yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh... Richard says I will super chat one dollar for every crash this point forward. Yeah. Richard, that's a very nice Dangerous. Sentiment. Dangerous. Please, please wait until the end and group them. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous. Also, why does the game why does the game do that? Why is that oh hang on, why have I minimized the wait? Ah! Okay, oh bloody hell. Uh okay. There's no audio. Because I forgot to... Right, well, that's going to cause the game to... Well, not crash, but just refuse to so it need to be restarted. Okay, hang on. Now, you, you can have music back in a second. Uh, and, like, noise in general. Uh, I just need to, need to drop a save because problems. Uh, okay, because I need to come out of that in order to put this up. In order to... No. 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 Is it... No. No, let me let me out. Let the cursor out. Let it be free. Uh, right about there. Is the game <laughs> muted? Well, yeah, we've just yeah, we're done. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. Don't worry. We're fixing yes, it. It's, it's being fixed. It's being fixed right now. That should hopefully be about right. Let's see if this is going to actually open back up again. Holy shit! It didn't crash. Amazing. Right, you should now have audio again. But yeah, like, the game's like, oh yeah, go down and push this button, and then come back up, and like, then I'll give you a thing to take straight back to the area you were just like, no, why, why am I being given this pointless busy work? It doesn't teach you anything about project purity, it's just, it sort of keeps you busy. Give me the damn fuses. Good thing. Yeah, and I did disarm I'm the bomb, just... blah, 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 and yes, fuses, right. give me some fuses, One. once fuses are replaced, blah, 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 blah. And now you just need okay. to, now you need to trick. I mean, I guess like you know, the idea is, hey, it's gonna intersperse like your dad talking to you, or, like the task with your dad talking to you. But just like, just just do it all in one go. Why are we doing it this way? This is a weird way to do it. It's, it's, it's just a, it's such a drag. This bit of the game, it just sort of goes on. And also, there's so many load zones in Fallout 3. That's dangerous. They 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 break all the time. It's a dangerous place to be. No dangerous place to be. Uh, where's the fuses? There's these bits over here that you want phrases. Uh, door isn't powered. Are the fuses? Wait. Nope, the fuses are not there. That's the last step of the process. Claire, this is a good time for you because this is this this is just seriously just walking backwards and forwards. It's such a weirdly slow, draggy bit of the game. Uh, yes, indeed, and I'm currently trying to get caught up with pet pictures and making sure that I can show them to all to you guys. So uh, please bear with me; it'll take a minute <laughs> because mm -hmm. every, everything is a is a lot. Everything is a lot today. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we have got yeah. Now that I managed to scroll back up 15 pages, shout out to Neil who gave us ten dollars and says Paul's suggestion: replace John uh, Basic John 1.0 with Evil John 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what a ridiculous idea! That would never happen. Yes, indeed. Ha, 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 and ridiculous. Uh, Please, next, 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 move on. Yep, I was going to do that. Excellent, uh, good, Shout out to you, Northern, Legend Northern Legionnaire, who gave us five pounds. And says, happy birthday, John, mine was on the 11th. Yay, happy birthday. Yes, indeed, Ryan gave us 2,000 Hungarian forints and says, I feel like this is a good time to throw money at you guys for the first time. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday. Well, retro belatedly for you. Yes, indeed. Uh, Tom gave us five pounds and says, happy birthday. 
the month Demencio uh, gave us five dollars and says happy birthday to my favorite youtubers thank you for the years of uh, enjoyment Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, shout out to Nish Icon who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh thank wow! Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much thank indeed. Thank you so much and says happy Hello. birthday. Happy birthday to you too. Whenever your birthday is. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Grimalkin who gave us fifty Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says happy birthday, John. I didn't know your birthday was literally a day before mine. Oh, sweet. Uh, yes, well, happy indeed. birthday to you for uh, tomorrow. For tomorrow, indeed, yes. Uh, and shout out to uh, Licarpo, who gave us five euros and says, Hey, it's been some time since I saw your last stream. It's about time I send some money your way. Uh, Alex gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm glad that Claire can be here for your birthday this time. <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> Uh, your Where Do They Go video the other day was great, very interesting stuff. I hope you have a great day. I had fun with that. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I had to, um, I had to, uh, go into that video to take some screenshots and I think I actually ended up watching all of it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see, Ro gave us five pounds and the Smash Therapy provides a great short-term release for built-up stress according to uh, Google. Uh, loads of places all over the country offer it. So there you go. Interesting, I had no idea this was such a widespread thing. Apparently. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pope, what is no effect in the chat says I feel awful for Claire today where 4.5 hours past my super chat she's still not there uh, Bernadette gave us uh, 10 Canadian dollars and says happy birthday I'm forever grateful that my dad found you when he searched for Fallout 3 videos 6 years ago much hugs and love to all especially to Claire we're dealing with super chat Amazing. Uh, good job Yes, uh, folks I just want you to know that I filled up my 1 litre water bottle with tea so I have now warm tea with honey, uh, so I can just, uh, you know, I can just keep going. I can just keep doing this. Yeah. It's all fine. That's it. This is the, Claire can now just keep going forever. Well, you know. Never ending. Infinite Claire. Uh -huh. Technically, I think legally, at this point in my work day, I, I'm entitled to a 30 minute break. Because it's been over six hours. What? Boo. Bullshit. I think that's in my work contract, but sure. It could possibly be, and also it might be a legal requirement. It's kind of unclear. Uh, let's see. Okay, the Enclave are now starting to show up. Are you coming right there? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, you saw me there for a second, didn't you? Go! And he's unfortunately got... He's got laser weaponry. And I'm, I'm firing junk. Uh, I'm firing baseball mitts at him. Uh, which is a problem. There we go. The junk jet was uh, was superior. And I can't use any of his stuff. But I do have... The one thing I do have is one, yeah, a flamer that I need to remember. So... Wait, hang on. Was a flamer a big gun? Or is that... Yes, it is a big gun. Not an energy weapon. Good. Good, good, good. And I think we need to double down on the big guns. To be honest, I feel like this is this is this is where we are right now. This is uh, this is it. This is this is our only chance. Big guns up to 65 uh, at this point, and start moving speech in the right direction. Okay, uh, new stuff at level uh, eight. We do not need strong back, and uh, we could just take size matters for just bonus 15 to big guns. Like a massive increase to big guns and that's it. Well, yeah, that's what we do though. We don't even have small guns, so... I think that's worth it. Yeah. Screw it. Now let's get let's get big guns straight up to that. That should be 80 uh, at this point. Yeah, big guns are 80. Uh, which means... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to give the flamer a go. Uh, against... That sounds amazing. <laughs> so we're going to start using a flamethrower against the Enclave. Uh, at this point, and um, we're also just going to take an hour's nap because that's just a free health top up without burning any of the rest of it. And the junk jet is actually getting pretty low. So at this point, Claire, this is you. Massive yeah. flame tank on your back there. Oh, hello. It's pretty good, I know. 
It's nice. Uh, I thought there were more than one um, enclave. There might be some more in the next, uh, when you go back towards the gift shop. I think there might be more in the, um, the upcoming area. Uh, but I'm not really sure how powerful this is going to be or how well this is going to work. Never really run a character with big guns this high, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I see someone over here. I see someone over here. And waddle, waddle, waddle. And... Go! Not perfect, but I'll say it didn't... That didn't go too bad. Mm -hmm. It took him down relatively fast. If I was to toss in... A little bit of, yeah, and I should take these because that's just worth a lot of money to sell. And I can trade that out for ammunition, so I should definitely be taking their weapons, if only for on value front. The problem is the ammo for this thing is not going to last. It's not going to last at all. Uh, so, okay. That's good enough for now. I'm pretty sure there's none in here. I think this is just the... Yeah, I can't even get my gun out. This is just the plot bit where, yes, Liam Neeson's going to end up being murdered. So nothing's going to happen, which means I'm going to save. Because last time nothing was happening, characters switched with the game crashed. So, Claire, all yours while characters just talk at each other. Uh, yes, indeed. Let's see. It's quite impossible. Get back to the top of the page. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, shout out to uh, Alcorus Rendrig, the Silver Wizard again, who gave us another $3 and says, here you go all my money yay thank you uh ugc we thought gave us five dollars and says happy birthday john i'm excited to know we are birthday twins oh more birthday twins Woo! yes mr nano has gave us two swiss francs and says happy birthday john i didn't know that we share a birthday sweet so there you go uh landy gave us 20 pounds and says happy birthday john i hope you have a great day Evil John is the best this is the John. Eve, <laughs> luckily, Evil John has been defeated, so yes, we don't we don't need to worry about him again. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chilling with Chuck gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I hope you have a great day." Uh, and Zachariah gave us ten dollars and a little pear character jumping up and down, saying, "Number one fan." Yay, pears! So there you go. We like the little pear characters. Uh -huh. uh, it's a bold claim with the number of people showing up here tonight. Number one fan. Mm -hmm. Bold claim. Uh, yes, indeed. Assignable Jack gave us five uh, pounds and says, "Happy Johnmas." Johnmas, excellent. Love yes. it. Uh, Purple Cat gave us three pounds and says, "I have um, have some ad block attacks for me, you beautiful people." Uh, and then Max gave us ten dollars and says, "Working outside in Florida almost makes me wish for, for a, a nuclear, nuclear winter." winter. Yes, happy birthday. Oh, that one, oh, that one, cabin. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see, Joshua gave us uh, 2 uh, euros 29 and says, Happy birthday, John. Also, super chat delay check. Is, but you didn't tell me the time, so I can't that? actually do that. Oh dear. Do that check, because you didn't tell Dude. me the time. And so now yeah, you'd have to confirm what time it was yeah. sent uh, with, with the time zone if you want checks to be made. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh. Alright, and now we got the sewer level, which is... Not as bad as this boring section we just it was did. Sent at uh, five forty p.m. Sweet. Uh, so you know about five ten minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. But what obviously because of the way I do super chats, like I actually going to need you. do have like I separate We've them got... out so that they make more sense need... whenever I read them. Uh, so it might not be the earliest that we've had. I think this next mm. section is ghouls as starting point, which the flamethrower should be quite effective dealing with uh so that should be hopefully fine so yeah this should be fine as a starting point just a handful of ghouls and whatnot where we can just uh take care of all of that nonsense clap yeah shout out to hair horn player who gave us ten dollars and says have the evilest birthday john i have two birthdays in my family today so i'll be in and out thanks uh to you both again for your hard work providing us with quality entertainment we do what we can. Yes, indeed. Uh, Philip gave us 50 Danish krona and says, I can't stick around. I have to attend my own birthday party for some reason, but have a fun live stream. <laughs> have fun at your own birthday party. That sounds fun. And happy birthday for whenever you catch <laughs> this in future. Darn straight. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Waster of Orange gave us uh, 250 rubles 
and says, Hi, John, just some, Rus some Russian rubles for you to buy some vodka. Happy birthday. You know, I used to drink vodka a lot when I was a student. I really mm -hmm. liked vodka and lemonade and stuff. I occasionally just did um, the odd shot of like neat vodka as well. Mm -hmm. I haven't really touched it since I left university, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Danger Dave gave us five dollars. Mm. This is a good username. Excellent. This is the weirdest set piece in all of Fallout, by the okay. way. Uh, where, like, basically the game says, uh, hey, she's gonna hack this door and you need to, like, you know, like, you know, cover or protect her or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the enemy are trapped up there and they can't get down to her. So if you just literally don't stand by the door, then they can't hit you. Okay. It's such a weird set piece. You just sort of like, so yeah, nothing's happening. That's, that's fine. I mean, you, you know, you can help yourself to a little bit of, uh, bit of whatever if you want. She's what just, is you know, it? Getting on with the, uh, the hacking. So, you know, she's just getting on with that. You can, I think you can do it yourself if you want to. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's very hard locked. And there we go. Notice how, like, it just completed and we didn't do anything. So we just didn't bother standing next to the door. <laughs> that's, that's the weirdest set piece. It's like, I think they just forgot that, that you could just... Oh, yeah, wow, that... Okay, so the flamer is melting the ghouls. The ghouls are not happy bunnies. The ghouls, they ain't happy bunnies. Ah, no, you don't, Mr. Roma. And fall back. So the Romas take a little bit more of a punch. The problem is this thing just eats ammo. That's the issue we got here. But I will gladly take myself one free bottle cap mine. Because why would you not want a free bottle cap mine? And you're running. Oh, bloody hell! Okay, um, so this is... I may have slightly said Dr. Lee. Yeah, I said Dr. Lee on... I didn't... That, that, that. Dr. Lee is slightly on fire. Dr. Lee is a bit on fire. Please do not run in my way right now. I'm using a flamethrower. Do not cross the line of fire of the flamethrower man. Seriously. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. Aside from the fact that these idiots refuse to avoid my line. My <laughs> Why would you do this thing? Right, Taft Tunnel. Keep on keeping on. There's one section where the flamethrower will not do its job. Just because there's, you've got to like, take out some enemies that are like, high up behind you. I think you might be able to just run around them, actually. Can't remember. Um, we can't go any further. We need to stop. Oh, yes, medical emergency. Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. Yeah, um, normally you'd have a medicine have skill. And, oh, speech 100%. I can, wow. Speech 100%, leave him behind. Speech 100%, let's just drug him. Take some stim packs, that should get him through. Yeah, that, yes, that seems like that's the better Thanks. option. <laughs> yeah. Rather than like, ah, oh, you know what, we'll just give him, we'll just like give him some drugs. Drugs are fine. And... Yeah, that's fine. So you can take care of that while I start pushing ahead. This next section is going to be a bit tricky because you're shot from behind. They're up here on this ledge. Uh, is this a good use for a nuke? Or maybe... Um, I don't have any missiles left. I don't know if it might. this might be a good nuke call. I think this might be a decent nuke call. Get out of the fat man. I'm going to try and make this work. I've got three mini nukes left at this point. Uh, we've just got to... And go! Is that enough about both of them? Yep, they're both dead. I think that was a good use. One nuke for two dead enclave, I will take. Uh, I think that's a good exchange. Though sadly we can't get to their, uh, can't get to their gear. I Mini, mean, it's now safe to go through here. You have the really cool iBot helmet, but I'm not wearing that because I'm wearing my birthday hat! It's my birthday, so I'm wearing my birthday hat. Uh-oh. Hi! Hi! Sorry! 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 Yes, just just, just chill out for a second. Didn't realise there were going to be more ghouls over here. So just splatter him. There's bloody mess in action, by the way. All his limbs are... All his limbs just fly off and whatnot. Do we have any more? Do we have any more? Do we have any more? I think we do. Right, flamethrower. Yeah! Flamethrower! 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 Right, feral gold. No, you don't. Dead. I actually can't... I think I set someone else on fire there. Look, I'm trying to keep you alive. I'm really sorry if I accidentally flamethrower some of you at some point. It's it's just... I don't mean to. It's a mistake. Okay? It's fine. Medical tent over here. Uh, yeah, this will be at least some good medical supplies. Right, while well, I just quickly do some looting. Clap. 
Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Danger Dave, as I was saying earlier. Sorry. Danger Dave gave us five dollars. <clears throat> Sorry, Danger Dave gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John and hello, Claire. I've been a fan of yours for about five years, and I'm looking forward to your Fallout 4 challenge run." It's gonna be fun. Looking forward to it myself. Uh, yeah, Mount Garrick, Mount Gayrek gave us uh, ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Buy yourself a drink and some Jaffa cakes. I've been watching for years, but I'm happy to finally be able to wish you a happy birthday in real time." Uh, let's. <laughs> People are quite excited about the flamethrower song in chat. Yay! Uh, I can understand uh, why. Gagnizi gave us another uh, five dollars uh, and uh, says happy birthday John commenting on my pronunciation earlier says uh, you were pretty close Claire I pronounce it Gagnizi it's an old nickname derived from my last name Gag I'm assuming Gagnon uh, but I, that's not how I would pronounce it because French so uh, yes. I'm, I'm glad I wasn't too far uh guess who gave us five dollars and says have a nerdy birthday John uh, and we will have. We, we're, tr we're doing our best. Yeah, because also with the masks. Don't and go. Everything. Actually, I can't go that way. I thought there's a little yeah. bonus room there, but I literally can't go there. Uh, and yes, guess who also says? And I'm sorry, this is quite sad. Um, oh. my, my grandmother passed yesterday, so I really needed this stream today. Thank you for everything that you do, John and Claire. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, yes. I, I hope this I, is, I you know, you. helping to cheer you up in any way we can. Uh, generally, very much uh, sympathise because uh, if anybody have, uh, if any of you have followed my Twitter and seen that I had to go to France to see a family member who was very ill uh, last month. Um, had to meet that they now passed on. That uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was a bit that was a bit rough, but uh, it's a, it's good to keep keep busy. Though. Yes. It's just uh, good to be working. I'm not thinking about it too much. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Knickknacks gave us uh, $10, and I think uh, I think that we've had many messages from them today. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Knickknacks gave us $10 and says, Hey, I hope your day is going well. Since watching John and Dan play Satisfactory, screw you, Matt, I've been hopelessly addicted to it. Say hi to Tabby for me. Oh, we will. She's having a lovely sleepy day today. Uh, yes, very much, because we're not, uh, we're not uh, you nope. know, around to bother her. Uh, let's see. Was that the last one? More sort of spawning in there, because I thought that was the last of them, but uh, there's some more decided to pop in. I think, however, we're ready to... Yep, we've made it through the tunnels, which are... Kind of, this is this is like the weakest consistent part of the game, to my mind. It's not a great bit of the game at all. You get a lot of sitting around watching plot. You get the the doing the doing the, like the little the fetch quest for your dad. You get the tunnels, which are not that interesting. Then you kind of spend a bit of time just kind of watching more plot in the citadel. So it's, oh, it's, I'm so uh, sorry. Can you, uh, are you able to lower the sound of the game a little bit? Because people were saying they couldn't hear me at all. Oh, it's a bit too loud. <laughs> sorry, it's because I yeah. had to redo the sound after the break. <clears throat> uh, I will do that, but I'm going to drop sorry, the Sorry, it's because I'm, I'm a bit struggling also with projecting because uh, it's been a while. Mm. There mm. we go. Let's just get that down a little bit. There we go. A little bit quieter, a little bit quieter, just in case that <clears throat> fixes that. Uh, and also, while I'm over here, I'm going to get rid of that because it's very distracting. And go over to here. Uh, <clears throat> whilst you do that, shout out to Psycho Girl who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday from Final Render and I uh, have a good one, mate. And little balloons and present emoji as well, which is adorable. Oh, thank you very much, Psycho. That's very kind of you. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Trooper Thingy uh, gave us two dollars and says, "John, I straight up chose Deep Blue Sea as a date movie. No regrets." Yeah, damn straight. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Good date movie. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bendrix gave us ten dollars and says, "I'm contributing to the John drinks every time the game crashes." Fun. Yeah, that was a crash. No, we're at work. Come on. Uh, Chris gave us uh, twenty dollars. And says, happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the fantastic content. Enjoy your day. Uh, Grey Morality gave us $5 and says, happy birthday to you and your influencer-exclusive Bethesda women. Uh, I wish there... 
I wish we had the Bethesda women here, because then they could take over this a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just us, and Tabby's not very good at reading Super Chats. Oh. She's good at loads of things, but not that. Yeah, she's very bad at that, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Starkill gave us uh, $20. And says this stream is really buttering my biscuits. Happy you're getting all today. Excellent. Good, good expression. Good expression, I'm sure. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Code gave us $2 and says, John, get the intelligence bobblehead. Have I'd, you done that yet? Yes, I did. That's three hours ago. Well, yeah, but you were... They were asking you to do it for two hours. So, I did it. You know, I did it. It's not fine. unreasonable. I did it. The mm. Oh dear. Everything, everything's fine. Dead. It's under control. More, I don't know. Is it? Do yeah, completely. The game's just doing plots. You can just talk away. I can't. My throat hurts. Oh. Mm. Imagine Sorry, how I felt last year. Yeah, no, I. I Brianna gave us ten dollars oh. and sent us a, a cute uh, oh. sticker of a dog rolling on the floor laughing. So oh. that's fun. Uh, Alan gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. I just started the stream. I hope it's been a wonderful day It has been a lovely day so far uh, Yes, we've got happy birthday John from the driver who gave us 20 Norwegian krona and a little birthday cake from mythical who gave us $15. Oh, I like the birthday themed ones in particular. Uh, there's a lot of them. Joshua uh, gave us two euros and says donation for the uh, fallout for yo-yo video fund they did say yo-yo, which is quite yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll get on to that bit, practicing the tricks. Uh, yeah, uh, Larry gave us $50. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much uh, indeed. And Larry says, happy birthday, take all my caps. Uh, <laughs> Oh, C. Murano gave us $10, says, a very happy birthday, John, sex the socks. Uh, let's see, Richard gave us $5 and says, I'm a refugee from the short-lived universe that you destroyed. Happy birthday, you evil ass. Well, I'm not saying that about John's mom. Well, luckily, uh, luckily the evil universe and evil John have now been defeated. And that will be the end we ever have to hear about it. I uh had -huh, the last final time. Uh, please do not drink every time Claire says, yes, indeed, you will die. Uh, Shane gave us $10 and says, I'm off to study for a test. I wish I could stay for the whole thing. Happy birthday. Uh, and Anonymous... It's A like the like the article and anonymous. Yeah. Which is very cute. Anonymous uh, gave us twenty pounds and says happy birthday, John. Cut. I've been here since Fallout Three Kill Everything and I loved every second. I uh, hope you, Claire and Tabby, have a great day. PS every time Claire says let's see, I have to double take because I think she's saying my name signs Lexi. What are you Oh I'm sorry, Lexi. Amazing. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. It's just because I'm moving between like a number of windows. Yeah. And that's why I have to be like, yes, indeed, let's see, because I need to scroll frantically up. Anyway. I say spectacular a lot. Mm -hmm. Arguably too much. Yes, of if course. If that's a thing that's uh, even possible. Yes. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Uh, shout out to Nick, who gave us $5 and says, happiest of birthdays to John. Thank you for all you do. Even on really bad days, you always make me laugh. Also, good job, Claire. And there's little heart emojis. Thank you so much. Claire's Nick. doing her best under very difficult circumstances. Uh, yes, Teddy bear. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, Kevin uh, gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. No, you. Yes, me. Yes, there you Yay. go. May I start uh, by... There we go. So again, uh, if you need to leave and you would like your super chat read before you Possibly. leave, please uh, reply me I... in chat. Uh, shout out to thank you very much to Nick and Ke I... uh, Kevin for doing that. I just want to make sure everybody can hear their super chats. So uh, that's a thing that you can do if you need to go. Uh, and let's see, where are we now? Uh, shout out to Susanna who gave us uh, 300 Swedish krona. And says, happy birthday, John. Oh. Uh, we've got happy birthday, John. Here's to many more from Matt, who gave us $5. Uh, 
Hail to uh, you. And uh, happy birthday and birthday cat pictures on Twitter from Anthony, who gave us $10, 10 pounds even, sorry. Uh, yes, I have seen them. They're so cute. Yeah. Anthony has sent us eight pictures of Annie and Leo, plus three of them when they were kittens. Oh. They are so freaking cute, and there's so many pet pictures. <clears throat> we're definitely going to be doing them. At some point, we can stop and we can... Um, I'll message them to John so he can look at them on his screen and then I'll put them in chat for all of you at the same time. I think that'll be the easiest, uh, but I just need a minute to set that up. Uh, and let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Just another cellist uh, gave us $5 and says, years ago you helped me write some ad copy on Twitter. Thank you again and a happy birthday, John. Did I? <laughs> Int sounds like something I might do. I used to write ad copy. I, I, yes, I, indeed. I know my way around some ad copy, most certainly. Uh, yes, and uh, let's see. Alex gave us uh, Alex gave us fifty dollars, and says happy birthday, John. I hope you're well, and thanks to uh, thanks for another year of great content on the channel. Uh, thank you so much, Alex. That's so, that's so generous. It's very generous of uh, you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. It's lovely spending ever. I know, I'm bringing, people are surprised I'm bringing a companion along. I don't expect her to survive. I don't really care about Star Paladin Cross, but she might well be a little bit useful uh, if we uh, end up going into, uh, yeah, Vault 87. She might be useful for just like, you know, eating a few uh, bullets for me. Oh, there's, there he is. There's little Maxon. Uh -huh. He's, he's going to grow up and be in Fallout 4. Hey, yes. kids. Uh, let's see. How long will this stream uh, take, Jim? What as long as it takes. Uh, well, we are, we were planning on going until 11. 11 but also. I think we're going to end up going later than that. Yes. I don't know. We'll have to see yeah. uh, about the mod coverage that we have. Mm-hmm. Mm. Where the hell is... What's his face? I need to... Where's your dad? I need your dad so he can give me permission to buy and sell. And Vault Tech things. DC. Vault 87. Equipment issues. Should get me information I need. There we go. So that's the information about Vault 87, which of course is the far side of the lamplight, which we've already been into, which should be no problem. If she dies, all. then a free super sledge for you. That's actually true. That's very true. I hadn't even thought about that. But that is a true fact. That's a fascinating true fact. Mm -hmm. Okay, better and better. I hope she dies. Great. Amazing. Well, she has to die in time for me to uh, adopt Forks, who is the superior companion. So all the companions have, like, you know, a few hundred hit points. Forks has got tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. Forks basically can't die. Forks is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Lyle, who gave us 200 pounds. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you, you. hugely. Uh, Lyle says, happy birthday, John. I hope you have a great birthday. I'm giving you this much because I get I paid in like five days. Life. Plus, without finding your content, I might not even be here today. I hope Claire and Tabby are doing well. Um, Thank you so much. And we are so happy that you are here and around and uh, and hopefully doing much better in general. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, thank you so much. Uh, and then let's see. Uh, Dylan gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I've been watching since New Vegas No Kill Run. Absolutely love your videos." Excellent. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. That's been uh, a long, long time. Yes, a ludicrously indeed. long time actually. Uh, Jim <coughs> gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday to the best streamer on the interwebs." Also, stop killing poor Tim in Last of Us. What it's... did he ever do to you? Oh. Wait, which one's Tim? Who's Tim? Yeah, I don't know. Who's Tim? Mm -hmm. I don't know who Tim is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We'll see, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Shout out to Seven Squid who gave us a hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, thank Aww. you. Seven Squid says, Happy birthday, John. I've been watching your channel for a few years now and no YouTuber deserves this donation yeah. more than you and Claire for the fun, love, dedication and ethics that you bring to the platform through your videos and the patron cast. Thank you so much. Oh, that's very sweet. That is so <clears throat> sweet. Uh, okay, so we need to pay for some serious repairs now, by the way. Rocket launch for like 200 and... 
Flamer for 230, I think is worth it. I think the Flamer's been working well. I've just bought some ammo for the Flamer. And 32 to get my recon armor up. Honestly, the, the weird thing about the way you power armor works in Fallout 3 is like, it's just kind of, especially for my character, there's almost no point in me going over to power armor because it's supposed to like offset its high weight with giving you bonus to strength. But with strength being capped at 10, I already have 10 strength. I just end up carrying around very heavy armor that gives me a reduction in agility even further for like 2% better damage reduction which is kind of garbage. So I kind of may as well just stick with the recon armor, uh, which is really weird, but that's that's just how it works. So there you flipping go. <clears throat> uh, yes, indeed. So uh, something, people are pointing out in chat, you do call everybody who dies Tim in Last of Us. Last of Us 2, uh, whenever you make a kill trap, uh, you say, oh no, they killed Tim, I like Tim. Uh, and uh, It's my go-to name along with Steve. The good, yes, the good um, go to names. Retam points out that uh, Steve, uh, that Tim is what uh, Steve was for, <clears throat> for Rome Total War. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. More very slow moving plots here where just very slowly a man will talk at me. And tell me where to find Vault 87. Which I already know because I've literally been to the lamp line. So this bit, we can now start making some real fast progress. Uh, there we go. Shout out to Joe who gave us $5. And says, happy birthday, John. I've got to go to work. Uh, so I will be watching le later. P.S. It's also my mom's birthday today. Oh, well, well, Happy birthday to your mother her. if she's listening. I'm not sure if she's listening. Uh, I w <laughs> yes. Uh, Ultima Stone Kiss. Kipster, mm -hmm. Ultimus Stone Kipster. A badass name right there. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, gave us $200. Thank oh, wow. You. Thank you so, so, so much. much. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. I've watched your videos ever since Fallout 3 YOLO. And I've watched almost <clears throat> ever se every series since. You make the bad days good and the good days better. Thank you and Claire for all the countless laughs and good times. Have a great day, buddy. It really is the... The thing that makes this all more worthwhile to me than anything else is, like, when you hear from people who, like, you feel like you've you've improved their lives in some small but meaningful way. Where yeah. you think, you know, of all the things, you know, I know I'm not a flipping, you know, I'm not a nurse or a, a paramedic or anything. But, like, you know, in our own stupid way, we kind of... Make yeah, people we happy. And, uh, we make we make people happy and we make people smile sometimes and you just get reminded of that in this job all the time. Especially in live streams and it's uh it really makes it feel special. It all makes it feel very, very special. Uh yeah, and shout out to uh Rarest Pepe who gave us uh five uh Euros and says happy birthday John, greetings from Austria from Austria. I hope you're doing fine. Uh, are you planning on covering Cyberpunk 2077 uh, when it comes up? Uh, yes, but like, I don't like, because I've not been big into CD, uh, CD Projekt Rex games, I don't know like whether I'm going to be a big fan of it or not. So like how much I'll end up doing is a big question. I really yeah. honestly don't know. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Ooh, let's try uh, yes. Sorry, somebody asked me to, uh... You want to go to Big Town? talk for a bit. I've got to do a thing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, this... You need you, you to keep the audience busy for a second. Fuck you, Sticky! Fuck you! Fuck you, Sticky! This is... Yeah, that's right! Help me beat him up! Good riddance! Good riddance! You're supposed to be the morally good companion! Right, well, Sticky's dead. Hope they don't mind that, by the way, given he was one of them. Oh, well. Ah, he was old. Yeah, but she was by their standards. Yeah, that's the plot. I don't just you told me the plot, so... so... Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yes, indeed. And yes, I need to get into Vault 87. It's where the monsters are, good. absolutely. But, how do we get in that it doesn't involve going through li what's literally called Murder Pass? I don't want to go through Murder Pass with this yeah, character. I do. Not through Murder the Pass. Only the other and the other door doors, but yeah, computer's busted. Here. Joseph. So where can we find Joseph? I'm the mayor. Maybe he's back. So yes, I need to find uh, Joseph and whatnot. The problem is Joseph is quite hard to find, uh, which can be very tricky. It can be very, very tricky indeed. Because you're also not allowed to uh, use vats to locate him because you can't vats children because you can't attack children. 
So you end up in this odd situation where sometimes it can be very hard to find the particular child you're looking for. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly scan. I'm pretty sure Joseph is never around here, though. There's Bumble, who gets kidnapped if you decide to enslave children in this game, which you can do. Uh, and we've also got... Ooh, toy car. That sounds like a fun thing to blast. Oh, teddy bears. <gasps> Claire. Yeah? Guess what we found? It's a garden gnome! Yay! The garden gnome is back! Mm. Woo! And also I'll be having... What I really need is flamer. Flamer fuel. Whether I'll be able to find much in the way of flamer fuel is a question. I may as well take all ammo. To be honest, because all ammo, I uh, can just sell it because I'm not using it. Uh, so I mean, shotgun shells actually don't even sell uh, for that little. It's not that bad at all. Uh, do we have actual... Actual, yep, yep, more uh, holotapes and whatnot. Uh, free man. Aha! I've actually found enough information around to do... Um, <clears throat> enough information around to actually uh, do... Uh, replicated man. Just got, I've stumbled across the right number of tapes. I think, it, yeah, it's four. But it just uh, triggers. So, at that point, uh, yeah, Pinkerton uh, at Rivet City. So, I could go and do that. I'd need to go in the back way, which would involve uh, Maya Lurks. But, with Paladin Star Cross with me, it's possible. I'll, go, I'll find Joseph first. This is actually a good point for you, because Joseph is... You know, so the kids are all running around really fast, like as fast as I'm running around. Yeah. And they're very hard. To, they're interchangeable. You can't scan them with VATS to figure out who's who. I Meaning, mean, it's very hard to find a particular child. It's okay. incredibly difficult to find a child. So this is this is a good one for you. Yeah. Shout out to Eric who gave us five dollars uh, and says I thought it was a present for my birthday. Happy, excellent, chosen birth date. Uh, there you go. Happy birthday, Eric. Uh, I believe I'm only just in <laughs> the 17th, by the way. I believe mm. my mother gave birth to me in the very early hours. Oh, there uh, you so go. It, it could have been it could have been the day before very easily. Uh, yes, a shout out to Evil Monkey uh, who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, John. Uh, and Average Savage gave us five dollars also and says happy birthday, cutie. Ooh. So there you go. There Can we go. confirm. Very cute. Uh huh. Uh, Christopher uh, gave us five dollars and says, "Take some cash for that obvious Fallout 4 YOLO cop out." <laughs> Touche. We were never going to do Fallout 4 YOLO as a live stream, no sir. No. You know. no, 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 no. Never do, never do as a live stream what you could actually do as a full series at some point. Yeah. Like that. Course, that would be. That would be very foolish. Uh, Josh gave us five dollars and says happy birthday from the place you refuse to let participate in your you counselor time, huh? in the 1800s. Sorry? Uh, happy birthday from the place you refuse to let participate in your counselor in the 19 in the 1800s. <laughs> Probably uh, oh. not exactly sure what game. I, uh, I'm not sure. Eight, 1800s counselors. Yeah. 1800s. It's not total war that I've covered. Mm -hmm. uh, not Crusader Kings 2, too late for that. I'm not sure, you know. We don't... Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Emily says I was born at 11.59pm, so I just snuck into my birthday. Just snuck in. Yes, indeed. Yeah, shout out to the only just got the birthday you've got crew. <laughs> uh, let's see. Despot Parent wow, and Wise of big. Serbia I mean... gave us $5.00. Uh, and Zumba Max gave us five My euros and says this is uh, so. This is the first time you get to spend a birthday with Hugo nominated with a Hugo nominated YouTuber. How does it feel, John? <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I heard that flip is Joseph. I always struggle to find bloody Joseph. Uh, yes, FYI. Uh, yes. It feels nice. He said it was much better with me than without to do the birthday stream. 100%. Uh, just he's not going to tell me what other people can hear because, you know. Obviously. Uh -huh. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, Richard gave us five pounds and says, I hope you have a good day, John. I have shingles. I hope you're okay. Uh, yes, I, I hope that's 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 not too much of a, a problem for mm -hmm. you. Uh, let's see if that's chat bewy, knows isn't it? what we were talking Hello, about in I'm the previous uh, chat about the 1800s. I'm not quite sure. Shout at heart gets me the Wazer Wifel, which is a kind, which is a pretty good gun, but I'm probably like I could use it as a backup, but I've not got much ammo for it. Where the cock is Joseph? I can never find Joseph. It's 
always takes 10 million years to find Joseph. Uh, search the lamplight for a way in. Uh, behind me. Yes, lamplight cavern's out. Or behind me over there, which is murder pass. But I want to find Joseph so he can let me there. Cockhead! Where are you, Joseph? He might be down the mess hall. That might be... That just I forget what he bloody looks like. Hey. No, that's Eclair. It's like Claire, but not as good. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. Seems literally Eclair. It's not my fault. There's no one called Claire in Fallout 3, as far as I can remember. I think there isn't anyone by, uh, by that name. Which is very sad indeed. Maybe he's in the restaurant if I go to the... Uh, Spelunkers. Is Spelunkers the... Uh, yeah, and shout out also to uh, Joshua who gave us two euros uh, and says uh, and says you need to scroll down. I can't uh, scroll down without crashing the game. Uh, <laughs> Joshua says some money for the gnome rehabilitation fund uh, and gave us two uh, euros. Hang on, I need, to, I need uh, apparently I've set something up wrong, so we need to risk crashing the game again. Ah. Okay, there we go. Yep, sorry, the game was not in the place in the in the correct place. This is gonna crash right now. I think this is about to crash. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You crashed the game, Claire. Crashed oh, the game. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, anyway, sorry. Shout out to uh, the People's Front again. French long white bread. Excellent. Interesting. Give us five euros fifty and says Fallout Three kill everything. No only when. Uh, which one, sorry? Fallout 3 kill everything gnome only. <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. Oh flippy dear. Uh... Uh, oh, and uh, I I don't know if I've copied that twice or if, he, or if they gave that twice. So mm -hmm. uh, I hope it's uh, not that. Uh, but uh, in that case, well, thank you in any case uh, for that super chat. Uh, and shout out to Kara who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John thank you for keeping us all sane during this time and for years before this oh hey. we do what we can there's zip again I'm gonna check close by to the gate that's Nick that's Nick knack and uh, knock knock I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. Uh, and Bendrix gave us a hundred dollars. Thank you so oh, wow. much. Wow! Thank you so so uh, you've much. You've already made several donations today as well. So thank you so so much. Uh, Bendrix says, as a gay guy who struggles with anxiety and depression and has a hard time finding content that is distracting, entertaining, and safe from a toxic community, uh, from toxic comment, from toxic commentary. Sorry, mm -hmm. words are hard. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, Bendrick says, finding the channel years ago was wonderful. You and Claire definitely make people's lives a little better. Uh, thank you so much. We are so happy that we can do that. Uh, and on that note, Uni Rob gave us two uh, pounds and says, real quick, could you both say trans rights? Trans rights. Trans rights, indeed. Damn straight. Uh, trans rights are human rights. Uh, there you go. Okay, so he's uh, not by the gate of Joseph murder usually pass. hangs out near the terminal or underground in the great chamber. Yeah, chamber? I just checked by murder pass gate. Whew. Uh, Sean gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I'd love to, I'd like to gift you a copy of my book. Do you have a post box or some other way to send you a package? We don't." And the reason for that is that we did look into uh, setting up a PO box, but we found that um, they are quite expensive and yeah. there are some issues with yeah. them in terms of... They know, do represent just, some slight security and privacy issues. Right, yeah. if it was just a question of us sending some business money to set up a PO box, it wouldn't be so bad. It's just that, like, you know, in the UK, basically, if you have a PO box, you can, like, look up someone's address. So yeah. it's kind of, you yeah. know, like the real address. So it's just a bit... Mm. Ow, um, my legs. Uh, that's a Claire da, 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 da. again. Uh, Check it down the ground floor. Cause some people were saying he's Claire, he hangs around on the ground floor in the Great Chamber. Yeah, and I've just seen somebody in chat saying uh, you missed my donation. Uh, I didn't. I just have a super long list of them. I uh, literally just read uh, that one just now because I didn't want people to think that like we didn't want to say trans right because we absolutely do. Uh, but I didn't want to make people wait three hours to know whether or not we were okay with saying trans right. <laughs> uh, so that's that. that. That's a fair. That's a fair <laughs> prioritizing right there. That's so fair. There you fair. Go. <laughs> that is why. Uh, but yeah, no, we are super far behind. We are very, very far behind. Aha! Well, here's something. I Fucking Joseph! 
Because you all have been incredibly generous today, and we are floored. Uh, well, but yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, there's some things I wanted to address well, immediately because they're important, like, you know, um, like privacy concerns and, yes. and, and you know, uh, human rights. The annoying thing uh, is, yes, with Joseph, he, he has no, you, I don't think there's any way to get a quest marker for him, so you just have to wander around until you find him. Yeah. Which is kind of irritating. Uh, uh, watch it. Yes. Uh, there you go. So, uh, shout out to C. Murano who gave us $10. Uh, sorry, shout out to C. Murano who gave us $10 and says, uh, John walks past Stimpak without looking. John, John never changes. <laughs> <clears throat> Strikes me as eminently reasonable. Uh, Joe gave us five pounds and says that happy birthday, John. It was my birthday yesterday, so sharing the love in this forgettable year. I hope I can forget this year. <laughs> okay. Oh, so God. to skip mode of um, pass, I need average science, which strikes me as eminently doable, I'd say. Because I can like science plus five off the vault uniform. I've already got science of 25. And I can boost my intelligence a little bit through drugs. Yeah, Mentax is intelligence plus five in this game. Uh, so all we need to do is... Yeah, if I do replicated man now, 100% that will be... That should stack up. That should stack up no problem at all. Uh, so that is not a bad call. Or we could do... Trouble on the home front should have activated at this point because the enclave are on the map so i'm pretty sure that's the trigger for trouble on the home front which otherwise it's really just sort of miss uh uh because like you know you just don't happen to pass close by to uh vault 101 uh in the time it's active uh before the end of the game uh we should be able to do either of them for a big old pile of xp trouble on the home front would be the easier option uh so i feel like that's the way to go Claire. Ah, Christopher uh, points out that, uh, you know when he said good cop-out on Fallout uh, for YOLO? Yeah. Uh, Christopher points out what I meant is that the cop-out is saying the more he hears about it, the longer it will take. I use that line on my kids all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, that's where we are with, uh, with their uh, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Cut through the cave. Don't need any of this. Though I'll gladly take some ammo if it's going for free. Seriously, where's my flamer ammo? Just give me flamer ammo, you dicks. I don't need all of these. The game is sort of assumes you're going to be using small guns. It just decided, yep, you're going to be using small guns. There's no chance you're not going to be using small guns. Because that's why every single ammo box in the game contains small bloody guns. Dear, oh dear. But yeah, we'll rush trouble on the home front, which is a really easy one to get done in no time whatsoever. Uh, so that's that's going to be nice and easy. Clap. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Uh, do you want to do you want to talk about this playthrough a little bit at some point for people who are new? Because I'm getting some questions about like the goal of the playthrough, what it's kind of just, it's, kind of, it's just a chill playthrough from a slightly unconventional style. I let Claire make all the decisions about the character build, so we're a very unconventional... Oh, and I took the goat as well, and yeah. I was very murdery. So, strength 10, charisma 10, but like, very little agility and low intelligence, next to usual. Uh, so, very unusual build uh, in that regard. This is not my usual build, and like... We're heavy on big guns, and uh, explosives? a bit on the a bit on explosives, melee weapons, like stuff I wouldn't normally do in Fallout Three. So it's just a chill, full playthrough under some unusual and we're rules. And we're smashing everything. Um, Claire, and Claire's basically Claire insisting smash. that we smash all the things. Like smash. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see where yeah, we there are. There it is. There's the emergency signal. Mm. Um. Okay, well, if you passed out a bit and you uh, missed a portion of the live stream, the odds are pretty good I haven't read your super chat yet, because there are many of them. Uh, so there you go. Oh my god. Uh, Blackleaf uh, gave us $5. I'm... I... Mm, mm. True transferred supporters would do Fallout 4 YOLO. I'm not... I'm not super keen keen on mixing up like stuff in the game and yeah. stuff on the channel with like an actual real life very important thing. Yes. Which is like there's some people right now in the world who 
are uh, not treated the same uh, and suffering because of their identity and we do want to make sure that like you know we tell people who what side of history we're on mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that it's a good idea to actually you know um, make jokes about like I don't know super mutant rights or whatever or or talk about it in terms of like doing this or that video just because I don't want to minimize you know something that's really real especially in the UK yeah um, like in the UK it's just there's a lot of you know like people claiming to have like a, a to oppose nah yeah. It's just, mm -hmm. This is a, this is the sort of thing where very often if I, they but what if Claire's jobs? Right uh, oh hello there, Officer Gomez. Uh, they doesn't get a thing that, that doesn't kind of it just happens by the scenes. Is sometimes I'll come up with a joke when I'm doing a video, and later I'll pass it by Claire, and say, Claire, is this okay? Am I allowed to say this? Is this acceptable? Is this uh, going to? It, it, is this going to get me cancelled? Is the expression well, I normally use? Yes. Yeah, but it's not really that. It's more um, like, is this going to harm some people? Everything. Which yes. is the important thing. Yes, exactly. is, is, it, want... is it punching down? Is it harmful? Yeah, exactly. Is it nasty or mean spirited? Because comedy to my mind should be positive and happy and it shouldn't hurt people. Uh, so I, I, I sometimes use Claire as a second pair of ears just to uh, just to help with that yeah, sort of nonsense. Check, you know, like, yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there we go. Uh, Brian gave us five euros and says, uh, make that happy birthday. Uh, and uh, Taka ga uh, gave us ten Polish zloty and says, "Happy birthday, John! Ki Happy birthday, John! Kill some death claws for me." If we can make it through this entire game without ever running into a death claw, I would consider it a great success. Mm -hmm. That's one of the nice things, of course, about um, Fallout Three. Death claws were treated very sparingly. Uh, like it wasn't just assumed you'd see death claws because you know they need to make their appearance. Like a lot of people, like a criticism I see of Fallout Three a lot is, oh Bethesda just kind of you know they took all the Fallout stuff and they just shoved all the Fallout stuff on because they wanted that to be Fallout stuff. But they were like in many with many things they were very responsible. Like you could very easily play the entire game and never run into a death claw at all. And like in New Vegas, they're all over Quarry Junction, which is a very prominent central area, and they're all over lots of areas. They used a lot more. Um, and in uh, in uh, Fallout 4, of course, literally the opening of the game, which is shouldn't really be, but uh, that's I, I don't like the opening of Fallout 4. I think there's a lot of it makes a lot of uh, missteps, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, so uh, yeah, the Fallout 3 is very sparing with its death claws. It treats them. Uh, it kind of it, it, they are they are special things where you see very rarely on very on very rare occasions. And yes, you just sort of keep keep leading me on, Officer Gomez. Yes, you can see how bad. Yes, I know things are bad, but seriously, you were supposed to be walking me to a martyr, so so please keep on doing that. Because yeah, we can literally just uh, oh, there's the overseer by the way. Screw you! Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire a thing at him. Yeah, that's right. Screw you! I'm gonna fire bottles at you. That was some glue, actually. Right. Uh, just just put that. Sorry, my mistake. Put that away. <laughs> I like it. He doesn't even flinch. Doesn't even flinch. We just uh, we're just firing bottles at him, and he just doesn't care. Clap. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, da, 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 da. okay. Uh, we are going to stop talking about uh, you know us deciding what it is that we think is funny and fair is not censorship. We're making decisions about what we're saying. So if we can uh, if we can just kind of maybe um, you know. Mm. I that's not anyway um... your channel history is pretty clear right like from seven flipping seven eight years ago I said right from the beginning I wanted this channel to be you know a happy thing because a lot of people were super super negative in those days that was the uh, mm. that was the dawn of angry person does rants on the internet and I wanted to make a channel that was happy and positive and I still want it to be happy and positive that's it that's that's the full extent of it hello there botch look who and yes, we'll just be uh, getting right past you. And you want you, but just want you to blow up the vaults, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, uh, the butch is ridiculous. But he wants, uh, but he's also the worst companion. So don't bother blowing up the vault to help him, because that would be uh, that would be not a good idea. Right, you you just naff off. Everything's under control. And Marta is yeah, she's in the medical bay, isn't she? Yes, she is. This is the time to pick up the uh, oh God, the medical bobblehead if you missed it the first time round. So that's fine. But yeah, it's just a Marta versus the Overseer. They're now in factions. You just need to basically back one the other or blow up the vault. That's that's literally it. That's literally the thing. 
Uh, okay, shout out to uh, Drothine who says, uh, you know, it's a birthday, you know, it's a birthday party when John start a yeeting class junk around the good universe uh, and gave us five dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, Brian gave us five euros and says, uh, hopefully your enemies won't try and avoid their inevitable gnoming. Mm -hmm. We did gnome a few people, right? We found one gnome. I think we no this we found two gnomes but one of them was lost forever unfortunately. Oh yes it is. One sad. of them was tragically uh one of them was tragically lost forever due to uh, a bit of uh yeah a bit of an unfortunate uh accident of it despawning which was very very sad indeed. Uh okay so now we've just got to go and uh have a chat to no nope, that way's blocked off. Now it's need to go and have a chat to the overseer, or specifically uh, find some evidence that he's losing control of the vault and diddly diddly d. Uh, I think we might be able to just speech check. To be perfectly honest, I think we'd be okay uh, in that regard. I just need to remember what's where because the vault is the reactor's down on the right. I think this leads up towards the overseer's section. So all I need to do is get to the um, the upper levels. Uh, and let's remember, because the vault is, you don't navigate it the same way as the last time, uh, that you were here. But yeah, if we just go to the overseer's office, we can, uh, check the computers and whatnot. And, okay, we'll come back to you in a second. I need to rush to you. So if we go down to, I think the easiest solution is just go to the prison, uh, and in the security officers, just, yeah, if we can hack this computer, that'd be great. That computer is also average locked. We came here to uh, to get average locked, and unfortunately, that's average. The door is average locked, so we can't do either of them. Okay, hopefully we can speech check the overseer, or we could just kill him. Uh, but I feel like a martyr's not going to be not going to be a hundred percent. I'm going to be a hundred percent thrilled with that solution. Do we have? Is there extra notes on here? Scouting reports, etc. No, those are all ah external external contacts. Okay, so that's that skill check free. So yeah, we now know the enclave is out in the world. Uh, that is going to be a problem. So I now have evidence about that. If I can well, speech check I you, this would be the, the easiest uh, solution. So yes, uh, unfortunately, no one's got much of a future. Blah de blah de blah. And yes, what are we going to do? With you. Is there a speech check for you? Yes, 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 yes. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I believe I have a solution. And uh, the rebels are right. You need to open the vault. And ooh, 50 50. 50 50. I admit nice. Okay, so yes, you can simply talk him around and saying, hey, genetic diversity is like a thing that you need or you'll die. Uh, and yes, that means they'll open up the vault. Everything is spectacular. Everything is lovely. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's it. That's literally it resolved. We can just go straight back to Amata. The Overseer is pff, stuck. Uh, so, yeah, that's a very, very easy, fast quest to uh, to get sorted out. Uh, it's really not a tricky one. Uh, not a tricky one at all. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Ghostboard Jamie, who gave us £10 and says, aha, it's conclusive proof that Crazy Wolfgang is the mysterious stranger. It's, well, Crazy Wolfgang has, has been the real hero. Oh, the real yes, hero of uh, this whole yes, business. Indeed. Uh, shout out to Kate, who gave us 100 uh, South African rands and says, happy birthday, John. Bonus nerd points to Claire for the, quote, obscure Dorian Gray reference. <laughs> um, the other day, Dalton gave us $5.00. Uh, and says happy birthday John uh, we've got five dollars from Adam who uh, I believe I've read this one uh, when it first came out but uh, they were saying that their earlier super chat hadn't been read uh, and again for anybody who uh, hasn't been in chat for super long um, if you've sent in a super chat and it hasn't been read yet it's because we're super far behind yeah it is not a question of whether or not it will definitely definitely heard. be read it is you just that we are quite far behind yes <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, Solar gave oh, us, uh, so five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John! Wolfgang is the shrapnel from Kill Everything of this playthrough. <laughs> wow. There we go, Repair plus five, Luck plus one, Rad Resistance plus ten. Not, it's kind of worse than the original Utility Jumpsuit, which is ridiculous because it doesn't give you lockpick. That's kind of insane. Uh, but you know what? I'll keep it. You're, you're all, you're all welcome. 
I just need to find my way back out of the bloody... I just need to find my way back out of the bloody vault because this, this place is a maze. This place... There's the overseer! The overseer. I actually beat him here, but it doesn't matter. I took, I took a more efficient route. And now we just have to go because that's a thing you have to do because it's a Fallout game so the protagonist doesn't get to stay in the vault. Mm -hmm. So that's sad, isn't it? Meow. Meow? Yeah, that means carry on. Oh, okay. But in cat. But in cat. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, shout out to Shocking, Shocking Pikachu who gave us uh, 10 uh, Australian dollars. Says I just got off from completing one of my assignments and super happy to catch a stream for once. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you too whenever your birthday is. Uh, yes, William Leeson uh, gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I discovered your channel a few weeks ago and I've enjoyed every bit of content that I've watched. Keep making all of the baddest content. We will do what we can. Okay, so science up a little bit. Science of 40 should be plenty. In fact, actually, science of 35 would be plenty. Because I can boost science by five, and then I can boost intelligence by five, and intelligence of five should correspond to science of ten. So Mentat should be A-OK. -okay. That should be enough um, for me to do terminals up to 50, which is all I really need. Uh, which means I can then put another, oop, I can put another five into big guns. Uh, that means I can take the per big uh, size matters rank two. Uh, which means I can put two into repair, which feels kind of redundant. So actually, you know what? I'll take speech. And then we will take size matters, because that actually has three ranks to it. And that should be... Uh, yeah, that should now be uh, blah, 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 big guns of 100. Big guns of 100? That's weird. Not sure if I've ever had... Ooh, blimey. The... Slightly delayed vault door there. It's a hell of a screech. Okay, so that means now... We should be able to go and take care of that. I could go and do Replicated Man, uh, which would get me Wired Reflexes, which is probably worth doing, to be honest. Uh, I will need to do a little bit of swimming uh, for that, and it does involve taking on Maya Lurks, but I think we can probably do that. Yeah, Pinkton Rivet City. Uh, I assume do I have a... Natural quest marker for that. Pinkerton is... You're saying Pinkerton's over there. Pinkerton isn't over there. Pinkerton's, like, over on the other side of the bow. But that's absolutely fine. Yeah, you know what? I think even though I don't want the the gun, the wired reflexes is going to be worth it. So, yeah, even though I don't have the lockpick of 100, I can just swim in. Uh, you can do it without any speech, uh, any checks at all if you just, um, if you just swim in and... Uh, is that flipping... Uh, it's Crazy Wolfgang! The song. real protagonist is here! Crazy Wolfgang's got Crazy Wolfgang, the a true protagonist. The and I uh, once again have no one enough money to make a new improved uh, rocket launcher. And yes, uh, in case you don't know, uh, the Wasted Wifle is a unique variant of the laser rifle provided by Bowie uh, in Lamplight. It's just slightly better, but I don't really need it. So I'm just going to sell it. Because <laughs> I feel like it. That's the thing that I do. Uh, I don't think he's got no. You're not gonna have anything else. It gets me up to um, it gets me up to some uh, some good level stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna go basically swim and find uh, Pinkerton in the old broken bow, and hopefully with the help of Star Paladin Cross, I should be okay for uh, dealing with Maya Lurks. So they are a bit on the a bit on the tough side, but I've got good armor these days. And again, if good armor by Fallout 3 standards is like 20% damage reduction, it's like oh, it's kind of garbage actually. It's kind of terrible. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if that works. Because, yeah, the door over there is locked 100. But in case you don't know, uh, you can just skip it. Because there's just an underwater section right here. Which I might be about to drown in. Because um, it's a little bit tricky to, to navigate. And sometimes I get lost and confused and uh, get that. There's a breath. You can get a breath of air right there. And you can't see. Sorry. Uh, open the door. And then just keep on keeping on. And then through over to here. And there we go. And now I need to start. I need to start Paladin Cross right now. Star Paladin Cross. Star Paladin Cross. Star. Star Paladin Cross, where are you? Stop. She's freaking the flip out. Uh, okay, now now I can't. Now, now I'm dying. Now I'm dying from lack of. I blame Star Paladin Cross for this. 
I feel like this was entirely Star Paladin Cross's fault. For, for bugging the flip out. Okay, seriously. Try the scam. Alright, this is this is fine. Star. Star, where are ya? Get over here, Star. That she's swimming through the air. It's fine. Entirely entirely not a problem. Okay. Now we just go through over here. And now we go through over here. And now I just want some oxygen. And then we back down. And yes, now she knows about the enemy contact. I'm hoping she'll go and take care of that. Where's where's Star? Is she? Okay, I think Star is now engaging with them, which means I should go and get involved or she probably might die or something. Uh, okay, so this is fine. She's now stuck in a corner with them. I'm going to try flamering them. And boom! Caught flipping Myerluck. There we go. And there we go. She is not dead. Bit of ammo used up, which is a bit of a shame. But I'll flip and take it. And now we've got a clean path on the way out again. Because we uh, don't think there's a way to... Forgot about the flame traps. Uh, that's fine. Not dead. Not dead. Shouldn't have uh, flamethrowers out in flame trap areas. Likely to lead you to be on fire. Never mind. There is a switch that just opens the door. It was... Ow! Was that me or was that her? I don't know who that was. Well, that's, there's, there was definitely... There was, there's bad... I'm just going to drop a save at this point. Just because problems. Everything's okay. But at this point, yes. We should be able to run straight through. Hopefully. Uh, assuming I don't want to do any of the trap business. I might want to get myself some... Uh, some free mines. As I've dropped a save. I might just help myself to some free mines. I'll help myself to some free water. The problem is, Star might well just walk into the traps and trigger them, which will be less than ideal. Uh, hopefully, she won't. Oh, Fragmine times six, though. Don't step on the trap. Do not step on the trap. Okay? Highly important, you don't step on the trap. And then through here, do not interfere with the computer. The computer is a fake. Instead, it's this button that opens the door. That computer doesn't do anything. And Pinkerton Slab. Job done. Uh, so now we just quickly have a chat, Tim. I'm just going to skip for his dialogue. Yeah, we're, we're skipping most of the story here. Uh, just because I'm sure you hopefully know what the story of the various key quests of Fallout 3 is by this point. But he did a, he did a thing to a robot. And now we need to ask him about it because reasons. Is, is That's the short version. I'm going to say that's the short version. Uh, I also need your... I want your big book of science. Cheers. Uh, so I'm also stealing his uh, his books. There we go. Now my science is even better than it was. Hello. And How the hell did you pink get in here? turn, blah, 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 blah. Facial reconstruction. He tells me the information. And then it, he shows me the proof that I need. And da, da, deedly day. And uh, then he tells me about the code that I need. And I do not know he need anything else. But he can change my face if I want him to. But I don't. I am absolutely fine. And now I'm just going to get the evidence. Boop. There we go. Clap. Oh, yours. Well, I just download the evidence. Uh, yeah, shout out to Christopher who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm enjoying the stream so far. And uh, here recently, I've been re-enjoying the Fallout 3 kill everything. Uh, I know that I will never... Please know that I will never forgive you for staging the death of Dogmeat Love. <laughs> that took so much ammo to do, by the way. Dogmeat oh has read such stupid amounts of health. It took so long to murder him for that joke. Jesus. Which, is, which must have been not fun for you to do. Uh, no, because literally you had to like, you just had to basically sit him down and make it, tell him to stay. And then I just needed to fill bullets with him as he made whining noises for about five minutes oh straight. Oh my god, how did you... <laughs> it was not... It's tricky. Mm. It's tricky, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, so yes, uh, in case you don't know, by the way, the optimal way to complete this quest is to confront Harkness, get the reward off him, then offer to go and murder Zimmer, and then get the reward off Zimmer by pretending you're backing Zimmer, then immediately murdering Zimmer. And that's it. You, you just do that, and that's by far the optimal solution. 
So we're just going to do that now, but I'm going to keep saving in case the game crashes and enjoys dizzy, doing that. So you, you're a robot. Yes, not existential debate. You are a robot. And I'm telling you the truth. You and I'm going to I'm going to give you pictures and evidence. And your blood isn't real blood. It's oil and oh, robot. And then Petrel. The, 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 Pet Trowel. And then, oh, he remembers. Remember. He's he's from the all. Commonwealth. And he's, but he's forgotten what synths are called because they hadn't decided that yet. Oh, that's uh, amazing. And it was it was several it was like seven years before Fallout 4. They kind of changed their mind. So replicated man is completed. But what, what about like. Zimmer? And how about you let me don't kill him? Yes, I'm allowed to kill him, and I've been given a really good weapon that I don't actually want, so I can just sell it or whatever. Um, and yes, that's now you know the truth. And uh, 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 bye. Uh, also, I want I want guns from you Decided while we're passing out. by. FYI, and show me guns that are for sale. La 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 la. Sell all the things. Sell all the things. Sell all the things. Sell all the things. But not the flame of fuel. I like the flame of fuel. Speaking of which, can I have flame of fuel? He's selling uh, missiles. Mini nukes are so expensive, and he doesn't sell flame of fuel. Boo! Honest, no one sells flame of fuel. Uh, is any of this in any way good? He's slowly leveling up the stuff. He's kind of got present, but it's honestly, nah, it's not remarkable. Uh, no, don't cancel transaction, just give me some give money. Me shot just in need. case. Are you a good repairman, by the way? You are not much of a good repairman, to be honest. Uh, 133 to improve the missile launcher. I'll let you repair the knife, that's it. Nothing else matters. In which case, I just need to nip down to the science lab. Uh, claim the perk of Zimmer, Wide Reflexes, which is a really good perk. Then we just murder him. And then I get the rewards from both sides of the quest. By far the optimal solution. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Scrolling back up to the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, shout out to Jackson, uh, your best healer in a pelthering radius, who gave us a 25 Polish Zloty. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. I thought for a moment you would actually give the controls to Claire. That would be a show. Uh, you will fi feel the things we feel watching. I'm not sure that's true because I'm really bad at games and I've never played this game. Uh, so <laughs> Zimmer. Zimmer's supposed to be here. Why the flip is Zimmer? I don't know. This is uh, where he lives. Zimmer. Well, there's, there's Armitage. Who's Zimmer's bodyguard? Okay, follow Armitage. Armitage, well, there he is. I guess he'd like gone for lunch or something. Right, Hurry Zimmer. The sooner you find my yes, I have found your property. It is Harkness. And now I would and like, yes, combat pain. module. Uh, wide reflexes. So high chance hitting vats. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. One of the best perks of the game as far as I'm concerned. And no, now all we do is we just need to uh, take this guy out before there's any trouble. So ah! dead and Armitage is already in trouble. Ah! Dead. There we go. The flame is really kicking some serious ass. And yes, they were both robots themselves. Uh, yeah, and uh, shout out to Coach Lunas Cello of S Cargo. Uh, who gave us five dollars and says I'm reminded uh, of my first run in Fallout 3 where I carried around a hundred pounds of booze to boost carrying weight and beat everything to death with a sledgehammer. <laughs> amazing. Happy days. Uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Jordan, good laugh. Excellent laugh there. Thank you. Jordan gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday John. Here's some money for paying my first and favorite Fallout. Uh, here's somebody for playing my first and favorite Fallout, and for the no drop run, which we kind of dropped the no drop thing unless yes. you've been doing it. Well, I've not actually dropped anything. It's just it hasn't really been so much of a problem with this much carry weight. Uh, for sure, because I'm so strong. Uh, let's see. Joe gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, John. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I've definitely read that one before. Because uh, you've said about the game that he wanted to know about. Yes. Con Man gave us twenty-five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I hope you've. Uh, I hope that you have continued health to keep us all entertained. I just finished your Fallout 4 survival mode run, and all I have uh, to ask is, where is Fallout 4 YOLO? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I it's with the rest of my YOYO collection. To be honest, I kind of keep them on a special shelf." Uh, in little cabinets so the dust doesn't get to them because it really kind of, mm -hmm. it gunks up the inside and they're very hard to clean mm -hmm. uh, without specialist equipment, which I do have, but you know, it's expensive to buy more so I don't want to be doing it all the time. Um, so I just keep them inside the airtight yo-yo container uh, with the others. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Andrew who gave us a uh, hundred Canadian dollars. Best dollars and a lot of them. Thank you so much, Andrew. Uh, says, I have to go soon, but I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Before I go, I look forward to watching the No Drop Run when I return. <laughs> now, dear, dear, uh, MB gave us uh, 25, I think that's Hungarian Corona. Corona? Uh -huh. Corona. Mm -hmm. uh, happy birthday, John. Which Total War game should I play after only playing Rome and Medieval 2? Also, will Tabby get a special Ooh. birthday cake? That's very tricky. Uh, because, like, the big one that was very transformative that changed a lot was Rome 2. Which was not well received when it came out, but has been much improved since then. Like, it's probably worth playing Rome 2, just because even though it's not my favourite by a long way, there's a lot in it that, like, is is very, like, reformed what Total War means. Arguably, Shogun 2 is still very accessible, but did it a lot better. So, maybe Shogun 2 is your best option. Shogun 2 is a relatively simple game, but it does do a good job introducing how stuff works these days. And after Shogun 2, you'd be well, you'd be in a perfectly decent position to move straight on to the new stuff. Uh, yeah. And the most recent uh, Total Wars without problem, I'd say. Yeah, and also, Tabby will not be getting a special birthday cake because Tabby is on very, very special uh, food and medicine. Yes. Because uh, she, she's got... Um, She's got some chronic uh, tummy issues, mm, and tips. so if she doesn't uh, have a very, if we don't follow the, I mean, she's gonna get fishy cubes, which are treats that she has. Special had, treats, That have yes. been approved by the vet that are just basically freeze-dried fish. Yeah. Uh, they smell real bad, but she loves them. She like, she really, she, she'll do anything for a fishy cube. Well. She loves them fishy cubes. Uh, let's see, uh, oof. Uh... Oh no, I'm sorry. I think I got a currency wrong. I'm very sorry. Oh, it wasn't a Hungarian thing. No, because Hungarian is right. Somebody pointed out in chat, Hungary has foreigns, and I know that. Okay, and so... It's H-U-F, not H-R-K. Time it? to see if I was right here, which is pop on the lab uniform, do some Mentats, and... Mm. Oh, it works! Good. I got my maths right. Okay, well, apparently, so the currency I got wrong was Croatian Kuna, and I'm very, very sorry, but it has H, R, and K, mm -hmm. and, like, that doesn't make you think Croatia. Uh-huh. Maybe it does in Croatian, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, how old is Tabby? Tabby's 15, I think, at this point. Yes. The thing is, we don't really know her birthday, because we adopted her when she was 10 already. And she was in a shelter, so uh, we don't again. actually know. I'm very sorry. I will be doing better about actually checking the currencies before saying them. Uh, I, 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 I had hubris. I thought I could remember, and I couldn't. No, so I'm very sorry for that. Uh, but there we go. Armit gave us $5 and says, Any hint towards these future Fallout videos that you alluded to in Sunday's video? Happy birthday, mate. Uh, so glad that you retain your original formula. I'm not gonna go into the all the detail. Mm -hmm. oh, for fudge sake. I don't wanna I don't wanna lock it, so I'm just gonna take the risk here. And at some point it will get to the stage where I should have just uh, got it by chance. Bloody hacking mini game. Uh, oh dear, right, could end in ing. Five all that's... Ah, thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, H, uh, the HR in HRK sends, stands for uh, Hvast. Uh, it's HR, so it's her. Uh, Hrvatska. Mm -hmm. uh, Hrvatska Kuna, which obviously stands for Croatian in Croatia. Mm -hmm. Croatia in Croatian, sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. By now I should have got it by. There we go. By now I should have got it by Chad's. Dear uh, idea. And uh, can we? Uh, we've had a few people asking. We are going to have a uh, Last of Us two. That's going to be tomorrow. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought it was tonight. No, no. I, I moved to it to tomorrow. I moved it to tomorrow. Uh, just because of the. It, I knew this would go on so late. So that's going to be moved to tomorrow. Well, sorry to all the people I said I was coming tonight earlier. No, Claire was Claire Claire was wrong. It probably should Whoops. have checked. 
Before she said that out loud, tut tut. Yeah, but you were doing other stuff. Oh my god. Okay, I might. Uh, okay, with big guns of a hundred, I pr probably. I'm gonna take a little bit of medicine just to heal a bit more effectively, and then I'm gonna start. Uh, then I'm gonna start moving. I'm gonna start moving speech up towards a potential speech resolution. Now, level 10, and there's some good shit at level 10, isn't there? Ah, now we're getting into the good shit right here. In particular, finesse. I can't not take finesse. So, yeah, equivalent to an extra five points of luck. Massive increase in critical hits. Uh, really good. Don't need any of the rest of it right now. Is and, of course, now we are... Is this relevant to the mission? Yes, we... You're a Brotherhood person, and we are literally storming a flipping super mutant base. Yes, it's relevant to the mission, you daft. Okay, everything's under control. Uh, right, this thing is fine. We've got some extra stuff here. Tragic backstory inside this computer. This is actually a really fun story, by the way. Um, which is, uh, the Vault had someone who was really struggling with the loss of their children. Um, so he locked himself away down in the bottom of the Vault. Because uh, he wanted to just be away from people. He wanted to be alone. But the bottom of the vault uh, borders Little Lamplight, which was a settlement oh, of trapped no. children. So he kept That's hearing awful. children begging for help. And he thought so he was going bad. and he thought he was going oh, mad. No, but it was literally real children outside begging oh, for help. No. And he took his own life. Oh my it's God. a really dark story. It's yes, a lovely, yes. really dark story. I, mm, you said lovely? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, yes. It's all put together. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's just... Oh my goodness. It is dark as shit, yes. yes. Like the best Fallout stories, it's all dark as shit. Nikola Tesla and you, I'll take a free Nikola Tesla and you. There we go. Right, and yeah, she's going to be very useful in just tanking for me. And if she dies, she dies, I kind of don't care. Uh, that's right. what she's... she's. I think she's a robot? Like, I pay, I pay so little attention to flipping... Uh, the, I think she's, she's like a synth or something? I swear she's a robot. I might have just made that up. I don't know. But I think she might be a robot. Lots of dead people anyway from when the, uh, the super mutants stormed the uh, stormed the vault. I think this here is... That's back to... That goes back to Murder Pass, I believe. I think we're... Oh! Hi, guys. Sorry. I, my, my mistake. Chop. 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 Oh, my God. John took a perk without letting me make a choice. Yeah, no one, no one gets to stop me taking finesse. Screw you. What was that? What does it do? Bonus crit chance. Uh -huh. Bonus crit chance is really good. I'm trying to remember which way is the actual exit at this point. Am I going to? Oh fuck me! That that was the. Okay. Uh, so this is this is fine. Uh, this is a okay. Uh, would you mind just drawing some attention, please? Just, just get some out in the way. We're getting into brutes and nothing but the brutes now. Okay. So this was this was the right. Okay. Uh, this is fine. And now over to more brutes, 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 super mutants, brutes, brutes. She's probably about to die straight away. Uh, but she's got me into the vault, so that's fine. And no, she's doing all right. She's doing all right. Okay, that was. I didn't think we were going to run into this fast, but we did. So that's fine. Now I just need to. Gather up all my detergent and glass pitchers and and other anomalous items, so that I can reload the the cannon, which is working very well so far. Everything's under control, aside from the fact that there's a very real possibility I'll probably I'm going to increase the chance I'm going to crash the game by increasing the number of items in a given area at any moment. That's that's probably a thing I'm going to do. Now, sort of put the lights on so I can actually see what we're bloody doing. Claire. Uh, we've just got an amazing piece of fan art from Amanda. Oh, uh, amazing. That she says, uh, uh, happy birthday to John. The cake is the same vegan cake I'm having for my birthday. In my case, it's because my brother was present and it's vegan. In John's case, it's because it'd be cannibalism otherwise. <laughs> Look. Oh my goodness. It's a nuke and some kind of giant gun that or I'm giving you for your birthday. Could be a leg. Could be a leg. Could be a leg that I'm going to load into my cannon. Or a leg that you could use to be uh, an egg box that's taller. That's but possible too. But you have too. a party hat, look. You have a party hat. I do have hat. a little party hat. Mm -hmm. That's super cute. Thank you so much, Amanda. We'll that looks amazing. We'll retweet that later. Yes, indeed. I can retweet it now if you want. Yeah, sure. Could retweet that just to remind people there's still 
Strange caution. Great. My stealth is appalling. Lights off. Uh, I don't think they're around here. I'm just going to be permanently in. Actually, there might just be rad roaches around here. Then again, I probably would have seen. I think it is actually. I think it's just rad roach around here, isn't it? It's just rad roach over here. No, it's not. Okay, Star Paladin Cross, how are you, by the way? Yeah, she just, she goes back up to full health. She's pretty tanky, and she's got the armor, so she's got good DR. Whether it's enough is another question. Go, go. And yeah, you're gonna, when you say flank them, I'm gonna be, oh, Garden Gnome, go! Go, Garden Gnome! And, oh, kill by did you see that sick filth? Nope. Absolutely destroyed by a teddy bear. That <laughs> teddy bear just split that super mutant apart. Nice. Got to put put the teddy bear back inside. Got to get the teddy bear back inside. Got to move the move the body. Everything's got to be ready to ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. This is working pretty well so far. Vault eighty seven is probably the trickiest bit we're gonna have. Uh, of the this is gonna be the trickiest bit. So because the end of the game isn't actually that hard. Oh, go straight for the headshots. Yes. Yeah, it's nothing but brutes, but... Oh shit, I'm still wearing the lab coat! Holy shit, Claire, I'm not wearing armor! Nice. It barely... Well done, it doesn't matter so much, uh, actually, uh, because it barely even makes a difference. Oh, there we go. Murdered. Okay, we got this. That's... Sledgehammer just in the wall. Sledgehammer in the wall. There's the teddy bear again. The teddy bear is... It's doing the job. It's my lucky bear. Teddy bear's doing spectacularly well. Just keep it loaded. Keep it flipping loaded. Clap! All yours while we just uh, gun down some fools. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to uh, new channel members. Uh, Christy, Happy Hope, Mark Miller, Bailey Greenwood, uh, Ian Kruger, and Faru. Thank you so, so much, uh, all of you. And uh, for all channel members, uh, new or old, uh, if you uh, look at the... Um, if you look at the community tab on the channel, uh, around the end of the month, every month, you will be able to submit questions for the uh, podcast that we do for our patrons and channel members every month. You'll be able to submit questions and you'll be able to hear the uh, patron cast. Yes. Uh, whenever we put it out, we make sure to give it also to the YouTube channel members, yes. as well as the uh, patrons on Patreon. Which was so, a change we made a few week, uh, a few months well, ago, it and it felt like, fair. Available, but yes. then you had to go through the Discord. We, and stuff, we and made this sure, yeah, it would people knew about it, but it, it's much now. It's now it's all done properly, and of course now. Um, Channel members get to contribute, they get to ask questions. Yes, indeed. Which is and much better. So, uh, yeah, so you can all, uh, you can check that out. Yes. Uh, and the patron cast is, uh, you know, uh, very long. Very, because Claire knows because she edits that. It's three hours long, generally. Mutilated torsos! Uh, and yeah, you can ask John questions, you can ask me questions. Uh, when after I'm done editing, uh, I often uh, say a few answers of my own. Yes. Uh, so there's that. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And it's, it's what, I mean... Um, the structure of our Patreon, a few people have mentioned uh, they really like, is just basically everybody gets the same thing. You choose how much you want to donate, but everybody gets the same thing. Communism! Uh, so there you go. If you, you know, because like one dollar a month for us is like, you have no idea how much more money that is for us than the like ads. how much ads. Yeah, yes. exactly. What's an uh, ad? Yeah, so. Anyway. shit. Grab all the shit, grab all of the shit. Mm -hmm. There we go, everything's car, surgical equipment, bottles, yes, everyone loves bottles. And that's the lovely other than really nice thing about the um the rocket launcher. It's kind of, you know, just a good it's just provides you with an opportunity to just basically pick up everything. Cause in fall because I I feel like I'm playing this very Fallout Fally. Fallout Fally? Wow. Fallout Fallout Fally. esque. Fallout Fally. Uh, where like, you know, right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm picking up everything. And you do that in Fallout 4, but you don't generally do it in Fallout 3, because most stuff is completely pointless. And... Go! Oh! Critical strike with a teddy bear, I think! Right, now you just go ahead and draw some attention. And actually just stand up, stand up, get in his face. Get in his face! Yeah, that's right, mess him up! Mess him up, Star Paladin Cross! 
And I think you shouldn't have won run through that door. I feel like you've just drawn a lot of attention. Yeah, mess him up! Mess up Super Mutants! Yeah, that's right. Sound the old clear. I feel like this... I feel like they're gonna know we're here, Star. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's gonna be more of them, yeah. I feel like there's there's more... In fact, I swear there's more in this room. Star, do you want to get in this room? Star, get ready to go. Go. I was misremembering. I could have sworn there was stuff in this room. Le leather armor. Wasteland's... Wasteland Legend Outfit. I'd forgotten that was even a thing that existed. Uh, that's a very hard lock. Yeah, that lets you bypass the whole uh, area. Or at least uh, with a bit of stealth you can. Uh, also, I need to keep... Keep picking up my money! Blasting uh, blasting money at him. You just kind of fire money at people. It's very violent and aggressive. Strip clubs are, are strict. Oh! Hi over there. Super me bird. Take a couple of hits. And that was crit. The head... Uh, and that was a miss. And I need you to just go and draw the attention. And once you're drawing the attention... Boop, and there's no... Oh, there's another one over there, isn't there? Oh, yeah, there's another one over there. Uh, right, provide supporting fire, bottles, everything. Go! Go! St don't stand in the way! Right, there's one that's dead. And now I can just go for you. Teddy bear! That was the teddy bear right there. That was the lucky one. I'm a bit worried. She's wounded! Oh, Star! Star! Stay out of it for a second, Star! You okay, Star? Yeah, she's fine. She's got her health back as soon as the combat ends. Then the game crashed! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, we'll have to do that How many fight. times is that now? Nine or so. It's, I think Fallout 3 really hates being recorded. It's shy. That's the thing. It's Fallout 3 is shy. Yes, that's what it is. That's what we're going to say. Then said it's Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is shyer than you think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. Fuck's sake, Fallout 3. Oh, we have to do that whole section again. Alright, well, while we're just literally doing that, clap. All yours. Uh, yes, absolutely, was I. Uh, shout out to Robert, who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm so glad I decided to look you up when my friend mentioned the channel four years ago. I got hooked on Rome Total War and I've been here ever since. I love it when you, when recommendations are, are a thing. Yes. I remember back in, it must have been 2005. Uh -huh. In 2005, a friend of mine recommended this, this thing they'd seen called Zero Punctuation. Which at that time was much smaller, uh, and that's really cool. That that's that's how I originally discovered zero punctuation, we, and we all watched it together. We all watched it together in uh, oh, was Matt's that room. You? Yeah, that was uh, not not Matt now, and I didn't know our Matt back then. This was a different Matt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, we just need to get in over here and provide it with a sporting fire, and then just keep saving. Yeah, shout out to Greens Leaves uh, Gaming who gave us five dollars and says, "Hey John and Claire, first time joining a stream. I hope John has an amazing uh, uh, and happy birthday. Love the content and keep it up. Uh, thank you so much. And I hope that uh, you will be back for a live stream where uh, it doesn't take four hours for things to be read. Live in uh, hope. Let's Live in see. hope. Uh, dear, oh dear." Uh, Sean gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I found you via Fallout 3 is better than you think, and I've been here since. I found out about Paradox Games through you, too. I, I, was a, I was a latecomer to Paradox mm. Games. I was I was pretty late to that party. I mean, oh, there's flipping more of them. Oh, that one's just a basic suit me, and that's fine. Let's see. Uh, shout out to Hans, who gave us 50 euros. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Hans, uh, who says, Happy birthday, John. I played Fallout 3 once with explosives and heavy weapons, specialized characters. Uh, that was fun, just blowing things up. I, I admit, I'm having, I'm having a fun time with this basically rocket launcher run. This is just, uh, this is just yeah. the rocket run. That's all it is. It's just nothing but uh, rocket. This is, it's like, it's, it's like a Power Rangers in Space, the video game. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's an obscure reference for ya. Oh my god. Okay. Dear oh dear. Shout out to. Damn, Power uh, Rangers was good. Shout out to Polly who gave us ten dollars. Set control for outer space. Now flying higher than ever before. Rangers in space. Thirteen pages. Thirteen pages. I'm not. A, Claire's banned me from singing. This is what my life is like. 
Shout out to Polly who I, I I can I ban you from singing whilst I've already started reading a sodding super chat. That's that seems reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Like I had done when yeah. you started singing that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Polly who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John. I'm happy to finally make it to a stream. I've been watching since New Vegas kill everything. Oh, happy days. Uh, very good, very good. And then we have um mm -mm -mm. James gave us five dollars and says this is significantly less evil than I was expecting from an evil Claire run. Uh, I'm not very good at being evil. Uh, happy birthday, John. This won't hurt a bit. It'll hurt a lot. <gasps> Guess what we just got though? Mutilated skulls. Oh, to fire from the thing. Yeah, yes, we can now. We can now. But we've got four mutilated skulls on the go, so we can now mm -hmm. start blasting super mutants with skulls. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Training Ben uh, gave us uh, five uh, pounds and says, I donated last Thursday stream, so it's tradition to do so again this year. Thank you for seven years of entertainment. And here's to many more birthday streams. Oh, thank ah, you very, very much indeed. Uh, Dragomir gave us... Uh, ooh, no, I completely forgot what that currency is. Let's, let's oh. uh, live Google, yes, Serbian dinars. Uh, I knew that I'd seen it before because I keep re I always remember Dragomir's name because I think Dragomir is a really cool name. It's, it is. That's a pretty cool name indeed. Uh, a little bit concerned oh by my the volume of people, so I'm just going to psycho up. Yeah. I need you to know that at this point in the evening, Dragomir Super Chat says, Happy birthday, mate. Here, are moda Here is a modest 250 Serbian dinars. Claire, you don't need to Google it. That was right below the thing that I saw and thought, I need to Google it. Makes sense to so me. We're doing great. We're doing amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dragomir. That was very thoughtful of you. Uh, and unfortunately, I uh, my brain is fried, so I didn't notice Poor Claire. it. Claire. Uh, Pray for Claire. Uh huh. Uh, here's a modest uh, 250 Serbian dinars to buy a horse or a kingdom. All the best. I, I have I have so particular much. fondness for the. Uh, the Serbian currency after the Crusader Kings rum. Yes, of course. Well, I always well, the thing is, whenever I'm doing like a particular nation, I always kind of read into it a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always learn a lot about the history, like I didn't know before, which is really cool. Uh, so I enjoy I enjoy that sort of thing. So I always come away thinking, oh, this is really cool. That's a really that's a thing I didn't know before, but it's really yes. interesting. Uh, and shout out to Brock, uh, Brock Laser, who gave us five pounds and says, Fallout 3, the kleptomaniac run. If you hover over it, you have to pick it up, even if it's stealing. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's an idea. Fun idea. I know whether uh, there's enough there to sustain an entire run, but it's cute. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out also to uh, uh, Ryan who gave us 50 Australian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday for Crusader Kings 3. I was thinking that maybe you could start south of Egypt, near the Horn of Africa. There are some small Christian nations surrounded by Islamic and pagan nations that seem fun, uh, and it seems near enough to India. Yeah, the kind of um, potentially like, uh, Coptic Christianity might be interesting, but like, I need to I need to sit down with it because like there's this new system where like um, I've seen this in the Dev Diaries where like all the the religions are built up of like loads of different doctrines and tenets or whatever, and I don't know what like ninety nine percent of them are because they haven't yeah, shared screenshots. So the thing is like when they do reveal that, it, like like some religions might be super interesting and have like weird shit that makes the, them really distinctive, and some might be really boring. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to sleep for an hour because that's free healing uh, and some of them might be super boring so uh, we'll have to we'll just have to see which is like what seems like the most interesting thing uh, when it comes along so I really can't like talk about it but like the thing I probably won't do is I will not be like going anywhere near like say Cornwall or yeah. uh, like Serbia because I want to deliberately do something different and Go! Go! Yeah, that's right! Super Mutant Brute, you got yourself flipping shanked right there with a teddy bear. And then go, go, and then just keep going, and then stay out of the way. Do not get yourself shot. You need to... Wow, she's picked up a magnum from somewhere. Actually, you know what? If they're, if they're standing right here, if they're standing right here, I kind of notice I do have some grenades. Uh, so, uh, grenade. Go! Have a grenade. Grenade. More grenades. <clears throat> okay, right. so uh, shout out also to Savvy Survivor, who gave us five euros. Uh, and they messaged me in chat earlier asking for their super chat to be run. I couldn't find it. I'm very, very sorry. That's because uh, 
I had a problem copying uh, the username uh, and I had to go and dig like quite deep into the background of the channel to find it now uh, because because uh, it YouTube uh, YouTube was not expecting you all to be as generous as you've been today and it's a bit YouTube uh, slightly hard freaking to, out to, yeah well YouTube you know like currently the the place where I normally uh, can have all of the comments from an entire stream uh, stored up it like now it starts at like, you know, 9 p.m. comments and everything before that. It doesn't show me. I have to go look for it elsewhere. Anyway. Ah, bugged out in the corner. Uh, they say, happy birthday, John. I've been watching you for three plus years. Your Fallout and Skyrim videos are the best. I'm still waiting for the Fallout for YOLO and greetings from Holland. Uh, yes, indeed. So, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Do you ever accidentally add commentary when playing games for fun, says AI? I had commentary during the during my whole life. This is like being a YouTuber, you kind of just develop a... Uh, you just develop the habit of, like, thinking or commentating everything, as Claire will uh, report is very annoying. Well, and sometimes I have to tell him that he's using the voice. I'm know? using the YouTube voice. Yeah. Also, like, I so going. I have to bite my tongue at the theatre because genuinely, like when we were when we went to watch Les Mis that time, I I, I I had to bite my tongue to stop loudly commenting about it out loud during the show. Wow. It's like wow. Well, okay, don't do that. Special hell. So that was uh, that's that that was a thing that almost happened. I'd say no. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to shout sarcastic commentary during a stage play. That's not a thing. You have a special dispensation to do because you're a YouTuber. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Indiana Matt who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John. Much love to you all. I'm at work, so I'll have to watch later. I hope it all goes well. Flared gave us five uh, pounds and says, I believe I missed the reading out of my previous message because uh, I'm looking after my brand new puppy, Bodhi. I will send a photo to Discord. Amazing. Uh, I'm very jealous that you have a brand new puppy. That sounds awesome. Hopefully, if we can move to a place that's a garden next year, we can have a puppy at last. We really and I will never stop putting photos of him on the channel or Twitter or whatever. Uh... Herbie in chat says, I think you said, Claire, that you came up with the idea of a YouTube channel because John would narrate his game while you were reading. Um, not really, not really that, but um, it's more like John was making videos and editing them and having fun doing it. And I could see that he was having fun doing it. And then I found the like bit of... I found a bit of YouTube that uh, that does book discussions, you know, and uh, at that time between finding booktube and wanting to have opinions and like, you know, seeing John having fun with videos, that's what I wanted to, that's, that's why I thought, you know, um, that's why I thought, you know, it would, um, it would be a fun thing to do. Uh, YouTube voice, what is the real voice James wants to know? It is, it's just that the YouTube voice is super loud. Yeah. Well, we it's it's no, it's not just that. It's projection. It's a, yeah. it's effectively a stage voice, and a stage voice doesn't mean like a fake voice. It means you project so that you sound uh, like like you know. I, uh, so you know, like when I, when I'm making a video, it'll be like, "Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Betty a true and welcome to." But I wouldn't talk like that in real life. Uh, like if I was just talking to Claire, like you know, if I was just saying you know, we're yeah, having dinner or whatever, it might say you know, do you want to have this? Do you want to have that? It'd be more like this. Now in live streams, it's I'm much closer to my actual voice because like when you settle yeah. in, you settle. Closer, not my edge voice, but closer to it. No, I said yes. I, I it sounded said incredibly yes. sarcastic. No. That sounded so. That was like a real yeah. Uh. That was that was probably your cameo in Mean Girls voice right there. Oh please, come on. Um. Uh, but yeah, it's it like and like you know mm. in in the streams it would be much closer to my my day to day voice. Whereas in the videos it's kind of it, it's there's a lot more aggressive projection going on. Uh, because I like the video stuff really high energy. Whereas the live streams are a bit more chill because they're like us just chilling out together and being. No, uh, but it's not just that. It's also that when you're doing the videos, you are pausing in between. You know, when there's nothing happening, you're not commentating. Yes. And so when you have to start. You want to start being energetic. You don't want to. Yeah, start exactly. You want to. You want to make level. sure it's all in the same. Uh, you want to make sure it's all kind of. It, it feels like it starts high energy. Mm. Just grab that before I need that. Can you handle that, by the way? Uh, let's see. Good work, um, Star. 
Yes, a couple of people in chat asking again. Uh, Last of Us 2 will be out tomorrow, tomorrow. night. It's been delayed till uh, tomorrow because we've got the birthday today. I kind of thought like, you know, an hour, hour and a half long video after this might be a bit excessive. Yeah. You know. Not Claire though. Claire was, Claire was ready for that to go straight out after this. Well, no, I expected that you would do that because that's what you normally do after a stream even when we go long. So. No, not on, not on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is just a, Wednesdays just a live stream yeah, day. Yeah, but kind of... I just expected that you wouldn't want to break the format. And yeah. have, anyway, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, I should have looked at the uh, calendar. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, Shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Max who gave us five Canadian dollars and says Fallout Three: The Reduce, Reuse, Recycle Run featuring the <laughs> Laun launcher. Very good, mm -hmm. very good indeed. Um, Joshua gave us five euros and says, "Ah oh, yes, the infamous second microphone uh, that's right above the NAS and UPS on the list, right? Yeah, right? exactly, precisely." Well, what we figured out is we can probably do it if we get, like right now, I'm talking to you from a tiny like folding table that we use also to eat our dinner on in front of the telly. Yeah. And I have my laptop and I'm just close enough to John's microphone that it gets picked up. Uh, but what we were thinking, if we want to have both microphones and not have echo, we need to set up like properly um properly sound we need to properly like treat the room yeah so we need to have a uh, microphone arm so that the mic can be close, closer to our faces and so i need to have a more stable table than this one which is very wobbly because it was literally like 10 quid or something yeah exactly uh, yeah so we've like looked into it and it would be like you know an investment but not like a major i think maybe with like 100 pounds we could get everything that we needed in terms of microphone arms and a new table for me to sit yeah. at um but it's just then a question of setting everything up and making sure that it's tested and everything and that it works and then i'll have to sit further away from john so i don't get picked up on his mic so then we need to like figure out how i'm gonna see what's going on in the stream so it's just a bit uh you know uh yes indeed uh okay folks if you need your super chat to be read because you need to go or you need to go to sleep you can let me know and you can at reply me in chat uh so that i can see it a little bit better um there's no need to shout i will definitely do it uh shout out <laughs> to uh shout out to lauren who gave us five uh pounds and says, uh, you know, John, my late nan used to give me a pound for each uh, year, uh, glued to a card for my birthday. Uh, so here is a pound for all the years that I've watched you. Happy birthday, John. Oh, that's a cute tradition. That's very sweet. Uh, dear, oh dear. So, I'm yeah. running out of trash to fire out of my trash cannon. If anyone needs to leave because it's getting late in the UK, uh, please do at reply me in chat at Claire Russo. Uh, that just makes it bright. That just makes it bright orange for me. It's much easier for me to see your message. And if you let me know, I'm super happy to bump it up and read it straight away, so you can hear it before you go to bed. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple of people mentioning uh, mentioning things about uh, two microphones in the same room should be fine. We tested it and it wasn't fine. Yeah, like, we had when we got the first, when we got the micro the second microphone the first time we tested it, there was a lot of echo. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you uh, have donated to Super Chat and your Super Chat hasn't been read, don't worry, it will be. I've got a huge list of them. Uh, I've got a huge list of them uh, right now, so uh, it will be read. You just have to wait. If you have to leave, you can let me know. Uh, shout out to Papa Roach, who gave us two pounds, and says, Happy birthday, John, you're a legend! Uh, oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yes, that's very sweet. I really uh, hope this room is room five. Otherwise, I just un I opened the wrong door. Uh, let's see. His room is room... I really hope I just opened the right door because yeah, I just blew the. Also, do not forget to put your armor back on, John. Put the armor back on. Did I just blow the right? Yes, I did. Fine. I mean, now I have a fox and a star paladin, uh, which should be a okay. So yes, now I've got now I've got two people who both have super sledges, 
Uh, very frustratingly, and... Forks, why are you going that way? Forks, that's the wrong... That's the wrong way, Forks. Forks, this is... You're supposed to be going the other way. This... No, Forks, that's not... I want you to get me the Gek, because you literally said that was what you'd do if I rescued you. But now you're insisting you... Okay, fine. You know what, you dicks? I'll blow the fire escape if it'll get you... The fire alarm if it'll make you actually behave. Luckily, I've got loads of stem packs right now, so we're okay. Fine. Fire alarm. The fire alarm can't be disabled. And now you're planning to... you planning to... Well, I can't... Now I can't get them out! Hard. Hard locked and... Yeah, but you, you can't... Fox! This is this is the way you're not supposed to be. Okay, fine. I'll blow. I'm gonna blow all the doors. Oh dear. One, three, one. There we go. Because apparently they're not gonna. They're not. They're gonna refuse to do anything until the enemies have been removed. So I guess we just do that now. And then there's. Who said? And why are you angry with us all? Is to get out of my way. I, I'll flamethrower them all. Ah! Ah! There we go. Now we just set them all on fire. Fox has so much health, he's basically functionally immortal. So we don't really need to worry about him. Also, I'm really jealous of the fact that everyone's got a, a, a super sledge but me. I don't. Everyone else does, but not me. Boo. Boo, I say. Alright. Claire. Now, basically, we should just be following forks through things. So this should be no problem whatsoever. All yours. Uh, yeah, shout out to Offset, uh, shout out to Offset Gator Scoundrel, who gave us, uh, five pounds, and says, Happy one year older day, one year older day, John. I'm finally able to be a patron again after a bad year with my mental health feeling loads better now, thanks to you. Oh, good for you. Oh, that's amazing to hear. Uh, and they also gave another uh, super chat, uh, two pounds, it said, ex exit pursued by a teddy bear. Uh, so thank you so, so much, and uh, good luck with opening your shop in six hours. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yes, and again, if you do have to leave, please let me know. Uh, please let me know. Uh, and I'm very, very happy to bump up your super chat and read it immediately. Uh, let's see. We're all just part of the Sledgehammer Club now. From now on, it's nothing but Sledgehammers for the rest of the whole area. I'm very happy with that. I love Sledgehammers. 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 I'm going to flank with a Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer flank! Sledgehammer. 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 There we go. Screw you all. Oh, yeah. Now they're trying to run. Now they're trying to run, but no. They can't run. It's too late. Now it's time for the sledgehammer team. The sledgehammers have arrived, you dick. Boom. Nice. We're all just hitting everyone with sledgehammers. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. So now, now, now we're just walking through Vault 87, just bashing everything with a big hammer. We're literally three people who are all ridiculously strong. Star because she's a robot in power armor. Fox because he's a super mutant. Me because... I'm Claire, uh, and we're just gonna start battering the shit out of people with a hammer. I'm sure you approve. Yay! I do approve. Oh, uh, carry on <laughs> while I batter people then. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Kelly who oh, gave so us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Enjoy five NCR, NCR dollars. Will you ever play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline?" Yes, I was gonna try and squeeze in this year, but I wasn't sure how the hell it was gonna happen. So I'm really relieved it's been, you know, delayed to next year. Uh, which it has been, uh, so which means we, uh, the plan right now is to do it in like early 2021. We'll do it in like early 2021. Yeah, and so then we can do, uh, yeah, so we're doing Vampire the Masquerade and then Bloodlines Yeah, after that. and then we'll run straight yeah. into the new one. In the same way that we did the original Last of Us, like we didn't get that one timed quite right because uh, its predecessor, it's Crusader Kings 2, lasted longer than I was expecting it to last. Because it was too awesome. It was too, Aphrodisia was too incredible, basically. Aphrodisia just kicked too much ass. Uh, uh, yes, so... Yeah, you, you... And then... No, I'm... Carry on, carry on, please. Okay, good, because I was, I just meant to... Mm. Okay, uh, shout out to, uh, Alana, who gave us five pounds and says, It's been so long. Happy 2021. How are you both and how is Taffy? 
very funny, Alana. No, yeah, you wait till you see 2021. That's that's where Brexit hits the UK. Okay, that's not... 2021 is not going to be better. Please don't talk about that. Okay. Uh, please don't talk about that. Okay, so... um. Yes, and thank you so much, Ilana, for uh, coming back uh, to mod last minute. Ilana was previously a stream mod uh, and stepped down like a while back, but came back today because it was quite busy. So thank you so Yay. much, Ilana, for that. Uh, the whole gang's here. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Spicy Doritos, who gave us one Canadian dollars, uh, dollar even, and to the Duke, who uh, gave us um, uh, one and a half Canadian dollar and a little uh, little sticker of a peach. So there you go. Uh, a little butt sticker. Uh, Excellent. I do like the peach butt sticker. Joshua gave us two euros and says, this reminds me of the never-ending stream, TM. Uh, Hendrix. <laughs> Give what us $10 and says, push the super chat further, shower John and Claire with monies, hot your faces. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Um, Reutelin uh, gave us two pounds and says, okay. uh, have a can of tuna on me, John. I had one for lunch. I like tuna, but I don't have it that often. Uh, yes, I was saying this to you just the them. other day. Yes, we should... Uh, well, I got uh, I got one of those like um, you know um, I got like a packet of sauce, you know, like a packet of powder that you like do with milk, and you can do a sauce for you know a pie or something like that. Yeah. For tuna pasta bake, which is uh, gonna be delish when we do it. Yeah, I look for tuna pasta bake sounds really nice. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, That's gonna be a nice change. We don't have fish that often, aside uh, from yeah. fish and chips. Yes. We have the odd, like, white fish with fish and chips, but we don't generally have that uh, much in the way of tuna. Uh, yeah, and Custard Cream 21 gave us five pounds and says, a small birthday gift for you that I had saved for my birth, for my holiday to Japan, but as it's been delayed, I can't think of a better way to spend it. Happy birthday. Somebody's got a horribly wrong with Fox's mouth animation, by the way, which yeah. is kind of horrifying. It's, it's pretty, pretty terrifying, his... He's, gaping blood-filled mouth because his lips haven't loaded okay uh well uh yes okay thank you so much custard cream i know how you feel i was gonna go to new zealand and then i couldn't go yeah uh, so uh, i sad. hope that your trip when you can do it uh i hope that your trip when you can do it is amazing yes uh yes indeed uh and at one point when everything's hopefully a bit more back to normal we will definitely do our own little trip at some point or another yeah not to john doesn't want to go to new zealand i don't want to go to new zealand but i'd be I mean, up probably, for going a little bit you less probably far would like want to see new zealand if you didn't have to do a 30 if hour teleporters flight. existed yeah, exactly. yeah give me give me them teleporters but i think we should go to iceland because remember that one time that i went with like jen and alistair and duncan and yeah. you were gonna go but then you couldn't because you had a new job I, yeah just i just started. changed jobs yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was really fun and like in Reykjavik like first of all the food was amazing and also um, I had the best fish and chips of my life in Reykjavik uh -huh. and um, and also there's that like really really nice giant spa thing like right outside Reykjavik yeah but when we went uh, with some friends a few when I went with some friends a few years ago um, I was way more broke than now, <laughs> so now I could probably afford some like nice spa treatment if they have them. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure the gecko is secure uh, anyway. aboard my vertebrae. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Ale who uh, gave us five dollars and says hi, John and Claire. It's been a while. I wanted to say happy birthday and to ask after Tabby. Uh, question to the community: What is the best way to sand a deck? We do not know the With best way to With a power sand. washer. I don't know if it is, but power washer no, is fun. No, John, mm -mm, that's not excuse. the same thing as sanding. Yes, it is. No. Basically, it is. Uh, anyway, it's not the same thing as sanding. So, Tabby you know, is doing good. Uh, we've, like, I don't know how you really long ago I you uh, heard about news about Tabby Ale, but uh, we basically like, fixed up her tummy problems by adapting her diet. Uh, and uh, giving her some uh, probiotics. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Tabby yeah. has cactimel on a daily basis. Yes, cactimel indeed. And in um, fact, Claire may need to take a brief break at some point to give poor little Tibby girl a bit of food. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, as long as we don't get up and move around, she's not going to realise that it's, that it's, late it's time for It's late, because she's food. sleeping. 
because yeah. she's sleeping right now, but we'll see. Uh, Ale also uh, gave us another $5 and says, I want Claire's run of New Vegas playing as stupid John. I also hope every everyone here in chat, their family and friends are safe and healthy. Oh, thank you so much. X, we live in we live in hope. Hopefully no one has been too badly affected by the old Rona. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, now the problem is I've forgotten what the... I've uh, forgotten the look, layout the chat is actually base. helpful about the sender, about the, the sending question, a power, washer, a power washer will destroy the wood. But it'll do it in a fun way. It'll be fun to do. Yeah, but like power wash some tile if you have it, because that looks very, very... Yeah. Or just wash some videos of people power washing shit, because that's just as satisfying and you don't have to do any work. So if you don't have any tile to power wash... Uh, you know, you can just watch videos of that. Mm, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Cut that knife. Put that over there. Game resets all your bloody things every time you, every time you uh, lose all your items. Now the thing is, I'm on the clock right now because in a moment he's going to call out, "Hey, this person should be allowed to walk straight through our base without any trouble whatsoever." And then there's a certain amount of time until autumn comes. says, no, counterman that last order. Do shoot the person on sight. So literally, I just need to run through the base. But I can't remember its layout. And I don't want to fight these guys. I want to get through as fast as possible. So I need to try to remember the um, the layout. Uh, level 11 perk, by the way. Though here and now is kind of garbage, I wouldn't mind here and now on this occasion. Just because that would let me get speech right up to like 90. So I could fairly reliably speech check uh, the Zach's computer, uh, the president, when we get to him. I don't need any of that nonsense. Uh, toughness wouldn't hurt. Toughness wouldn't hurt, you know. Toughness would be alright. There's, yeah, there's only one rank of that. Yeah, you know what, plus 10% is alright. So now, now basically we just get out the, uh, now we just rum. Now we just start running. We try not to get spotted by that person over there because that person's going to challenge me. And now I need to. There we go. The uh, the president is down. Now. So this person's tried to like this person's supposed to. Uh, this person's supposed to be coming to see me. So that's fine. So now I just need to basically make my way to the. Oh bloody hell! Uh, sector three, B. If you make your way to the lab, there's often up in the lab. See, so yeah, I'm not being shot right now. I'm not being shot. There we go. There's there's a lab. And no one's shooting me. Uh, now I just make my way uh, up the stairs and forward to the next air as fast as possible. So if I can steal some medical supplies en route, I will not say uh, no. Where is the door to the next sector, by the way? That's another stim pack, which I don't need. Is it in this bit or is it in the next? Attention. There we go. There we go. Colonel Autumn has now said, I'm uh, countermanding that last order, but I've made it through this first section already. Uh, so I'm, I'm up to level three. So now I've just got to make it through this section. And also I don't have, um, I don't have friends anymore. Don't have any of them. What did you do to them? Uh, well, I got, I got captured. Uh, so they're outside. So you're on your own for this section. I've got almost no flame ammo. Uh, so it's time to do drugs, basically. Of course. Uh, we're gonna do some buff out. We're gonna do... Uh, some Psycho. We're going to do some Medics. Uh, that's Radex. We're going to do uh, Medics, though. And that's going to melt you. You see, the Flamer is going to destroy them. Uh, the Ripper is actually quite good, because that ignores DR, and these guys are wearing power armor. But then the, the power armor of these guys is kind of garbage. Uh, I just need to... No! Melt. Oh, my God. That is destroying them. That is actually tearing them to shit. Uh, okay, uh, the problem is, uh, where, where, where's the, where's the last them? I see you over there. Okay, I need to get on top of these guys fast. Stop running away, you coward! Uh, no, seriously! Stop, stop it. Stop being a dick. Uh, but the flamer is absolutely trashing this guy. And kill before you run out of ammo! Didn't kill before you ran out of ammo. Uh, that's that's fine. I guess we'll, we'll take out power armor with a knife because that's that's where we are right now That's where we are stab. Oh, I'm not wearing armor. Claire. I forgot to put my armor on again I, f I forget Great. well done. I forget to that's a lot. I'm just running around naked in the space Not even wearing a, not even wearing a party a, hat exactly. Yeah, I was gonna say um, uh, 
Sorry, I was going to say a lab coat because that's what you were wearing before. No, nothing. Literally naked. Nice. Luckily, I, I took toughness, which gave me a bit of resistance. So now, okay, so now I'm just running around with... Now you are running around this base with a sledgehammer because uh, I'm kind of out of uh, everything. I mean, I've, I've got the rocket launcher, but it's not going to do that much. It's really not going to do that much at all. Uh, so yeah, now we need to go over in this direction. Now I'm in sector 2A. Is there is there anyone around this map? I don't know if there is. I need to find my way to the president. Uh, mess hall, hangar, control, tech lab, cryo, war room. I think the war room is where I want to go. Which would suggest I want to take the left along a long corridor here. And then immediately take... Uh, yeah, if I just take a left here. Past 2B, storage and quarters. I think Yes, I think if I go forward now, take a left, run along the long corridor, then take a right at the end, that should be the right, that should be the right hey, way to go. So just go straight through here. That's literally walk straight to a dead end. Uh, so that's, that's good. Uh, so that's straight back to where I just was. Uh, hi! Hi over there. Uh, They're wearing armor now. Okay. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, oh! Two shot destroy against power armor. Fudge me, big guns, a hundred's pretty strong. Uh, yeah, a shout out to uh, Zach who gave us five dollars and says I'm stuck at work detailing a messed up minivan, uh, but I saw you guys were live and it's John's birthday. Happy birthday, John! It is my birthday. Happy birthday, me! Yay! Uh, and uh, there we. go. Go. Let's see. Uh, training Ben in chat would like to know if you're finishing after take it back or also doing broken steel because broken steel will add a fair bit of time to this. Oh, I wasn't planning to do. Oh, I forgot about the guys who popped out this the store. I forgot uh, about these two. <laughs> Holy shit! A critical loss like destroys them. It just destroys them. But if I move to the right at this point, I should be able to bypass them. So if I can just get to the president. I think that's all I need. I don't need to take out all of these. I don't need his plasma weaponry. And there we go. And now, yeah, the robots are going to turn on these guys and melt them. And now I can go speak to the president, who I should be able to just speech to death, hopefully. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Let me scroll back all the way up because I was just adding uh, new ones to the bottom. Excellent, uh, let's excellent. Let's see, shout out to... Uh, Joshua, who uh, gave us uh, two euros and says, just start interrupting John all the time, Claire. Well, should it's my that. job. It's my job. Shout out to Terence, who gave us five dollars and says, happy birthday and best wishes for John. I have a quick question. Is it possible to be too frothy? Uh, in, yeah, I mean, it could be if you like, you guys should end up excessively fizzy if you like, you know, put it for too long in the soda stream, whatever one of them is. I've never been 100% sure what they are or what they're for. Uh, but that would make things excessively fizzy, yes. Uh, shout out to Joshua who gave us five euros and says, Hello, John, how was your birthday yesterday? Let us see if this works. Joshua, four minutes out, mate. Four minutes I out. I didn't want to cheat because it was time-based. Uh, yeah. But four minutes out, almost. Job that almost done. worked. Well, well done. done. Well done. Well done. Uh, Fiona gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Here's to many more. Uh, LP McCausland gave us £2 and says, Happy ah, birthday, me. John. Thanks for all that you both do. Jennifer... Uh, that must have been elsewhere. That must have been a failure of me copy pasting shit. Uh, Glutube gave us a 55 Norwegian quota and says happy birthday from Norway. Uh, Peter gave us two pounds and says vengeance for the mirror dimension super chat. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Uh, happy birthday, John from KS. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your birthday sweet roll. And they gave us five dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> dear dear shout out to intermission who gave us five pounds and says john if you keep telling us to drink with caution not danger we will all die of liver failure quite possibly oh my dear uh uninvited guests uh da, 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 da. no because i need to look up Damn. those currencies failed a 70 percent chance to succeed there so unfortunately the president is not exploded he has not taken himself i don't have the science for it i failed the speech check uh which is unfortunate 
Meaning, yes, the base is not going to explode, which is going to make my life a little bit trickier on the way out, because explosions will not be uh, helping. Now, uh, this guy will be taking out the, um, the automatic defences will still help, but I think there's a couple of explosions that otherwise would be quite useful. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, look at that. This is uh, trickier than it was otherwise. Take you out. Down you go. Drugs wearing off. And yeah, I just need to, uh, just need to help out. There's still actually, in all fairness, some of the, um, the defences are basically interchangeable with, uh, interchangeable with uh, self-destruct. So possibly it's going to look exactly the same. I can't remember actually if I've ever even walked through this space without it self-destructing. Because it looks kind of similar. Uh, well, they haven't been. Yes, because there's still sentry bots. There's just less explosions. And you guys are being absolutely shredded. Clap! Yeah, a shout out to uninvited guests who gave us five uh, Singaporean dollars and says these are great streams to fall asleep to until John starts screaming that things to F off. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Kaji gave us uh, 10,000 Colombian pesos. Uh, and says, if you uh, can read this, you uh, scrubbed too hard, signed Grant Wood. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Peter Whiteson gave us two pounds and says, Happy birthday, Hat. Uh, also, time Happy check. Happy birthday, Hat. Time check, it is currently uh, 8 uh, 39 pm. Well, you're making progress. You're getting there. Yes, I'm very good at my job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Roy, who gave us three pounds and says, Yay for the birthday, Hat. Nocturnal Wiggler gave us five dollars and says, Happy birthday. Uh, also, happy birthday, John, from Emil, who gave us uh, 750 Icelandic krona, mm -hmm. which we've had before, but it's always fun. Oh, isn't? ow! Being quite shot. Uh, Around the corner. Where are the defences? There is nothing. Ah, there's the defences. Sentry box. Spec flippingtacular. Right, well, you guys just take care of that for a second. I can, ooh, I can get into this. That's only average locked. Oh, bloody hell. One of you's got a missile launcher. I think actually no, it's not. My allies have got missile launchers. This is. I'm just gonna hang out to the back here while I wait for this to end, because sentry bots will easily win. Once that's done, I will. Uh, then I'll pop out again. Not popping out till that's done. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Super chat is two hours behind. Lol says Thorn in chat. Yeah, we're that's two honestly hours not behind. bad. Uh, before and when John was doing birthday streams on his own, he was six hours behind. So there we go. Yeah. Uh, anyway, shout out to Michael Mordred who gave us five dollars uh, and says happy birthday, John. Looking forward to watching this stream later. Emily gave us ten pounds uh, and uh, says happy birthday, John Bay. Hashtag cult of Claire. Uh, folks, please don't make it weird uh, in chat. Um, please don't make it weird in chat. We're not king shaming, but we're not going to send you weird. But we're not going to send you pictures in any case. Uh, we're only going to send you pictures of Tabby, and you better not have kinky thoughts about those. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, because she's my child, uh, and she's a baby. Uh, let's see. So Why won't you die, you dick? Just die. 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 Keep dying. Yeah, a shout out to Ghost for Jamie, Finally. who gave us £10 and says, I'm going to do this the right way, says, says John, apart from traumatising teaming newsbound for life. That's, but that's our brand. It's a brand, damn it. That's fair. Uh huh. Finally, we've got Tesla armour, which is really good. So that's actually worth going over to. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to Jacob, who gave us $5 and says, I'm starting from the beginning, so I'm five hours back. Uh, happy birthday, John. Uh, yes, you will get tabby pictures, but not right now, because A, she's sleeping, uh, B, uh, you know, uh, we are going to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm too, I'm, I'm... <laughs> sorry, I'm trying not to panic with, like, five million things going on at the same time, uh, <laughs> but yes, at some point you will get tabby pictures, and yes, the stream has been going for eight hours, which is why we're a Woo! little bit frantic. Eight hours! Uh, Yes. Okay, they're all dead, meaning we can now unlock the thing. Good, 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 good. Utility and Mentats. I'm now addicted to whiskey and Mentats, by the way, Clay. You've got a few problems yeah, here. Sure. Uh oh, why have I got. Why have I got. What's the problem? 
What's the problem right now? I think is is my addiction an issue right now? We're not wearing a helmet, Dr. Quack. We're wearing a party hat. I think I'm suffering from withdrawal, which is knackering my... Si oh, wow, I'm really knackering my science, actually. Uh, that's that's a concern. Uh, okay. So, yes, that's that's an, uh, that's completely... Uh... Oh, no, if I were in the lab uniform, even then I'd only be at 40... I'd only be at 49, right? Yeah, I'd be at 49. I need to boost my intelligence or something up a little bit further, but I don't think I can... Intelligence is that because I'm under the effect of whiskey? I don't know. Okay, so I think I just can't. I can't get. I can't get in here right now. Well, uh, I think that's just mainly mines and grenades. I didn't really need it. So yeah, we're literally we're basically out of ammo. By the way, uh, I'm glad I checked that because now I know I'm wearing the wrong. Oh, thing. by the way, do we know what mentats are uh, in terms of the law? Like what kind of drugs they are? They're like a mental stimulant. Uh, so basically, my character. Like, canonically, cannot be addicted to Mentats, because if they're a stimulant, yeah. and I have ADHD, <sighs> then my brain cannot is not affected by stimulant the same way that everybody else is. Do so. you appreciate your sparkly old armor, by the way? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Together yeah, with yeah, the party yeah, yeah, hat, yeah, yeah. This, is, this, is, this is where we are right now. Uh, also, we, we got a minigun, by the way. Although, yes, I mean, it is that's accurate. A that's a big gun, not a small gun, so it's allowed. Nice. It is, in fact, accurate that I have been taking my medication for ADHD, which is stimulants, throughout this live stream, because otherwise I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I'm telling you that something is weird, please don't, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't backseat moderation, people. Come on. Uh, I know it's maybe it's funny for you, but it's been eight hours. <laughs> this is a bit frazzled, guys. So please bear Be with kind us. to oh Claire's. Be kind to Claire's. Uh, yes, indeed. ADHD I mode can only function under Mentats. Well, it, it bloody helps, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, I think, remember the first, like, um, I remember the first time that, uh, that I had the medication. Yes. Like, the first day, you were like, wow, it's actually night and day. Yeah. yeah. It was very noticeable, yes, yes. hugely. Can I use this to repair my armor? I can't By remember. that logic, does is Claire immune to the effects of tea? I mean, pretty much, you know. Uh, I've always had like tea and coffee late in the day, and it doesn't really uh, seem to uh, affect me so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 what else do we got? Um, Okay, so we're free, meaning now I need to spec the character ready for the end game, which is, oh, that's pretty good. That, Claire, that's that's a big-ass gun you've got with your power armor now. Oh, very nice. I like that. Yeah, I think we, we just need um, more ammo for that <laughs> shit. We need more ammo. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find there was one message that was an actual genuine question that was important. And yes. I'm trying to find it. Oh. God. Party hat! Uh, Woo! Oh no, where is it? Damn it. Damn it. Polylicious wants to know uh, if anyone knows how long the one stream was uh, when Claire wasn't there. So I think you mean uh, we've done a few where I wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, there's been a few birthday ones where I wasn't there and uh, New Year's one this year. Uh, so if anyone can, uh, if anyone knows how long the. Um... Some of them kind of reach a hard stop because yeah. when there's only one what? person, your voice cannot do everything forever eventually you have to stop when there's two people it's a little bit less extreme uh, yeah i mean Just somebody was asking do, 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 uh somebody was asking i i'm i'm not sure i can find it anymore. there you go searchers wanted to know if streaming tires you guys out it really bloody does it's really it's a lot you know yeah uh let's see uh-huh Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy all the ammo in the world for the minigun. The minigun is now going to be the gun of choice going forward. And I'm going to trade out basically anything I can uh, that I'm not using, which includes that. That includes uh, scrap metal. Don't care about that. I think you can't load that for some reason. Uh, and also, I'm not going to need all these stealth boys, so I can sell a couple of them. Uh, and some vodka. And then I'm also going to buy uh, mini nukes. I'm going to buy the odd mini nuke. Because why would I not? Uh, and also, are you selling anything? Actually, I need to I need to fund... 
I do need to fund a new... A replacement for... There's a minigun. I can use... I, you know, I'll buy that on the cheap. And then I'll use that to repair my minigun with repair skill. And then I'll ask you to repair what's left. Because uh, I think we're going to be using a lot of minigun stuff going forward at this point. I think we're kind of into into that sort of a space. And if you've got flamer ammo, I'll flip and love you. <gasps> flamer fuel, but only times 30, which is nice, but not the best. I mean, it kind of melts everybody, which is still really nice. Uh, so take that. Leave. Okay, I'm over encumbered. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, and now uh, go over to minigun. Set that as, yeah, on one side. Uh, repair up. And now sell the laser rifles. Made up your mind. Uh, sell the laser rifles. Uh, yeah, swap the laser rifles for mini nukes. Just sell the laser rifles for mini nukes. Uh, but repair stuff as a starting point. The minigun can be repaired for 500 caps, which I do just have. Uh, the flamer can be repaired uh, for 37. The party hat can be repaired for two. Repair up that party hat, damn it. Uh, the ripper is really good. So we're going to get that, and the rest is now going to be sold. And I can't remember if... I can't remember if... Yes, yeah, stuff that you pay him um, to do repairs does end up in his inventory. So I can get that straight back by just selling laser rifles times basically all of it. Uh, which is great. So that's already all of that. Meaning I can now trade the rest of it for all of his mini nukes. Uh, screw it. We'll find a way to... We'll find a way. Life... We, a way will be found. I don't need that many of that. I don't need a plasma rifle. Uh, I don't need pulse mines. We're not going up against robots. I don't need the the combat knife anymore. I've got the other thing. I need that assault rifle. I don't need that plasma rifle because we've already established we're not going to be using it. Uh, so flamer, fat man, grenades, though I've got... I'll keep those grenades. They're fine. There's that. Uh, I don't need the... In fact, I think I've already trashed the, the recon. Am I ever going to... I'm not going to need that. Get rid. It's fine. It's a useless gift from a martyr. Uh, and then we just get rid of all of this. That gets me every single flipping thing he's got. But I will also take missiles. Uh, and with that, I think we've got basically everything we need. And I might be able to fund some more repairs. Yep, I can fund missile launch repair, rocket launch repair, obviously, uh, that repair. And I've still got 500 caps. Loose change. So now... Now what I've got is... Yes, the rocket launcher's got very little ammo, but I love it so much. Obviously, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be keeping uh, that. The Ripper is, yeah, damage of 24, so just superior. So we're going to have that as our primary thing. We're going to have the minigun on this side, and we're going to have the flamer, which has sadly the ammo on the other. But our primary weapon now is going to be... In fact, you know, I'll change that around uh, just because of that. And that means I do not get a... That means the missile launcher isn't represented, nor is the nuke launcher. But they're tactical weapons. But for the most part, what we've got now is, yeah, three full rounds of minigun ready to flipping go. So now I'm just going to go to the doctor and uh, get rid of the addiction. Because I can't sleep that off, unfortunately. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Patrick, who gave us 10 polished slotty and says, Happy birthday, John. Who is Claire to you? Uh, she like she edits some stuff, I guess. Oi! She's the she's she's an editor lot I love. Wow. Well, Life well. partners, yes. yes. Uh, I think I might be addicted. To something fifty caps, honestly, is not that bad. So we're just gonna get rid of the addiction. <laughs> oh my god, amazing! Shout out to Alex who uh, gave us two pa uh, two dollars and says uh, also Claire deserves a raise. Mm-hmm. Does You're she? Does she? Okay, I have to stay, stay I, Actually, I don't think you want to ask the people right now, does she? Yeah. Because uh, you always say that you take into account what the chat says about me uh, in terms of, uh, of raises and stuff. It's so, true. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you don't... Uh, Richard Lawson, actually, in chat says, instead of a raise, Claire should have half of today's proceeds for her coffee fund. <laughs> I, I fully encourage... <laughs> I fully encourage people to go to Claire's Coffee, link to the description below. I'm sure Nightbot will be flagging it too. And donate to poor Co to poor oh, Claire. If, if <laughs> due to the fact Claire is, Claire is, she's, she's pushing through. She's a trooper. 
She's yeah, being I mean, a trooper. I, the thing is, like, I'm not supposed to take my medication after 8 p.m. And I took it, you know, I, I just, I took it at 9, you know, yeah. just to, like, slot it in order. But it's just starting to be a wee bit late now. Yeah. The last birthday stream was 8 hours and 59 minutes. So I think we might have it beat. Yeah, we, uh, yeah I, I remember. I hope he's paying you plenty of overtime for this, says sudden, suddenly Steve. What's overtime? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I get to take the, um, I get to take the, um... You're off tomorrow, I believe, aren't you? Yes, I am yes. off tomorrow, thank yeah. goodness. Uh, but also, because normally I work, you know, I work Tuesdays to Saturdays. Yeah. Normally, because we stream on Saturdays. Stream. But Saturday I had, is a, I had Saturday, Sunday off, and then I, I have today, um, I have tomorrow off as well, which is quite nice. Where are uh, you right now in terms of how, how far behind are we at the minute? Uh, 14 pages? Oh, wow. Okay. They keep donating, John, and you keep talking. St you all need to stop it right now. <laughs> stop. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, all right. Well, um, yes. And by the way, I mean, we haven't played them yet, uh, but we are going to play uh, Uni Rob songs. Uh, yeah, they're going to be our outro. Uh, and uh, Uni Rob can also be tipped on his PayPal as well. Um, send me a link in Discord or something, Uni Rob, and then I'll uh, be posting it as well. Yeah. Uh, since we are, you know, plugging coffees and stuff. Absolutely. Uh, I might even not need a holiday tomorrow because normally I need a full day off after I do a mega stream because it's just me. But because I've had Claire to share the burden with today, it's not so hard on my voice. <laughs> Richard says this is the most hostile I've ever heard, Claire. I didn't mean it to be host hostile. It wasn't meant to be sassy, to be honest. I do oh like him. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. If uh, just for that, I'm going to donate multiple times. Great, great, great. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay. Uh, shout out to Alexander who gave us five euros and says, Congratulations, John. I'm watching your Skyrim videos at the moment. Kept me, uh... I think you meant kept me sane during the Belgian Corona lockdown. And hopefully, not, uh, hopefully. Insane, which is what you wrote. But I feel you. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Sports Jamie uh, gave us £10 and says, uh, so John can say the enemy has been disarmed then. Uh, and I'm sorry, but I'm not exactly sure what this is in reference to because it's so far behind. It's probably an instance where I blew off somebody's arm if we had to put an educated guess in. Uh, yes, yes, I see what you're saying. Uh, shout out to Alex who gave us £20 and says, happy birthday, John. Keep it up, my dude. Uh, Rainin gave us two. Uh, dollars and says presents. Yay! Uh, which is probably from when we were opening presents. Okay, that wasn't that long ago. No. Uh, Ro gave us three pounds and says, John, you are the best by far. Smiley face. Yes. Uh, and Brian says, uh, so John, do you need help hiding the body? And gave us five euros. Um, <clears throat> okay. Lupus gave us uh, 20 pounds and says, happy birthday, John. Any plans okay. for Fallout 4 YOLO? And uh, it's, as I say, we just need to. I just need to. I've lost the key to the um to the yo-yo container. That's it's the problem. It's gonna happen soon. It just needs a lot of prep, and the essays need a lot of prep, and you know all of yeah. these things. Yeah, we just need uh, yeah. time to get stuff done. Yeah, uh, so. and I've got. A, we've got. A, we've had a lot of projects over the last couple of weeks, like big secret stuff, and there's more to come. Uh, yes. It's been a busy time. It's been a really busy time of and year. And also, I've had my like uh, usual holiday that I have in August for yeah. Worldcon, so you know. Yeah, we were shorthanded during that period. It's it's a tricky time for us, kind of August, because it, it tends to be the time the gaming industry wakes up after a summer break, and it's at the same time Claire likes to take a break because that's also convention season, which uh, is uh, a yeah, problem. which happened virtually this year, but I uh, still took some. Time but still, off. yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. So. Uh, a couple of people are pointing out that uh, the comment about su about uh, disarming uh, was when you found that uh, dismembered arm. Uh, yeah. In, you found mutilated arms in a go bag. I was being sweet, and you were like, "Yay, mutilated arms!" And you were firing them at people. Nothing wrong with mutilated <laughs> arms. I love mutilated arms. Mm. Right, before we just run outside, just quickly check if you guys have got any more flipping ammo. Oh, no, leveling up as well. Okay, uh, max out speech, or as close as we can. 
Uh, with Charisma 10 and Speech 94, that's the best we could do in so far as maybe peaceful resolution to this situation, which would be uh, great. Life Giver is 30 hit points uh, flat, which is pretty good, uh, which honestly is probably the best bet we got right now. Uh, do you have any... Darn it. Okay, you're not selling anymore. Still, I've got Forks with me, and Forks is basically an unstoppable murder god. Uh, so this shouldn't be an issue. Plus, in all fairness, like, in some ways, this this air, this final bit's a bit of a fun walk anyway, because Liberty Prime destroys everything, so it barely even matters. The problem is whether Liberty Prime might bug out and get stuck, which 100% can happen. And then you just sort of have to hope. But mostly that only happens if the wrong, if you, if like a member of the Lion's Pride is already dead, when they're not supposed to be. It should be fine. So we should just be, so we should get to basically enjoy some fireworks as we just sort of uh, walk straight through and gun everyone down. Claire, all yours while the fireworks kick off. Yeah, shout out to Desi who gave us uh, $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for putting up with him so long, Claire. <laughs> Uh, Raina says happy birthday from down under. I woke up early just to catch my first live stream uh, live, and that's with five New Zealand dollars. Uh, thank you so much, Raina. Uh, Derek gave us ten pound, ten dollars, and says happy birthday, sir. Hear me out. Useless, useless Steve Fallout Four. I, I would love to. I would love to have useless Steve. I'd love to use Steve in Fallout Four and Fallout Three, but obviously I'm not going to do it next. Because no, people would throw a fit if I did a Fallout 4 run that wasn't Yoda Live Once next. Yeah, next yeah, Fallout yeah. 4 run has to be Yoda Live Once, otherwise people would be insufferable. Yes, indeed. Uh, Pinifera gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. My own birthday is in a few days and I'll be uh, getting the Iliad in Greek. Oh, sweet. Very fancy. There's uh, some of the old textbooks, especially the nice versions, can actually be very expensive. That's, that's a nice present. It's a really nice present. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh... Well, he hasn't frozen down at the bottom of this hill, which is a good start, because sometimes he just breaks. So this is, this is promising. I'm just going to concentrate. This area crashes like nobody's business. So we've got to be careful. Clap. Uh, yeah, just a second. I'm looking for something. That's of course. That's something said I might have missed. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay. Uh, no, uh, knickknacks. I think you missed it earlier. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but a couple of people were actually asking in chat. Uh, Knickknack's first super chat, which I think we read before, uh, they wanted to know uh, what you got for your birthday. Uh, and then we did actually open the presents. So you yeah, we have them. opened the presents. My mum also sent me a book, and I just got some cards from my siblings. Uh, which is common. We don't do that much for each other's uh, birthdays often. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and so, yes, his mom gave him uh, the three body problem. Three body problem. Position Lu, which is uh, a very amazing sci fi novel. Yeah, I've uh, been enjoying it so far. And uh, I gave him some uh, nerdy fabric face masks. Yeah. Uh, reusable ones and a uh, dancing baby Groot. Also, I really appreciate that you actually did go for the one that was Squirtly and knew which my favorite starter was, but unfortunately it seems that they kind of, it was just a randomized well, Gen 1 starter. They had, it's just what they had, like, in the picture on the Etsy. Yeah. Uh, I looked at a few other things that were Pokemon themed. There was, a, a, there was like a little globe thing that was like, a, it, like, it, would, it would kind of looked like a, um, Kind of looked like a crystal ball or a magic eight ball or whatever, but then like when you when you plugged it in, it yeah. like lit up and it had like a one of the starters you could pick which one, yeah. uh, and it lit up in like various colors and you could just have like a squirtle in a little ball like that showed up, but obviously it was shaped like a poke ball, yeah. And it was kind of like you could see a little squirtle going through the colors of the rainbow it's in a little poke ball, and it, it was cute, but it was like that would have been the big present out of the yes. two, you know. Also, um, congratulations to anyone whose birthday is August the 18th. This is now your yeah! birthday stream. Happy birthday. This is now your birthday stream as well. It's mm. the birthday. We're, we're, we're spreading the love around. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Isaiah, who uh, gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Greetings from Colorado, USA. And thank you for everything that you and Claire do. Uh, and Darth, uh, Darth Green gave us uh, 10 pounds and says happy birthday. Dominic gave us $10 and says, Felix Natalis Amicus. 
Uh, Happy birthday in Latin, of course. Yes, indeed. Uh, been watching since the Kill Everything run. Uh, keep up the good work, you two. Uh, <laughs> Richard uh, sent us uh, $2 and says, uh, I sent $5 at 11 a.m. US uh, EDT at 5 p.m. I'm still here. Yep, that track. Wow, this is Richard being is a heavy gunner is kind of crazy, isn't it? You just yeah, it's fun. That's why I like it. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, this is. I'm really glad we did this. This is a brand oh, new America style of play. It's still the 17th. It's still your birthday in the US, John. Of course, yeah, but course it's been it's it been is, the 18th yeah. for some time in the Australia. The the 18th yeah. is creeping in around the world. I think the majority of time zones in the world are now the 18th. Mm -hmm. And Fox has just <laughs> run ahead. Four badass. I'm half. I'm really expecting Crazy Wolfgang to show up any moment. Crazy Wolfgang will just be showing up any moment now. It is, you, you just wait for it. It's gonna happen. Yeah, and shout out to Kevin who gave us five dollars and says long stream. Happy birthday, John. I hope you had a lovely day. Uh, Anderson. Oops, sorry, Anderson gave us five dollars and says uh, happy birthday, Fallout for Yo Yo Wen. Yep, yeah, uh, just as soon as I find the key to the yo-yo container, basically. Sure, Peter. It's, it's, I swear I saw it somewhere, I just don't know where it's gone now. Uh, hey, Matt is in chat. Hi, Matt. We've got Matt. Matt says, oh my, oh my god, John, how are you still going? Because this stream will never end. <laughs> Oh streaming forever. Hey, streaming forever. Holidays never. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, shout out to Peter who gave us 50 Swedish krona and says happy birthday. Woohoo! Uh, Ro gave us five pounds and says if Steve and Tim are your go-to names for guys, do you have any uh, go-to names for women? Um. I just use, I just use Tim and Steve anyway. <laughs> Like very often, I will just use Tim, Tim and Steve, regardless. I just, <laughs> I just use both, regardless. Ah. Yes, Literally, because this gun has a moment to spin up, they're they're dying before I can get them. They're dying before I can kill them. This is crazy. This is. Oh, there's more of them over there. There's loads more over there. Uh, okay, well, we'll leave that up to. No, forks, forks, don't do it, forks. Fall back and let Liberty Prime take care of it. Liberty Prime's got this with flippy nukes and his eyes and whatever. Uh, oh yeah, the rest of the Lion's Pride's got this. I'll let them tan. Oh, bloody hell, this is... Yeah, that's that's a thing. Black gun. Screw you. I'm not even getting any XP, because I'm not getting a big enough share of the kill. They're just dying too fast. Amazing. <laughs> uh, well, we've also got a whole bunch of uh, new uh, channel members. So shout out to uh, Deus X and Emmeline and Galta Dude and Pam Fontenot and Philip Bolachu. Uh, I hope I didn't butcher anyone's names too bad. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being new channel members, folks. Uh, we have a message from Hawk Squadron. Hawk Squadron? Squadron? Hawk, Hawk Squadron, good Hawk name. Hawk Squadron, excellent, excellent name. name. He gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. And says, you're the only person I know that's as knowledgeable in Fallout as I am, and I still learn new stuff from you. Speech bonus with holster guns. Who knew? Yep, it's like it's just like 5%, but I think it's just a little shout out, like a little mm. reference back mm. to uh, the old Fallout. Oh Fallout 3 is full of that. It's really cute. <laughs> I think there's a lot of love that's got into into that, into Fallout uh, uh, 3 in that regard. Well, Matt is sensible and going to bed. Uh, nine, nine, nine. Oh, don't you pretend you go to bed at half midnight. I've had DM conversation with Matt at 2am in the past. Yeah, he's no, just, fair. he's pretending. I mean, me too, but you know. Uh, shout out to uh, Demons Running Chat who points out that YouTube only archives 12 hours, so you better keep an eye on that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're not going to go oh to 12 God. hours, probably. Probably, yes. Um, anyway... Uh, shout out to Polygon who gave us for, uh, 30 Canadian dollars. Thank you so Plenty much. Plenty of dollars. Uh, and Good so dollars this is, too. This is really the least I could do because your videos have always given me laughs. So it, it is my turn to give back in this small way. Happy birthday, John. Uh, and could we possibly expect Fallout for YOLO? Uh, when, I, when I find the keys. I just need to find the keys. That's all it is. It's just uh, the lack of keys right now. Ah, and Pam in chat points out uh, that I got her name right because, of course, it, it is kind. It 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 looked fairly French, so I went with French. Because uh, Forks as hell. Forks can't die. Forks will never die. Uh, yes, indeed. 
How late is it in the UK, Dr. Quack wants to know? It's half midnight. Yeah, half uh, midnight. Zephy says, hashtag longest stream ever, for sure. Uh... <laughs> push forward, folks, push forward. Uh, the girl with the coffee says, you're sure about that? I think she means in terms of us saying that the stream won't go to, to 12 hours. Probably um, won't. You know what, Mira? You're doing great. It's your first day as a mod. You already know exactly how we work, and thank you so much for still being around. Me. Yolo! I'm going in with the. I'm going. I'm Claire. I've given you a mini chainsaw, by the way. Oh yeah. Brrr. Fucking sweet. You just fluffed it completely. Whatever. You just completely fluffed it. Ah! Well, on that, I didn't fluff it there. No, that wasn't fluffed at all. Uh, um, yes, the mini chainsaw is pretty damn good because it, it ignores damage resistance, so it just tears the shit out of power armor. It's really good. Uh, uh, yeah, shout out to Pobody's Nerfect who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the great content. As I sit here on day one hundred and fifty-seven of not living, leaving my house, I hope you have an enjoyable day. Oh my goodness, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, it's really hard. I mean, we've been. We've been leaving the house because we're not really we're not in um in an at risk category ourselves, so we've been really careful but yeah. we've been able to leave the house and it's already been really difficult, so I can't imagine how hard it must be. And uh please take care of yourself. Oh yes. my goodness. Uh dear oh dear, yeah, we've got um We've got a neighbor who uh, who also hasn't been leaving her house for a super, super long time because she's at risk. And, yeah, uh, she's in a risk think she went. I think she went out like once or twice in her car to go and like have a walk in the countryside. Yes, away from everybody. Yes. Yes. Uh, so that's, uh, and you know, we've been hanging out like as in, you know, she uh, she she has a bit of garden it's downstairs. Very distance, so we've yeah. been hanging out like uh, sitting down like two, three meters away. Um, but yeah. I need shit to put inside my my mm. gun. I want. I need. We need to finish the main campaign with at least one shot from uh, the rocket launcher after everything is done for us. The problem is, the last time I came through here, I sort of already grabbed everything, so there's not there's not much left, which is um, which is a concern. That's that's a mm -hmm. bit of a bit of a concern. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Dingo Stinky Pants, who gave us $10. It says, happy birthday, John. Almost 50 here, and I've been enjoying your content for the last five or six years. Uh, very good. Thank you. Uh, Ryan gave us 10 Australian dollars and says, I just wanted to ask, when are you going to do a big Fallout 3 you. comprehensive playthrough? The closest is YOLO, but that has a very different playstyle, and you skipped a lot you of stuff have. because of the rest. I did. Oh, uh-oh, I just... Okay, that was the wrong speech option. I was trying to flipping talk you him down. I forgot what option you needed to do. Uh, look, I don't want to fight you. And wait, what? There's no option to. You again? I forgot the path that leads to him. Give it up. I... There we go. Yeah, speech H two percent. So live and hope. You're in. Wow. Once you're. Okay, I guess we just kill you then. All right, basically screw you. Uh, I'll just go for. Okay, drugs. Activate literally every single drug. Medex, Psycho, Buff Out, Jet, fuck you all. And... No! Melt! Okay, now we just go over to something that's uh, that's not dumb. Uh, go over to that. Heal. Fox is doing good work over there. Heal up to max and... Go, 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 Then I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo for everything. Uh, go over to this. Just go and... Vats him in the head. Vats him in the head. These guys are tough. These guys are super tough. And how did you miss literally everything? You only had three shots. Okay, I guess we'll just. Okay, we'll, we'll do it with the chainsaw. I guess we'll do it with the. I guess we'll do it with the chainsaw. Given that's the only option. So you you just try. No, no, you don't get a gun anymore. No gun for you. No gun for you. No gun for you. No, no for you. I'm sorry about the noise. It's a really unpleasant noise this thing makes. But it's. Ah! Is Autumn dead, by the way? I think someone already... Yeah, someone already killed Autumn. I think Forks did it. <laughs> I'm going to have your uniform, by the way. There you go. Now you're naked. Uh, right, so that's good. That's that spectacular. Uh, where, wait, where's Sarah? Where's Sarah? 
Do I know where Sarah is? Sarah's kind of supposed to be here. Well, there she I is! Where did you go? By now the pride okay, well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and now now we just need to do some plot stuff. So, Claire, back to you. Uh, yes, in... That was the final boss, by the way. It's, it's a bit it's a bit of an anticlimax. I'm in the control room. We're both here. Uh, yes, on? absolutely. Uh, let's see. I'm having to scroll back up. Sorry. I was sorting through things. Uh, yes, Ryan asked you a question a minute ago. You didn't reply because the fight happened. Sorry. Uh, are you going to do a big Fallout 3 comprehensive playthrough? The closest is Yolo, but that has a different playstyle. And you skipped a lot of stuff because of the... Yes, game. I was originally planning because there was a lot of rumors about a remaster for Fallout 3. And I was going to think, oh, you know what? That'd be a good opportunity to do something like that. Um, and I don't know whether that's ever going to happen, but, like, if it doesn't, then I might just have, like, you know, the Wanderers mods, like, put some survival mechanics in the game. And, like, do I literally explore everything? Like, all, like, the obscure bits of the north of the map, which not that many people go and see. Uh, which is fine. Oh, one of us is going in the reactor. No, because I have installed broken steel, because that means Forks can do it, because he's immune to radiation. Because literally, the majority of your companions in this game are immune to rats. If that's how you want to do this... Yeah, that is how I want to do this, because it literally makes sense. So get in there, you weird lipless this, bastard. What is wrong with your mouth? No, Why is it not Ricky. loaded correctly? Look, uh, get in there. Oh, in you go. Pop. In you go. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Obviously, we don't poison the world. And we shut that down. And with that, Fox is the hero. Hooray, Fox! There we go. We've completed the base game of Fallout 3 to sing the live stream. Boom! Wow. Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out. Oh my god. Uh, shout out to Retum who gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, John. I picked Total War Troy uh, the other day. Uh, and I was wondering which faction you'd recommend for someone whose last Total War was Medieval 2. We definitely did this one. I said Shogun 2. I said, uh, sh uh, consider Rome uh, 2 for the Maybe they had to leave. I don't know, John. Definitely. We've, I've, I've said that one before. Okay, I said, Rome I'm 2 so or Shogun sorry. 2. I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to repeat them. I'm trying to keep on top of it, but there's a lot. Yeah. Uh, Peggy the Poodle gave us $3. Thank you so much. And Hawk Squadron uh, gave us uh, 5 Canadian dollars, 5 more. And says, currently running 100% Fallout 3 run. All items, all uh, unmarked and marked locations, all unmarked and marked quests. Max skills and stats, etc. John should do it too. Happy birthday. At some point, I, I, that would probably end up being a part of yeah. either Fallout 3, uh, the worst wanderer, or like um, anything else. Is this about and to be so really it loud? Was okay, sorry, this is going to be really loud for a second because it's, it's, part the, it's part of the end of the game. Intent on discovering sorry. the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The capital wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. Here are some people. Some of these people we didn't actually meet. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. Instead, allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Oh, fuck you. Pointless sacrifice for no reason is not Thankfully, inherently noble. When selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was <laughs> deemed worthy of preservation. Die. The waters of life <coughs> flow at last. Free and pure <coughs> for any and all. The capital wasteland at long last. Too much water was a problem. Saved. Dying! Help! So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Yeah.
got, I got to speak. <coughs> I drank water wrong. Yeah, I know. I drank water wrong. Oh god, help me. <clears throat> oh, that's not great. <laughs> Two weeks later, we wake up. Everything's fine. <coughs> Drowning on a glass of water. Very embarrassing. Everything's fine. And so, the lone streamer died. The, no the most noble of all virtues sacrificed. I drowned myself in a glass of water for no reason. <clears throat> Careful now, careful. There we go, we're back to being quiet now, for some reason. And Sarah's fine, everything's okay, I'm uh, here. So da, da, thank da, da. you uh, for Philip in, thank you to Philip in chat for pointing out that actually uh, you were wrong and I was correct. Uh, the super chat from Retem, uh, I haven't read it before. The question is... Uh, I picked up Troy. Uh, I picked up Total War Troy the other day, and I was wondering which faction you would recommend for someone who's lost Total War Wars Medieval Tated. Two. Which faction in Troy, rather than which other game? Which fact? Well, I haven't played enough Troy to to know for certain. Uh, like I've played some Odysseus, and I've played some Paris. I played a tiny, tiny bit of um, uh, Menelaus. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't feel like I, I don't feel qualified. To answer, yeah. especially as the Amazon DLC is... I'm not sure if it's even out yet, actually. Wasn't it supposed <clears> to be out, like, same day? Or I thought it was supposed to be, but I think it might be a bit late. I think it might have been a bit late. Oh, fair enough. Um, and then we've got Diomedes and Ajax. I, I'm afraid I haven't really uh, played it for the game to say. And also, as you may notice, I, I'm, I'm slowly dying from drinking water. <coughs> Sorry, would you I'll like recover me soon. to talk some more? No, it's fine. I'll recover momentarily. Everything's Can okay. Can I talk some more, please? Oh, go on. Yay! Catching up! Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Bear for Bear who gave us a uh, twenty uh, Danish cro fifty Danish krona. I can read uh, fifty Danish krona. Says happy birthday, John. Which of the many games that you've played would you say uh, you are the best at playing, or you've mastered the most? Um, I feel like I understand a lot of like say Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I, I know Skies of Arcadia ridiculously well. I think I really understand the mechanics of Mass Effect 1 very well. Because, you know, I can play the game on Insanity mode, which only so many people are going to be able to do. Uh, so probably one of them. Uh, yes, indeed. And then uh, next Ooh, up... Oh, I've beaten um, the, the ultimate, um, like, most difficult campaign of uh, Advance Wars 2. I put a ridiculous amount of time into Advance Wars, so I feel like I know that game ridiculously well. Uh, yes, and uh, shout out to Tyler who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday. I discovered your channel a few years ago with Fallout Three, Kill Everything, and now uh, you're back. I love it. Uh, Necrolet gave us uh, five, uh, ten dollars <coughs> even and says happy birthday, John. I've been watching for years and I love the humor in your videos, along with the informative bits about the games. Edutainment. Good. Yeah, I love some edutainment. I love videos where you get to like talk about history and shit. That's some good stuff. Hey, yeah. guess, guess who, guess who we've decided to come back and visit? Uh, it's the scorpion from the beginning that we had to run away from. Yay, shout out to Happy uh, Happy Hope, who gave us £10 and says, <clears throat> Happy birthday, John. Sorry, I'm a little late to the stream. I just got home. I've been here for a few wow. years, but first time giving you well-deserved money. Really enjoyed the most recent Fallout video. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you better run. There we go. <laughs> Talking to the scorpion, nah, you guys. Yeah, the scorpion uh, is uh, scorpion's trying to make a move. Yeah, shout out to the Department of Redundancy Department who gave us five Swiss francs and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm a bit late because of returning to work today, but I'll catch up by listening at two times speed. This will be fun, but stressful. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> Rachel gave us five dollars and says, uh, I'm having a horrible day, but this live stream has made it instantly better. Happy birthday, John. Uh, I'm so sorry for this horrendous noise. The river makes an awful noise. Oh, these almost killed me. Wow, this is bloody giant rat scorpions. Screw you, you dick. Why won't you die? Uh, Fun Scan gave us five dollars and says happy birthday john i've been subscribed since 2013 i modded the hell out of my new vegas and after days of technical incompetence it is running smoothly <coughs> very nice indeed uh you know, let's see oh dear oh dear uh oh there we go finally bloody brad scorpions 
They, even the even at this level with this this level of skill, the giant rad scorpions are a bit on the terrifying side. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Zach just gave us two uh, dollars and says thank you for all the years of entertainment. Uh, and I've been here since the Kotaku since the Kotaku article. You deserve uh, more than just my <clears throat> Patreon money. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, uh, and thank you, uh, Zach, for pointing out, uh, yes, uh, thank you for helping me out with this one, Zach. Uh, let's see. Cool. Shout out to Carl, he gave us $25 and says, Happy birthday, I've been watching your videos for years, uh, and I've logged thousands of treadmill miles while watching. Very nice. Uh, I hope you have a great birthday. That sounds awesome. I mean, I'd love... We don't really have the room for it right now, but if we had more room, I'd love to have a treadmill because that's actually like my walking is probably my favorite type of thing to do. You know? Um, if you do walking like fast or it's an incline, that's actually pretty good exercise. Let's see. Uh, who else have we got? Doc Doom! Doc Doom! That's a good username. Uh, who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John just dropped in to give you my best wishes I've got to get back to work, but thank you for everything that you do uh, And uh, I may be a bit overconfident with just basic rages here. I forgot very hard mode is like, you know, very hard it's Kind of the clues of the title. Uh, yeah, shout out to Barclaw who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John My birthday was yesterday, so it's a nice surprise that yours is today I can't stay for long because of work, but have a good stream There you go. Happy birthday uh, to you uh, Barclaw, a little bit um, belated, but happy birthday Excellent uh, Yes, indeed <laughs> I think I should probably just go get some actual ammo for my guns. Give it, you know what? I've got the Ripper now. I'm level something, so I can just go through that. I don't actually, don't actually have any ammo for any of my guns, which you can understand how that would be a problem, yes? <laughs> Lol. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, uh, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, by the way. Uh, Savia Sachi uh, gave us uh, 500, I think that... <laughs> Anyway, somebody else, I'm going to look up this currency so I don't look like an idiot like last time. Uh, shout out to David who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday from the Constitution State. <clears throat> Much love to you both uh, and thanks for the years of great content. That's Boston, right? I, um, I think that's Boston. I think so. Uh, shout out to the Lego Brony uh, who gave us £5 uh, and says, Happy birthday. John, uh, I got into Fallout back in uh, 2014 due to liking uh, Fallout Equestria, so, this... uh, which is a good story, by the way. And yes, we've heard about this because we've watched um, <clears throat> Jenny Nicholson's uh, yes! video on uh, Brony Con, the last Brony well, Con. Let's try it, and actually, to bother, I can just lie to Moira. Ah. Ah. Really? Yeah, you know what? Went there, there was no food whatsoever. Let's do some landmine research. Uh, so I'll head to landmine. Let's talk about landmine. And, oh, I went through there. Uh, but uh, you know what? There was nothing there. But I, uh, here's landmine. Uh, so let's talk about that. And Oh, dear. Bring a landmine to that. Uh, what do you want to know about landmine? Blah, 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 blah. Am I allowed to? If I, okay, if I, just, if I leave, can I immediately oh, lie to her? And um, what's up? And uh, haven't been to landmine. Do I want to? Am I allowed to like? I'm not sure. To, do I want to actually like leave and come back? Because otherwise, she'd know I hadn't been. Because normally, I think you could lie about like all of them. Hot little potato and now, no, you can't actually. Never mind. Haven't been to landmine. Just hold on. Just yes, hold what on. you mean is Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts, Boston. Is oh in yeah, the state. Boston is the state. Folks. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry a, uh, a, about John basically a state. talking. Uh, basically a state. Shout out to uh, Hazer, Hazer, who uh, gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you uh, for the introduction to Fall Guys. My girlfriend has sat downstairs all evening stealing details and she doesn't normally play games. It's a fun game. I think it's a very good game. Yeah, it's a very fun one. Uh, so there you go. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Um, sorry, uh, Savia Sachi Rawat uh, gave us a 500 Indian rupees, uh, which is what I thought it was, but uh, I just thought, now I'm checking. Uh, 
Uh, happy birthday, John. Best wishes to you and loads of love to Claire and Tabby. Thank you for giving uh, us one of the best and often very infuriating channels on YouTube. <laughs> I can't wait for the upcoming Fallout 4 and CK3 stuff. Yeah, uh, they wrote they wrote CK4, which we'll definitely <coughs> be covering whenever that yeah, happens. Yeah, whenever that shows up, we'll be covering that as well. <laughs> but yes, I think you meant three. Uh, let's <coughs> see. Uh... <laughs> I can finally, it's taken me, I, I, I had to come back here at the end after beating the game, but I can finally repair leaking pipes in Megaton. Uh -huh. Holy hell, we finally Amazing. can do it. This is, this is obviously what you do. You come back to Megaton after beating the base <laughs> game to, to, to fix their pipe work. Uh, yeah, shout out to Jamie who gave us $25 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the content over the years. 24 hour stream question mark. No. No, apparently after 12 hours we have to stop. We don't have a choice. It's the law. I don't really know, but uh, also our voices are going to give out at yeah. some point. Uh, Sean gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope you've had a marvellous day. What would you like to receive as a gift and what is your favourite type of cake? Hi, Claire. I'm very glad you. I, I ended up saying this question after we opened the presents. Mm -hmm. uh, because otherwise that would have been a little nerve-wracking for me. So anything with Squirtle on it, to be honest. The best <laughs> starter. Anything with Squirtle. The very best starter. Best starter. No, what would you like to receive as a gift, though? I would... I... <laughs> Crusader Kings 4. <laughs> Hi, Walter, come back here. I literally your, want to speak uh, to you. What's your favourite type of cake, though? Uh, I do like Bakewell Tart. Ah, yeah, yeah. I I'm like Bakewell Tart, as you know. Well, uh, well, listen, let's see. If... <clears throat> just end the stream and start another good. for the next 12 hours. Philip, don't fucking give him ideas. Level <laughs> 13. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to... Uh, <laughs> Shout out to uh, Disaster, maybe that's what your, maybe that's what the username is. Uh, shout out to Disaster who gave us 10 pounds and says, Happy birthday, John, you mentioned a Fallout 4 video to look forward to. Fallout 4 YOLO question mark. Um, P.S. You are awesome, Claire. Again, it's just, you know, the thing is, like, I'm actually scared of yo-yos due to an unfortunate incident with a yo-yo when I was a child. So despite how much I want to do Fallout 4 yo-yo, mm -hmm. like, I, I, am, I am seeing a therapist about it right now. But she has encouraged me not to push myself too far too fast when it comes to Fallout 4 yo-yo. So I don't, you know, regress in any unfortunate ways otherwise. All right. Uh, shout out to Just Sammy who gave us £25 and says, Happy birthday, John. No obscure or weird classic questions this time. Just well wishes. I hope that you and Claire are staying safe. I, I hope we are too. Well, I mean, look, we're, we've been streaming. We've not been going outside. Yeah, so that's it. We're so, you're keeping, you're, you all guys, you're keeping us safe from Corona right now. That's what you're doing. You're keeping us safe from the Corona. Uh, yeah, and shout out to Layla, who gave us $25 and says, Happy birthday, John. 26 years ago, my husband and I got married on your birthday, and today we're watching this by way of celebration. Oh, that's so sweet. That's amazing. Hot to you, Claire and Tabby the Great. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for letting us know that. And uh, I know you said you had to leave uh, because of puppy issues, so I hope everything is okay. Uh, I hope everything is going fine with the puff. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and uh, another message from the People's Front Against French Long White Bread, uh, who gave us another five uh, euros and says, John, happy birthday. Uh, you helped me through what I hope will be the worst time uh, in my life. Here, have some Jaffa cakes on me. <clears throat> well, we are hoping that you are better, uh, that you are doing better indeed. Yes. Uh, there we go. Day, Jacob says, oh my god, are you guys still streaming uh, in chat? It's almost 8pm here on the East Coast US. How late is it there? It's about 1am. It's pretty late, yeah. Well, we're just kind of, you know, gently uh, sinking into 100% Fallout 3 completion. Oh, Yay! Well, I'm about, I've just had a blood ties. I may as well. Yeah, shout out to Ivan who gave us five pounds and says, Merry birthday, birthday. Yeah, huge fan of the channel since I found you after the first podcast. Uh, what is the worst birthday gift either of you has ever received? 
Ooh, that's interesting. <clears throat> mm. I mean, occasionally, I guess I've been given some clothes that, like, my immediate response was just so no that they were basically donated to a charity shop immediately. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Um... That's probably a pretty bad sign. Screw you, you... Dick. There we go. Quite on the expensive on the old, uh, expensive on the old ammo there. I mean, I guess for me, it's always when someone is giving you a thing because they liked the thing and therefore they, <clears throat> you know, are assuming you, they're like, I liked this, therefore you should have it and, and experience it as opposed to, I know what you like and therefore I'm getting you something you will like. Yes. And so it's often like, you know, books that certain family <clears throat> members of mine pick and like we have very different tastes and it's like, but when I pick books for you, I think about what you read, yes. and you're not thinking about what I'm reading. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of thing. Stay but, away uh, from the giant rad scorpions, because seriously, they're just big ammo sponges. Claire, is yours a chocolate chew? No, because the chocolate chew was delicious. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not all caught up. Uh, you might have missed your chat, but uh, you might not. Uh, we, uh, we've definitely not, uh, we're definitely not caught up. And thankfully Layla is just saying that, um, cause she said we have sad puppy issue issues and I was very scared that there was something wrong with the puppy, but she just really wants to go on a walk. Oh. Which is fair enough. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, is this going to become a video? I want to watch the whole stream when I have time. Yes, absolutely. It will have to go down. Uh, and then back up again because it won't otherwise it, it will only show four hours uh, but uh, definitely will be up again you know pretty soon uh, and and then Paul gave us five a ten Australian Yo, dollars sake. Uh, and says happy birthday John I was wondering have you played Jesus Master of Olympus it's a city builder that allows you to summon Greek gods to bless you or to fight off uh, gods that are hostile towards you uh, I am not familiar with it. No, no I've never even either. heard of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Evil Claire should go back to the hammer. Go back to the what? The hammer. Didn't we have a... a cool the hammer, hammer is, is not going to do the job against yeah. like my like hunters, for example. That's that's going to be a struggle. Uh, <clears throat> yes, indeed. Uh, Warble gave us $50. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, <coughs> says, Happy birthday, John. My girlfriend and I love your content. But I must admit, your baking and cooking videos cause me physical pain. I am the cook and the baker in our relationship. <laughs> I know! Mm -hmm. And I'd have to destroy Claire's stuff while I'm doing it. Yeah. Claire's stuff is the stuff that gets broken. Yes. Uh, Richard gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Because of you, I'm playing a Total War game for the first time with Troy. And by the fifth turn, I've already heard a reckless trade for wasting entire armies to bring down a small town. Do nice. you have any tips? Nice. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, just, um, you're probably best if you can, like, auto resolve has its place. Auto resolve has its place, but, like, if you've got time, you should typically always be getting better results by manually fighting, uh, manually fighting battles. What's that up there, by the way? That's random enclave. Well, I'm not going to be fighting you. Just use the rocks as cover, and we'll uh, we'll make a run down for the shore, or not, because that's that's where the that's where the Maya lurks are. Okay, well we'll just let one run into the other. It'll be fine. <laughs> bloody enclave on the bloody enclave on that map, causing trouble for me. Everything's under control. <laughs> uh, yeah, and shout out to Bill who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, John. Because she's only seen because she's only seen one video of yours. My wife only thinks of you as that bridge ballast guy. Yeah, uh, so more bridge ballast. Amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, <laughs> I've done a few other bridge buildy videos since that, or another physics physics buildy videos in general. Sure. Uh, Justin gave us ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Thank you so much for all the entertainment and laughs to you that you and Claire provide to us. Uh, have an excellent birthday, sir!" Oh, uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Am I coming back in spring? I think it's a Springvale School, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. No, I'm going to Springvale School. There's absolutely no point. Uh, because I don't think really, no. Apart from a few raids and a bit of law. Uh, yes, it is. It's just Springvale School. Noteworthy that it contains basically all the components to build a shish kebab. If you want to build one of them, they're just there, just chilling out on the, just doing their own thing. 
Yeah, shout out to Henry, uh, who gave us ten pound, ten dollars. Sorry. It says happy birthday, John. The medievalist in me is looking forward to Crusader Kings three. Thank you for being the history nerd that you are. I also hope that you enjoy my mouse's name, Sweetie Todd. Sweetie Todd, that's pretty good. That's cute. That's, that's adorable. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Joseph who gave us a 50 Australian dollars. Thank you so much. That is a, that's a lot of the good dollars. Uh, thank you. Uh, Joseph says I'm not awake enough to watch right now uh, to watch this live, so I will be catching the VOD later, but happy birthday, John. Yao Guai, down over there. Watch out for Yao Guai. Mm -hmm. Those mutated bears, that to be avoided. Yeah. Uh, it's, that. it's another one. Axel Fack gave us five dollars and says fallout kill everything <clears throat> run hear me out use a mod to make all adults non-essential keep the children immortal call it the new little lamp run new <laughs> little lamplight run nope. ah game crashed game crashed mid save as it sometimes does ah uh, there we go hopefully the save survived well, whilst you do that, shout out to Sean, who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I watch your videos every day and they never fail to lighten up a shitty day. Also, hi, Claire. I hope you're both doing great. Uh, it did not. <clears throat> but that's fine. We can just go with where we were. It's fine. Yeah, Charlie gave us uh, five dollars and says, Happy birthday, John and Claire. You're the best YouTube team. John, you should try Shadowrun, Top Down, uh, ISO in a cyberpunk fantasy world, and Dorian Gray is not obscure. Didn't I try one of the? I swear I tried one of the spin-offs <coughs> of Shadowrun at some point. The I'm more, not the recent, sure. or, or possibly I was, it was something that was heavily inspired by it. I can't remember. Uh, so we'll, uh, that that may or may not be the case. Uh, 11th crash maybe this is the sign that the live stream should wind down uh yeah well maybe but we still have many pages of super chats so. go claire go uh, i believe in you <clears throat> shout out to blocky mcsquare who gave us a hundred dollars excellent username uh thank you so much uh for a hundred dollars apologetic dollars they say because we have the election soon uh the algorithm sent me fallout 3 is better than you think and uh, since then i've grown very fond of all your content thank you both uh, for all you do, and uh, I hope that you have a very happy birthday. Excellent. Uh, very, very uh, good indeed. Just sick, Phil. John killed the space monkeys. Gave us five dollars, <laughs> and says maybe the reason that Paradox isn't using you for the CK3 tutorials is because they remember all the things that John got wrong. Happy <laughs> birthday, John! You're number one. <laughs> I don't think we got things wrong like in the tutorial because we not like, in the Imperato tutorial. because you know, like. If we're paid for doing a video, if we do take We're going to make sure we get it damn right. And yeah, we're gonna... and like they have to watch it. Yeah, they and check it. it. They so... check it to make sure it's as it should be. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, people are saying, yeah, uh, Game Deck did uh, look uh, quite a uh, lot like Shadowrun. I meant a while before that. I can't mm. remember. It was something else. I can't remember what its exact name was now. We definitely did something else that was possibly a spin off, possibly just a spiritually inspired by sort of a deal uh yeah shout out to pascal who gave us 28 euros and says would you believe it's both john and my cat's birthday today what so happy birthday to john uh, and uh, happy birthday dear john thanks for all the years of your amazing content and also happy birthday to my main cool my main coon girl minx who turned 11 today how beautiful oh dear amazing we're being hunted by uh, a bear uh, right, take out the leg. We just gotta take out the leg. And also we're being shot by laser, by plasma, because a cocking robot decided to join in. Oh, come on, just shoot the bear, not me! Shoot the bear, not me! Yeah, go for the- Oh, it's not going for me. No, fuck! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, maybe we just go to the other side of the river. Making it to flipping, uh, just making it up the flipping road to get to, uh, to get to flipping, uh, oh, that's, that's, yeah, that, that was more Yao Guai over there. Oh, cocky cow. Just making it up the road to make it to, that's the gutsy that just killed me. Good, 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 good. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Because the gut, why won't you just take on the bears, you dick? Yeah, shout out to uh, Acrospeed who gave us $5 and says hello from Matt's Flight Simulator stream. 
and happy birthday. I found your channel through the Euro Truck Simulator stream that you did with him ages ago. That was a fun stream. I enjoyed yes, that. That was very fun. Uh, Reese gave us $5. And Ow. says, hey, John and Claire, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm currently at work, but I snuck away for a moment to say hello, get a coffee or tea on me. Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you very, very much to get up on the rock, you damn idiot. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, and uh, Steve <laughs> gave us five pounds and says, happy birthday, John. I was literally eating mac and cheese and drinking a Coke just as Evil Claire was doing the same in the game. Very nice. Um... We've got a happy freaking birthday, John, from Beningen, who gave us at five euros and says, perfectly fine day for playing a 12-year-old game again, I see. Thanks for all the awesome playthroughs and shenanigans. Very good indeed. Last move, boy, who gave us five Canadian dollars and says, happy birthday, John. I just got here, but I wanted to get us in before going back to watch the stream from the start. Uh, very, very good indeed. Food Bouncer gave us uh, 10 pounds and says happy birthday John, thanks to you and Claire for all the hard work over the years. I've been a fan since your OG Total War run throughs via those organs! Very good. Uh, and Fuck you! <laughs> I'm just tossing mines at my enemies now. That's the new plan. That's the only plan I've got. For sure. Shout out to Jessica, uh, who gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, John, with a little heart. Uh, joke, why do Norwegian submarines have barcodes on? I don't know. Why do they have barcodes on? So they can Scandinavian. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Shout out to Adam, who gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, John, and love to Claire and Tabby. Is it weird that watching your videos is my way of meditating? I send this at 7.10 uh, Irish summertime. <laughs> which is the same as British time, and it's now 1 a.m. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, let's see. We have... Um, hmm. One message from Brian who says, uh, happy birthday and gave us 10 euros. I only managed to join the stream now. Thank you for all the years of entertainment and here's to many more. Funny to think that an article on your uh, YOLO Fallout 3 was what introduced me to MATN. That's true for a lot of people. That was true for a lot of people. So that mm. doesn't surprise me hugely. Uh, yeah, uh, Max uh, gave us five Canadian dollars and says, happy birthday to the best person to share a birthday month with. A uh, little birthday cake emoji there. Mm. I hope you, Claire and Tabby, all have a fantastic day. What? Tabby's had a great day because no one's bothered her all day. So she's probably feeling a bit peckish by now. Yeah, if she's woken up. But she would have come. Yeah, she'd know? come and meow if she decided mm. she was hungry. Uh, let's see. She wants um, to demand food, she'll demand food. Um, mm, 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 mm. Hey, who are you? Random cubby visitor. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Ghost Sport Jamie gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday from Portsmouth. <laughs> Clearly the program has never thought of John jumping at the window to try and get a better view. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and Vidotas gave us uh, $50. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, and they say, happy birthday, thank you so much for all the fantastic content. I've been a fan of yours for over a year, but you uh, have become my absolute favorite YouTuber. Now, John, go on holiday. Holiday? What is this? Does not compute. Uh -huh. Much like this robot is momentarily about to not do. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. That would explain a lot about why I'm getting so lost. I had the wrong quest marker set. <laughs> Good stuff. Excellent stuff right there. Oh, dear. The problem is I'm kind of out of ammo for everything at this point. There's there's the issue. I'm out of ammo for basically everything. Two things over there are blowing each other up, which is fine. That means they're not blowing me up. And whatever's left at the end of it will probably be maybe weak enough to snipe off. Super Mutant... Oh, Masters are sniping in with missile launchers. Concerning. There's Arafu. That was, that's what I was looking to see. Good, good, good. So that should be A-OK. -okay. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Bendrix who gave us uh, $5. 
uh, and uh, says this is the point where the multiverse collapses as all simultaneous birthday streams converge. Yep. Uh, Josh gave us $5 and says I was literally watching Fallout 3 is better than you think last night before I saw the stream announcement. Uh, so this has been very fun. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday to me as well. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Garnick who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, here's to hoping the cursed shenanigan, uh, the cursed shenanigans like working and the turrets keep happening. Shh. Very, very good. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Shout out to Ian who gave us uh, 10 pounds and says I finally caught up with the stream after about two and a half hours on two times speed. Happy birthday, John loving the Fallout 3 as kill everything. Oh, loving fuck this you. since Fallout 3 kill everything was the first series of yours that I watched. There you go. Uh, what time is it for us guys? It's 1am right now. It uh, is, so you know. Uh, Fuck you! Stop killing me, stupid damn bears! Fats defense will save me. Fats defense will save me. Stop, fats defense. Okay, we've crippled a leg. That's it, run. If if leg crippled, run. That's it, that's good enough. That's that's fine, that should keep him off my back. He shouldn't be able to do a jumping attack if he's, uh, if he's got a crippled leg. Yeah, that's it. All, that's all I need. I just need one crippled leg. And he will not be able to do a thing to me going forward. Screw you. So we'll just loop around. Hit Arafu. And... Hope. Hope is the best weapon of all. When you're out of every other weapon anyway. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, shout out to Lord Snow, who gave us five uh, euros and says, Happy birthday, John, and salutations to Claire and Tabby. I love your channel and countless hours of entertainment and the countless hours of entertainment that you bring us. Uh, and I hope for many more. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Alexandra gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Looking forward to another great year of content. Hang on, All the love to Claire for reading the Super Chats every stream and some pets for Tabby. Now what the hell are you doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, Hornet... Honest Tortilla gave us uh, 20 euros. That's an amazing name. Uh, Happy well, birthday, John. I mean... It's my sister's birthday today as well, and we're both enjoying your stream. Keep up. Keep on keeping on with the great content. Very, very good. Uh, oh, interesting from Austin, uh, who gave us five pound, five dollars. Sorry, I am very excited for CK3, but I'm also worried. Do you think you it'll be good from launch, or are we going to have to wait uh, for tons of DLC to come out? I think compared to Imperator, it'll be, it looks like it's going to be much more, like, in-depth from launch. Mm. I think there's, a, I think, I've, I've got a good feeling about it. I, I think it's going to, I think it's going to not disappoint people in the way Imperator did some people. I don't think it's going to be a, hey, we need to rethink, like, you know, we need to cancel the DLC plans and spend four months redoing the core systems. I do not think that's where we're going to be at all. Uh, yeah, and shout out to, uh, I think, well, anyway, the, the, the username is in, in Japanese uh, characters. And uh, the, Google tells me it's approximately Sean. Uh, so I'm sorry if that's super wrong or it's Sean is, is, is short. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. very sorry. Uh, but they gave us ten dollars and says I and say I've been rewatching your Fallout runs to help me oh, sleep since on. New Vegas Kill Everything started. Uh, get some it's more nice Jaffa cakes friendly. for your jam covered faces. Uh, you beautiful British beauties. Oh, thank you. Everyone's been very polite. Everyone's been very flirty with me today. It's great. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's, it's greatly you're my adorable. birthday. I like uh, this birthday thing. This is fantastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, Peter gave us a five pounds and says, John, if evil John had beaten good John, what would he have said? I suspect the evil mirror universe John will return in triumph. I, I, I it's ridiculous. So, it's I a con it's so. a concept that's not even worth considering. Uh, Bruxus gave us five dollars and says, uh, happy birthday, John. Uh, maybe, uh, if receiving huge sums of free money from fans, uh, is annoying to you, you can turn off Super Chat. Shh. Claire, you're amazing. I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm... I'm just, Look, I just, I just like Claire extreme. to be happy. You're... I just like Claire to be not stressed out. You all are being extremely, extremely generous, but I also want to object 
to the idea of free money. We've both been working for nine hours plus without a break, mm. <laughs> a proper break, you know, like yes. we had a short one, but like, you know, we work really hard and we're glad that you'll like it. But uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see, Brian gave us uh, five euros and says, I'm so happy that my favorite YouTuber has a birthday so close to mine. It makes these streams a fantastic her early birthday present for me. Oh, so good. That is lovely. Uh, 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 let's see. <laughs> Mark gave us ten dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Your video on how Fallout 3 was better than you think is the reason I bought you? it. I'm so glad I did. It changed my gaming experience forever. Now I own one, two, uh, three New Vegas and four. Awesome. That's a lot of fallout right there. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's at like 6 million views, that video now, which is crazy. Wow. Just amazing. crazy. Uh, amazing, Mark, amazing. Diathane. Uh, Diathane gave hey, Diathane. us $5. Hey, Diathane. Uh, gave us $5 and says, still hanging out in the evil stream. And I'm sad How's to say it's just gone? a thumbnail. I have the comments to myself. Evil love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh... Amazing. And actually, I know we've got more messages from Diathane later. Yeah, Diathane gave us uh, $50. Thank you so much, Diathane. It was always extremely generous. Uh, and says, I was gone for almost two hours to pick up my wife from work, and it's still birthday time. I blame this stream for reinstalling Fallout 3 and going mod happy yet again. Oh, amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, very, very good indeed. Uh, Rich Gaming gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, you're one of the main reasons why I love gaming so much. And here's to many more years of many true nerds. Uh, let's see, we've got somebody who needs to go. So, uh, shout out to Nicole who gave us seven Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, Happy birthday from my husband whose birthday it also is. Uh, please say hi to <clears throat> Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nick. Yay! Uh, awesome. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see, Zane gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you guys for providing hours of entertainment. I was wondering if you heard about the musical Hades Town. It's about the tale of Orpheus and you really see you might enjoy it. You know, I mentioned this to Claire. That I'm not sure how on earth you stretch that out to a full musical, given it's a, it's a very simple story. Not much happens in it. I don't know. Ow, you dicks. Stop shooting me. Um, I... We could ask. I'm pretty sure Jen has seen it. So yeah. we could ask her. We could ask her. But, um... Mm, mm, I think they just Ghost incorporate impact. other myth into it. They'd have to. There's, yeah. there's, there's, it's a very simple, basic myth. There's not much going on in it. Yeah, and Jennifer gave us $5 and says, uh, John, did you know that Dr. Zimmer is or was the head uh, of SRB in Fallout 4? And that he... Crash! John, did you know that Dr. Zimmer is or was the head of the SRB in Fallout 4 and that he, Harness, and Pinkerton are since? Also, Victoria is a railroad member. Yeah, I'm aware of Victoria's statements and I know that Zimmer was mentioned in Fallout 4. I mean, it would be, it would be very strange if he, uh, fuck after that walk again. Mm -hmm. Fuck's sake, Fallout 3. Chill out, seriously, how many, come how on. Many, uh, how many crashes by 13, now? 13, lucky 13. Maybe. Uh, Urban Cohort gave us a $6.66 and says, I lied earlier, I wasn't evil Urban, it was actual Urban, evil Urban Cohort <clears throat> is the much inferior Praetorian Cohort and I ended them years ago. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, Nikolai gave us a thousand rubles and says, Happy birthday, Grumpy Murder John. Thanks for the years of cool and engaging content. Take care. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, we've got uh, 50 Polish Zloty from Faru <clears throat> who says, Happy birthday. I've been watching you for ages. Now at last I can support the channel. Thank you for hours of entertainment. Your content has helped me through some really hard times. Uh, lots of love. Lots of love for both of you. Aww. Uh, there you go. Um, Jared gave us uh, five Australian dollars and says, These are not game crashes, they are Dragon Brace. Alternate John is using Wasteland Numidium. <laughs> there you go. Uh, happy birthday from Joseph, who gave us $10. Says, My sister recently rescued a kitten. <sighs> 
She, she, she picked him up on the side of the road. You she and her husband nursed him back to health. And now Bucky is part of the family. I'll message pictures to Claire. Amazing. Bucky, what a good name. That's a cute <laughs> name. <laughs> Look, it's a lot of talking. As it you is. very well know. I'm aware, yes. Dear, as you very well know. And of course, yes, this uh, is the secret back entrance to the Moresti service tunnel. Which is very bloody convenient. I think this might be... <laughs> <coughs> uh, amazing. Uh, let's... Uh, sorry, I will. I, I need to do uh, pet pictures as well. There's, there's, there's a lot of them and they're extremely cute. I need to do that as well. Uh, so, uh, I... Oh my god, Johnny and the Lovelies. That's so cute. Uh, let's... Uh, that girl with the coffee, one of our new mods, uh, um, welcome and thank you very much for being here. Uh, that girl with the coffee gave us 15 euros uh, and says, I feel left out. Happy birthday and hi, I started watching at your 40k sub special Fading Hearts and only heard a fallout through you. Being a mod four years later shows your impact. Sorry, Claire. Amazing. Love it. Uh, absolutely don't say sorry. Uh, <laughs> Especially since you're still here, Mira. She says, congrats, we're at 10 hours. Yay! The Beard Phantom gave us $20 and says, happy birthday, John. It was fun to watch you revisit the series that archaeologists centuries from now will believe to be non-fiction. <laughs> Great. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <clears throat> Not wrong, though. Uh, Great Morality gave us five bucks and says, sadly, I can't join the drinking game because I'm quote, working, and that would be against, quote, company policy and possibly, quote, the law. Uh, <laughs> seems legit, seems legit. Dear, oh dear. Whoa, uh, shout whoa, out to Kay down. Grimm, who gave us $100. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, uh, thank, thank you. you uh, so much for that and for your patience, uh, because this was a while back. <laughs> Uh, they say happy birthday, John. Thanks for all the fun over the years. I've been watching uh, since just after New Vegas YOLO. Recently, your videos has been have been helping me de-stress while raising my puppy, Steve. I've tweeted Claire some pictures of him. Also, is Star Wars Squadron on <clears throat> Star Wars Squadrons on your radar? Yes. I don't know whether I might well be terrible at it, but yes, the answer is yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Welcome to our home. Uh, Sir Flim Flam gave us five dollars. Amazing name. Wait. Sir Flim Flam says, "I just popped in before work to say happy birthday, John. I've been watching Good. you for more years I. than I realized, and you've always kept me entertained." Mm. Very, very good Most indeed. Excellent. Oh, amazing. More people saying uh, when they started watching. Zach gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been a fan since 2013. And you've always been a great creator. I can't wait for the next Wild Fallout playthrough. <laughs> That's coming. we coming up very, very soon indeed. And yes, now we're back going back to uh, early to mid game quests. But I'm uh, obviously now uh, of a... Uh, oh, uh oh did I get seen doing that? I really hope not, because that was a lot of stealing. But now I've got, like, Charisma 10 and Speech 100. I can basically speech check my way through everything, which is good. Yeah, shout out to Ryan the Rabbit, Rancorous, uh, Rambling, uh, Regent, uh, and uh, who gave us $5. Says, I would uh, tell you to have a happy birthday, but I'm not really the kind to give orders, so have whatever kind of birthday that you want today, John. Oh, sweet. Uh, Taolan gave us five dollars and says, uh, Smashy Claire, more like Crashy Claire. It's not your fault, Claire. 100% John's fault for not properly modding, patching, uh, Fallout 3 to run stable on stream. It's weird. Like, I think it is actually the interaction with OBS, because oh, normally when I record bits of this for us, it's well, nowhere near not, this bad. We've never done this on stream before, have we? I don't believe so, no. Yeah, so that would be why we didn't know. Uh, that would be why we did not know. Uh, Red Fox uh, gave us, oh my god, 150 Australian dollars. Uh, thank you so, so much. Wow. It's, it doesn't stop, does it, Claire? No, it doesn't. Yay! Uh, uh, my goodness, thank you, Red Fox. G'day, John. I can't stay as my road train wants to go scrub. Uh, have a drink on me and a pleasant birthday. I we have several drinks on I that. Thank you. Wow. Well, yes. Oh my God. Uh, Odd Lovely gave us five dollars yeah. and says, "I wish I could give you a big pile I of dough, but I just want to give you something for your birthday. Happy birthday to you and hugs to you both." 
thank you so much. And uh, do you know Agreed. anything I, uh, is yeah. so, so helpful and it's amazing sick. already. So thank you. Um, Shane, uh, Shane gave us $50. <laughs> My God, thank you. Yes, uh, Shane gave us $50 yes, and says, Claire, congrats on another year uh, not replacing John with a robot clone, reprogramming the clone to join the cult of Claire. Oh, Happy okay. survival day, John. Shh. You'll never get a better of you. Keep up the great work. Tabby, the real producer of MATN. She is, you know. Also, I forgot that I should have done this quest <laughs> rather than the game because I forgot this quest yielded the shish kebab. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So we can finally get you a flaming sword. Yes! Flaming sword, flaming sword, flaming sword of fire. Not this way, though. Other way. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Rafilo gave us a five pounds and says, I discovered you last week. Oh, wow. Your new Vegas... Uh, I've been binging your new Vegas content for four days straight. Happy birthday and thanks for quarantine entertaining. Sweet. Oh, uh, this is so much fun hearing about when people have found out That's about the channel. That's super cute. Oh, and this is very exciting. Alex gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I can't stick around because I'm prepping to defend my master's thesis, but I wanted to wish you the best on your special day. Excellent. Well, thank good luck with your master's thesis and everything. I mean, they've there. probably done it by now. They pro hopefully, yes. Uh, I did my thesis a bit <laughs> last minute. Uh, Tom uh, gave Ow. us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Your content has helped me through many a dark time and it never fails to put a smile on my face. Have a great stream. I think we've been having a really good stream so far. Yes, indeed. Uh, and Jeff gave us five dollars also and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope today was filled with wonderful new memories with tasty food and a drink or two. Uh, glad you made it around the sun one more time. Shh. Well, we've, uh, we've had nice food, like, uh, last night, and uh, probably we'll end up, at this point, having a drink tomorrow, because it's, yes. it's a bit too late now for us. bit late for that. Uh, and we do have uh, brownies in the f fridge, so, yes. you know. I do, we do have some little <clears throat> microwave fridge, so we can have a little hot meal later if we want it. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Roshidas, uh, who uh, gave us $10. It says, I need a dance with your mom, dance with your mom, <laughs> to clip. So I can just cheer I'm myself up from my technically superior forgetting the process we've done for four months. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Uh, yes, indeed. Happy birthday, grumpy murder cat. <laughs> uh, amazing. Good stuff. Uh, Adam gave us a 200 a check. Hey. <laughs> I'd like to see you do this, you know? Uh-huh. I'd like to see you play Fallout 3. Would you like yeah, to swap? That's fair, no. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, so it is... Uh, yes. Uh, Adam gave us 200 Czech Karunas. Uh, and says, uh, another birthday gift from the Czech Republic, John. Sieshno uh, Nilepsi. Uh, and thanks for all the content. Claire, you did a great job reading it last time. I'll appreciate it if you give it another try. I can't promise it was good this time. <coughs> Because I don't remember how I did it earlier. My God. Okay. okay. <clears throat> you, you talk a bit. <coughs> okay. Motorcycle gas tank, lawnmower blade, uh, motorcycle mm -hmm. handle. I know you can get the motorcycle mm -hmm. stuff from Springfield. So I see pilot light and motorcycle blade. Right. And I, I was saving up them no, this whole time. But I forget that I forgot. And Ah, there we go. After a certain amount of time, you can just start lying. Like, so I can just start lying about... Uh, yeah, I can just start lying to Moira about everything. Which is great. There we go. First, first chapter. First chapter is done. Maya lurks. I'll just lie to you about that. So that's going to be spectacular. Let's talk about the Maya lurks. And yeah, you need to, you need to wait a bit of time. Otherwise, you just obviously won't believe it. Uh, <clears> but uh, for sale, show me your miscellaneous. And I need lawnmower blade. And, ah, she doesn't have it. I, I've been carrying her around for large parts of the game. But then I just sort of uh, abandoned it. Uh, so I need to find a lawnmower. Obviously, the lawnmower is around various houses. I think I saw one in the tunnels that lead to... Maybe that's where I got the original. Ooh, we'll have to find... We'll have to find out how. Uh, and pilot light is literally any oven, so there'll be ovens all over the place. That will not be a problem. Okay. It's... it's. I'm gonna... Um, that's it. We're making a flaming sword. I'm making a flame. I'm not not making a flaming sword, obviously. Well, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm. In fact, my own house probably has a pilot light, so my own house comes with a kitchen. So therefore, I wouldn't even need to steal. Even better. 
Uh, sorry, I'm just needing to grab all of the new super chats. Ah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Uh... When I say that, my house doesn't actually come with an oven. Because it just comes with a fridge and a sink. It doesn't actually come with an oven. Okay. But the restaurant down the hill, they've presumably got an oven. Because they're a restaurant. One would hope. I mean, you know, that, that, that seems to, like, you know, vaguely scan to me. But the uh, well, they're they're a scavengy food shop. Whether they're actually a proper, whether they're actually a proper kitchen or not is a question. Or oh, they might once again only have, uh, yeah, a fridge and a thing, but no actual oven. Gosh darn. Okay, the one thing I do know, I absolutely definitely know where I can get is the whole point. As I mentioned, actually, uh, Springvale School does have a bunch of stuff around the back of it. And I think Springvale... Springvale's got houses. Houses would normally have at least... There'd be, there'd be like an oven or a lawnmower in one of these. An oven or a lawnmower around somewhere in this place. I get the feeling Springvale's specifically designed to give you all this stuff. So we've just got to find the, uh, the right thing. The right place. The right one where there is an oven. The lawnmower at the back. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Mitchell Thompson, who's just become a channel member. So uh, welcome, and welcome, thank you very welcome. much for that. Uh, and then a uh, shout out to Gray Fox, who gave us 10 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope you've had an amazing day. Thank you for all the amazing videos over the years and some party hats, which is all fun. Hey, party uh, hat. Party hat. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Roy, who gave us five pounds. And says, John, you're amazing. I'm loving this stream. And Claire, you're working so hard. Well done for all of your work, both of you. All hail Tabby. Tabby all hail Tabby. Great. Right, got the pilot um, light from Silvers. Mm -hmm. Now I just need a, a lawnmower spawn. And I know I can get the gap, the motorcycle stuff from around the back of the school. That's not too tricky at all. And do I have any of this? Uh, do not put the pilot light into it. I actually, I literally picked up a blade. I think I will save this so I can make a shish kebab later. And then I didn't. Then instead I forgot about it. Okay. I need to pee. Excellent. Claire's, Claire's having a bathroom break, which is very reasonable. Yeah, I mean, somebody was saying we have bladders of steel. You've only had one break. I'm yeah. Like, this is my third. Mm-hmm. Now, where is the... Yeah, I've already... I killed two people the last time I passed through here. There might be a sniper up top, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I see over there. Oh, someone's... Someone's throwing grenades. Okay, it's you. Well, that's fine. If you want to throw a grenade at me, I will... Okay, if you can take two flipping these guys to the face, honestly, I'm impressed. Because that's, that's better than the Enclave could do. So you could excuse the flip out of me. Now, naff off. All right, I'm going to be needing... I'm going to be needing these cans back. Because I'm desperately low on stuff that's not the stuff I actually need. So that's fine. Uh, where is that motorcycle? It's right here, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. So... Uh, there's the motorcycle gas. Oh, flip, I could have sworn the... The thing was here as well. Is it not? I thought the thing was here as well. Okay, wait, wait, brain, engage brain, figure out thing. Also, check for... Check for lawnmower because school, so possibly maintenance or something. Uh, I know there's gardens in minefield, but I also, my brain is saying, hey, John, remember that, uh, remember that, uh, yeah, around the corner from Duckoff's place where I killed some, uh, some raiders. They had a bunch of stuff, didn't they, John? And they think, oh, that's cocky, oh, screw you. Why am I this side of Duckoff's place? I don't even want to be this, I don't even want to, I, I wanted to be at the front of Duckoff's place. I want to be at the front. I don't know why you would have put me around the back over here. Seriously, guys, just just leave me alone. Leave me alone, Enclave. I'm done. I'm done. Peace. Ceasefire. All right. I've killed your leader. A lot of people. How about we just let bygones be flipping bygones? And that person's limbs are now stretching through the world because that that happens on occasion. Now you guys have you guys have grown back, which is quite frankly impressive under the circumstances. So. You know what? I'm I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. And now you've been nuked. 
So I hope you're really happy about the bad decisions you made. No, all yours. Thank you. Claire is offering me a little chocky bite, but I've decided no, to No, I'm suck. offering you the last Rolo. Literally. Effectively. It's the last thing in the bag. I love you. It's not literally the last Rolo, because it's not a Rolo. Oh my god, it's like a worm Not literally last Rolo. I'm and a I... pedant. My mm. brain is telling me that this place was a place for a lawnmower, a lawnmower thing, or a gas pedal thing. Where else have I seen one? Because I know I saw one. Also, I missed a cover of copy of Ducker Cover that was right here mm -hmm. last time I passed through. So that's no. I, I, my brain is completely, completely lying to me. Hundred percent. Oh well. Right. Minefield is full of gardens. I know. I know there's a thing there. Okay, so that's definitely, definitely. I don't know where Minefield is anymore because it's no longer on my map. <laughs> because I, I... There it is! It is on the thing. Yay, I can go from Rusty Train Yard to Minefield and then try not to get exploded if at all possible. So that's going to be, that's going to be fine. And yes, everything's beautiful so far. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, the first attempt who gave us five dollars and says, Hey John, did you hear that Carrion had to change their app icon on the switch? Uh, just look up the original and you'll see why I tried to do that. I think and it was a bit, wasn't it a bit too vaginary? Maybe. I think it I might have been know. a bit too vaginary. Uh, I do not know, but if anybody, yeah, uh, I've been trying to Google it and couldn't find it, but. Uh, that does sound like it probably was hilarious. I yes. think the problem was excessively vaginary. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Jack Survival Wolf, who gave us uh, £10.69, nice, uh, and <laughs> says, Nice, I just got home from work and you're still streaming. I'm looking forward to watching the entire stream and now that I'm home. It's the best way for you to spend your birthday. Definitely not clone, John. A hundred percent. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, totally Evil, and by the way, Evil John was not a clone. Evil John was the superior <laughs> original Better John, who we're very glad is dead now. But uh, Tony the Not Tiger gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday to the YouTuber I've spent more hours watching than probably any other, and I still wish I'd spend more. Uh, cheers to your good health and many more years of amazing content and a little birthday cake oh, emoji. Ow. Uh, thank you, that's adorable. Jake gave us $20 and says, happy birthday, John. Hi, Claire. My fiance and I are going to be moving from one wasteland to another, uh, Commonwealth to Appalachia in two days. Wow. I love the hard work you two put into the channel and into the community. Uh, thank you so much and uh, good luck for your move. It's always a nightmare, but good luck uh, for it anyway. And I hope uh, your, new, uh, your new place is lovely. Uh, there we go. Uh, Christopher gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. May there be many more and may each one be better than the last. Thank Aww. you for your many informative tutorials on how vehicles and physics don't work. I, I, I always enjoy doing a tutorial for a thing I don't know anything about. It yes, cheers me course. up no end. Uh, Mike gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Don't go spending it all in one place. <laughs> Uh, Noctur Nocturnal Wiggler gave us five dollars. Says uh, you may not be a nurse, but uh, I am, and you improve my life. So therefore, you improve the lives of all my patients. Thank you, John and Claire. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank I you like so. That. That's lovely. So much. Okay, so this is minefield. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. And the sniper, I believe, uh, Arkansas never goes for you. He just goes for uh, vehicles you're standing nearby. Uh, if they can, yeah. So that's that big going to explode. And shout out to uh, Mira, who's been modding for a super long time on her first day. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and she's going to bed now. Yay! Which fair a bloody enough. Good call, uh, good thank call, you yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, and shout out to Philip, who gave us uh, seven Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, or rather, sorry, six ninety Canadian dollars. Nice. Um, uh, and says medieval illuminations of the wound in the side of Jesus from the sphere of Longinus uh, are also suspiciously vagina ray. It's fair enough. Thing uh, to explode. Oh. And here we go. Lawnmower's got to be. Lawnmower blade! Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the blade. That means I need just one more thing. 
I need the um, I need the motorcycle gas. Uh, no, the motorcycle uh, handle thing. Now, if there's any motorcycles in this town, they might yield it. Chat, I I open the floor to you. If you know a guaranteed spawn location that's nice and easy for a motorcycle handbrake, I I will I would very gladly take it. I am gonna keep an eye on chat and see what they say. Uh, in the meantime, shout out to Kildo who gave us ten dollars. Says happy birthday, John! I can't believe I made the live stream after work. I've been watching for a long time, so keep it up. I'm wishing, I am wishing everyone well in 2020. Please stay safe. Uh, we thank will you so much. Do what we can, hopefully. Uh, Robert says, "Holy moly! First live stream I ever catch, and it's your birthday! Happy birthday!" Thank you for all the great content, and they gave us $25. Oh, thank uh, you so very, very so much. much indeed. Uh, Jared McMahon gave us 25 Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, just uh, watching before work starts, but I wanted to give you support. Uh, also, how much would I need to give on Patreon for you to adopt a, di a dinner plate sides huntsman spider? Yes, they exist and treat it like tabby. Nope, not happening. Not happening. Not it would thing. scare the dog. Uh, okay, you literally just walked past it at the school, John. It's right next to where you found the gas tank in Springvale. I thought it was, but school. I didn't see it. Ah, uh, yeah. Apparently you walked right past it, which makes sense. Okay, back to Springvale School. There's back also some in school. Murder Pass. Well, I'm not going into cocking Murder Pass. Yeah, it did sound like something you might not want but to do. You know, I, my brain said those the two components for the motorcycle are both located in Springvale School, next to each other. Alright, my brain said that. Then... Okay... Grizzly Diner for the tank in a handbrake. Grizzly Diner. Oh, Grizzly Diner. I haven't been to Grizzly Diner in this place, but it's a very long way north. Okay, right next to where I was. That's a tyre. That's not a thing. Help me out, Claire. Why am I not seeing it? What's it look like? Like, well, a, what are we looking like the handle. The handle thing of a motorcycle. Okay. The handle brake. The gas tank was right here. They said you walked right past it. It was right there. Well, you keep moving super fast. I can't actually... They said I walked right past it. Oh! There it is. <laughs> it's by the mo it was by the motorcycle. I mean, I don't know. I think it, I was looking for something bigger than that. Too. I was I was looking for something bigger than that, actually, yes. Oh, uh, you kicked it under the bike, apparently. That would explain a bit, yes. That would explain some stuff. Thank you. Okay, that's it. We can now have a flaming sword of justice. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you knocked it with the tyre, and now it's really close to the motorcycle. It's really small. Thank you, everybody. Come on, let me get back to Megaton. If I had to make it on you dicks. <laughs> oh my god, everybody is uh, over the fact that you literally kicked it. Uh, shout out to Games Decoded, who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, Sean gave us $5 and uh, says, uh, Maybe a science weapons only run? Hey, friends. Science uh, That might be a little bit on the easy side. Science, like, once you get it going, the energy weapon, the enemy energy class is generally very, very good. Like, exceptionally strong. Uh, shout out to Puncher Joe, who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, and then somebody else, uh, the username somebody else gave us £50. So thank you so much. Uh, and says, John, your channel is my favourite on YouTube because it's so wholesome, genuinely hilarious and never mean-spirited. You and your channel have gotten me through uh, so much and I am so grateful. Love you all and never Love stop being going. amazing. That's that's all we want. That's, that's, that's the main thing I want, really. Uh, thank you so, so much. One uh, sheesh kebab! Yes! Now, Claire, you <clears> have <throat> a uh, flaming sword of justice. Nice. It's low condition, so it does 23, but it also causes the enemy to lose damage can, every time. Can you fix it, though? <gasps> it's so beautiful! It's literally on fire, yeah. Yay! It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I'm crackling? Uh, yes, the that's your, your energy power armor. Oh, that's so cool because uh, you know because of because uh, because uh, I'm a. Uh... You're kind of right now. You're you're kind of combining the four elements, which are electricity, fire, metal, and birthdays. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. 
Yeah. You so see. what you're, you're like the Avatar. I'm the Avatar. You're the yes, Avatar. I'm the yes. Fallout 3 Avatar. You're, you are the Fallout 3 Avatar right uh, now. I was literally gonna say uh, that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm getting distracted by chat. Um, I was literally gonna say that uh, I was a cyanic. I was a cyanic, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, my armor was uh, going glittery, glittery, uh, because I'm a cyanic. Because you put me in the thing first, and therefore I'm cool and you're not. Mm -hmm. uh, Can't believe that you were the cyanic in XCOM. I'm never. It's it's, it's what bullshit. Yeah, I was working when that happened, and I heard John be really upset. Yeah, that me. Other no, awesome. not Claire. Yeah, it was awesome. And then even worse, you didn't betray humanity in Doom as all, yeah, which I was, was really hoping was, was be, really yeah. hoping was what was going to happen after that point. Oh my God, Zephy says you're sparkling because you're shockingly wonderful, and we love you. Hashtag cult of Claire. Oh. So there you go. Uh, everything was great until the birthday nation attack, just says Loki, that's, hey, that's screw very you, funny God if say. you know Avatar. Uh, yes indeed, we are still flipping and going, James. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sir Leet gave us uh, $5 and uh, says, you've been in my ear all day at work. Thank you for all of your endless enthusiasm and comedy. Happy birthday, you glorious numpty. <laughs> People are wondering why I've got so little money. It's because I keep spending it on mini nukes and missiles and shit. It's great. Yeah, because those are awesome. Yeah, those are pretty uh, awesome. Our Rolf gave us 20 Norwegian kroner and says, Happy birthday, my dude. Love from Norway. Uh, Joshua gave us 5 uh, euros and says, Don't forget your cocktails. You guys earned it. Uh, feel free to not read my other super chats. If there are any left, you're doing great, Claire. Uh, you know, at this point, one will not make a huge difference. <laughs> Uh, C. Phillips gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I just finished watching Fallout 3 Kill Everything. And it inspired me to try it again. Love the pair of you. It's good shit. It's some good stuff right there. Uh, yeah, we've got five euros. Bring it, mole rats. <laughs> we've got five euros from a balaclava who says, Happy birthday, John. With many exclamation marks. Yay. More exclamation marks means better. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chaos Bones uh, says, what is this currency? Fun times, what is this currency? Oh, uh, fun Google new currency. Google currencies with Claire. No, it's not new. I just didn't remember what it was. Uh, Mr. Chaos Bones gave us uh, 6.66 um, Bulgarian lev. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it says, holy crap, eight hours now it's ten. Uh, you guys keep amazing me with your dedication to entertaining us. Keep going on. Uh, keep on keeping on. I hope this makes up for my ad block. It really, really, really it does. does. It really does, I promise. Uh, Javron, Javron, Javron uh, gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Hi, Tabby and Claire. I can't believe it's been a year since the Factorio live stream. Uh, thank you for years of entertainment and hope you're all doing well. Spectacular. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Steven gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Thanks for all the content. I look forward to your videos every week and looking forward to another year of content." Uh, very, very good. Thank I've you. I've got. We've already. The, 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 it's, it feels terrifying. Like this next year is already being booked up between like finally wanting to get to Dragon Age, Vampire into Vampire Two. Crusader Kings 3 will probably have more than one playthrough. Uh, it, it, it's terrifying how much we're already filling up the next year, the next year's schedule. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got so many. Uh, shout out to uh, Smells Like Tim Spirit. Hello. Yay. Uh, gave us five Canadian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Gla glad to partake of this stream. You and Sick Phil are always a riot and good for my heart. I hope you've been enjoying your day. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I've been uh, enjoying it more than poor Claire. Yeah. Uh, Rue gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, James gave us five pounds and says I'm tired after DMing an epic four-hour D&D combat session, uh, so I'll have to catch this later. I just wanted to drop in and say happy birthday. Bring on Crusader Kings three. <laughs> okay, fight for the ages here. It's 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 the person. Oh bloody hell! It's it's people. It's it's they've got missile launchers and I've got a flaming sword. Ow! Get okay, the missile launcher one. 
Yeah, fair <laughs> I thought I could flank the missile launcher, but they had other people with guns off to one side. That makes sense. And in a world that uses damage resistance, not damage threshold, it's a lot harder to tank even mid to low level enemies. Yeah, shout out to Ron, who gave us five Australian dollars and says happy birthday. Uh, Hake, uh, Hake, I think, gave us uh, 50 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. So many good dollars. Uh, and says happy birthday, John. Uh, we've got three pounds from Bro, who says the teddy bear is still around. <laughs> See, Murano gave us ten dollars and has this wonderful birthday live stream made possible in part by Claire, called of Claire. Yep, story checks out. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kenya Magic Chemistry gave us five dollars and says, uh, "Happy birthday, John! I found out um, Fallout New Vegas snow kill." When attempting to do the Doctor oh, uh, pacifist run, and I've been watching ever since. I love you too, Claire. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, a pen for colours uh, gave us uh, 20 euros. It says, happy birthday, John. I've been watching you for many years now. Thank you very much uh, for all those years. And uh, bisous de France. So kisses from France. Aww. That's very, very lovely. Uh, oh, that's fun. Uh, Hexamite. Gave us $50. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Hexamite, who says, uh, Many a true nut with lunch and dinner. In oh, <laughs> Did you see that kill? That no, was amazing. No, I was working, John. So am I, by being killed, by being shot off my feet by a missile launcher. Amazing. So, as I was saying, yeah. Hexamite gave us $50. Thank you very much, Hexamite. I was listening. I was being shot at the same time. I can uh, be shot and think at the same time. Can you, though? Yes. Uh, Hexamite says, uh, Many a true nerd with lunch and dinner. It must be a special occasion, though. I have no idea what it could be. I don't know. It's probably Christmas. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Gus gave us $5 and says, Sing it, John. Power Rangers in space was one of my favorites. Yeah. It's it's, it does, it's not the best. It's, it's got a fun theme to it. It's not the best. I, I, if I, I, I would say Dino Thunder and Zeo were both better. You mean like the songs or the Yeah, show? The, the theme songs. Yeah. The theme songs. Though Dino Thunder was also the best series in general. Fight me. Of course. Dino Thunder was the best one. Uh, shout out to Twisted Venom who gave us uh, five, five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, Patrick gave us five Canadian dollars uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. Thanks for your videos. They've uh, helped me through some pretty tough and dark times. Much love from Canada. Oh, much love to Canada as well. Much uh, my family's yes, from there. Indeed. Uh, Soul, uh, Soul Mischief gave us two pounds and says, uh, "Will you know anyone, John? A birthday gnoming?" <laughs> we've we've done some birthday gnoming already. A few people yeah. have definitely been gnomed. Though sadly, just because the game does have no choice but to start um, despawning items after you start throwing too many out in the world, just because otherwise it would really clog up the engine. Sadly, I think two gnomes have been lost unto us. Uh, Tragically. Very, very sad. Tragically lost gnomes. Uh, yes, indeed. Daniel gave us $20 and says, John, I rewatched some of the Fallout New Vegas series and was wondering, um, was wondering why you don't play the slots. With high luck, you can get a 100% prize. Uh, so when you are near the limit in casinos, you can get uh, five thousand ish more caps per casino. I'm like ninety percent. You just said, why don't you play the sluts? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, John. Why don't Fuck you? Fuck you. It's two a.m. <laughs> why don't Why don't I play the sluts? It's because I I I I I respect and value you, Claire. That's why I don't play the sluts. Uh, I I'm just so done right I just now. think it's a more I just think a uh, blackjack's a more fun game than just uh, using the slot machines to be honest. And we got ourselves a handful of little <gasps> Ow! What the cock was that? Uh your comeuppance? Uh, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know what just attacked me, because I'm just going into some basic ghouls. Uh yeah, shout out to Iris who gave us five dollars and Oh shit, five. it's a reaver, I'm dead. <laughs> Shout out to Iris who gave us five dollars and says hi John, Claire, and Tabby. I'm absolutely loving this long live stream. Yay! An extra yay for John's birthday. Here's hoping you have the best day. Yay! Best day. Uh, Zach gave us five dollars and says I'm. Uh, nope, I have read that one before because they had to leave. 
uh, who is Alex, uh, gave us $5 and says, my goodness, I can't believe this stream is still going. Happy birthday, John. Uh, Clag gave us five euros and says, happy birthday, John. I can finally send in super chats. Yay. Yay. Uh, insane guy gave us five pounds and says, happy getting younger day, John. Uh, Coach Lunis Shallow of Escargo gave us two dollars and says happy birthday John and good luck Claire. <laughs> Thank you, need that. Uh, Throin gave us five, uh, ten pounds. Says uh, hi John and Claire. I've never ever donated to a stream before. I uh, couldn't uh, pick a better recipient. Thank you so much for every minute, every second. Truly one of the best creator teams on YouTube. Oh, that's very that's sweet. So sweet. I like that. Uh, thank you. Uh, be a better fistful of goth nogs. Excellent, excellent thing going on there. Uh, they gave us five uh, pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been watching since New Vegas Kill Everything run. Uh, since that started many, many years ago, thank you for the amazing content. I've got an idea, by the way. Yes. How about you let me take over that for a second and you go yeah. feed Tibby Tips? Yes. Because it's quite late for poor little Tibby Tips. Uh, so I think oh. you should let me take over for a second yes. while okay. Tibby Tips gets well. some dinner. See, that's how you know I'm the real good John, because I want to make sure TV Tips gets their ding dings. No, I think even Evil John cares about that. That's probably fair. Uh, yeah, just go, I've just been going in order now. Yes! I've been just, just, uh... For, for, wait, what, Well, what? from the start, I've deleted them when oh, I'm done with them. excellent! So that I don't get confused. Ex Claire's got a system and everything. Yes. This is amazing. Normally, my system is a lot more complicated, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Am okay. I just, if I just delete all of these, does that mean we're done? Control. John. I'm not allowed to do that. Claire, Claire's... John's taking over. It's time for John. Why don't you actually read them? Because they keep coming. Thank you very much to Daniel. He said, happy birthday to John. Been watching since I was in college. You're basically the only gaming YouTuber. I still want to keep up the good work. Ah, oh, excellent. It's good. It's, you don't, you don't want to hang around the channel of that nerd cubed guy. All right, you just... You just don't. Definitely, definitely a bad idea. Thank you to Moose Psychology. He said, happy birthday. Gave five Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Like the second best dollars in the world. Give or take. He said, happy birthday. I've had a copy of the Fallout Brother of Sill on PS2 recently. When it's anything good about it, it makes 76 look like a masterpiece. And it had Link, it had uh, Limp Biscuit on the soundtrack, which is which is all you need to know. To Gavin Hill, who gave us five years old, said happy birthday, John. I've been watching since the original Crusader Kings 2 run. Loved every day since. Could I get a happy birthday, Gavin? It's in exactly a week. Happy birthday, Gavin. Happy birthday to you. And to um, Happy Hope, who just gave us five pounds. I just realised the time. Thank you for the stream. And I'll be sure to watch the VOD when it's up. I hope you accept a little more thank you money. I will gladly do so. To Itches, who gave us five Australian dollars, said I'm going to make Claire say poop on stream. Ha ha! You have been, you have been bamboozled. My friends, you're not going to make Claire say poop on stream, for I have said poop in Claire's place. So the I bam. Said poop earlier anyway. Okay, she said poop earlier anyway. Someone else made me say poop earlier. <laughs> to gotta get job, it gives 50 US dollars. That's a huge amount, thank you very much indeed. It said happy birthday, John. Wish you could give more. It's just more than enough, seriously. Since you've given me so much entertainment for so long, I appreciate what you do. It really matters to me. Also, I think Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided, that was MD stands for, has a cool speech system you should look into. Yes, I'm familiar with that, where it's like there's, there's three like different modes of speech. We have to figure out like what sort of mode of speech you need to like use to like communicate with someone uh, effectively. Uh, also, commas. Oh, great. They are, you know. To Polylicious, who gave us 20... Claire's normally the currency person. I think that's Swedish... Krona? That's the letters. S-E-K. Swedish Krona. Swedish Krona. Excellent. Uh, and said, happy birth, D, but, but misspelled horribly. And Deus Ex, who gave us... Oh, well, it's getting confusing now. Now the, the, the topics of the previous messages are donating. It's, it's becoming a message inception. Uh, he gave us five euros and said 12 a.m. to... But did, maybe that didn't give... Maybe that's... It's, it's, oh my God, don't read the time. It's, it's, it's 12... It's, it's, okay, don't... Claire's, 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 Claire's not happy with what I'm doing. This is... 
This is fine. This person's comment was removed because they wanted pictures of your feet. Okay. But I think it was a joke, but I don't know because <laughs> I was already pretty tired. And then they kept, like, laying it on. My feet are really pretty right now, though, given you did just get, you got, like, you got that little foot spa and whatever. Yeah, yeah, you're not helping, though. No, no I, I yeah, doubt. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it, to be perfectly honest. No. That seems eminently oh, reasonable. <laughs> Tabby's Tabby's being fed, but Claire's Claire's. I I, I don't help. I don't help in in in, in many ways. To summarize, zero five one. He gave us fifty. Yeah, is that the Hungarian things? Not not cro not Krona. Um, Karu Karuna. I think so. Anyway, and happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the amazing content through the years. When possible, use this money to go to Camden Market, find Bang Bang Chicken Man, have some of his chicken on me. Oh, next time we're passing through Camden, we will, though. To be honest, I doubt we're going to be going to street markets anytime soon. This is, this, this, this sounds like... Look, I can't go to bed yet. I know it's 2 a.m. And just to be clear, we haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> Claire, and I, Claire and I haven't eaten properly since lunch. Uh, at like 2, 2, 2 or 30 a.m. So it's been about 12 hours since I've had a proper meal. I haven't had dinner yet. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of this to, 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 to go, uh, at this point. So that's, that's a thing. And at some point there is the risk that we're going to hit the 12 hour mark and then YouTube will just cut us off. YouTube will basically say, I don't care where you go, but you, you, you can't stay here. So that's, that's going to be interesting if that happens. To Philip Madsen, who gave us a hundred Swedish kroner. I remember that one. We just saw it a second ago. It said, happy birthday. Been watching for years. Really appreciate your content. I really appreciate you too, Philip. Uh, to MZOD780, who gave us uh, 20 US dollars and said, uh, A simple celebration, a gathering of friends, wishing you great happiness, a joy that never ends. Here's looking at you. Happy birthday, John. That was really wholesome. That was super wholesome, Zod. I would kneel before you in like a in a respectful way, not a weird way. Uh, to Lindo Cola, who gave us three US dollars as a cheers to my favorite streamer, O-Flip. And Rocket Boy, oh, ooh, ooh, Rocket Boy, formerly known as E9S38B38. I can see why you changed the name to Rocket Boy, to be honest. Give us $100. How did I miss this earlier? Happy birthday, fellow Leo. Yeah, Leos. Yay, Leos are the best. I, I, I think you, there, there are bits of, I think it's like the right at the end of August, you cannot be a Leo. I think it's right at the end of August. I think there's like like there's there's like five people, five days worth of people at the end of August who like suck. I think they're Capricorns. I forget. I'm not good at Zodiac. Capricorns in January yells Claire. Okay, maybe not Capricorns. Uh, I don't know. But there's like there's some people who suck because they're they're born in August, but they're not Leos. So screw those guys. Uh, I'm not good at this. I'm. <laughs> Has Tabby got her fishy fish? Yes, she's eating that now. We got to Adam B right there. Uh, there we go. You've read that or no? I just read that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think so. Wait, what was the wait? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. Yay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Shout out to Adam who gave us five dollars and says uh, for the twenty-four hour stream, lol. I literally, we think YouTube might kick us out if we get to We're about a hundred percent sure. If, if it gets to about three fifteen a.m., we don't know what YouTube does. We think we might just be cut off because we're, we're worried that twelve hours is the limit. We think that we might be cut off at that point. I'm worried. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Quirky Author who gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, John. I can't wait to binge this stream after I finish rewatching Fallout Three. Kill everything. So much nostalgia. Woo, nostalgia. Yay! You moved my thing quite a lot. Sorry. Uh, yes. Michael gave us uh, fifteen pounds and says belated happy birthday, John. I've been watching uh, since you YOLO'd Hoover Dam. Yes. Thanks so much for amazing content over the years. Claire, not too long to go now, surely. Tabby cuddles soon. Much love. Yeah, I wouldn't, um, wouldn't count my chickens. Mm -hmm. uh, Ro gave us three pounds and says, uh, you both need a holiday. You both work so hard. Uh, and Philip gave us uh, five Canadian dollars and says uh, this is for begging oh. us to stop our donations, John. Uh, Monovan says, love you guys, happy belated birthday, gave us five pounds. 
Uh, and Philip gave us five Canadian dollars again and says this is to give you another week of delay so Fallout 4, uh, for Fallout 4 YOLO so you can get a break. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Adam gave us another dollar. Thank you so much. And Itches gave us $25 uh, and uh, says, what does this button do? Uh, thank you very much for using the uh, Give John and Claire money button. Hey, uh, well, the Give for? John money button. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, let's that? see, we've done that. Another shout out to Chris, uh, who gave us, uh, oh my goodness, shout out to Chris, who gave us a hundred dollars. Thank you. Uh, Chris says, I had to leave the stream a few hours ago and just came back Not to everybody. find that you right. are still streaming. What is it? What? My birthday? Have uh, some more hey, money. Thank I'll you pay. so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, Peter gave us two uh, pounds and says, I'm heading to bed since John's birthday is done. So that was at uh, half midnight. Excellent. Uh, so there you go. Uh, and Storyteller gave us $10 and says, happy birthday. I'm sorry if this has been asked uh, already, but do you have any interest in playing Ghost of Tsushima? A great game based off of the Mongol invasion of Japan. Have a great day. Uh, I will look at it at some point, like, as a one-off at the absolute mm. bare minimum. I don't have a specific uh, plan in mind. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Adam gave us $2 and wanted to know if we're finishing this game on stream. And then gave us another 2 and says the best team ever, MAT and Tabby. Uh, it's the little, uh, you know, yes. the, uh, the emo emotes that we have for channel members uh, yes. of Tabby. Uh, me being gifted and then you as an egg box, uh, so those are very cute. Excellent. Tabby uh, is the best. we have already finished this game. We have, we've done, we have completed, yeah, it took me about uh, eight hours, give or take, and I wasn't like, you know, rushing or anything. And that was with a very unconventional build. I could have done it a lot faster with a more conventional small small guns and speech build. Uh, yeah. Uh, and more intelligence so I could have leveled up the skills faster. Uh, shush. Uh, Did you just say shush? Because you said I wasn't intelligent. <laughs> and then it doesn't matter if it's free, you're not supposed to say. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Philip gave us another five Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. So many donations from you today. Uh, John St. Clair uh, for raising ADHD oh, aw man. awareness. Claire, tell John to thank you for raising ADHD He's... awareness. Claire is doing good work in that regard. You're supposed to thank me. That's what they want. Thank you. That's, that's saying you're doing good work is effectively the same mm, thing. Is that no semantics? Uh, uh, who is Alex? He's gave us Western. another $10. Why and like this is a stream that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started so viewing it not knowing what it was. And they'll continue viewing it forever just because this is the... Um, mm -hmm. uh, yes, indeed. Uh, you got some big Boulder Anthology gave us two Canadian dollars. Says uh, wishing you a happy birthday from Canada, eh? Uh, <laughs> Brian gave us uh, five euros and says and it only took nine hours. I'm assuming you mean finishing the game. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And again, uh, with a really unconventional, not optimal build. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, Monovan gave us uh, five uh, pounds and says thank you for the years of awesome content. Uh, you don't drink with your lungs, by the way. You don't, and that's that's the mistake uh, I made. Yeah. Kieran gave us ten pounds and says long time watcher with Adblog, first time in Cotter Stream Live, and apparently really late. Good Hopefully, a few bob will cover the debt. Happy birthday! Uh, yeah, it really, really does because uh, you know. Ad revenue is uh, always shrinking, uh, yes. has always been shrinking for ages, uh, and you know, like, even like one pound or one dollar definitely covers it, but uh, ten is, you know, amazing, so thank you so much. Um, Zach gave us two pound, two dollars, says uh, thanks for all the years of entertainment. Uh, Horda the Mighty, another regular, gave us five dollars. It's late to the party, but happy birthday, John! Cheers! Uh, we have the Chartreuse Leprechaun, uh, which is a very fancy username, uh, gave us five dollars. So happy birthday, John! Thanks for the years of encouragement and entertainment. Uh, go have a really good ale on me. An very ale fancy. on me? An ale. An on ale on me, me. I yes. see. Uh, Lachlan, Lachlan uh, gave us uh, five Australian dollars. 
I've been watching your stream uh, after the, I've been watching your streams after the fact for years. Good to finally catch one live. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yes, indeed. Good to see you. Uh, yes. Amanda wants to know, uh, and that's been definitely asked before: uh, Is it better to be a channel member or a Patreon supporter? Uh, I believe Patreon just. I believe that cut is smaller than Google's. Yeah. I Therefore, think, I yes. Think so. But also, it's uh, for for Patreon. Like, it's better for you guys because you can choose how much you My give. Dad, I think. Th yes, uh, that's yes. true. That is true. Yes. Uh, and lack of a better nah. idea gave us ten dollars, and says I just got off from my first day at a new job, uh, no. sunk to the tune of a, the never ending story, which I do not remember Whoa. from childhood. Oh, do you I can't know remember it? either. Uh, sorry it's been then. So uh, long since I've seen that. Sorry. Never-ending live stream, obviously, is what they wanted us to see. It's like never-ending story or something like that. It was something like that. I. It would uh, be different in French. Yeah, probably. Uh, in the the story do never-ending. No, l'histoire sans fin. That too. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, John. To I guess. Uh, there you go. Garfek gave us uh, five dollars. Happy birthday, John! I remember the New Year's live stream. That was a delightful oh, jaunt into insanity. Hi, bundle. We've got a visiting cat. Let's do that again this year. They say hi, baby. What are you doing in here? What do you she need? usually wants cuddles after food. You know this. Oh, she needs to take over while we cuddle the cat. No, she wants to pull up your. Stop carpet. pulling up the carpet. No, that's her thing. You don't you stop acting out, you brat. You fed. We fed her at 2 a.m. I think she has a right of acting out. <laughs> like four hours late. Hi, baby. Yes. Hi, babes. What do you want? She's just confused because we're having a weird day today. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing, by the way? No, what do you mean? In terms of like, you know. Uh, how late? How behind are we? Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> It just keeps coming, you know? So there you go. Uh, shout out to Mojo who gave us five pounds and says, uh, why is everyone wishing his birthday? It's not for another 364 days. True. Uh, Works42 gave us $20 and says, happy belated birthday, John. I've been watching a few years now. I wanted to say thank you for the years of entertainment. Uh, French Bread gave us uh, five dollars and says Claire uh, is reading super chat whilst John makes ripper noise and says uh, <laughs> baby that's the channel don't eat the channel Tabby come on babes she's literally sniffing around the card drives of the, 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 the history of the channel uh, anyway uh, they say happy birthday once again I'll open your I'll open the bathroom door Ooh, so she can, so go, she can go and sit on the bath uh, she can go Tabby. sit on the bath mat Tabby. she likes sitting on the bath mat yeah. There you go. Um, you can go sit on the bath mat if you want, honey. Yes. You know you enjoy that. Tabby. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, French bread gave us five uh, dollars. Yeah, a happy birthday once again. They say uh, Conrad Curse gave us two dollars uh, and wants to know who is your favorite Fallout New Vegas companion? Uh, it has to be Boone just because he's so ridiculously overpowered, but I have a, uh, I have probably have the softest spot for Veronica in terms of personality. Uh, yeah, uh, Dan's, uh, Dan uh, gave us five dollars. It says, hey guys, I have three weeks of work to do in one week because of a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. This stream has been a big help. Uh, insert obligatory YOLO run comment here. <laughs> uh, Melissa gave us five Australian dollars and says, yay, I see you live. I've been re-watching Skyrim. I kind of want to see you do it with a bow. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm sorry the water killed you. <laughs> I think that's the one thing that everyone's already seen Skyrim with a bow. Yeah. You lot. Uh, let's see. Oh, slavers. Uh, Carl gave us $37 and says, These pipes are clean! Uh, 424 gave us uh, $15. Happy birthday, John. Thank you for the years of great entertainment. I hope you and Claire have a great day. Uh, and 
and uh, Tanner gave us five dollars. <coughs> so I've always loved your content, but I lately you, I've really gotten me. into it, and I think it uh, really helped my mental health. You. So you thank you me. for everything. Happy birthday from Canada. Have a wonderful day, and please do stay safe. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, Simon. Uh, and 10 Australian dollars from Metatrash who says happy birthday John I'm currently watching this in the background while working on some Excel sheets Woo, Excel very nice Yay. very very nice whoop, whoop. Uh, and let's see Daniel gave us twenty dollars and says I just got back from my younger brother's birthday dinner I can't believe you're still going yep. yes indeed it never adds Never adds. Uh, Christine gave us twenty dollars and says, "Happy birthday, my good man! It was a lifesaver finding your Skyrim playthrough. Thank you for uh -oh. a good time over the years." Run, run, use rocks, fall off things, fuck uh, giant rad scorpion. Uh, Philip gave us uh, four twenty Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, "John's too cute. It should be his birthday every day." It should be. We could do a birthday stream every day. In fact, we're pretty much ready to roll straight into the 18th stream right now. I mean, fine. I'm never editing videos again then, eh? Because I won't have time. Uh, Department of oh, Redundancy rats. Department gave us two Swiss francs and says, Good night, you magnificent bastards. Uh, Good night, everybody. Mr. Marmello gave us 25 New Zealand dollars and says, Hi, uh, Hail the birthday of the nerd. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, <coughs> There's a second stream again. What the fuck? Is there? I don't know. Somebody just said that. It's possible. The fuck? Fuck. Good John couldn't have escaped, could he? I thought we killed him. He's definitely dead, right? Just a quick, just a quick double check. Check. Well, there's definitely a second stream live now. Holy shit, is there? Yeah, no, there is. Holy shit, how many people are in it? I don't know. Uh, 170. <laughs> what? I'm ending it before they give super chats. Can we be absolutely sure they have it already? Yes, I'm looking at it right now. How does this happen? How did this happen again? We dealt with good John. Stay out of good John's, e evil John's live stream. Stay out of Evil John's live stream. I can stand here Go all day back to first stream. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Blame. stay out of the other stream. Everybody stay out of the other stream. <laughs> I am going to murder this stream. Claire, no! The... Yash! Why would you do that? <laughs> Yash gave us two quid, two dollars and says hello. I'm ending the stream. Goodbye. End. <laughs> The uh, actual <laughs> fuck, YouTube. What the actual fuck, YouTube? I don't know YouTube. why YouTube keeps creating new duplicate streams. You need to stay ask, out of the other stream. You need to. Well, I've ended it. You need to. I was ask talking your, to them. You need to ask your YouTube contact person about this shit. This is why are there two streams? This is really know, weird. <laughs> Fucking well, good, John. Yeah. Evil John. Yes. What yes, a twat. Evil John, that's who we yeah, mean. Yeah, we need to keep Evil John out of the stream. Okay, let's see. <laughs> keep everyone out Unlist of the... Unlist that now. Unlist that, yeah. Unlist that. 500 people watching <laughs> and viewed that. <laughs> Fuck. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking... Uh, hello, 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 people. The stream has become too powerful. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> If you look at your sub feeds, it's now nothing but this stream. <laughs> just, just like, forever. Oh dear. Fuck the game crash. <laughs> We've got more streams than we have game. Another channel I watched had this issue last night. Amazing. Amazing. What the shit is happening? Uh. Just got back from the second stream. <laughs> One stream is so old fashioned. Okay, I want you to put your hands up if you manage to it's see ten, both the original ten. fake stream and this fake stream. If you are managing to be in the chat of both of them, I, you in the, so far today have been involved in three different MATN streams. I want you to put your hands in the air. And by put your hands in the air, he doesn't mean, mean give more super chats. He means say in chat. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get past? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, hi, I'm doing fine. Shout out to Cat who gave us $20. Says okay. happy birthday, John. In the US, there's been record setting gun sales nationwide. That's terrifying. 
I've been working almost every day all day for five months straight now and your videos are the only thing keeping me safe. Thank you both. Jeez. Amazing. Uh, oh, we've got a lot of hands up. Hands up. People yeah. wearing two, people wearing three. Um, very, very good You're indeed. Uh, let's see. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see. Atus gave us uh, $50. Thank you so much. And that wasn't even a message. Uh, GP Doer gave us $100. Thank you so much. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Thanks for keeping me and my colleagues sane all these years while working the night shift. Uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, and we've got an update from Anempo who uh, gave us five Australian dollars and says, hi, this is update time. Uh, both uh, Georges, both George, uh, you remember Anempo had the uh, Huntsman spiders? I remember. Uh, both Georges are now missing in action, so now oh I no. have Charlotte, a little house spider living in the sun visor of my car, who can catch 10 to 15 flies an hour. Amazing. Good. That's that's good a good spider, spider catch right? Well done. Um, shout out to uh, the Grinning Viking, who gave us $2 and raises hands in, in Super Chats. Nice. Good, uh, good. And uh, Wizzurbs who uh, gave us $5 and says, so I'm not supposed to give more Super Chat anyway. Happy birthday. Yay, happy birthday <laughs> to me. Uh, <clears throat> Amanda gave us $5 uh, and says, happy birthday, John. My kids and I have been watching all day. We hope you have an awesome day. Shout out to Claire, the real MVP. And more Fall Guys, please. There will uh, be more Fall Guys at some point, absolutely. Uh, there we go. Uh... The stream froze for a second and crashed, and when I tried to restart, there were two, says Excelsius. What? I don't know, yeah. I mean, I this guess it might be that. No, I'm just uh, curious whether maybe YouTube will just create a stream that doesn't exist tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, Ma gave us ten uh, pounds and says, Hey guys, happy birthday. Best regard from Paul's in the UK. You have a lot of views from us. Uh, keep up the good work and burn some Harold. Oh we no, go. we're not going to go burn Harold. Uh, it's mean. Uh, Esodus gave us $20 and says, I've got to go in a moment, but I wanted to say happy birthday again to John. Thank you for your energy, entertainment, and insight into classes. Woo! Very, very nice indeed. Um, uh, Yash gave us $5 and says, happy birthday, John. We're really sorry for this ordeal, Claire, and also Tabby, of <laughs> course. Uh, Titan gave us 50 Swedish kronas as here's the last super chat, I promise, but probably lying. Uh, P. Sar gave us two dollars and says, I've been Thanos snapped twice. Uh, I'm still six hours behind. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Levapsu gave us five dollars. Says, Happy birthday, John, you magnificent man. Uh, the 501195 gave us 5 euros, says happy birthday John, I've been a uh, sub for years and I need to go to sleep for work tomorrow but I can't be on myself away, keep the amazing work coming. We do as best we can. Uh, yes indeed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, people are getting notifications for the stream that we just murdered. Amazing, uh, this is... This is... <laughs> This is this is fascinating report. I'll have to make YouTube about this. <laughs> Shout out to Titan who gave us another super chat uh, and uh, with a fifty Swedish bonus says, "How dare you, Claire? I never lie." Well, you know, there you go. Uh, David gave us twenty Australian dollars. Happy birthday, John! I went to bed just but when you started. Now I'm going to uni. Love you all and all that you do. Amazing. Maybe it was a little excessive, John. 18 frag grenades, love it. Uh, Psycho Sergeant gave us $20 and says, uh, Me, I'm bad at words and can't write as flowery of a message as these other people, but the following sticker says as much as I ever could. Happy birthday, John! And then the sticker, uh, they gave us another $10, and the sticker is a uh, doggy squeezing a big red heart. Oh, so that there. sounds you pretty good. It. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Sefi gave us five dollars. Says choo choo, happy birthday! Choo choo, and, uh, happy birthday indeed. Sam gave Fuck us. Fuck you, ants. 
Sam gave us ten dollars and uh, says, "Hey, John and Claire, happy birthday, John! I just wanted to say I know the schedule is packed, but you would you consider playing Rome Two Total War on the channel, even as a one-off?" Rome Two is not uh, on the docket for the next Total War series. It is not. Yeah. So that is unlikely to happen. Uh, Cave Girl gave us five dollars. Says, "Happy birthday, John! Uh, thanks for dealing with John Claire, my fiance, and I fall asleep to your videos every night. Thank you for keeping us entertained." Uh, there we go. <coughs> Claire isn't going to have a voice for the rest of the week. It's fine. It's not like I had tomorrow <laughs> off and I wanted to record yet? videos or anything. Um, what? No, I didn't. Because uh, I was feeling super. The tacky. grenade. The grenade impact from one grenade bounced another grenade off in a different direction. It was really good. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Air Terranian gave us ten pounds and says, uh, "Like you, I don't understand why so many people hate on and argue over games, especially for this franchise where arguments can be bitter uh, and cause friends to fall out." Happy oh, birthday, John! Oh dear. There you go. Uh, Draw Saint Darren gave us uh, five dollars and says I've been here since the beginning, but I've got family to tend to. I had a long day, but y'all made it manageable. Uh, thank you so so much. Uh, and let's see, we've got five pound. We've got ten pounds from Jai, who uh, get, says Happy birthday, John. Hi Claire, this is my first time donating. Thank you both for the entertainment you've provided me over the last few months. I'm a medical student volunteering in London. Watching your streams always help distract me after particularly tough on, emotional days. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you so much, Jai. Uh, and, I mean, thank you for volunteering and studying medicine. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, I got so much respect for the people that work in the medical field like that. It's amazing. Uh, Jared gave us five Australian dollars and says it's 10 a.m. in Australia right now. Uh, if I don't get to sleep but now, neither do you. Well, <laughs> I have to get up by 10 a.m. tomorrow, by the way, because I have a medication that I need to take at a specific time. So yes. that's going to be fun for me. Yeah. Uh, Spring Vale Raiders Rise Up gave us uh, five quid and says I'm doing my bit to make sure this stream never ends. Uh, Philip gave us... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there you go. Wait, I've already read that one. Uh, Music Evangelist gave us 20 New Zealand dollars. So happy birthday, John. I just joined the stream, uh, but I will watch it later. I'm enjoying the Iliad, finding it easier to read it than the Odyssey, which is interesting. I find the I, I think that's 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 interesting. I think the uh, <clears throat> I prefer the Iliad, but I think the the Odyssey is I see how the Odyssey might be more appealing to uh to a modern audience, because if it, it, it was written modern, a time bit later, it's, it's a bit more advanced. It's maybe a more modern narrative style in yes. terms of it follows one person yes. and it's maybe more linear. I yes. don't know. It's no, it obviously it's less linear than the than the Iliad. The Iliad's oh, very linear. Know. Oh my God! Hey, uh, Dan is in chat. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Happy John Day. You, you, you're late, Dan. Hasn't been my birthday for flipping hours. Where the hell were you? <laughs> dear, oh dear. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, hi Dan. Hey. Wee. Just nuking ads with grenades because that's all I've really got at this point. It's great. Well, now we just need. Uh, now we just need. Uh, Up is not job. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say Stephen Rebecca, but sure, like yeah, collecting. Uh, that too. Uh, that too. Uh, sure. Uh, people. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to uh, Kevin who gave us two pounds. Says, uh, here, John, what's the crike? Uh, been a pal since New Vegas YOLO. Ow, there, oh, we there were more ants behind me. Uh, yes, indeed. There were many more ants. <laughs> Dan just... says, oh, never mind then. Shh. Oh, no. Seriously, like, the first time that Dan messaged John about doing a video together. Yeah. It was adorable. Like, John oh, shut, to shut up. Tell Dad's the, don't it. tell the story while Dad's in the chat. No, it's adorable. Stop embarrassing me, mom. Okay, well. Fine. Fuck you, ads. I was just trying to be nice because you were rude to Dan just now, but sure. Okay, we've managed to frenzy at least one <coughs> ant. The ants are now taking each other on. I'm yeah. also out of stim packs. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Alan who gave us $6.66. Happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the awesome videos. P.S. The dollar amount is in honor of Evil John. We very much appreciate that. Uh, 
Lots Slur. of hands just attacking each other now. Sorry, Rebecca says happy birthday to you. Yay! Well, tell them thank you, please. Uh... So many ads. What the shit is happening? They're all frenzied. Frenzy them all. Frenzy them all. Nothing but frenzied ads. Yeah. <laughs> Frenzy dance! <laughs> <laughs> they're just fire ants trying to set each other on fire. I'm not even Aww. sure it does anything. Dan says, "Oh, John loves me." Mhm. Mm oh, it's it's. Yeah, I was quite I was quite excited. I think I sent you an all caps message. Say yeah, something. This yeah. is not a drill. Yes, exactly. It was the exact yes, phrasing, exactly. I believe. Plus, I think the chat is very excited about um, me embarrassing you. <laughs> Fuck you all, ads! Fuck <laughs> Oh my god. That one was on the roof! So loud. <laughs> oh, amazing. I think the ads are all dead. Are the ads all dead? The ads are mostly dead. It's time to completely ineffectually fight fire with fi Ow, my face! It's on fire for some reason. Who could have predicted this? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. A slurry dude gave us a 10 Canadian dollars and says, I'm working at the moment, so I can't watch. But happy birthday, John. I'll enjoy the stream when I can. Yay. Uh, another five New Zealand dollars from Mr. Marmelo, who says, uh, It is the fallout gods. Uh, well, you must keep all the god Kennedy imperial will. <laughs> All right, uh, and a bunch of a uh, bunch of icons. Uh, many a true nerd, M, and then Tabby in the helmet, and Raymond, oh. all that uh, loveliness. So there you go. I think we killed all the ants. <sighs> I don't hate you, Dan. Oh. Dan says everybody hates me now. Uh, okay, yes, indeed, and we need to play Uni Rob's songs. Uh, we do. Before. Uh, oh, great. Great. The um, the app that I've got on my computer to uh, prevent it from giving me like really harsh blue light at night so I can sleep better. Yeah. Just uh, gave me a pop up to tell me that I'm supposed to get up in five and a half hours. Oh, amazing. Uh, amazing. I love when it does that. Um, uh -huh. Yes, we need to play Uni Rob's song at some we point. We do need I mean, to play those at the end. Gonna, we're not going to do an entire like 12 hours. We're going to. No, Claire, you, you push through Claire. Yes, no, I know. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, Philip gave yeah. us 50 Danish krona and says, uh, How are you guys still going? You started, then I had a birthday party and came back, and you're still going. Uh, are you finishing the game in one go? We already we did. did. We finished hours ago. Uh, Zook gave us five pounds and says, John, I hope you had a happy birthday. I've been a fan since episode 10 of Fallout 3 Kill Everything. Thank you for all the laughs and joy that you and Claire have brought. Uh, <laughs> Kevin gave us uh, two pounds and says, uh, do you want to play uh, Warhammer? It's uh, funny and I would recommend it. Uh, we do which, play Warhammer. Which, which version? There's lots of Warhammer games. You're going to be a bit more specific than that. Well, I, th I just assumed they meant the minis because they didn't specify. Uh, but I play and John doesn't the minis. Yeah. Um, Emma Hockey gave us five dollars and says this is my first live stream ever. I found John via uh, Fallout 4 survival mode. John got me back into gaming after a decade break, and I'm playing Odyssey right now. Oh, good! Yay. Such uh, a colourful thing, such a lovely thing. Yeah, uh, shout out to the five one one nine five who gave us five euros and says happy birthday, John. I've been watching since three. I'm assuming you mean three p.m. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and uh, following since the early days, I love you all and Claire's hard work. We can't wait to see more of it. Yay! Uh, let's see. The People's Front Against French Long White Bread gave us another five euros and says donation for the backlog. Ah! Kyle Conard uh, gave us $20 and says thank you, Tabby, Claire, and John. Kevin gave us two uh, pounds. 
says I've had alcohol. I love John Clare. Yes, fall out. Uh, we love you, man. We've not had alcohol, but that's what we would say if we were if we were drunk. Yes. Uh, Justified Jester gave us five Australian dollars and says I just woke up. It's still going. Uh, Lance gave us 10 Australian dollars and says, Hey Claire, I'm now obligated to read out loud the fact that uh, you have a coffee and people should reward you from the marathon work day you've had today. Thank you. That's very sweet. That seems evidently reasonable, yes. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, Dan says, John, did you hear that they're shutting down Hitman 2 multiplayer at the end of the month? That's <gasps> like two, day af- two days after me and Matt found out it even existed. That's uh, it's at the end of the month isn't for a few days yet, right? We've okay, we've got to we've got to record some Hitman Two multiplayer apparently. Yeah, uh, Dan, what you doing on Friday, mate? <laughs> like, fuck you, ants! <laughs> Get Matt to DM us about it. Nuke all the things. Uh yes, <laughs> dear oh dear. Uh, yep. No, oh, that was me. Uh, Jinx, Jinx, uh says if the stream only goes to 12 hours i'm staying for the rest of it before i go to sleep thank you so 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 much jinx uh i hope your back is feeling okay by yes. the way uh but yeah i mean I, we we do want to uh we do want to wrap up as soon as we can yes uh, so we yes. can have dinner uh oh god i don't know that i want food i want some, i want some proper food i need some proper food yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see. I might just have a little bit of, like, wheat bix. Yes. Um, Chris gave us two quid and says, Hooray for depressing flux notifications. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Um, I mean, I'm not going to get up at 8 a.m. anyway after doing this, but, uh, yes, I do need to get up. That seems 10. reasonable, yes. Uh, Grimlock Smash, very good username. Grimlock Smash, all caps. Pretty sure that's a Warhammer thing. Uh, gave us uh, $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been watching since New Vegas Kill Everything. I tried doing a Fallout 4 YOLO run of my own. I made, it, I made it to the Institute before I died and I was very upset. Oh. There you go. Uh, there we go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Well, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were done. No. I thought that was such a, There we go sounded really... No. Really happy. No. You were sounding like you I'm were... like I'm I'm catching up, but now you've made it bad because I'm not quite done. Uh-huh. Eaten by ghouls gave us five pounds and says happy birthday, happy Halloween, happy Easter, and happy New Year, John. I don't think I missed anything, did I? I, I doubt uh, it. Apparently Grimlock Grimlock Smash is from the eighties Transformers. Oh So you were wrong. I was wrong. You always enjoy when John's wrong. Uh anyway. <laughs> Let's see uh, who else we got. Uh, oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake in my system. Okay, there you go. I need to find the next thing in the list. Uh, Lycan Dragon gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I finally binge watched uh, all of your Total War 3 Kingdom playthrough. Uh, you're helping me stay sane during my final exam period. Excellent. We will sacrifice our sanity so that you may keep yours. Yes, and Bendrix gave us $5 and says this has to be uh, the record for the longest stream in the channel history. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Also, are we getting a prescient Worms election video this year? Uh, I would imagine so. It yeah. seems to be a tradition. Uh, Rudy Red Atop gave us $25 and says, Hey, Manic John and Manic Claire, I've been watching your videos for years. Love the content, hope the money helps, and I wish many, many gentle pets for Tabby. Oh. Uh, it helps so much. Thank you Those so, are the pets. so much indeed. Those are the pets she likes. She likes gentle pets. Yeah. And sometimes she's not keen on the on the tummy because the tummy's a private thing for her. Well, but sometimes she's... And she has very specific times. When it was the heat wave, she was way more keen on the tummy. I wonder yeah. if... Uh, I, on, on us petting her tummy... I wonder if uh, I wonder if it was just that it was helping uh, keep her a bit cooler. Yes. Uh, but Penny gave us five dollars and says, "I just wanted to remind you that if you don't grow older, you only level up. So happy level up day!" Yay! I feel like I'm not, I've got, not getting that many skill points in 2020. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Christine uh, gave us $10 and says, John, my boyfriend and I traveled from Pennsylvania to California two years ago, and we traveled to the Mojave Desert and wrote your MATN in the sand uh, just for you. Happy birthday. Amazing. That's lovely, Christine. Thank 
cute. That's super cute. Uh, Natangatan gave us 10 Australian dollars and says, I did a double take when I saw you were still alive. You usually finish before I get up, let alone during my lunch break. Happy birthday, John. P.S. The stream is now so long that loading it crashes fire for Amazing! Yes! <laughs> yes! Crash all the things. Uh... 11 hours and 19 minutes. Oh, so good lord. Far. I'm okay. very tired. <laughs> Me too. Benjamin gave us $50. <laughs> Thank you so much, Benjamin. Happy birthday, John. I hope you had a great one. Your videos and live stream helped me get through med school. And now as a resident, I can finally afford to donate. Looking forward to all content in the future. <laughs> Thank you, you fucking superhero. Bloody hell, yes. Uh, Taolan gave us uh, $5 and says, Oh my god, you are still going. I left to make dinner for the family at 8.30. <laughs> Uh, glorious uh, Renosian gave us five pounds. <laughs> Happy birthday, FYI, in Fallout oh, 3. No. The party hat has a hidden mechanic of increasing enemy spotting you by 150%. Good luck and happy birthday again. That's not true. It I could be true. I don't know. Fuck, you that need could be to true. look into it. Shout out to Ethan. Fuck, I'm checking that. A, uh, who, shout out to Ethan who gave us five dollars and a wow. Uh, a person this. saying wow sticker. Uh, Calvin gave us five dollars and says joyful day of birthing. Uh, Nerdcube says uh, Dan says I'm off to bed. Happy birthday for yesterday. Remember, forty. It is just a number. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Bye, Dan. Bye, Dan. No, the, get, the the wiki says nothing about this. The uh, wiki says nothing about this. There you go. Oman Gaming gave us a five dollars and says happy birthday. I wasn't expecting you to still be streaming. Haley gave us five dollars. I can't remember how long I've been following you, but for years you've been my go-to channel when I'm feeling down. Thank you. Happy now belated birthday. Uh, Zumba Max gave us five euros and says Spanish gang. <laughs> The Chartres Leprechaun gave us another five dollars uh, and says it's another five uh, bucks because a 55 I gave won't be enough for that good ale. Also, I'm a dog person, but long live Tabby and Claire. Uh, That's very kind. Thank you. Um, Asukan uh, gave us five dollars, five pounds and says happy birthday, John. I love your stuff. And uh, P.S. Congrats. This is my first ever donation. Very good. Thank well, you. Welcome aboard. Uh, Amy gave us five euros and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm honoured to share the same birthday months as you. I turned 25 on Friday. MATN is my favourite YouTube channel. Happy birthday, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. Uh, Justified Jester uh, gave us five Australian dollars and says, please tell me you're going to uh, the fails of YOLO compilation. <laughs> what? I'm confused. I'm confused too. I think what happened, by the way, is YouTube briefly lost connection. Then the connection was reestablished, meaning... It's it therefore set up the second now. stream just like it did at the beginning. So if the connection drops just for a split second, it will set up another stream. So there could be a third duplicate stream yeah, yet. Yeah, well, you keep an eye on that. It's not one. impossible. It's not chat, impossible. Yeah? I'm trying to figure out Please why. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm trying to keep uh, an eye on it. Let's see. Philip gave us 10 Canadian dollars and says, I've been here since New Vegas No Kill, and I never wished you a happy birthday. A question, what is the earliest you could feasibly get the Ch Chinese stealth armor I'm considering a stealth armor and mines only run. I've absolutely heard in the past of people who just literally beeline to um, uh, Operation Anchorage at level one. They literally go straight there and they just, I assume, just run around the super mutants and just beeline to it and get it and thus have it from the beginning of the game. I personally, well, I wouldn't do it myself because I feel like it, it, it may, would make the game a bit too easy. Mm -hmm. In a way, because like, once you got the stealth armor, you're so unstoppably powerful. Like, I feel like at that point, there wouldn't be anything. There wouldn't be any challenge in the game at all. So I, I wouldn't do it myself. But absolutely, I, I, I know it's absolutely legitimate strategy. Some people prefer that they just, like, beeline to the stealth armor, or rather to the DLC, and then just push their way through at level 1. Which is doable, because it, it's a relatively linear, easy-to-predict DLC. Uh, yeah, shout out to John who gave us uh, twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John. I just finished with the beginning of the UNM semester and I've been dropping by from time to time to enjoy the stream. I've been watching for six years and loving every minute of it. Uh, awesome, Coyote gave us uh, ten dollars. Coyote, I'm not sure. 
Uh, it says, uh, almost gave Evil John birthday money. Happy birthday from the ex-colonies. Ex well, as long as you didn't give any money in the fake other streams, that's fine. Then the Evil John, who we hate and is now dead, will not get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Timothy gave us £10 and says, hey, John and Claire, I'm on the night shift right now, but can't wait to watch this later. Uh, Chris uh, gave us five pounds and says, "Did somebody say more super chats?" No, no one said that. No one said no that. No one said that. Uh, shout out to uh, Rio who gave us uh, five dollars. So thanks for the good times. I've been watching since fall. I'm in Vegas. No kill run. Happy birthday, John, and get some sleep. We are trying. Uh, ben gave us twenty dollars and says, "Here's twenty bucks for achieving quantum entanglement on the anniversary of your crowning." Uh, Alfred gave us five Canadian dollars and says, "Is Claire caught up yet? We're only twenty-five minutes behind now." Happy birthday, John A. Uh, Carolina gave us fourteen Australian dollars. Uh, and says happy birthday. I can't watch now because I'm busy woodworking with a friend. How cool. But I will catch up later. I hope there's loads of baked goods of your choice. Well. We have well, some baked goods. Yeah, we just we haven't been able goods. to eat them. We haven't had to eat them. Uh, the Almighty K gave us uh, four Australian dollars and says enjoy the nine quid. I will add more in chat if that's okay. Uh, I I have missed that. You can at reply me in chat. Uh, you yes, please at reply me in chat so I can see your message. But with a stream that's busy, uh, if you can, if, if you if you're not putting the message in where I can have a record of it, that it makes it quite tricky. Yes. Uh, but please at reply me in chat. Uh, so I can see it. The Rainbow Rat gave us uh, eight Australian dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! First time catching a stream and donating." Thank you for all the amazing content over the years. Love you, Claire and Tabby. Uh, an Air Terranian uh, gave us ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Says I must drop. Uh, I must drop. But first, happy birthday, John! You marvelous fruitcake. Bra <laughs> bravo, like Claire. That's a good title. Uh, bravo, Claire! Your fortitude is astonishing. I hope you both enjoyed my pun from earlier and keep being awesome people. That's right. I'm fairly sure we did. Matt gave us uh, five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I hope this horrific super chat ordeal eventually ends." Oh, I think you're getting uh, close now. I saw that to close, yeah, close no, to the I end. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I uh, know. Von Grimm's in chat says my super chat was missed uh, by you or it hasn't been reached. I definitely read it. I double checked for you. You must have missed it earlier because I checked in like the actual list of every single super chat from like many streams ago. Uh, and I, I, I mean, I've definitely read it. So uh, it, mu it was a, a bit earlier. Uh, Yes. But if you go back, you should hear it. You should hear it. Sorry. Yeah, words. Uh, Andrew gave us five Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for keeping this uh, all the way into my work day. Keeping this going all the way into my work day. It's ra rare for me to catch a live stream. Uh, S. Smith gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday again, Claire. You did great with the birthday dirge. Thank you. <laughs> She's doing very well. Uh, Blake gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday to the best streamer. This is Raptor Jesus. Raptor Jesus gave us twenty five dollars. Thanks, the title. Amazing, amazing. Congrats. Um, <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. I have an interview for my dream job tomorrow. Says Raptor <sighs> Jesus. Good luck. I have a ton of anxiety and I feel like I've been in constant panic for the past few days. So I appreciate every distraction that I can get. Thank you for all that you two do. I get that. I get you so much. Uh, definitely, definitely the case. Uh, anyway. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Best of luck for your interview. Fingers crossed. Uh, I hope you do amazing. Uh, Tim, give us five Australian dollars. Happy birthday and add block tax. Can I have the uh, Unirob songs, by the way? I will line them up ready yeah, for the sure. outro. Uh, Adam says, thank goodness for Claire, uh, or we would still be 10 hours behind on Super Chat. Probably, yes. Uh, that is true. We are now, where are we? Oh no, I moved I moved the width of the window and it changed everything. Oh no. No, no. Ah, you can't actually ah, deal with that right now. Ah. Uh, we are, in fact, 15 minutes behind. <gasps> go, Claire, go. Quickly, yeah. faster. I can't go faster. You asked me to do something. <laughs> Oh my God, John. 
<laughs> we, we'll, we, Claire's performance tonight will be factored in during her evaluation. Don't worry. Yeah, better fucking be. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have the evil Rob song. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the evil Rob song, and we also have that's not the right person to. Uh, there will be. That's why he wants to get down. There will be special songs at the end. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Evil Rob song, MP3. Yeah. And uh, the Smash, Smash, Smash song, MP3. The Smash, Smash, Smash song is about Claire. Excellent. So there we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, that, oh one's uh, that one's working. That one's working. Okay, cool. Okay, Just cool, make cool, sure cool, they're both cool, working because cool. I'm just download Okay, them. cool. Uh, shout <laughs> out to Skylar who gave us $5 and says, Happy real life, uh, yo yo life run. And will you be using a friend sentry button junkyard in Fallout 4 yo yo when uh, you get around to that? I would, I would never use him for something. The problem is he's very unreliable for actually like getting you anywhere because he often gets like stuck on the scenery and then it'll like break down after drawing a huge amount of attention to you and like be on cooldown at the exact moment you need him. So he can be a liability. So he'll be used for something, but I might it might be very modest. Like hey, just go to Olivia and that's it. Rather than further afield. Uh, yeah, and shout out to Mike who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday, John. Uh, Jacob, sorry, Jacob gave us ten dollars and says hello and happy birthday, John. I'm a huge fan of your Stellaris series. Just one question: What is your favorite Fallout weapon? Uh, uh, mine is the shish kebab. I like role playing as a cannibal chef. Yes. Which <laughs> is your favorite Fallout weapon and why? Uh, the dart gun, just because it's so horrendously brokenly overpowered, so much so that they cut it from every subsequent Fallout game. I said, Jesus Christ, that was a mistake. Uh, because it basically just is an instant win button against all melee enemies. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, shout out to Thunder Chekhov, who gave us 10 euros and says, First time super chatting. I feel like it was a good day. Uh, da, 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 da. Happy birthday. I found you through the Fallout 3 is better than you thing video, and I've been loving yours and Claire's work ever since. Uh huh. Uh, very good indeed. Psycho uh, gave us $50. Thank oh, you wow. so much. And says, Happy birthday. Cool Triple Zero gave us 50 Australian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, Second uh, best. Uh, oh, hey, your birthday stream. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, Jay Sutton uh, gave us $20. He's <laughs> a very recent subscriber, but I watch uh, Fallout 3 New Vegas YOLO and Kill Everything Runs and got hooked. My reward is an 11 hours plus mega streams. Yay. Thanks so much for all the laughs. And I hope you had the happiest of birthdays. Uh, ben gave us $25 and says uh, he has $25 to Claire and Tabby for putting up with this shit. Uh, <laughs> five more than I gave to John. <laughs> Should have put Claire's coffee then, really. Yes, that's my point. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Ben, I'm sorry you've been hoodwinked. You donated to John, not to me. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Excelsius who gave us five euros and says I've been sub to you since the 5th of April 2016 and loved every day. Happy belated birthday. I think Claire could have, definitely have a decent pay rise uh, in the evaluation, uh -huh. I'd say. Claire uh, could definitely have a pay rise. Uh, Kevin gave us two pounds and says, all right, troopers, man, uh, head to bed, Warhammer fun play. I don't know if I'm like, if there's some like Scots that I'm reading poorly or if they're drunk. <laughs> uh, because there's a lot of like the typing doesn't the the, the spelling doesn't make sense to me uh sorry Amazed. i didn't mean to imply you know uh adam gave me gave us two dollars and says it's the last of my worst dollars uh and kevin gave us uh another two uh pounds and a little game over sticker with a hippo a ghost hippo even I like a ghost hippo. That sounds very uh, exciting. Adrobiel gave us 10... Uh, I see it. Oh, it's a cloud. Eh, whatever. Uh, Adrobiel gave us 10 Australian dollars uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I've been watching since Fallout 3 Kill Everything and I've been a fan ever since. Looking forward to more content from you beautiful people. Yay, beautiful uh, people. And Woo. Frosted Flakes 
uh, Frosted Flakes 500 gave us uh, five quid. Says happy birthday, John. I've been a viewer since your Democracy Three video Democracy in 2013. Was that was fun. In 2013, much love from uh, Corpus Christi College, Oxford. Like Corpus Christi, tiny Hume... college, but lovely library. Really good library. From Hugh Janus. Uh, by the way, uh, da, 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 Kevin, the the it was definitely a go a ghost hippo. Because if you uh, copy and paste, if you copy the image and then paste it like without, you know, um, uh, control shift V, mm -hmm. uh, it says the old text and. Old ah, text I see. You see the metadata, very clever. Yes, indeed. Uh, Essidus gave us five dollars and says, "Merry Christmas." If I've calculated your backlog correctly. Not quite, but we do. If we don't wrap up in the next twenty minutes or so, then YouTube's going to kick us out. We think. We're not sure. Yeah, uh, Torg says, uh, happy birthday, John, you madman, gave us $20. Uh, I played nine rounds of golf and you're still here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Brett oh gave God. us $5. Says, Squeak, squeezing a quick happy birthday to you, John, before I'm off to bed. Woo to a fellow August baby. Woo! Leo's, apart from those that aren't, screw you. I'm going to uh, check this, actually. Three, three, uh, three X pence gave us five dollars uh five pounds sorry and says i've been watching this since the start of all three live streams just wanted to say happy birthday and well done claire for your nearly 12 hour shift mm -hmm. uh it's fine i made a thumbnail this morning for it as well and i worked with the mods so i've definitely started working before we started streaming but whatever is everyone born after august 23rd on or after august 23rd or virgos not leo screw you guys you suck Shout out to Clunk who gave us uh, six uh, point nine Canadian dollars. Nice and a little uh, sticker of a partying pair. Yeah, uh, the pairs. Love the pairs. Go. Uh, Bane gave us twenty dollars. Says happy birthday, John. I hope you're not baking your own cake today. <laughs> no, we bought some individual. No, we bought cakes. some little things. Connor gave us five Canadian dollars and says, "May your day of birth be filled with lots of bread and Greek cheese." After mm. all, as they say, bon feta. <laughs> nice. Dear, oh dear. Uh, Katie gave us ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Thank you for an awesome stream." Fire Dragons gave us five Canadian dollars. Uh, so happy birthday! No food just yet. I once delayed a friend's cake sixteen hours with a D and D one shot. I can be very evil. Amazing. Uh, Titan gave us fifty Swedish kronen and says, I, "I hope you have a good night and you dream of super chats." You said it would be your last. Yes, you lied. Uh, Mackie gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Here's some money to buy some th throat soothing tea." After all the talking you and Claire did today. 3x pence gave us five a dollar five pounds is claire sorry to keep this going but i felt john should shout out your coffee link one more time for your work today claire's worked incredibly hard today for like 12 hours straight Thank pretty you so much. much claire has a coffee link in the description if you'd like to support her directly for a ridiculous amount of work brian gave us five dollars so happy birthday john thanks for everything that you do claire i started down the total war rabbit hole because of you thanks a bunch from cascadia uh, and Joe gave us five euros, says, well, it's 4 a.m. I'll call it tonight. Thanks for more than 12 hours of a great stream. Hope next year will be great for you. It's not quite 4 a.m. for us, thank God. Uh, cash, cash money, 58, gave us uh, five dollars. Say, hey, John, I know you've answered this a lot, but any plans to do a Fallout 4 One Life playthrough, hopefully in survival mode? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's it's. I don't know. It seems a weird concept. Yeah. I don't know what we'd call it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we need a name. We need a catchy name for it. That's all. Axel Fat gave us five dollars and says, "Would you tell Dogface that he's a good boy?" Dogface, Dogface, you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? It's you. You're such a good boy. Ah. Uh, Axelfax says he's already asleep for the night in Central Time US, but I'll pass it on in the morning. Amazing. Good boy. Uh, Briscoe gave us $100. Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. May Mark Superman smiled upon us all today. Damn Mark Superman, the man who wouldn't die. Von Grimms says, uh, blood for the blood god and gave us two Canadian dollars. That's definitely a Warhammer thing. Uh, yes, indeed. Taolan gave us five dollars and says, this is a stream that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. I'm not drunk enough for this shit. <laughs> uh, I usually get drunk before, I usually drink at karaoke. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Jared who gave us 20, uh, 20.20 20 actually, 20 dollars, 20, uh, American pence. 
whatever. Uh, Sense, I believe. Whatever. Couldn't be around for most of the stream, but I had to swing by before the end to give this birthday gift as thanks for the countless hours of entertainment over the years. Also give Claire a raise and praise be to Tabby. Stop making stuff up and adding them onto the end of donations, Claire. I'm sorry, do you want evidence? Because I'll bring written evidence. And this, <laughs> I'll search in YouTube. If you keep going, I'll search in YouTube every time somebody said give Claire a raise and I'll bring written evidence. Bring it to, to the evaluation. The evaluation. Amazing. May. Sue Rad gave us five dollars. Happy birthday, John Cash Money gave us another five dollars and says happy birthday, dude. Sorry, I forgot that the first time. Chris gave us eight pounds. Says three a.m. Break YouTube. Uh, this bra project gave us five dollars and says wake up. John is streaming. Go to bed. John is still streaming. Happy birthday, get some sleep. Incognito W <laughs> gave us ten Australian dollars and says bon anniversaire. These are best dollars. Monopoly dollars. Thanks for the stream. <laughs> So the six more streams apparently. Fuck off. <laughs> the sub fuck feeds are nothing but John, us. Nothing fuck, but us. Fuck you, three excellence. <laughs> Give us five pounds. Last super chat of the stream. Well done, John and Claire. <laughs> it's Jinx 3 a.m. and I haven't eaten now. for 12 hours. I'm so hungry. I, haven't eaten I want my brownie. I want dinner. It's 3 a.m. I don't care. I'm gonna just eat the brownie. Essendus like... said boop! <laughs> boop. I booped Claire's nose for you. Boop. There you go, Claire booped me back. So that's, that's, as it's literally not been my birthday for three hours. Oh, shit. Oh, man, gaming gave us $50. <laughs> I can't even be mad at that. That's a crazy amount of money. <laughs> Kevin gave us two pounds, says this is the last chat. Maybe, maybe chaos. Matt uh, gave us three dollars, dollars for the dollar god. <laughs> Jonathan Green gave us 50 Swedish krona. Uh, Claire, you have ascended, thank you. Um, feel free to not read the rest. But I'm very good at it though, you know? Uh -huh. uh, Titan uh, gave us 50 Swedish krona, says, wasn't it a blondie? No, mine was a Yours was a brownie, brownie. mine was blondie. Mine was a brownie with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul gave us five uh, Australian dollars and says coffee for Claire. You can do that at the coffee link. I don't even care anymore. I'm going to say it myself. Normally I don't because, you know, classy. Uh, some other guy, part two electric boogaloo, gave us two dollars. Uh, You're allowed because I don't think you've donated yet today. Uh, and send a, a sticker that says wait for it. Um, Joe Thane gave us five dollars and says hey again. Uh, thank you, you all. Uh, Max Wolf gave us five, <laughs> ten Canadian dollars and says, for insulting Virgos, this stream uh, just got a little bit longer. Fuck you, John. Uh, I'm so sorry, Claire. On the, si on the plus side, 12 plus hours is double time in Canada. Obviously, it's this, hopefully it's the same there. Yeah, John, hopefully it's the same there. Uh, I broke Claire. Yay, says three expense. Gave us five pounds. Uh, <laughs> close the chat quick. <laughs> <laughs> Travis gave us two Australian dollars and says hi. Uh, Titan uh, gave us 50 Swedish krona and says sorry, my mistake. The people's front against... I don't care. I love baguettes. You can't make me say that again for the fifth time. Baguettes are fucking amazing, okay? The people's front of Judea likes baguettes. And they gave us five euros and says for the emperor. Uh, kick that everyone was... who donates. <laughs> Essendus gave us uh, $5 and says, don't read this, Claire. I just want to say thanks. Ha ha ha! Eteranian <laughs> gave us five pounds. Is enough or we revolt and enact le coup de Claire. Vive le Claire, vive la revolution. Uh, Repo Horror Todd gave us a ten, a $5. Happy birthday to John. Very merry unbirthday to Claire. In fucking deed. Uh, read it, angry Claire. Read it, says Drothane, who gave us $5. We broke Claire, says Jacob, who gave us $5 also. You know broke Claire. Claire's doing fine. 
Thank you all. Okay, so I very for much. It's not even. Bad. I wanted to record videos for my personal channel tomorrow. As it's well. not even. It's not even. It's it's not been my birthday for three hours. So we're gonna end the we're gonna end the stream right there. Especially as we've got to fit two songs in it. Twelve hours. The stream might just die. Thank you for the thank you to Travis for two US dollars. Uh, Australian dollars. Who said lol? So we have got out time. You know, thank you all so very very much. But we're so tired and we're so hungry. Wow, baguettes suck. Wow. Starkill gave us two dollars and says baguettes are awesome and I clear fucking love them. Yeah. Adam gave us two dollars and says oops. Three expense gave us one pound. Cornelius gave us ten Polish zloty and says love you both. And Tabby and the mod with a little heart. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, it's very sweet, Cornelius. You're still a troll. Uh, Carbonic Kid gave us five dollars and says happy birthday, John. Now get Claire her damn brown. It's not my birthday anymore. It's been not my birthday. Songs. Thank you. Do the song. Thank you so much. Very, very much. It's been ludicrous that in a single stream we've completed Fallout 3, then done a bunch of subquesting, and now it's it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna go eat some food. I thank you all so very, very much. I'm too tired to ex and hungry to express what this beat this channel means to me, and that I get to share my birthday with all of you is just incredible. And your generosity is ridiculous. Just. Ridiculous. Shout out to Amanda who says I send Claire money on coffee because she deserves it. Thank Amazing. you so much, Amanda. Very Thank sweet. You Thank you. So I very am going much to put everybody. Link. It's ridiculous. I am, I am going to put a link to Uni Rob's PayPal in yeah, the chat. We're going to add a link to uh, Uni Rob's PayPal because he's. Songs. So if you enjoy the songs that are about to come up, you yes, can donate. Indeed. Thank you all so very, very much. You ridiculous, wonderful, lovely people. It's always a joy to share my birthday. This is the longest ever stream in the history of the channel. Longest ever stream in the history of the channel. Thank you very much to Gartek who just gave us five dollars. Says this to make the Claire angry, but not if I jump on top of that grenade for her. I mean, you read that username wrong, but sure. I probably did. Yes. No, you did because it's Garfek with an F. Garfek, sorry. Um, but thank you all so very, very much. We have to end now because we've got to have time for Europe songs, and the stream might just die at twelve hours. We think. Thank you so very much from me. Maybe not from Claire. Claire. No, thank stuff. you, thank you very much. You're all amazing. Lovely, we need to be thank you for now. joining us. We have to go eat food. Everything I is. I can't believe I haven't hugged my cat in twelve haven't hours. Haven't hugged your cat. You got to give her a little snuggle when she came in. Tiny snugs. Tiny snuggle. It's not. Thank snugs, you though. so very, very much for everything. You're all amazing. We're gonna wrap up now. But happy birthday to me for three hundred sixty-four <laughs> days of the future. Happy birthday. So I love doing, I love Fallout, I love this channel, I love all of you guys, it's, as tired and hungry as I am, I, I could not, I could not think of anything else I'd rather be doing on my birthday. Good night everybody, three pence, thanks for five pounds Stop for more grenades. Stop reading I'll keep doing it. No, I can't, because I'm literally about to mute the mic, so that, uh, Unirob can play us out, first with the Evil Rob song, and then with the Claire Smash song. Smash, smash, smash. Good night everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up and tune in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We will uni romp is ready to go. John says that this universe is done, but I am ready to have some fun. My radio show plays all around, so I hope you're acquainted to my sound. But I hear that this is a special day, and this Fallout game is ready to play. Uni Rob is boring you. Well, I hope you'll listen to my shoes. A ragtag run of mastery, and with this mustache, undoubtedly, this is Evil Rob with Evil John. Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. So sit back and listen. To my evil songs. <laughs> I'm still kind of working on my evil laugh. I'm born from Unirob's gone off songs like Doom River and the Incest Song. I play all the songs Rob's not allowed. There's no copyright that can stop my sound. I don't even have a Patreon, so Rob won't get funds from his songs. Wait, he has a PayPal now? I didn't even know that was allowed. Unirob is boring you, well I know you'll listen to my tunes. A ragtag run of mastery, and with this mustache I'm dastardly. This is Evil Rob with Evil John, Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. So sit back and listen. Until my evil songs. <sighs> I even have an evil clone now. Yes, you do. Now shut up. None of this concerns you, little man. Evil.
Evil Rob with Evil John, Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. Evil don't Rob with me. Evil John, Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. Evil Rob with Evil John, Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. Evil Rob with Evil John, Evil Claire and Tabby are never gone. is done, but I'm still having a lot of fun. Uni Rob is boring you, but I know you'll listen to my tunes. A ragtag rod of mastery, and with this mustache I'm dastardly. It's Evil Rob with Evil John, Evil Clarence, and we are never gone. So sit back and listen to my evil Oh shit, the snap. And that was the Evil Rob song by presumably Evil Rob. And finally, the Smash 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 Evil Claire song. Part of the stream today, she's the Fallout character and she will slay both with the pig mohawk and combat knife. And I think she'll need more than one life. So grab a drink and jaffa cake and stream until it's way too late. Why would John want to use grenades? I'm starting to think I should be afraid. All Claire wants to do is smash, smash, smash. Hit him with a hammer, then dash, dash. With the launcher, pick up the trash, trash, trash. Turn all the enemies to ash, ash. All Claire wants to do is smash, smash, smash. Hit him with a hammer, then dash, dash. Gonna drink the nuka cola to get the cash. Then pick up the hammer and smash, smash, smash. or ghouls are safe from Claire and her cannon filled with teddy bears the barbarian with only one thing on her mind find a mini gun use all the mines we should have seen she was villainous she has her own cult that's filled with us but I won't say a thing cause I am afraid that she'll use me to practice melee all Claire wants to do is smash 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 hit him with a hammer then dash 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 with the laundry pick up the trash 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 tell all your enemies to ash ash all Claire wants to do is smash, smash, smash Hit him with a can, then dash, dash Gonna drink a nuka cola to get the cash Then pick up a hammer and smash, smash, smash All Claire wants to do is All Claire wants to do is We'll pick up the hammer and With the launcher and Turn your enemies to What do you turn the enemies to? All Claire wants to do is smash, smash, smash Hit him with a hammer then dash, dash With the launcher pick up the trash, trash, trash Turn all your enemies to ash, ash All Claire wants to do is smash, smash, smash Hit him with a hammer then dash, dash Gonna drink the color to get the cash Then pick up hammer and smash, smash, smash Smash, smash, smash Smash, smash, smash! Good night, everyone. I love you all. That was smashing you, Rob. Love it.